Never you know? spoken. <laughs> I spoke oh, we actually once. can't. Silence. I, I said a word once. Now Ooh. I'm a Nazi. I, like I know which that. word that was. <laughs> And chat have already entered the game. Well, like, what are they saying? Yeah, they're, they're saying, giving a kick, shit for being kick late. Kick J, kick J, kick <laughs> J. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, it's this is going to be a rough same old. I feel like chat, it's, this is going to be like uh, Godzilla, and it's going to be like <laughs> Spider-Man. They're, they, no doubt everyone, because I saw the Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> Apparently people really like Rise of Skywalker. There's nothing fishy about yeah. that in any way. Look, yeah. chat, I get Wait, it. You liked Rise of Skywalker. I, we don't feel the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't oh, feel the same. Oh, thanks, YouTube. The EFAB I'm on, I get a notification. EFAB is live. So, yeah, thanks. Great. <laughs> well, it it doesn't know that you're on it. Be there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the first time I ever got a message for that. Like, oh, yeah, cool. Thanks. I want to tweet out the stream. Out everyone appearing for me. But on the note of um the uh, the audience score, that is fishy. Like, very strange. I, I don't buy that. Very I've strange. seen some people not why, like why it. Why are you going to pick I mean, on fish? What the fuck? Many people like it. Yeah. The only people I've I mean, seen, I like, see... been like, it was fine. It was like, it was okay. I see, it, yeah. I see a lot of like normie people who, who are just saying like it's fine or even saying that it was actually bad. And I mean, most Ooh. fans don't like this movie. That's for sure. Mm. I've, I've not heard anyone say they liked it without the word. In spite of, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think the best I've gotten out of people is like, "Well, it was all right, you know." I clapped yeah. for Bobby Frick. The highest praise I've heard this guy get is like, "Oh, you know, it was about as good as you could expect." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, Cats is out or coming out, so that'll probably, you know. I have oh heard God, things. I nothing more than cats. I have heard something. some things like people are describing <laughs> that movie like it's not a. It's not conventional. Like it says, it like it like transcends analysis. It's such a bizarre experience. <laughs> it trans <Yeah>. cats <laughs> transcend. That analysis. sounds like the title of the Patrick Willems video. <laughs> I just, it's like what happened in my, that movie. My favorite movie of 2019 is Cats. Oh, I'd love for it to outperform Rise of Skywalker. It's a movie <laughs> about furry things made for no one. Well, no one, even furries, are like, nah, it's not. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, <laughs> furries fucking. That's a little weird for me. Furries are still jerking off to Zootopia. They're not gonna. They're gonna be, look at the cats. What's what is there? To, oh my yeah, goodness! Horrifying. Look at them. They furries, are terrifying. Furries are like are all about like foxes and stuff. Well, no, it, it's about taking animals and having them be, you know, expressive and emotive and anthropomorphic in the right ways. Not that's this true, but they're all fucking like either. wolves and foxes, though. Like that's their trend. Yeah, there's not a lot of slug furries. Those not are, slugs of... aren't particularly furry in my experience. Well, they they get glumped together like dragons and stuff, right? Yeah, the, yeah, scalies. Mm -mm. You know the terminology, Jay. I he do. Does. I'm subscribed to furry IRL. Uh, Jay, <laughs> what is your what is your fursona? Um, uh, rhino. Because I'm I'm a caribou. No way, I'm a dog. Never mind. I was I was wondering with that. You're a, what? What were you again? A rhino. You're a rhino. Yeah. Why is that? Um, because my big titties. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this is, is the conversation. Are, is, Chad is that is what like rhinos are again, known for? Wanting to talk about the rise of Skywalker is like, what's your fursona? It's a what's rhino. Your... <laughs> <laughs> a rhino because I've got big titties. We're gonna like, teach all you right guys then. This. <laughs> I am not going to deny you your identity. I know what that gets you called these days. That's life lessons for you. Yeah. If, if J.K. Rowling couldn't survive it, neither could I. Oh. No. Yeah, she got roasted bad. <laughs> I like you know, how I, I have more of an out. issue with her talking about how wizards would poop back in the medieval days. That was my that's the, that was my breaking okay. point. I saw that and I was like, I would have to have more context on the thing she's they, talking about. They just make the poop disappear, right? Yeah. They, Where does it go to? Because it doesn't disappear. It's gotta go somewhere. I don't know so why she like would a... say that. Like, what? What? Can you make people disappear to the poop dimension? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fall that. into this world of poop. It's like, oh, oh, literally man. just poop. An entire planet of nothing but human excrement. <laughs> There's like this creature that's like, hello. <laughs> Where's the, 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 the realm of the poop? <laughs> oh, God. Gum, gum, gum. No, oh, no. There's no escape. <laughs> Voldemort, <laughs> we sent him to the poop dimension. We couldn't you kill monster. him. That's why he was a so pissed. 
<laughs> you have to live in a poop house now. Uh, That's why I cut off my nose. Yeah, it makes Welcome sense. to the Rise of Skywalker stream, everybody. <laughs> wow, that was a... Speaking, that was of, a... speaking of poop speaking dimension, of... Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> so oh. appropriate. Oh, no. We live in the poop dimension. We've we already live... been sent there. We've, we've been there for a couple of hours, at least. So, um... A couple of hours? Yeah, when we saw Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> was it like two, two hours and 40 minutes? <laughs> We've been, we've been in a dark timeline for a while, though. Yeah. It was only like two hours <laughs> ten. It felt... It was certainly dense. It was hard to tell how long it was. I thought, like, I could have been convinced it was even me. longer than TLJ. We were... Like, it's a weird... Time felt weird watching that film, it honestly. It was so badly paced. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So much I, happened yeah. in the first, like, half hour. It felt like a montage more than a movie. Yeah. Two hours well, 22, apparently. Perhaps that's our... our kicking off point for sort of what well, we got beginning uh, our we got announcements first oh we do oh we my do goodness indeed. gracious i want to i want to bring some more attention to the good old oh, efap calendar as well as just efap.me in general this is uh, i'm showcasing day six which was mr j xc of course um mm -hmm. and he comes with what is that it's like a book Mm -hmm. was that rhino milk it's probably a carton of rhino milk um is it a book or rhino milk then we got uh, day eight, which was Mr. Shad himself. He gets a little paper sword too. I don't know if you're aware of this. Oh, or not. really? I need that. Well, I need to check that out. Yeah. Um, <gasps> then there was uh, day five was Metal Commander. I mean, it was a little, oh, it's me. Cry. That's me. It's me. Very emotional stuff. And um, it is. It is indeed. And I was going to show Fringy oh as well. I think we've shown um, mine. Yeah, myself and Rags it. before, but uh, that is incredible. Currently, wow. no drinker. I'm it's really, awesome. I'm really hoping you're, you're in the. Well, you've got a couple you days can... left. I'm hoping you come with well, your own little bottle. You can drink while you assemble these. True. Um, but yes. Alcohol not included. You get a download link. The, what if it um, does include alcohol? The template. We'll have a link. We'll have a download link to alcohol on the EFAP yes. website. Yes, yes. Non age Download alcohol. Download We've alcohol. become enablers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can get the whole cast of of EFAP in paper form, and um, I think Shad's going to be the best one because he can kill other paper form people with his. I have sword. a sword. Yeah. That, that, like, it would that's be always funny. Be my theory. By the, by the way, the Discord icons on stream matters me. Oh, they're gonna, I'm gonna have to change them. No, you know what? It's fine. Uh, every time I put the cover up, it puts us back to normal. Unfortunately, whenever oh, okay, I try okay. and show anything, it'll put us into tism mode for a little bit. No, all right, all right. Um, I'll have to figure out. I don't know if I can do a quick fix for that. Actually, it might have to just be that I try and keep the cover up for most of the stream, which should be possible. There's no not much reason for me to show anything this stream. Um. Yeah, so the the other thing, I suppose, is with Medstig. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but um, generally, people who loved TLJ not liking this film, right? Just what a bunch why? of bigots, sexists, yeah. and misogynists. That's insane. <laughs> I can't believe no, they hate remember, I, I don't care. No, but it's not a big deal. I'll move on with my life, even though my whole job is talking about how movies can have a profound impact on people's lives. But no... Just move on. It's just a movie. I just didn't like it. That's all. God. <laughs> That's yeah, God. So like you can't hold both views, guys. It's I'm just a, saying. It's a movie it's about a movie space wizards. Space wizards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is a movie about space wizards for no. That was probably my favorite thing this week. Just seeing on Twitter getting. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was gonna say right. So you those, got those pictures like yeah. all, all day to him. It's like, oh god. That didn't age well. Yeah, just <laughs> just for if anybody did not that. know, and um, I need to save a screenshot of it in case it goes away, but Patrick Willems p put out a tweet saying, how fucking dare you, J.J. Abrams? <laughs> um, <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. And so my immediate <laughs> thought was like, wow, Pat, you're taking this very seriously considering it's a kid's movie. It's almost like it's just a kid's movie with space wizards and you're getting all angry, and so naturally... <laughs> You want upset, to, bruv. You want to respond with that, and mm -hmm. then you go to check his thread, and as has just been mentioned, there's like 50 responses that just paste <laughs> his picture of the thing. And then, like, <laughs> he got really pissed off, and he said, like, a tweet out being no, like... No, I fucking said, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's just how can you be, oh, How could you be sort of such? I think Weekend Warrior actually tweeted that, and it was like, just embrace the meme, now you're just a... 
yeah fucking idiots like it's <laughs> bitten you in the ass i know and it sucks but really that's what set happens. yourself up for failure with that one should have thought ahead yeah, yeah now imagine, you can imagine, no longer criticize imagine, imagine showing some some fucking backbone <gasps> and uh yeah he's um He's been like, nobody understands it, nobody understood it correctly, and it's just like... I, 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 whose fault it's... is that? Don't well, you yeah. remember it was well, partly no one a joke. Whose fault is it? But like, uh. people have analyzed it to death, so like, he specifically references me as one of the one of the crazies. And I was like, so, an in-depth review is, you know, by your standards, no, something no, no, just too much people. for um a kid's movie, quote-unquote, right? Harassment. And uh, and yeah, and then he was like, no, strictly Harrison strictly Ford. talking about the people who went out and like did stuff in terms of like sending messages to cast members, and it's just like that. I mean, that's some basic shit. Like we all know that you're not supposed to do that. Pretty sure Obviously, you were talking yeah. about something else. Pretty sure. All right, I, he's got like an extensive list of reasons to remember it's a kids movie. It's like um, if you if you want to call Patrick, if you think Patrick is a Disney shill, well, this is this is a space movie. If you think if you think uh, SJWs ruined it, well, a kids movie. If you think um, oh, there was like there were like two. One of them was if you tell him to kill himself, which is harassment. Yeah, and then <laughs> I I don't I can't think of the other ones. Yeah, I just we we're at the point where it's just like, look, dude, you you're pissed, right? And I understand why he's pissed. I understand why any TLJ fan would be pissed at this movie, but. You said some stuff before, <laughs> so it's hard for you to say other stuff that contradicts that stuff. Yeah, I think, you gotta commit to what you said so boldly and so confidently. I think he might have just ago. misjudged the tone with the how fucking dare you. I think he might have wanted it to be how taken as in like, oh, how fucking dare you, JJ, as like a, a, like a tongue-in-cheek thing, and then he's realizing that people aren't, aren't getting that tone. And then he realized that I texted see, out the words "how fucking dare you." He, he didn't. He didn't choose to defend it that way, though. He defended the uh, the the comment with the postery thing. He didn't even go like I didn't see any tweets about how he was like, "Oh, I was just kidding." JJ's fine. That's great. It's all great. Everything's great. It's, every, it's he, everything's fine. He can't. He doesn't want to admit that he says something that could e easily be misinterpreted. <laughs> It's... Well, I mean, what what really happened is he 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 said something really really stupid, and yeah. now Patrick that it's funny, wouldn't do that. Yeah, uh, I saw just, tweets um... about how he's he said he's not going to make a video on this film, and uh, I was okay. talking to Rags about it. I was like, pretty sure it's obvious why, because it's just like the comments would be filled with. But hey, <laughs> it's a kids yeah. movie. Why are you getting yeah, so upset? man? Why why is you why are you so upset? This is only Star Wars movie. Oh. Why are you so angry? Why are you getting upset at children in the movie? Why are you that's pretty gonna, that's gonna follow him around forever though. Anytime he criticizes any movie, that's the kind of comments he's gonna get in response. <laughs> Did you not like uh -huh. little baby movies? All he needs to do is just be like all he needs to do is not not say you guys just clearly are too dumb to understand what I was saying. He just needs to say, guys, um, maybe I phrased that poorly. What I meant was this. Also, and then people shut that, up about it. Isn't it worthwhile to point out how reductive his comment is on, like, the work that is involved in telling a story for children? Like, imagine if someone at Pixar watched, read that comment. It's like, oh, yeah. Wow, it's like, yeah, like, look, watch <laughs> the Iron Giant. Just... Sorry, Wally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry Treasure yeah. Planet. It you don't have anything interesting to say. I'll be passionate about. Quality that can exist in kids show, like movies and stuff. There's some pretty oh, dark storytelling in kids stuff that can yeah, be appreciated just... by adults and kids alike. It's yeah. Well, what he said is just real. completely, completely um, dumb. Stupid. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, it's just stupid. I think saying that it's reductive to the point of absurdity is pretty accurate because when you yeah. when you reduce everything to its most basic form it can sound silly but that's just how it is for everything and that's not how you're yeah, supposed exactly. to take it's things. like saying wow halo's lame all you do is center the screen on the thing you want dead wow good game design yeah you know you just put a like, thing yeah. on a thing and click yeah. any every movie um there was that thing they've got like shit movie summaries or something like that that sounds like a youtube channel from 2007 <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh, where they just take movies and funnily but accurately say their their plot and their theme or not their theme but just kind of like the the plot of the story but in its most basic like one sentence kind of way you're like man that sounds dumb um oh, oh, Patrick. the only other thing i've got to say is that uh, i spoke to i hate everything yesterday after he took another snipe at uh mr rags 
because I, I took to Twitter to complain because I don't like getting sniped at. And uh, he, he felt that I was kind of overreacting because it wasn't even about me. And then we had a back and forth in PMs. Then we got into a conversation and he agreed to have it recorded. It lasted one hour. We managed to come to, a, let's say, an agreement on, on everything that happened. We kind of went over all of the events of the past two years. Didn't expect this to happen whatsoever, especially not right now. And um, uh, he said he's okay with it being played on EFAP. So me and Rags will be uh, probably looking into that or at least playing it at some point in the future. I don't know exactly how we're going to fit this in. Bit of a weird thing, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to play it because uh, we talk about the conversation that we had with, uh, you know, TRO and Wolf, and we talk about, like, the videos and all the things that happened. Quite an interesting um, series of events, but you'll finally get some uh, sort of, I don't know, closure on that, I guess, as an audience, because I know a lot of people want to know what the fuck's going on with it, and uh, that's uh, that's just an update on that. And that's it for me. It was me. interesting. Like, he, his recent video on the Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> Uh, he's ba he basically recontextualized his views on all the movies, and uh, it was a pretty good video. On all honesty, like um... I don't think it was a good video. <laughs> you didn't like it? <laughs> no, I um I think that for 15 minutes he didn't say that much, um, and also like I don't even really agree with judgments he made. Like oh, uh, you know, The Force Awakens is just okay. <laughs> like no, nah, it's not. Um. And also, you know, oh, Ryan Johnson, like, he's got a really good track record, and he cites Looper yeah, as an example yeah, of his yeah, good track uh, record. <laughs> the, the film oh, that has allied it to say, stop thinking about this film. And then, um, I think he went so far as to be like, he was like, you know, Ryan Johnson, he's a director who likes to subvert expectations and sort of do his own thing, and it's the producers at Disney's fault that they got him to do the second act of a three-act story where he did whatever he wanted. As though, like, he has no obligation to try and, you know, fit his story it's into the series. <laughs> Ryan so is Ryan, he's got doing. no self-control, man. Yeah. You should have turned him loose on this. He's not an adult okay. human. Yeah. If you could choose to give uh, every... You could reroll the uh, you could reroll the sequel trilogy so that it all gets remade, right? But the yes, catch is, you can only give each movie to either Ryan or JJ, who gets each movie. Uh, I think that if you gave it to JJ, it would be just, like... I don't know. It'd, it'd be, be like I'd be stupid, sludge. but less offensively stupid. Yeah, at yeah. least it'd be consistently stupid as well. Right. You know, uh, I would admittedly me... like. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I that, think... that one. Just, so, wait, Ryan, are you suggesting one that we can do whatever mm -hmm. we want? Like we can give all three to one of them, or two yeah, to give one. Give all one three to the other. one of them. Two to you know. Yeah, uh, I would probably. Honestly, I'd probably go all three with JJ, but I I would be interested to see all three with Ryan. I don't know see, what he would do, I'm but the really curious insanity see... that would unleash. I don't well, want to Ryan do either of them though. The I don't want to do one either. Of the trilogy. Like, I don't know with what he did. In... Trilogy, he might set up. Yeah, he might, I don't he might know. Take the world I... somewhere other than hey, let's do the Empire again. Yeah, I feel like I would rather have JJ because I don't know if I could stand three movies of everything's just shit. <laughs> Well, that, that's the thing no, with The Last have, Jedi. Really he, he destroyed so much about Star Wars and their characters, and if you give him three movies, I'm not sure what would be left. <laughs> this, this is like this, this, what's left now. this hollowed skeleton. Like, like, oh, no. <laughs> It'd be a whole movie about Rose Tico. I mean, oh, right. Well, he I, created uh, her. I mean, I think what I'm really interested in, in now is the treatment that George Lucas wrote. I would be very curious to know what the original sequel trilogy was going to be. Apparently, no, I would focus yeah, on the Aquarians. It, it didn't sound great because I think it was oh, going what? into the the wills and stuff. They okay. found me. Oh, they <laughs> found me. This is Disney. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Do not release part two. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, drinking, by the way. I, I think um, Lucas's treatment had them going almost into like the Star Wars version of the quantum realm and stuff. It, it was oh, really right. kind of bizarre. Ha, sort of okay. direction. Um, I've been okay, sent. So I take it over this. This this comes from um, a subreddit that's mm -hmm. all about sort of like uh, bits and bobs behind the scenes of of Star Wars. Uh, not one. This is unverified. It just it sounds pretty on point. So. Um, uh, again, just just rumor. Um, which, by the way, so much rumor from geeks and gamers and Doomcock have now been confirmed, like heavily from this film. It's just kind of funny how that works. Uh, and can we just also point out, right? Because 
JJ outright said that no, there was no pre-test screenings, just with a couple of you know family friends we saw it and stuff like that. Like that is such profound bullcrap confirmed <laughs> by all these leaks. Oh yeah, they had too much writing yeah. on this to not test. They of course it, it cost too much screen. money. It yeah. cost too much money to not test screen it. And like honestly, like if if us lot were making a Star Wars video, I'd be like, yeah, let's test screen it. Let's see what people think. I actually yeah. Would, yeah. And yeah. Plus, let's remember the version that we got is the version after the test screenings. Well, we've yeah. God what knows what they saw. Was. Those <laughs> red 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 hideous red abortion. <laughs> I, I would have see. I would have liked to have seen the Lucas cut that apparently got produced because I, I think they oh, got yeah. to the stage where they they edited that and and it was where all filmed. Did? That's what, See, well, according to the rumors, anyway. That, that one, back. yeah, that one I'm a bit more skeptical on. Like, it could have happened, but, oh, gee, that, like, that's a pretty extreme thing. Well, uh, this is, and... I'll just read this out quickly because it's kind of relevant to this. So, this begins with saying, after Colin had left the project, that would be Colin Trevorrow, who was supposed to do Rise of mm -hmm. Skywalker and uh, backed out. Uh, Ryan Johnson was immediately Lucasfilm's top choice to take over, however Iger and Horn weren't impressed with The Last Jedi and thought it was a step down from The Force Awakens. This promoted Iger to personally offer Abrams the gig. JJ was not a fan of The Last Jedi. Actually, that's putting it gently, he absolutely loathed TLJ and had some serious beef with Ryan Johnson. Which, by the way, that's pretty strong, but yeah, this film, I that 100%. this film has serious beef with The Last Jedi. Yeah, yeah there's a... There, it's weird how they've structured it because so much of it is like trying to recontextualize a lot of the things in The Last Jedi, but not completely contradict it. Yeah, like but raise yeah, parentage okay. and so on. I think like, no, what I Arthur really was. meant was. To, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, except, except the one line they bring up for um, that being true is like, your parents were nobodies. It's your grandparents that were somebody. <laughs> except all of the <laughs> other lines, <laughs> all of the other lines that he said was like, they were drinkers who sold you for drinking money. Uh, that's not true. I didn't allow. So, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, he said, "I never lied to you." It's like yeah, he did. And even if the person doesn't have an important position, the fact that he was the son of Palpatine means he was not a nobody. That's a profoundly significant. Yes, yes, you're right, story. especially in like the context. Whether like it or not, Jaden Smith is not a nobody. Yeah, because the, the whole point <laughs> of the whole nobody be. thing <laughs> is that it's not a Kenobi, not a Skywalker, not a Solo, not a Palpatine. That was the point you of know, the, the only nobody people thing. People in the galaxy that matter, apparently. Right. Well, well that, that was something I actually, point of view. I actually kind of agree that it would be. It would have been. It's like, oh, does it have to be uh, someone we already know from a strong family? But the problem was, Ray was so yep. fucking powerful. So yeah, <laughs> we have to like explain. Well, how are you going to explain that they used for the sequel trilogy, though? You and your thoughts. <laughs> you would think that if they were going to try and explain thoughts? some of her OP power, that they wouldn't have just laid on, dumped on so much more power on top of her. They made her <laughs> I mean, OP beyond belief. The, the tug of war movie. with the spaceship was just incredible. Holy Jedi. I was laughing that's, my ass off. That's the thing, though, with the whole parent thing, because I actually would prefer it if, like, her parents weren't, you know, tied to the same three family trees for the whole time, but because she was so powerful, it's like, all right, what's going on? What's yeah, they going? fucked themselves over. Yeah, they like, should have introduced imagine, a new character for it. Imagine if you, if you had it trade. like this. Imagine, it, imagine if you set up with something like, I don't know, her parents were um, Jedi Knights who were escaping Order 66 and maybe they got killed and she was left on her own. So we know that she's Jedi and we know that she has a beef against the Sith. And now you have some good old interesting character development. What's that? Which there was none of in this movie. My no, yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say, uh, I'll before popping. we get to that, I'll carry on with this. So um, <laughs> this moves on to say... Uh... Putting it gently, da da da. Uh, he only came back if he could have complete control and uh, wouldn't have to compromise with Kennedy or Lucasfilm's story group. JJ's first move was to consult with George Lucas on the story for episode 9. They came up with a story that had strong connections to the Clone Wars TV show, which featured the dagger of Mortis and Matt Smith as the son of Mortis, which would have been the film's antagonist. The story also used many elements from oh, George, yeah, I remember that guy. George Lucas's unused sequel trilogy treatments. Disney really wanted this movie to be another Force Awakens in the sense that it would unite all fans and be at least initially universally loved. After Solo's flop at the box office, TLJ's backlash on the decline of Star Wars merchandise, it was paramount for Disney that Episode Nine be a success with, uh... <laughs> success oh, with Disney's fans. not gonna be happy. 
Uh, they did not want another Last Jedi on their hands. The film's direction changed radically during around midway of principal photography. J.J. told the Disney executives that this film would not satisfy and unite all fans. This is where the studio meddling began, which led to the second abandonment of George Lucas's ideas. Nearly every story detail for the initial script was either completely abandoned or bastardized. Palpatine was always to have a presence in this movie, but not alive or not as the main villain. The main villain was supposed to be the son of Mortis. Disney feared that the general audiences would be alienated, as they wouldn't know who son of Mortis was, uh, no clue, yeah. which would make I the movie harder to market, that. and which led to the choice of replacing the son with Palpatine, and Matt Smith was completely removed from the movie. Disney ordered extensive reshoots that went on throughout the year leading up to early October. J.J. Abrams was not happy Jeez. with many of the changes that Disney made to Rise of Skywalker. I don't know the specifics, but let's just say he is a, uh, isn't at all pleased with the final product. Essentially, the majority of the movie was just reshot and reconfigured this year at the same time, um, leaving a ton of important scenes on the cutting room floor. I don't have any more info on the making of The Rise of Skywalker other than that, but I'm hoping that this post gets people with better sources to give out more details. Man, if, well, if that happens, then that kind of vindicates JJ a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, Damn, and, I feel bad for him now, actually. I yeah. feel bad for him if that's well, true. Yeah. Can, I, yeah, can I just say, I think Disney succeeded, though, in unifying the Star Wars fan base. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but, it, but unifying them in all in hatred for this abomination of the film. They turned the fandom to the dark side. Conspiracy <laughs> time. Their hatred. What if they not... did that on purpose so that they can make another sequel trilogy? It's like, it's, let's try again. Oh, it's crazy. Honestly, I'd be on board with that. I would be on board. Like, start it over. Let's start again. Oh, yeah. It's just oh, such a yeah. shame. You losing Carrie Fisher just means it would never be oh, yeah. as viable. No, but yeah, yeah I honestly yeah. would get behind it. And it's crazy because yep. like Matt Smith being in it, yeah, I thought that was the case for like a good year. As far as I was aware, he was definitely going to be in it. Not like that lends credence to this sort of post, as well as a couple of other details. And uh, if it's true, it's like, yeah, man, like what the hell is going on at Lucasfilm? Like they just—they're so desperate to make money. They just yeah. want to make money. <laughs> like, and they're not. See, because now, yeah, now that the uh, so many well, Carrie Fish is gone, and I don't think you'll ever get Harrison Ford back unless no, he they, won't come back. Well, I honestly, I don't think Mark Hamill would come back either. Yeah, I don't well, think it was so I reckon that they, if they reboot, and I hope they do, uh, you know, fingers crossed, but we could only find out, if they reboot it shortly after A Last Jedi and recast Luke Skywalker and stuff and bring it and start off closer in time frame and have a whole movie series of them trying to rebuild the Republic and uh, stop oh, any vestiges of well, That the would Sith. make a lot more sense. That would make would a lot great. more sense. I would love to see, you know, you, you get to see it, yeah. Luke in his prime again, like as the mm -hmm. master Jedi training new Jedi, that would be awesome. Like, that yeah. would be great. Yeah, it's kind of um interesting because Ryan Johnson, like he was on Twitter and I think he was responding to somebody about, you know, his interpretation of Luke. And he said something about like not wanting to give Luke a video game permanent like power up. But my immediate thought is, do you not understand why it would be really interesting to see Luke as a Jedi master, like training yeah. apprentices? How is that not the coolest idea? Yeah. In the first time great. in God knows how long for the Jedi, yeah, exactly. you have a guy who's teaching people and he doesn't have a proper master of his own. It, a lot of and it's going to be on his own. And he's really going to try and be responsible, whereas the Jedi, you know, the Jedi before were kind of bureaucratic yeah. and inefficient. Well, actually, even really in different. the expanded universe, Luke decided to make some fundamental changes in the Jedi Order so that mm -hmm. he felt the Jedi Order made mistakes. And for once, he allowed Jedi to marry and have relationships because he yeah, felt right. exactly. that was one that of the makes, causes of the... Yeah, like, that's why Darth sense. Vader fell, like the, the yeah. denial of all that and stuff. Yeah, it makes perfect sense that Luke, Luke, of all people, would do that. He's the family man. He's the relationships man. He's the cares about Even other people man. fucking made out with his sister. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. He, he is the family man. Oh, no. That's how much he loves his family. Um, but yeah, that pretty much leads us into... We're going we're gonna to talk about this movie uh, scene by scene. Is everyone excited? <laughs> Oh, oh, how many scenes it. are in this movie? 60,000? 60,000, yeah. So 60,000 scenes. Number one this... out of 60,000. If, everyone if everyone's drinking, I'm, I've, I've got some edibles in the fridge that I'm tempted to do for <laughs> in this. In the fridge? Yeah. Well, not not everyone they? is drinking. 
Yeah, no, irresponsible. Like really That's what that is. It's really I'm, illegal. I'm, I'm I'm also, a lot of people in chat were saying that the Thrawn trilogy was being described there as you guys were sort of talking in a way, but I'm not sure how many people here have even seen or read. Uh, no, I yeah, just don't know. Familiar. I would have been I was fine with an adaptation. The chat and all I saw was the word incest just being repeated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to go get my edibles. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Um should run to the theater. Should we should we just start without that piece of shit or should we wait a sec? Well, we let's should kick, wait let's because kick him. Oh, this, this yeah, what if he be... came back and he was kicked? That would be funny. This movie just started and just kept going. It's like, <laughs> "Oh, stop." <laughs> it was one of those weird movies that started and then kept going. <laughs> Why didn't just you go. just start and stop immediately? Yeah, god. Yeah. So, so hang on, like, do we really believe that the, this abomination is the result of Disney meddling and JJ didn't get the film he wanted? Because there was a lot of JJ in this film. Yeah, no, I, there I, was, I, but I can, I can believe that um, from the point of view that it feels very safe and it feels like very much falling back on tropes and characters that seem like yeah. they'll be a safe bet. This does seem like a group project in a way. Yeah, like designed by committee. Uh, yeah. So I, I could, I could believe that. Because if so, that should be public. JJ should be a bit vindicated then, because it, like, which director would want this movie under their belt? <laughs> no one. Them? Well, it's not going to hurt his career because he's already signed a big deal with yeah. Warner Brothers for like DC, so he's fine. Um, because he his movies are successful. I, see how this I, goes. I think you know he's he's yeah. going to at least be able to claim. Look, everything was against me on this one. I inherited a mess from the Last Jedi. Yes, I, I had a yeah. fan base that was against me, <laughs> and yeah. Imagine they're even... in an interview, and then Ryan's like, "Yeah, well, I inherited a mess from you." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah. well, okay, <laughs> that's all right." <laughs> yeah, well, like, did you see the Last Jedi? Holy shit! I want to see them have a cage fight now. I, want to, I just picture the slap fight. It's just like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> They're going to snipe at each other on Twitter forever. I don't even know. Yeah, JJ about a year does down Twitter the road. Right, but yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, th th uh, three words to start this off. speaking. The dead speak. So, uh, the. We're going to spend an hour on the opening crawl, I just know it. We really are. There is a lot to unpack. Do you have a picture of it? Oh, oh, oh well, oh. I can get you this. This is what I'm using. Because uh, obviously it got leaked, so someone's already made like a fake version of it. Um, yeah, the, fu the funny thing is when I saw it first, I was like, oh, that, that's, a, that's a funny type of a translation. And yeah. I the cinema this morning, it's like, oh... <laughs> well, uh, funnily enough, it. if anyone has Mad seen lads, the um, the cam copy that's floating around, there's a translation. So it comes out in like a yes. different language at the beginning, and it's translated into English for our viewing pleasure. In case you know you don't speak that language, and they've translated that opening into "Deaths are speaking." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. It's interesting. Jay um, Longbone tweeted it. Yeah, let's go see that. It's. Oh, it's such a glorious translation. But yeah, um, so we immediately find out that apparently there's just broadcasts being sent out to the galaxy from Palpatine. <laughs> Which is the dumbest bloody <laughs> thing in the do world. Yeah. Don't play I have a guys, whole army. <laughs> I have a whole army ready to overtake the galaxy. I'm going to tell everyone about it so they can come and stop me before I get to launch my attack. Yeah. <laughs> I Good, great move there, so I, I have a question as well about the, the First Order in that case. So if he was building up this massive force of Star Destroyers that's going to take over the galaxy, was the First Order just like a little dip my toe in the water to see how it goes? <laughs> I don't know what they were doing this whole time. I thought that's what they were doing, okay, but no. So he yeah. said he was line... behind the First Order. What, what? <laughs> we have one line where he says he made Snoke and like that's all we get on it. And you see, you see, like copies of Snoke, Snoke like, floating in a tank. Why? Yeah. why did he do that? What he was is his like motivation? The do, do we get anything for why? No, what for no, making? No, what, so this was he's don't. like he's like the Force Awakens fans' wet dream because he's like a he's like a law book. It's like okay, so what was Snoke? And he's like uh, like a puppet test tube thing. Like okay, so what you you made him because he's like you know to to take over I guess and you're like take over what how. <laughs> He's like, I mean, you're asking too many yes. questions. Stop it. <laughs> so, uh, they're, they're like having a debate in, in, the, in the room on the planet. It's like, what? no, help, stop asking questions. No, I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, 
So maybe he didn't make the First Order in the thing. The First Order really is the leftovers of the Empire. But again, if he survived, why did he need to make Snoke to... Uh, yeah, why couldn't he just come back himself? My body exactly. was weak and frail. The, all the Empire lost was the Death Star. Everything else of the Empire was still intact. And if he survived, technically he was still Emperor of the Empire and he didn't lose Maybe much. He did. Maybe he did and in that context, more. it doesn't explain how then Snoke came to be the leader of the First Order. If he was a puppet, but was the First Order already in? existed before he got there, and how did he take over? And remember how yeah, early it like, happened. Ah. Remember, uh, they say that uh, <laughs> Snoke changed Kylo's mind. So we're talking like, what, like 10 years prior to... When we saw him, the Snoke's been empowered. Was he literally just like created? He was in like a little tie interceptor. They landed him in the force, the the, the first order. He got out. He's like, I, I'm your emperor now. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and they're like, oh, good enough for me. <laughs> but but before we even you know go that far in the timeline, because this is where it's established that Palpatine has a, is alive. I think we just need to point out how utterly ridiculous that is that he survived. At all. Yes. Just, oh, just, yeah, I wish we could do a super cut right now of just boom from the first explosion, boom from the second explosion. Just <laughs> feel like he survived because both of those. The original explanation, or in the the leaks, was that you know the the emperor that got killed was a clone of him, and he was just remote controlling him from from you know this Sith homeworld. But now we're saying no, that was actually him that got flung down that yeah. reactor shaft. Exactly, and he just like didn't die. <laughs> Yeah, I, that, that's exactly the argument someone put to me, is that, no, 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 that was a clone that died, and then I was like, but the body we see of the Emperor in this movie is broken beyond belief, which yeah. is directly implying that that was the same body that died. If he, if he would be perfectly intact, he would have a fresh mm. body if that was a clone that died. And so... Because uh, it, well, it might have worked. All, his fingers yeah, are all kind of severed and, and exactly. Like, Death Star like, took that off that explosion a few fucking blew off my iris. He just comes, I, he just comes flying back up that reactor shaft. I want the <laughs> scene <laughs> where they celebrate the story of the Death Star that it zooms right in. We see, you know, in the exact same way we saw Leia and TLJ, he's floating away, zooms right up to his face, his eyes he's open. He's got a Dragon Ball Z energy bubble protection. <laughs> not even that. I want. I want the same music as in TLJ, and then he lifts out no, 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 his no, no, arm, and he, 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 plays, he Mary um... Poppins floats his way down to the nearest planet. <laughs> not, not, not the same music. It plays uh, as he opens his eyes. It starts playing "Immigrant Song," which is the song from Ragnarok. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even. I'm not even gunning for like a really over the top thing. I just wanted to play out uh, like from the Sith's perspective as it did for the heroes in TLJ. You have like a bunch of you know generals at a window looking out, like, "Oh my God, he's still alive!" Pointing to him, oh like, "We can get to him." <laughs> and he he arrives on a planet. They put him on a stretcher immediately, and they're like, "Thank goodness." <laughs> <laughs> we're so lucky. And then he goes into a coma for a while. <laughs> Let's hide him I'm beneath tired. a floaty uh, pyramid or something. I don't know. And it might have actually worked if they actually did go the whole clone route, that it was a clone that died. And uh, Palpatine has always got a, you know, like a clone puppet that is working through. But they but they didn't even do that. They just did this ri well, ridiculous... That would make sense. If they, yeah, that could have worked. If um, he was like, oh, no, I'm always, you know, I, I, I don't want to die, so I, I control a puppet remotely. That's well, something he would do. But then when they the blow him up, I'd be the... like, was that a clone? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, exactly. Not to not to skip ahead, but like <laughs> right at the end, when he wants Ray to kill him, he says like, "Well, if you kill me, my energies will transfer into your body, and then I'll be in control of you." So, are they perhaps suggesting that when his physical body died on the Death Star, his energies just transferred into like a new Palpatine what body somewhere else? No, because then he would have fingers. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, then why is his body destroyed? He, like, you think if he was going to make a, a clone that he can transfer into, it would be a fresh one, you know? The, well, he had the clones of... It, it, there was, it was really weird seeing Snoke clones in the vat yeah. on Exegol there. Yeah, why would you need more of him? <laughs> So I'm wondering if he just can't make good bodies because Snoke turned out like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, like Palpatine. I keep telling you, you've got to wait till it's 100 percent done. He's <laughs> like, no, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm just, I'm so excited. I just want my new clone. Well, it was, it was out at like 80 percent, just all fucked up. And the melted. two, um, <laughs> the two Snoke faces you see in the test tubes look like they're disfigured in the exact same way. Like exactly. That's, that's just how it. They cloned making clones. Who was, just so they cloned someone who was disfigured. Well, maybe yeah, they, they maybe, that's the only answer, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think they wanted him to be disfigured so he'd look cool. At least the clones <laughs> look, look cool. like Django Fett. Yeah, you know, should have gone Django back. 
Yeah. Could have had more Django clones. <laughs> so I guess, oh my god. Um, that was, that, that was the other answer someone was trying to give to me about um, where the uh, crew to all these starships come from and everything. But maybe I'm skipping ahead. I'll wait until we actually get to the starships. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, sort of, because we can jump ahead and jump back just to see well, how these things make sense a little bit. But uh, the whole, like, why is he putting his voice out there? It's like, best interpretation I could possibly give is he wants Ray to come to him. And it's like, so why does he want the but, world to know about him? But, yeah, and he specifically tells Kylo to kill her. The first thing he does when Kylo is, you have to kill her. It's like he yeah, can't was, launch his attack it, until she's dead. True. Yeah, yeah his, true. his intentions, like, flip-flop, and they can change <laughs> yeah, because on the time. Yeah. At the end, movie. he's like, lol, I was kidding the whole time. And it's yeah. like, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> my favorite you and also... That. You know, it's it like, was like, oh, if you if you kill me, then I'll I'll transfer over to you. And but then she ultimately does kill him. Yeah, but then exactly. nothing happens. Right. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, so but it was with two lights. Uh, uh, two lights. Like, <laughs> favorite like, part of the yeah. True. If, if you part. really kill him, it wasn't in anger. The... That was right. that was Mace Windu's mistake. You only used the one Gotta lightsaber. Make him super yeah, dead. The idiot. Also, while while you've reminded me, Mace Windu was a Force ghost. Apparently, even though only Qui Gon figured it out. Well, to be fair, yeah, we don't know that Qui Gon voice. didn't teach Mace Windu after that if he was a ghost. Okay, sure. I don't buy that. <laughs> I, I wish he could actually do his, his voice in like full Samuel Jackson mode, like "Get up, motherfucker!" Well, you know, you know how Palpatine kill this motherfucker. You know how Palpatine said he's the voices of everybody inside Kylo's head. Imagine he faked all the Jedi voices <laughs> just to troll exactly. Ray. Exactly. Well, we or he we faked thought... a lot of Jedi voices going. Ray, you're so shit. Ray, Fucking... piece of shit. Can't do yeah, it. Right. I, I, like, do I was talking to Smaller yesterday about the whole um because it I said it surprised me that they started off with him being alive, like right off the gate. Yeah, Palpatine's yeah. back. He's alive. Here, <laughs> in fact, here he is in the flesh. Yeah. We're here on Secret Evil Planet. And it says, uh, and Palpatine says to Kylo that I've been every voice in your head and it has Snoke and Darth Vader and stuff. And later on, when, when fucking Han Solo appears <laughs> to Kylo Ben. Uh, Kyle Ben. Ren, Kyle Ben, Kylo Steve. He appears to Kylo Ren. Steve. Um, I'm like, man, <laughs> you, you're just trusting this. You're just buying this, even though you know that Palpatine controls the visions in your head and voices oh, yeah. and stuff. You just you just totally buy that this is yeah, this is definitely my dad. It's gotta be. <laughs> no, yeah, because he's, he's like he's like you're a memory. And he's like yes, it's like but how can you trust your own there, fucking memory anymore? <laughs> I know there are a lot of problems with that uh, the exchange between those two, but I'll I'll wait. Um, so yeah, our um next... all of our questions about Snoke none are none are answered in a decent way. It's just yeah, lol clone. Yeah, it, oh, yeah okay. if anything, it's just like, all right, you've kicked the can down the road. Now I need to know other things. I, I still can't get over the fact that the whole reason why Palpatine is ultimately defeated is because he announced his presence to the galaxy. Like, and that was in the crawl itself. The, well, yeah, the opening it's... crawl, this movie creates such a profound contradiction in the plot or stupidity in the plot that. Ah, uh, the uh, and because yeah. he wouldn't stop doing the lightning when it started disintegrating him. Uh, yeah, like, I would have stopped. I'm time? like, ow, that fucking hurts. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't working it's, it's, properly. It's, like trying to, it's trying to stop pissing like midstream. You, you know, it's just, <laughs> yeah. like, like, get him properly. Do I have better. to finish doing this? No, my favorite, my favorite part though about the scene where uh, the scene where Kylo is talking to Palpatine is when. Um, Palpatine says the girl. She's not who yeah. you know. She's not who you think she is. And then he pulls like a the, like this a smile that's just like I've been fucking. Like that's just <laughs> yeah. I've been getting busy. Also, I don't I don't want to let anything slide on this movie because you know they, he announces to the galaxy he's alive, and so when then we see Kylo is killing all these guys, and he gets a uh, like a Sith holocron and everything. How did he learn where that thing was? It was really hard for Rain everyone to find where the other one was. Like, did he have a book? Yeah, and he didn't have Palpatine. Well, Why mate, yeah, are yeah. there things? He had Darth Uchi's other is. knife. <laughs> because here's, here's what I know. We what I know to is Luke's that Palpatine. if I want to stay secret, right? If I want to stay hidden from the world and I send out assassins, what I do is I put the location where I'm at 
on the weapons my assassins use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I've got so many little, questions. I love how it just bleeds all over the film. Like, we cannot stay chronological yeah. so hard. <laughs> and also, like, isn't it, isn't it pretty interesting that the blade has a little compartment on it that just so happens to perfectly match? Oh, the oh I laughed. Oh, at, I dumb. laughed in the theater. It reminded me of the, the family guy thing. That's where when I really yeah. buried his gold. This is this yeah. is um this is JJ trying to have an Indiana Jones mm. moment with like doing a bit of treasure hunting. But the thing about these wayfinders is you have to physically take the wayfinder and use it to get to the home world, right? So you can only take that thing from its location and use it once, basically. Um, so no one's ever but, found it before. Oh, but no, well, they they no broadcast the like once they have the location from the wayfinder, they just broadcast it to the rest of the fleet, and yeah, so you that. don't actually need the wayfinder to get there. Once they have well, the coordinates, <laughs> but then whenever when you see Kylo using it, he's having to like interface into his Tie Fighter. It's almost like it's yeah. out, it's acting as some kind of navigation system for him. Uh -huh. yeah, oh, do you remember? Right. So it do you remember? So it's not like you can exactly. just look at it and know. We... You have to kind of take it with but, you. But, I think. But but no. But at the end, how does um everyone else get there? The Galactic Fleet, you know, the Millennium Falcon with uh, uh, like Lando. They don't have the wayfinders to go through all that crap. Didn't like because when Ray is Ray, flying Ray, through, Ray sends a message. With yeah, the, yeah, she's flying through an X wing and she broadcasts the coordinates to everyone, letting everyone else pass through. So you don't actually need the wayfinder to get there. You just need the coordinates. You only need the so wayfinder. Why did you think it went oh yeah, so that, that was the interesting thing, right? They showed it on screen. She <laughs> went from like dot to dot to dot, and they it was going yeah. like in different directions implying that it's not a straight shot you've got to do all these things but the place you you see them fly through it's, it's all space. moving it's all moving though <laughs> yeah. all of the like the red space cadsery stuff like that you have to avoid it's all shifting it's like how can you how can it be you just <sighs> How can you the map only a way, the that? only Force way is, is that if that, if that red, no. <laughs> that red nebula, no, no, if that red like nebula of some kind was actually a portal into another spatial dimension that the planet was like lost in, that's so the that only way, way you could. Yeah, climb. that's evil Sith that Force magic. Sith but that's totally not to what's presented. No, that makes no, no, no. I know, no. Wait, I know <laughs> that's not presented. Like, <laughs> there's like a bit, there's a bigger issue of that's true. How did the Sith ever leave? How did they find out how to? They leave? all got holocrons. <laughs> yeah. How did they build their ships though? There's no resources on I that. No, yes. They how had did to they build bring them in. What is, they had like the I UPS said, guy had to be given a wayfinder. Yeah, but like, what do they eat? It's stuff like that. How do you exist on this planet? There's nothing here. How do you get it's equipment, a, it's machines? A, it's maybe, a desolate maybe. planet with gravity wells and electric sp spikes of all kind, and there is no infrastructure there for our <laughs> huge factories to build a ma a, a fleet larger. Like you would as you would assume, the entire forces of the original empire that required the the resources of an entire galaxy to be able to build and sustain. That yeah. was implied. And now they have a single planet with no mm. factories or anything there, and somehow they build the largest yeah, fleet just, the galaxy has ever yeah, seen with bloody Death it. Stars yeah. on like lasers on there. <laughs> it's not Doctor Evil. I want I want Star Destroyers with freaking Death Star lasers on their heads. <laughs> Every um, single I, one of them. The thing is, right uh, when it comes to the whole Sith planet, there's so much wrong with it, and the the thing that we were talking about before was. Does this like mean that Korriban isn't in like this? Because they said this is the Sith homeworld, but Korriban is in. Yeah, Korriban's like, retcon now. Uh, Wait, like, where did where's Korriban the... come from specifically? You it's, guys it's not in uh, the uh... Nice Republic. <laughs> Okay. I think. Uh, no, even before then, the comic books and everything. Like Korriban oh, was really? originally the home world of the Sith race. The Sith yeah. race was actually a di different species in Star Wars and had these weird kind of like flappy, like flesh. They were things red, hung, right? Hung, hung there. Yeah, they were red, and they hung over their things, and they were supposedly the first ones that embraced the dark side or something. And they were the Sith, and they were from Korriban. Yeah, but that's all retcon. Doesn't doesn't exist. <clears throat> Um, it has to be, yeah, for this to make. I figure we, we're going to make sure we catch absolutely everything. So I'm just going to, I'll just read out the next portion of this retarded fucking opening and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll just keep on trucking. So General Leia Organa dispatches secret agents to gather intelligence. I, I, I thought that was funny. I was just like, I think that's optimistic in this gather movie. intelligence. Yeah. Again. And again, I just want to point out another, like someone who was trying to defend this film, tried to point out to me and says, no, 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 Palpatine only brought broadcast this to Kylo Ren. 
It's like, no, no. Not, they, no. I, no. He, he, he broadcasts galaxy, it to it? the galaxy. The galaxy yeah. hears a malevolent, the, the malevolent voice of Palpatine. And that, and Leia, she heard it too. She well, dispatches there, spies. When they get that, that, that intelligence, they say that the intelligence confirms he's alive, right? That's what they say. Like, so that they've been hearing his voice and then they get information from their spy that's like, yep, he's alive, he's at Exegol. Exegol is this... Which, well, I have so many fucking points to make. <laughs> I'm trying to like, choose which one I want to do the, first. The message from the spy, right? Why couldn't he have just sent it via email? It wasn't a big message. That's not how it works. You have to send it through a well, tube into R2-D2. You, you have to, to plug it into the void of I mean, I mean Death Star me. plans I can get because the, 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 da the data in those plans would be astronomical, that bandwidth, something like that, right? But this was a simple message that basically said, oh, um... Yeah, the yeah the Palpatine he is alive. Time is about the same well. Star Wars. So you're telling me he's on he could have sent this information with a fucking carrier pigeon, fitting on a scroll. Yeah, he could have. <laughs> that's all. That's Space all. Pigeon. <laughs> Space pigeon. <laughs> but no, they have to plug it into R two, and you see the upload thing on his thing. How could he take that log when it's like? I know. Like email today doesn't take that log. It was a message that small. It's almost instantaneous for us. I wonder what the message right, actually right, right, said. Right. Right Hello, out of it's fucking me. notepad, like a fucking sticker <laughs> notepad. Well, yeah, I'll ha I'd have to watch it again, but like, isn't all they get out of it that Exegol is a place, the Emperor has a fleet there, the Emperor is alive and well, well, alive there. Like, that's it, right? Yeah, and that, he's going to launch message. his attack within a certain Oh, yes. Frame. Yeah, and he wants to attack. Exactly. There's nothing, there's no, like, there's not even a schematic. There's not, like, a readout. There's just, <laughs> it's just, like, a casual just sentence. A word they could yeah, send a stuff word on a hologram, <laughs> like, in, like, they could do hologram Skype calls in the prequels. <laughs> so, God, we're not even 1% into this film. WhatsApp, something. <laughs> What's up? It's me, Palpatine. I'm back. <laughs> back bitches. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. Hashtag do it. <laughs> and, uh, someone said, tell Shad the Death Star plans are transmitted in A New Hope. Death Star plans, I can believe, are very complicated. Uh, I mean, and even in um, uh, uh, what the, the, the single Rogue movie, one. Rogue One, that Rogue one. the transmission took a while and required a massive antenna um and they needed to be they, like the shield like the shield was blocking it off and all that stuff and so that was also implying that this is a lot of information they're trying yeah. to transmit um so yeah but yeah I, I just thought it was funny that it was like leia's gathering intelligence like nondescript intelligence she's out there <laughs> putting her feelers out for intelligence uh while Rey, the last hope of the Jedi, trains for battle against the diabolical First Order. And I have what to agree with- it was. What I have to agree with Poe. What the fuck is she doing? Like, training? <laughs> You're like the best, most powerful person on our team, woman. We need you. Yeah. Like, what are very you doing? Early, very early on, we discover that Poe is pretty annoyed that Rey, who's obviously their best person at fucking everything, everything. Isn't, <laughs> isn't out there helping them. She says that I have to train, and Poe's like, train? Like, no, you should be out there. You're, you're too perfect. <laughs> You've beaten you everyone training. already. And it does Poe actually back. say that she's their best pilot or best fighter? Best and fighter. Because I thought fighter. that was Poe. I thought Poe was like, his big thing was he was the best pilot. Yeah, you know, well, remember. It used to be his thing, but yeah, in yeah. this movie, you would be forgiven for thinking Poe is actually not that great of a pilot at all. Yeah, he, he's right. about to do the light sprinting thing, and then Chewie says something, and then he goes, uh, yeah, well, Ray's not here, is she? And it's like, oh exactly. my god, like, he's supposed <laughs> to be pilot man. Like, what the hell? It, it's, <laughs> Ray, yeah, it's just so that Ray can bang on about that compressor thing again. Oh, you've overloaded the compressor. I love, yeah, by the way, the first thing she says to him is like, you can't do that because of blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I did. So, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I love that they're angry at him. Finn thinks it was reckless. She's angry at him. It's like you realize there's nothing else. Yeah, I was gonna say, Shad, you 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 said you didn't know why they were doing the light skipping thing, right? Yeah. That yeah, they do. Like, well, they're doing it because of the hyperspace tracker. But they don't say that. They like the hyperspace that. tracker. Yeah, they don't say that. Said that. No, I agree, I, I agree. But like the the clue would be that the Tie Fighters keep jumping after them. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, that would be the then, seat, the, uh, but I, I'm blown away by the fact that the hyperspace tracker is now on individual TIE fighters. It's not yeah, actually yeah. a Star that Destroyer. Yeah, that's quite a massive component in a Star Destroyer last movie that they had to turn like, off. That's what I mean, JJ made it worse. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just had it so that a scout troop of TIE fighters, you know, because they're all around the world looking for different 
uh, possible entry points for, for how everyone's fucking everything up with, with, uh, the resistance or whatever. But no, he was just like, yeah, each TIE fighter can track you now. It's like, wow. And, and hang on, Man. didn't, I didn't Han doing. Solo say in The Force Awakens that, um, coming out of hyperspace in a planet's atmosphere is insanity and one of the most difficult things anyone's ever done. And it was like, you can't do that as well. Yeah, but I'll risk it, right? But when Poe, hyperspace jump skips or whatever, he's coming out in atmospheres multiple times. Oh, he's wait, you're, he's, in Force Awakens, he's talking about, because they're trying to go past a shield, right? That has a refresh rate yeah. of whatever, so he has to get, yeah, uh, I agree, I totally agree with you that, like, of all the things you could randomly light speed into, or hyperdrive into, sorry, uh, he no, bumps into three consecutive space. planets, yeah, into like, what? Space. And not only three consecutive planets, but three planets with giant Cthulhu monsters and towers and everything all over <laughs> the place. Just fucking go somewhere else, man. Imagine how, because JJ was probably like, we got to make it interesting, right? But you, you just do it realistically, and he goes, whoa, and they, they travel to space. Then they travel again in space. Travel again in space. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, tell this is somewhere shit. else each time. Like, he so also, it's, he it's also said last try, maybe, different. he said last attempt, maybe forever or something with the last one. Does that mean that wherever they ended up, hopefully they, they were, you know, they lost the TIE fighters, but they weren't home and they ran out of, you know, fuel or whatever? Uh, it's a good thing they didn't a, all follow us back here to our base. I think it was just a case of overloading their systems or something. Like, if you do it in short order too much, it'll blow up or whatever. Mm. But whatever, it had no repercussions. Time yeah, they, well, the fire. Falcon got damaged and Ray was all pissed at it, but I was just like, woman, they're alive. They They've got the info. The was like on fire and everything. Like, this oh, was, shit, I, I, was like, I was annoyed because I, I didn't just, know that. What are they supposed to do? I didn't know no, that Falcon died was instead. your set of yeah, that, your, that, well, your ship. Fringy, Fringy had the point there. It's like it was, if it was a choice between hyperspace skipping and death, <laughs> Ray seems to imply that she would have rather them die than well, damage. I always, you should have chosen death. I had the thought that were they trying to imply that if Ray was there, she could have escaped it without light speed skipping? No, they, they were just implying that She's better she at would it? have advised them not to do it because of the compressor bullshit. Because that's well, the first I mean, thing she, she lectures them about when they arrive, so... But so like, she's like, yeah, she's not like, here to stop me. How many TIE fighters actually on the Falcon's tail at that point? Like, um, oh, Are you whoa. saying they should have just taken them on? They should have just fought them! Poor yeah, Poe took out like... Oh yeah, they, they knock out loads of them, the don't they? Makers. Like, these are just TIE fighters, they're not that dangerous to them. <laughs> They've wiped out so many so easily. No, the new, the new super TIE fighters, each one of them has the firepower super. to destroy. I can't believe they all have a hyperspace <laughs> tracker attached to them. Not only do they have a hyperspace tracker attached to all of them, but it seems to be automatic. Like, they go, and then the TIE fighter is like yep. seconds behind. Oh. It's just like, whoa. Yeah. More than that, how how than much that, is this going to... TIE how fighters much is this Fuck up future but, battles, though. Like, if they make more Star Wars movies and they've got to incorporate this into battles now, like, how, how impossible is this going to be to write? <laughs> I think the next person to write for this is going to be like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> I can't yeah, be yeah. to deal with this. The trackers oh, have all no, broken we... down and we don't know why. No, it's just, no, it's just <laughs> like, oh, we've, uh, we've invented new technology that makes the trackers redundant and not work anymore. <laughs> That's what it does. TIE, <laughs> TIE fighters also have hyperdrive now. Just, they honestly. If, 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 like, after you just said that, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, what I'll do is just, uh, as a writer, I'll be like, Hyperdrive used to run on a singular frequency. Everybody now is just, they do use yeah, a random exactly. frequency to use it so you can't track it. Or, or yeah. just as they're about to go into battle, like, everyone got your tracker jammers ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Just say tracker jammer. But the, the, uh, that's the kind of thing where you'd be like, thanks, by the way, Ryan. Thanks a lot. The, yeah. you know. yeah. <laughs> man, remember why we didn't have to worry them. about this? But JJ yeah. just ran with it, man. Like, he, he just. And the one in a million thing. I honestly well. think he did it to give yeah. him that scene mm -hmm. where you, it, we've never seen that in Star Wars before. They hyperspace, hyperspace, hyperspace into all yeah, these different things. Sort of giant yeah, worm. Yeah, it's the Han Solo equivalent of cheap world building that is meaningless. Yeah. Like new things without any weight to them or interest. But with well, all well, of this hyperspace well, tracking, well. with the hyperspace kamikaze, the rise of Skywalker has basically become the lore equivalent of the English language. And it's just one massive mess. <laughs> and they can't make it work. You can try and pull out different pieces well, so of stuff. I, I was like, kind of so hoping... like hyper, hyperspace tracking is like an irregular verb. Like... Yeah. <laughs> except an I after E, except after C, but here's 37 examples where that doesn't count. <laughs> so the English and language hyperspace. Created by Ryan Johnson. <laughs> yeah. um, Roll up.
So then, oh my goodness! Uh, I guess it ends with. Uh, Meanwhile, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren rages in search of the Phantom Emperor, determined to destroy any threat to his power. I'm I'm just gonna say that that sentence structure there and the word choice is absolutely terrible. Yeah, like, you rage in search <laughs> of something. Rages He's in search of a Phantom angry. Emperor. Yeah. I, I almost think they meant to say range. Bad. He's ranging in search of him, but. That also he's just he, sense, no. You don't so. understand. He's angrily <laughs> looking. Okay. <laughs> he's <laughs> upset. Yeah. He is upset. So, That's what Kylo is. Like, he's upset. Fucking you know, emperor. When, you know when you've lost your phone and you like it, you've looked everywhere that you think it reasonably should be, and you're getting pissed off. That's what <laughs> he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first planet he goes to is apparently Mustafar. Uh, that was confirmed by the Visual Dictionary. The, obviously, there's nothing in the film. I think that. Like definitively nah, says that, but to, um. When does he go? Wait, when does he go to Mustafa? That's the opening. The very first scene that oh, you see him in. That doesn't look who, like Mustafa. No, it doesn't. Who, but you who know, or whatever. what is he actually fighting? Well, so I was gonna say, right in the leaks, I remember us reading that the two um, wayfinders. It was the Emperor's wayfinder and Vader's wayfinder. That's what they were referred to as, which makes kind of sense if Vader's would be on Mustafa and the Emperor's would be in his throne room, or at least some kind of weird bathroom it attached to it. Um. But I was like, if it's Vader's, why would Vader put it in a stone block in the middle of a forest? Like, why would... Yeah. What? <laughs> and then who is he fighting? Why would the people on Mustafa be, like, anti-Sith, you know? Yeah. He just arrived there and just slaughtered them all. It's like, <laughs> Like, we're on your team. Oh, they're, they're trying to help him, but he's like, I'm raging in search of this thing. <laughs> no, please, I'm trying to help you. It's right over there in that box. Ah! Yeah. Stop but, killing us, please. To so talk about the... Um, because we, we mentioned the breakneck speed of this film, I just want to reference the fact that we see him kill a couple of people in slow motion, he picks up the object, it zooms into it, it shows him flying through the space cancer, already going to the Emperor. It's like, whoa, oh, yeah. alright, chill out. Yeah, like, um, spend more time on it. the fuck's yeah, happening? Have, like, those, those, those cables attached though... to the thing, apparently that works somehow. Did, did you guys yeah, notice like... the fact that he moonwalked his way into a, a lightsaber strike? Yeah! <laughs> It's like, oh, yes. Uh, it's, it was so cool, around, though. He has a lightsaber was... pointing behind him, and then he, like, what steps back into someone. It's so unnecessary. Shep, you can just attack Shep, them your normally. Swordman. Your swordman. Uh, How practical is that? How practical is moonwalking in medieval warfare? Uh, yes. <laughs> we, we need to know. Of, it's, oh, I can't even say how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice another, of them to There's another point in, in the distance. fight scenes when when he's fighting the Knights of Renride, he turns <laughs> like around, he holds the lightsaber on his back, he like poses there and waits for someone to hit the lightsaber like for a, like for a good while, right? In terms of yeah, uh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that. And he's like he's like pleased when it happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> he like makes a face of like hey, hey. and it's like what? That's so cool. It's like, it's if so cool being posing dead like again. that, I'm gonna don't aim for the right weapon. Right. It's just, hit them and they'd be dead. <laughs> the fact that he has the lightsaber anyways. That's just the oh yeah, this is, oh by the way, you could you could transport objects through the force now. At yeah, this just works now. Like, this is oh, the thing that they set it up. They set it up with the water. It makes well. total sense that you can they tell it anything you well. want. Before we go that far, right? These <laughs> Sith holocrons, and they're not holocrons, they're wayfinders, but, but anyway, they seem to be fairly insecure you'd think if the sith actually made these things which leads to their mm -hmm. home world they would have like a code or something for you to access the information inside but it seems like anyone who picks them up all you need to do is attach a few wires to them and <laughs> boom they work it's just yeah um the so i think we kind of talked about this a little bit but this is the scene to talk about it there is a specific shot where he's heading to the to the planet and you can see the space cancer in the distance, and do you know what's surrounding it is is a lot of area that's blank. <laughs> Seems space? to me you might be able to go around the space cancer. Well, of course, it's space. It's space. <laughs> it's not like a road where someone set up a toll booth. It's, that's what I mean. it comes across that way. Like you're not allowed to go here unless you go through that, and everyone has to abide by it. It's like an unofficial rule. <laughs> yeah, it's like that would take me outside the shipping lane. I can't go that way. <laughs> It just lands and looks up. Like, I didn't need to go through impossible. this. Like, Come on. The entire huge fleet shows up at the end. They're about to go through the space. Cancer land is like, can we go around it? And then, I don't know, fucking Poe's like, no. Nope. What? Nope. <laughs> you <laughs> you failed to go through. 
That's not very sporting. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna go around it. No, you can't. Oh fuck, they can. Okay. The <laughs> I guess drama. No, up. guys, come back. The drama. Was he in hyperspace, going through the space cancer, or flying regularly? I'm pretty sure he's flying yeah, regularly. Flying regularly. I think that's what they were trying to. In, and this if, thing, if it was like a weird version of hyperspace, which took you to a completely different part of the universe, let alone galaxy. Okay, that might explain the space cancer, but if they're just flying regularly, <laughs> I don't know. Was, uh, but it was like physically there, though. Like when he's in normal well, speed. They did, this, yeah. they did this in Mass Effect 2. When they go to the Reaper world or whatever, you have to yeah. jump into a certain like coordinate place that's a little safe spot. And then you show up and there's debris and blown up ships and crap you like that. the collector base. Yes, the collector base. Um there was like danger, but there was a reason where they had to like jump into that well, one spot. They were in the uh, the galactic core, so yeah, and also yeah, dangerous shipyard and all that. They actually put some thought into it. It's almost oh like the writers gave a shit. Writers giving a shit. What do you mean? What? I I, I don't remember that anymore. What's that like? <laughs> oh, it was a wonderful time. It was a joyous time. It was decades ago. For <laughs> <Before laughs> <Yeah>. Disney. Um. <laughs> What, so what about like because we'll try and throw some positives in I guess what do you guys think of the 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 place that that the emperor is chilling in this whole like this is like big statues cool. lightning like, cool. yeah. I mean it's you know the the amenities nice. are pretty lacking but the outlook is nice yeah <laughs> it's very it's very much a video game final level yeah yeah, oh, yeah. I'd agree with that yeah. I think I think it has a cool yep. factor and I'm happy to say I was like oh, that's neat. Uh, yeah, it's like this is kind of like Star Wars Moria. And like, all mm -hmm. right, okay, they, they, big chains. Okay. They really play every trick in the book, like with with the cinematography. You know, lightning Flashing strikes. Lights. Yeah, yeah, like everything they can do to make this place look as sinister as possible. I mean, the lightning I, I, even I, makes strange noises. A... Oh yeah, well, it's it's yeah. making like I don't even know what you would call it, but you know, like uh, yeah. almost noises. stretched Sith violin noises. sounds like Sith <laughs> lightning. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh. That um, must be annoying when you live there I know, for right? years. Yeah, like if it's that was your long. actual home world, like yeah. how depressing would you? You can't like, live there if you have epilepsy. Uh, how could anyone live there? <laughs> <You can't> live. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think anyone's gonna live there. No, well, well then, there and well, then why thousands of people live but there then, apparently? So I'm kind of wrong about that. Tens well, of that, thousands. I mean, it raises a good question: How could this be the Sith <laughs> home world well, if it's so inhospitable to life? I know life? how. Yeah, yeah. I know how. Please, no, go on. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities. Stop it! Someone <laughs> ah, shut up! Um, <laughs> Maybe so, it was nicer once, and then the space cancer took over, and then it's just turned to shit after that. Yeah, the, the Amazon guy that. couldn't get here after that, so things have been shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone in chat just asked, "How did uh, how did Sheev get back to Exegol when his wayfinder was in his vault or whatever, and Vader's was stuck in Mustafa?" You, you remember? Just... I asked the he same question Sith in my video. Sith memory. Uh, because, yeah, he, he did. Like, you, if you had the coordinates, you could just go there. So I guess he did. But, that. but... That, that's that's shown by Ray. Like, it yeah. is, you know, it's once you have the coordinates, you don't even need the wayfinder. Which is dumb because you can't. I know it's it's dumb. like if you have the planet, right? Like, man, you better hope no one finds that planet of yours because it's not like you could move it. The force. So they're just like, really good at keeping secrets. It's so like what I guess. You know, Could no they, one is ever left it's there. Surrounded by impenetrable forests. They should have <laughs> the, in, <laughs> barriers of blockage. They should have just said the whole space cancer surrounded the planet. But then again, you'd be like, yeah. how the hell are you gonna get star destroyers out of there then? It's within a it's within a Wait, galactic I, cloud of remember, gas. Um, General Pride gets there. Did he go through the how did he get through there? <laughs> oh. Well, he was commanding the ships at the end. What? Also, all of those oh, yeah. troops uh, made it there. Are all those yeah. troops like oh, those yeah. weird robe dudes in just armor now? I mean, it's not like Sorry. armor. You and each of the well, Star Destroyers are fully to... stocked. Where are they getting their resources? I know, I know, right? But well, it, it's, it's General pretty... Pride makes a statement as well, like saying, like, if we can get possession of this fleet, it'll increase our resources a thousandfold. That's the actual Ten thousand fold. Ten thousand right. fold. <laughs> yeah, so even say there's like ten thousand ships, which is a stretch, but okay, there's ten thousand yeah. of these stars. That means one. you've got one of your own. <laughs> oh. <You've got> one. <laughs> That's oh, like no. Well, well, I guess yeah. I guess they're in I guess he's counting them as like more because they're so like do they can destroy a planet each. Um, I Which like means the... you can't get any resources from it. It's so weird. But then it's just it's so unclear. Like what what is the first order's 
situation? Like, are, no they, are they on the ropes here? Will building, they, drinker, they will building. Do, what what are you talking about? <laughs> no, the previous movie implied that they were in control of the whole galaxy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so then what do you they need these Red Star Wars. Destroyers for? To get exactly. more control of the galaxy. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, planet-destroying technology is now so, like, you can make that so compact, and apparently you can just make thousands of them on a whim. Do you think you have a like Star left? Destroyer hovering over every planet in the it's galaxy? Almost, just like, it's oh, almost like JJ has fuck completely up. fucking ruined that as a concept in the world now. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, they're gonna sell guns that can destroy planets soon in that universe. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's the equivalent of everyone being able to just buy nukes on Amazon. When everyone's yeah. super. <laughs> No, I, I oh, mentioned no. this in my video, that one of the implications of the Death Star was to produce the energy required to be able to destroy a planet, you needed generators and mechanical stuff of she of such sheer magnitude, it required being a small moon to just reach yeah. that. Yeah. And that that's completely sense. out the window now. Anyone yeah, now it's just a gun. It's just a it's gun. It's just an attachment. You can pop it on a fucking <laughs> yeah, X-Wing. It's an upgrade. It's a, it's a level, it's a tier four upgrade for your ships. <laughs> And you just slap that puppy on can, there. And, the know. M4A1 attachment, Death Star laser. <laughs> yeah. Throw it on. Uh, you have you equip your ships with an under barrel planet destroyer. <laughs> and if people try and say it's a progression of technology, so you're saying in like 40 years they managed to compress something that required a small moon to be able to achieve into something the size of a star destroyer. That's not just yeah. a progression in technology. That's a leap of unfathomable magnitude in such a yeah. short time. Like, yeah, oh my god! What you're forgetting is that the force. Oh, no, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> we have invented technology that the Jedi um, could have never conceived. The will of the force. The, so the dark side leads to the many force abilities. Fucking hates that well, well, it, there, there's also the the problem as well. Like, what if one of these ships was boarded by the enemy and fell into enemy hands? Suddenly, oh, your no. enemy's got control of a planet-killing ship. They immediately uh, really target like, Exegol, really and Palpatine's like, <laughs> "Not again!" <laughs> 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 Damn you, Jedi! Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, so so. I mean, Palpatine would survive if Exegol got. Of course, got of course, loaded, he would. I guess. If He'd the laser fine, was literally pointed at his He's eyeball, he'd survive. <laughs> He's clearly still alive, guys. He melted in front of the camera, but he, he survived worse. So <laughs> yes, like, I do worse. love the idea that Disney are like, he didn't die before, but he's dead now, and it's like, oh, okay. You sure? <laughs> and they're like, well, it depends how long the actor lives for. We might bring him back. I mean, with Grand Moff Tarkin, that's not even true, is it? I mean, Leia was in the... Can we talk about Leia? The, the average... <laughs> Why not? It's fucking awkward. It's like... So... <laughs> so my, I, it's an, I am sure you will be able to add to this. But when I watched this movie, this film, mm -hmm. this experience, I felt like the Leia bits were very clunky and awkward. Like oh, yeah. I, knew, that I knew the actress was dead, you know. Well, it's it's clear like they they obviously had to like construct scenes entirely around what little snippets of dialogue they actually oh, yeah. had her saying. Yeah, you and know, there was really a bit where showed. she was just like, "Be optimistic," and it's like, "Oh fuck, we need to construct an entire situation that's going to justify her saying that yeah, thing." What deleted scene from the Last Jedi was that pulled from? Yeah, well, it's like um, just they have her like they show her from the front saying like. Ray, I need to tell you something. Then they cut <laughs> to a behind the view from her. It's like all of the specific stuff to the situation. And then it cuts to her front again. So, and she says, like, you see, that's what I had to say. And it's, the the bit where, it's the bit yeah. where she walks away and Maz Kanata just goes, <laughs> like, Leah knows what she has to do now. <laughs> she just speaks for it. It's so <laughs> awkward. They should have just fucking had, like, the entire film Leia whispering into someone's ear and them going, What's that, Leia? You're saying <laughs> you're saying we should destroy you saying What's we, that? we need to go to Exegol. Well, well. The super awkward thing for me, right, is there's a deleted scene that I've seen. I talk about it. I'm pretty sure I've actually it's in my TFA part two, where she says mm. to uh like they're concerned about BB eight and Poe because of what's happened in Force Awakens, like the opening scene. And it's uh funnily enough, it's um what's his name? Snap Wexley talking to her and uh Who's Snap Wexley. He's he's discount porkins oh you're he's, big big he's a is larger he gentleman 
Is he is he the portly he gentleman? I mean, I I think I brought this up on the other stream, but so he his name is Greg Grunberg. He's um. That's a great name. Wait, is that his real name or a Star Wars name? I, no, it's his real. <laughs> okay. Snap, Star Wars snap Wars. Wexley. Like is Someone in this movie really. called Babu Frick. Don't give me this bullshit. Okay, all right. Look, unreasonable things. He, um, I actually is, liked is him in. He was the mind reading man in Heroes, Heroes. season one. Yes, yeah. from Heroes. Okay. He was he was good in that. He was also in all of Alias. He's a good friend of J.J. Abrams, as far as I'm aware. He was in The Force Awakens relatively briefly, but he was still there. Ryan forgot about him, and he just wasn't <laughs> in TLJ, even though we saw what was left of the Resistance on that ship. He's not in the film. <laughs> he, then, he alone was five percent of the Resistance. <laughs> and, I mean, and, he was a large guy. Maybe he's ten percent. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, was just, off, he was off sick that day, maybe. And he just <laughs> comes back. But there's a deleted scene where he's talking about, like, I, I think it's him, it could be someone else, talking about, like, the dire situation of Poe having been captured at the beginning of uh, Force Awakens. And she says, like, the droid hasn't been found. And then they're like, oh, God, we're fucked. And then she says, never underestimate a droid. And then when I saw her say that in Rise of Skywalker, I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh. <dear. laughs> And and you know that's how they did it. They looked at all of their footage of her, and they're like, "How can we? How can we? How can we wedge this into the film?" And it's like, <gasps> oh, yeah, but definitely felt like she. You knew she wasn't there. You yeah. knew that this was camera trickery. You know this was repurposing of scenes. All of her her dialogue seemed short, glib, awkward. It yeah. was really, really strange. Certainly noticeable while I was watching it to the point See, where man. She was in this film way her, fake. Her ghost Leia much. was yeah, way too much. Absolutely. It's, and it's then they're just like, one. yeah, she's done. You know, I keep, I keep wondering, would it have been better to just kill her off off screen and and have the movie kind of open with like her funeral or something like that? Yes, I would. It would have been so. I think so, sensible. actually. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Does anything even change if we take her out of the movie? Yeah, Ben. Uh, ben wouldn't ben, have got stabbed. Ben nah, have we can we can totally yeah, change can, that. Like, there's yeah, no. Yeah, we can get around that. Raise a dick. Yeah, that <laughs> was a, that was an interesting moment though. It was like, holy shit! I think Ray's gonna Lurs. leave it. Oh, apparently, according to Midnight's Edge, it was only repurposed TFA footage. There was no TLJ footage that was used. I heard that. I don't oh, know if wow. there's a particular reason. Maybe he really just hates that film. <laughs> it's yeah. taking it a bit far, but all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe even use I'm not going to give Ryan credit for anything. Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to that. This film totally <laughs> middle fingers Ryan Johnson so many times. It is so <laughs> fingers Ryan Johnson. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, it does. So right the next up, hole. the Emperor tells Kylo that he has been the voice of Vader, the voice of Snoke, and obviously himself inside Kylo's head this whole time. Now, this is a pretty big deal, considering that The Force Awakens made it very clear that the motivation for Kylo almost entirely is that Vader has been talking to him about how he needs to do X, Y, and Z. And obviously we all took issue with it as, as viewers, because we were like, but Vader's a good man, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And so yeah. it would be like, apparently no one told Kylo that he was a good man, and that he just believed that Vader was bullshitting everyone else. But like, finding how this out should be... Like world shattering. Like you, yeah, Vader like, wasn't real this whole time. Wow. Yeah, the whole reason I'm dude, even dude. here is a lie. I have to go back and tell Luke that, like, oh my god, like I've I'm been so tricked. sorry. I, to, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm. I fucked up, and I'm so sorry. Well, there, oh. there's kind of other implications to this as well because if Palpatine was controlling Snoke as a puppet, then he was aware that Kylo Ren betrayed Snoke and murdered him. So well, why would he a, like, try and enlist his help now when he's like, yeah, you're clearly the kind of person who kills your master. There's a key That's piece a, of dialogue. Yeah, he wants that. He wants to be killed in anger, though. Ah, uh, yeah. But this, like, this, like, really? It has to be by Rey, I think. No, he, I don't Not think he cares Palpatine about that. Palpatine didn't need Kylo or Rey. He had a full fleet. He could have conquered the galaxy just by himself. Yeah, but he's, like, a, he's a floompy corpse. He needs his... He, <laughs> he, he wanted needs to be his, in that he sweet needs his young Jedi juice. <laughs> I have, to, oh, I have no. to suck your... I'm like a Dementor. I have to so, suck out your soul or some shit. Th this is why his plan is so nonsensical. He didn't know he could absorb life force when they get together. That yeah. was a surprise. So it wasn't to do that, okay? He wants Rey dead, so it isn't to overtake Rey's body. So is he wanting to overtake Kylo's body? And if he does, why does he send Kylo out to kill Ray? He could have done it right then. <laughs> he saw Kylo. He saw Kylo with his shirt off. He wants that body. 
<laughs> I want to. I wanted to highlight though that like so. You, do you remember when Kylo first Skype calls Ray, or is it's either the first or second? He tells her that he straight up wants to, he's going to kill Palpatine. Um, yeah. Kylo, Snoke was the one who set up the connection between you and Ray. Snoke is puppeteered by Palpatine. What what makes you think Palpatine can't just listen to what you're saying right now? We already know he can transmit into Kylo's head. Yeah, yeah, he talks to him in his exactly. head. You're right. There's a, there's a, that's another huge moment in the film where I was like, hang on. You can't just talk to anybody at any moment for any, like, it's as casual as a phone call. He's like, hey, Kylo, uh, I mean, <laughs> got some updates I mean, for you. It's, it's, implied that it, it's implied that it has to be Palpatine that's facilitating all of these encounters, mm. because, like, Kylo mentions in The Last Jedi, like, you couldn't be doing this yourself when he's talking to Rey. He's like, the strain of doing this would kill you. And then you find out that it was actually Snoke who was doing it, but then... Clearly, uh -huh. it was Snoke controlled by Palpatine, so he must be aware of all of these. Well, he, he says Snoke is controlling Snoke. We just say he made Snoke. He could have he, been yeah, yeah. Well, dude. I was going to say there's a key piece of dialogue where he says Snoke <clears throat> trained you well, implying Snoke was actually his own dude. It's just that Palpatine created him. Yeah, not I trained you well because that was me. Because honestly, time, if you I think Ryan Johnson would have actually. I would love to be on set when they were making TLJ and be like, Snoke is his own dude, right? Like, I know he's not important. I know we don't care about his backstory, and it's awesome that you're killing him. But he is his own dude right like he's he makes his own decisions he, he has his own interests man. yeah like are we supposed to and i i know that he'd be like yeah 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 and then jj would just be yeah, in absolutely. the background like plotting jj's the palpatine of the star wars you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, disney was manipulating both of them from behind the scenes i was I mean, I at the end of the movie they're gonna kiss Oh I was going to highlight, by the way, we only have one hour left before we're not allowed to talk about the movie anymore because that would be over the amount of time the movie is. So, oh, you know the no, rules, guys. No. You know the rules. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's yeah. a damn well, shame. We're also about That's to cross 10,000 live views. That's kind of surprising. Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn! Oh, really cool. 9991? Oh, so, uh, Sick! Right. I think that's actually a record for an EFAP episode, because we had the Game of Thrones so. discussion <laughs> once that went over it, I think, but this is definitely the highest we've ever had oh, for really? EFAP. This is People want to see us rip into this movie, apparently. <laughs> it's really shit, guys. It's really it's bad. It's a really shit movie, yeah. We're not going to finish. It, we could talk so, about this movie for 12 oh, hours. That's the thing, we're you barely know. scratching we the surface. we got so much to get through. EFAP. I, um, had a, I had a nap this, uh, this afternoon. I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> So, oh, this is like I'm past the time I normally go to bed, so I, I might die. Snoke, that's over 10k. Snoke, there we, um, go. Uh, there we, nice. go. we did it, guys. High five. All right, we did it. All right. Yeah. see you next All week, everybody. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, no. Talk amongst yourselves. To <laughs> of um, fuck the super chat. Clearly, enough of you. <laughs> so. The fact that there's Snoke clones in the tanks, despite the fact that Snoke has been running now for like 10 years, does that mean he's been trying to make new ones? Is it like an army of or is it? <laughs> Why keep those if they're the original? Or, or this actually could explain it, that Snoke recently died, therefore he's trying to make some new ones. Why? I mean... I don't know. I, well, this is, this is a year later, so yeah. Well, like, if he had them in reserve, why can't he just like send out a new Snoke to replace the original one? I, well, it's not even just that. Remember how powerful Snoke is? Like, why would you not yes. just want to yeah. mass produce make an these army things? Of him. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's what, I'm that's what I'm trying to say. Make yes, an army exactly. Of in the Clone Wars, it's shown that making clones mm. isn't that difficult once you have like the original DNA and stuff like that, and so that there shouldn't be too much. You no, know, but you know, if he's having difficulty building i mean he had no difficulty building ten thousand star destroyers but one clone oh that's that's a tough one there that's a tricky one to get around well so, some people say that his army the people who are crewing all these star destroyers are clones that but they all look all. different they're all different but they people. all look different <laughs> but no they were, they were clones of multiple people oh see. right so yes. he had the like, clo oh, okay the where clones. were the cloning vats there what, did <laughs> exactly. they go to camino together uh, and then <laughs> if he's doing that why not make a few million Snokes who are incredibly powerful Force users <laughs> just yeah, have an I mean, army of Snokes? How's that for fucking point. the balance of the Force? <laughs> just yeah. generate them or, in a little why test not, why not just Why not just clone another Ray? And then you've got one oh, right there. Yeah, or clone, so, like, yourself. Clone yeah. Palpatine. We, it, it talks about the balance of the force, destroying right? thingies on their arms. Oh, yeah, but the whole the balance of the force is there's like 10,000 <clears throat> Sith on Exegol, so there was never balance. But yeah. what were they doing? They're just hanging out forever. And 
and like, now what are we? Was going on. Where where the rise of Skywalker ends, it's Ray, and you're like, okay, so what's the balance like now? Is is there going to be a, an evil Ray that pops up somewhere else? <laughs> well, yes, like, Rags. Like, Did you see her rules. in this movie? She was in a vision. She had yeah, she had like golem face. She had golem teeth. Yeah. Uh, but there has <laughs> there has to be one though. There has to be out there teeth? a dark Shit. side Ray equivalent. Somewhere no, in the all galaxy. The, all the Sith are dead. It's a convenient all the Sith got crushed and they're dead. Well, no, hey, because look, we the balance... have no problems now. It no, I know. But it's, 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 it's like Sith we have dead. no problems until they want to make more movies and then they, we do it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yay. Can you imagine no, how confused... You're right. The whole there must be balance in the Force is very misunderstood. I think originally... For the force to be in balance, it meant that the light side was in power. Like yeah, I had someone trying to tell me that 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 is that is what true balance of the force is. The dark side is the anomaly, and it isn't that like equal dark side power and light side power. But with the new sequels, that's what they're implying that they're that they no good can't be winning. It has to be a balance between evil and good, and they're always fighting. That's yeah, what the, the force is trying to do. And if that's the, case, the video, the video force is a flipping jerk. Screw the force if it is yeah. doing that. The the You're video that asshole. Rags Wolf and I force. watched, uh, <laughs> it was like, yeah, it makes total sense. You have loads of Jedi. They're all counterbalanced by Palpatine, who then is like every one of them dies, then Luke comes in to counterbalance Palpatine. It's like, what? No, and then it's like, this makes sense because then you end up with Rey and she's counterbalanced by Kylo who's flipping between the... It's all it's all very straightforward. It makes complete sense. And then at one point he just goes, I'm not including Palpatine in this whole thing because I don't even know if he's alive or not. And it's just like, well, you can't just ignore Palpatine. <laughs> That chart did the opposite of what a chart is supposed to do. It was confusing as hell. Things. Yeah, it, the chart <laughs> made it worse. Because it doesn't make sense. Because none of this makes sense. Because well, it's all a even, shit show. <clears throat> even the original concept where if the Force was in balance by the light side being in power, that was the true balance, then the prophecy of Anakin bringing balance to the Force, the Force was already in balance with the Jedi in power. Unless they're trying to say the Jedi were corrupt and his whole purpose was to destroy the Jedi Order. Like, eh. but they didn't see. Like well, I, I think was it sometimes. not that the the whole concept behind the Jedi was that they were almost like force neutral because they strive to like eliminate emotions, which are like yeah, the driving. Yeah, that is the, the light driving, side. Like that. That's the underlining implications of the Jedi's philosophy, and it's not a good philosophy. Like you cannot believe in true good because that's an absolute, and only Sith deal in absolutes, which is an absolute statement. But yeah. <laughs> Objectively, like, no no review is objective. Yeah, it's like we have to get rid of your emotions, even though they're a part of you that you literally can't get rid of. They're chemicals in your brain. You can't make them go away. You, you just have can't. to learn to not it's... care about it, yeah. all the things that you <laughs> care about. That not was what, shit. like, yeah, that's <laughs> what Yoda was saying. Learn to let go of all the things you are afraid to lose. And so I was like, what, let it's go like, of wow, your loved ones? What an asshole. Like, You're not a family yeah. man, I can see. Thanks, Yoda. Gosh. <laughs> okay, I, I hate Yoda now. I love the Emperor. Palpatine <laughs> for the win. Um, so next up, this, cause this is so dense. Uh, he He's like selling... The final order to Kylo, like yeah, because this this is this is the proposition, right? Go kill Ray, and I will give you all of my ships, and you can take over the galaxy. And that you can... seems like an it's like we've trade. already taken over the galaxy. What are you offering me? <laughs> can I you just do it? But it's like you, you're bargaining with the supreme leader of the first order. Like that's yeah, effectively who... the ruler of the galaxy already. The galaxy trotting already. <laughs> and really, why does? Like, so is Palpatine's original plan is to make Kylo his successor. He doesn't want to overtake Kylo. He wants to set up Kylo as his, you know, that, yeah, successor. But why? I think Kylo he's, already uh, has the galaxy. Was he trolling what? him at that point? Was that all yeah, a lie? Yeah, I think he was, just, he was just using him to get Rey to him so that she can kill him and then take, him, take over her body. But so he, it's he almost like Kylo don't kill possible. Rey! How does, how does Kylo don't play into that, Rey. then? So he's like there to facilitate it. Like I don't know. Maybe he like knows Kylo... that Kylo can't kill Ray because he's not willing remember, to do it. And he was unaware of. To him. He was unaware of the Force Dyad. Even Kylo says he's unaware of the Force Dyad. Remember, he's shocked. He's like, "Oh my god, a Dyad of the Force!" <laughs> 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 I can't believe you brought the Dyad right to me. Oh my god, my fingers—they're growing. <laughs> <laughs> now I can jerk off some. <laughs> 
Oh, this, the motivations of this what? character just flip on a dime. This whole time. Oh, with um, the fingers just... growing back, something else must have grown back. Oh, God. <laughs> I need you your like massive cock, Kylo. I need your big dick energy. There has, there has been an awakening <laughs> <laughs> in my pants. Now that's what they mean by the rise of Skylar. Oh my god. I need like 10 minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> could, just... of, could like the 10,000 of you turn around or something? I, I can't resist uh, talking about it now because we just, we're on the scene. But you know, he gets red clothing once he's rejuvenated. I love the idea that yeah. they were on the floor, like knocked out, and he walked off to his like bedroom <laughs> and he put on some new clothes and then came yeah, back. Like a He's like, oh, what would work in a situation like this? Oh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't wear all red. black. All blacks just nah. Sith be looking so fly. <laughs> I have to put on this red cloak to celebrate my erection. Matt comes back with thing. sunglasses on. <laughs> Feast your eyes and despair. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how fly am I? <laughs> Look at my swagger. <laughs> Sith swagger. So. Uh, so he's gonna, yeah, and, and when he's selling this to Kylo, he... Actually, it's not connected in the back. I, um... I, think, I think we've just pointed out that he, Palpatine could not have been manipulating Kylo um, because, you know, the uh, the defense would be he told Kylo to kill Rey knowing Kylo wouldn't be able to kill Rey and ultimately lead Rey to him. But if he didn't know of the dyad, then... Uh, what the hell is his goal? So is that the question? Like, like... There's no guarantee that would work, and he has a whole fleet of lackeys and everything. Like, if he really wanted Ray brought to him, why is he, you know, relying on this shaky, flimsy, flip floppy, you know, dark side person who might even like him when he could have just sent out an army of people to kidnap her or whatever? But she, oh, she's too powerful. She, that I think work. that up to the moment in which he was like incinerated into pieces he would have just been like this is all a part of my plan all of this is yep this is exactly how i thought it was gonna go yep, 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 yep. I meant it. <laughs> even while he was being incinerated into like pieces. he's captured and like joker style he's just like yeah you think this isn't a part of my plan too <laughs> like, so things just happen to work out from in other movies yeah. but like turns out he always just does random stuff and says this is part of my plan. <laughs> it's a good thing everyone in this universe is incompetent beyond belief. If you think about it, Kylo was never actually, like, he was on top of Emperor Palpatine throughout the whole thing. He immediately says he's going to actually kill Palpatine. Palpatine doesn't know about the dyad, which is true, and that he just wants, I guess, he probably wants his ships. I don't know if he does, but, like, and you think about all the way to the end of the film, he decides, actually, no, fuck it, I'm going to kill the Emperor with Rey. Like, you know, there's no point where the Emperor has <laughs> tricked Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of just cheating, like, the Emperor types in God Mode into the console and just stops the both of them from doing anything. I thought it was so disappointing. It's just like, oh, they just lose. <laughs> the fact that, so, you have Rey with her lightsaber, Kylo with his lightsaber, they, they approach Palpatine, you're like, oh my goodness, and then he just force stops them. Nope. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. He's he didn't. Just, he didn't like, bonk them on the head with their lightsabers like Snoke did, though. So he loses a point. Well, Snoke's for that. got style. <laughs> yeah. so. yeah. <laughs> you, you think like it's like oh, it's gonna be like an epic lightsaber fight. It's like yay! It's like nope. nope. Stop it. He just goes nope. And I'm like oh. So I'm I'm glad we didn't get more um, Shivy lightsaber. What? I want to see him go whoa and spin around. <laughs> and you imagine him funny. fighting with a lightsaber with that thing coming out of his rear end, like moving him around like a puppet oh my while they're fighting? <laughs> Oh, if only I didn't have this Sith catheter attached to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so they show so his much. hands, right, li like moving upward, and then they show a Star Destroyer getting, like, pulled from beneath the ground up into the air. You guys remember this, right? Uh, okay, yeah. I have a lot yeah. of questions about this, okay, because so I watched that, and at no point did my brain... Th put, connect the raising hands to him raising the entire fleet through <clears> the force like because it that such an idea would be so ridiculous and so op in the realms of force you know lifting manipulating yeah. that no way could anyone lift an entire more fleet ridiculous than zapping well, thousands of and ships so with the lightning i just, I just took <laughs> they that they can I go up that. They oh, <laughs> oh, God, I, you're right. I just can't. took that with him, you know, um, uh, mirroring like and just uh, timing it right that when he's raising his arms, that the ships are, 
you know, initiating their anti gravel whatever and raising up at the same time, not using the force. But when I was watching Angry Joe and he was saying he's lifting it with the force, and I'm like, no, that can't be because that would be that would be. I thought I thought he was. I thought he was. I have another question about the ships as well. Like they were they were constructed underneath the icy surface of this planet to keep them hidden, right? Why? 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 No one can see it. What's the point in hiding them when yeah, I hit the planet? Do all, let me ask you this. What's the point in the main voyage of your brand new ship being plowed through the fucking ground? Like, yeah. why would you do that? Why would but you build since it in they, the ground? The ships, the ships can't go up. So it must have been him lifting it up with the force. Well, in fairness, the navigation tower would have been active at that point, right? So they could go up. <laughs> also, they could go up because the tower was like, oh yeah, up that, that it's, it's like, can you see me pointing? It's like that. Power is pointing up. It is fucking it's retarded whether or not he moved it himself, but that would be even stupider, assuming he did. Yeah, but I honestly just... think that's what they're implying. Yeah, we that, just that he was lifting with the force. He like because if that's the case, holy crap! Yeah, he's like... pretty powerful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, and you see this shot Dark where, like, you see like hundreds of them, <laughs> like and several spaceships. <laughs> you see like hundreds Remember. of them, and several of them have like soil and rocks falling off them, implying they all just came from the surface. And it's like, dude, yeah. how much damage have really you just thought... dealt to yeah, the planet? planet? I really thought you were going to say a lot of them had plant. soy on them. Soy, <laughs> <laughs> soy oh destroyers. That's, so That's what they were eating. <laughs> <laughs> We Star Destroyers, Sawyers? Star but, Destroyers. You know, remember when the Force was like this subtle thing that like might allow you to like move a rock or you'd be able to pull an object to yourself and then when you see someone cast Force Lightning it was like, holy shit, that's oh, yeah. powerful, man. Yeah. Now we're just into realms where it's farcical and it can do it anything is. and it's just, it has no meaning anymore because there's no we're limits. This, we're, we're, we're we are this level really of scaling are. away from Palpatine it, being able to destroy a planet with the Force. It has become Harry Potter magic that can do anything, anytime. Yes. And we, yeah, like, Harry Potter has once more upon rules. a time, like in the in the original trilogy, it, like if it stuck to the core, you know, utility of what the Force was shown to do, that actually formed a fairly solid hard magic system with good restrictions and limitations. Now they're just throwing it out the window, <laughs> and it can do anything that the plot wants to do, and. Uh, it just made it, and it's become such a Deus Ex Machina mechanic throughout this whole film. Like, like whenever you know someone's dead, oh, we'll just heal them. Whenever you know I'm about to be defeated, oh, all healing. the Jedi will come to me, and I have magic now that will save the day. It is. And, yeah. It's like the stuff like Palpatine really arrives. Fun. Palpatine arrives, and he's like, "I'm why? How are you still alive?" And he just goes, "The Force, lol." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like that's this film. That is this film. It's like, oh, how, how did this work? We're going to get to those. There's more of those. No, no, no. We and, were and on a street. Like, no, that's, that's how they do it in the movie. That's how they've written their movie. That's the thing. Like, like we were a previous EFAB stream, we were talking about this, and that some of the defenses people were saying about how something could happen would just be the force. And we were saying it as a joke that it's so yeah. ridiculous to just answer something with, how did it happen? The force. And then Palpatine actually says that the in this movie. The force did it. <laughs> the force. Um, <laughs> like the meme has become reality now, and it's like yeah, no. It's insane. Just no. in in relevance, what we were talking about, Emi uh, said, if it's some kind of exoplanet with really horrible weather and stuff, maybe it's reasonable to build it underground, which is uh, a partial explanation. But then, why would you bring them out so early just to why chill? Why would you not build them in space? And so, to that too. But then also, so why the Kylo fuck would you drive them through the ground? The How dangerous is that in terms of just no, damaging just the fuck shit? It ran through the cave. It be funny if uh, it couldn't go through like the ice. Like, <laughs> like it just it blows them up. Like, uh, come on, it's come on like, now. Or like, or, like, like, it rises up out the ice around. and it's all broken and like fucked up. Do you guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys remember that the um on the star destroyers? There's those like things at the top. There's like two of them, one on each side, and they think they're the shield generators that they have to be destroyed yeah. first um they the imagine they things. get destroyed on their way up through the ground and then it just destroys the whole thing you just be like well we, we probably I, could have I, done a better job we should this have is hired clearly an example of just wanting a cool visual visual and not yeah. giving any yeah. thought at all to its deeper yeah. implications in like the plot the and everything like that he just jj must have just wanted a, a, a visual thing of you know star destroyers rising out this of the ground exactly like an army of the undead Maybe he's got this more in common exactly. with Ryan than we thought. Yeah. I, think I think so. So in that way, yeah, because when we watched the trailer and there are a thousand Star Destroyers, it's like, of course you, yeah, of course you thought that yeah. was cool. Yeah. You it's thought that because, was a cool uh, shot. 
Yeah, the directors great. who make money are the ones who make cool stuff to put in the trailer, not the ones who make. Well, the good. thing is, is well, then you see the of, rebel fleet of... as well, and it's just like in such insanely tight formation. You're like, yeah, yeah hundreds of those ships this must is... have got destroyed. And what's the they all arrive at the same, same <laughs> oh, time. Oh god, there's so much reason. wrong with that. It's... <laughs> yeah. it's. I think it's oh, part of the reason why these are sequel movies have sort of, or at least they did trick a lot of people, was because the shots are very nice. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, this looks really good, but not like you know like superhero movie good this looks really good there's something more to this but it's it's not it's all like a trick it's a ruse that's, that's where the talent lies now the talent lies in making cool looking shots that you can use it does right because theater. when you look at when you look at the prequels you're like oh they there's something that looks a little bit different about these you know what i mean like they look a little bit shit not like height uh, well i mean i don't think that episode <laughs> three looks bad really at all so um i disagree on that one but it, it doesn't yeah, look like, good Oh, fight, 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 fight. In the, you know, in the original trilogy, you know, whenever you saw a ship, it was a miniature that someone had to physically build. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, they should still be doing a, that. Yeah, there's a, a certain feel and a look that you get to something like that, and it just feels solid and real. Whereas now you're just very much aware that, okay, I can take a Star Destroyer in CGI and just copy paste it and a thousand times. Nice, yeah. There's nothing involved in it. There's no effort, and there's no there's no belief. Well, there is effort, you know. There, I'm sure there was a, a lot of it's effort. It's a major skill. Yeah. You are, yeah, you are, you are dampening the effort that they took to destroy everything. Okay, it, that took there's, some. There's probably some CGI artists in the chat who are like, oh. But sorry, I, I think, sorry, guys. I, no, I think Drinker's point is that it would be more difficult to have physically handmade a, those thousand, Maybe. you know, star destroyers um, and have a shot that. Well, yeah, you, know, you wouldn't make a thousand of them. The thing about it is, this, this is interesting. For the ones in the back in terms of man hours plus cost versus the CGI stuff. CGI stuff is just like it all just gets put into this bin, if you will, and then everyone has to work with it. While the other stuff, you know, you have to get sets ready, you have to get model artists. There's all kinds of different things that come into it, and um, it just seems to me like I hate to say it, it's not a, it's not a judgment on CGI artists at all. It more so the the director himself just being like, eh, CGI people can take care of that. Yeah, well, I think, um, I think what we know <laughs> is that, because there's a lot of people who make videos like, oh, is CGI getting worse? It's like, well, the CGI is not getting, like, worse. The technology is there. You can't regress once you've reached a certain level, you know, like, you're only going to get better. But it's well, a matter of it? time, resources, money, and, yeah, whether or not the director knows how to use CGI. Because you often hear people talk about this. It's like... You know, there's a lot of times where there's errors and stuff, and it's like, or it wasn't set up optimally for the CGI people. They're like, yeah, they'll sort it out, they'll fix it. But then it's like, there's only so much you can do with the amount of time that you have. Um, well, especially yeah, when there's Corridor Digital video on, on Black Panther. It is Cor Corridor Digital, the ones that react to CGI, yeah, right? probably. They talk Once about that CGI. one on Black Panther, it's amazing. It, it goes into really great detail on how it all works. Oh, the CGI well, the in is, that film was disgusting. Exactly. <laughs> oh, they break down yeah. exactly everything it gets wrong. Why it looks like a uh, PlayStation 2 scene. But the thing is, it's, it would say, it's the reason why... Because Avatar still looks pretty good. Even though it's, you know, 10 years old at this point, <laughs> it still looks pretty good. Um, and yet we have movies that come out afterwards that look really crappy, even though th it should look better by the fact that the technology is better. Oh, but, but there's budget it, and stuff. And yeah, well, one, of the, budget, one of the things yeah. I appreciated about Force Awakens was like a lot of the battle scenes were, were done on practical sets with pyrotechnics and stuff. So, you know, when, when Finn and Poe are trying to escape in the TIE fighter at the beginning, they're shooting up the hangar. You know, those explosions and the, the people getting yeah. flung around, like that stuntmen and real explosions, and it just feels and looks so much yeah, better. It looks so good. I feel like they, um, it, I would assume they got less money for this movie. Is that? Oh, no, I doubt like, that. They've spent a shit really? ton on this. But I, honestly, think they, I think they're talking about 300 million. The reshoots, <laughs> the reshoots and then the marketing budget, like. The marketing's been insane. It's been everywhere on all kinds of objects. Made. They probably Fucking made the same kitchen. movie about three times. Do you guys see the, that? The budget they've spent. Do you guys see that the ad? The Facebook emojis have been replaced with Star Wars things. Do you see the ad with the girl at the airport who's like got lightsabers? Oh, yes. So cringe. So cringy. <laughs> they, they, put, they put fucking characters in Fortnite. Yeah. They're really desperate. They were really, really desperate. J.J. Abrams is in Fortnite. Yeah. He is. <laughs> For those of what? you who aren't aware in the Fortnite scene, unironically, J.J. Abrams is a skin for Fortnite. His special ability in the game is to blind you with lens flares. 
Is that true? And if you ask, and don't even bother I, asking I if it know. makes sense or not. First, I, I, I feel like that would actually be pretty fun. Like if if someone like if JJ actually approved that, I'd be like, hey, it gets the, full. the skins don't have abilities, though. I think they're just cosmetics. I, I yes, heard he was like, joking. There was a reply to a YouTube comment or Twitter or somewhere <laughs> yeah. that Palpatine survival was explained through Fortnite. Does anyone know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I I think you're onto something. Actually, I've heard this. I, That's I where we're at, folks. In, in, in order I, to I get the full it. story of this movie, I think you have to have played like Battlefront 2, oh my Fortnite, God. and and watched the movie. Probably Fall in Order <laughs> as well. I just love the idea that we find that out, and then Martin Scorsese is like, ah, true cinema. Well, <laughs> I want to know if he thinks The Rise of Skywalker is true cinema. I would, I would about... guess no. I would guess no. Here's a question. Are we allowed to talk about Fall in Order spoilers? Because Wolf told me a spoiler from Fall in Order that is like has implications there's no the reason to like because most if not all audiences wouldn't even consider it like in canon with the mainline movies much like most it games are no you don't it i'm is, not i'm oh, not I, I didn't say it was oh, right, right. <laughs> okay um well so can i talk about it then i mean if you want to sure well what he showed me was that um the planet that the star killer base is on like is already part way constructed um in jedi fallen order which is set between episodes three and six. So the Star Killer base was being built before we even saw the Death Star for the first time. Like for the first time fully completed. Oh, yeah, it was being yeah. made before a new hope. That's not even a so, spoiler. Well No, really? I, I, what? What? Yeah. yeah. So, Is that what they're saying? Um, Star Killer base so, was being built before a new hope. No. Yes. No. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, oh my it, goodness. It would make sense that it would take so long to build something like that. But... Sure, but I thought the Empire what? and the First Order weren't one and the same. I thought that, that's my point. It's like, just, yeah. who, who, who's their explanation? It? Where'd they get... Their explanation would be they were building it for some other purpose. You know, they were making like a another you know, reason. What I mean, they were not just they were not building just like, so about like a water park or something, and they just like, repurposed yeah, it. Yeah, it definitely. We was <laughs> totally. We were trying to make the perfect rack of ribs, guys. We weren't trying to destroy <laughs> planets or anything. I promise. Uh, everything like they were, about building, like, some base giant is generator to gener like you know something like that. They were turning the planet into some giant. Oh, like, actually, generator. Maybe, maybe, like maybe Wolf got it wrong. A couple of people saying they were strip mining it or something. Like they were mining um, the. Well, what's a planet Star Killer base is? Is it called Illa? That's not what's true. Right, yeah, it's called Illum, I think. Uh, James uh, Moore just said, you base, need to read it? Vader Immortal to know why Mustafa is Ash. My Immortal. Vader Immortal. I, I, I my, know, my I know. Immortal. And then my you immortal. need to play Fortnite in order to know why Palpatine, Palpatine is back. Immortal. Palpatine is back. I, I, just, I just checked for the scene. That's only the scene where they go to No, the, apparently it was like audio. Uh, it's like a broadcast in Fortnite, oh, like around the world or something. You actually have to play Fortnite to know why You have to play Fortnite to get the Star Wars lore. We're in that timeline. <laughs> uh, it's actually guys, real? where did we go wrong? <laughs> what happened? We are in the poop dimension. <laughs> oh, Default no. dance on the Sith, boys. Oh, hold on, I got a picture. Come Hold back, on. George. <laughs> We're George, so sorry. George may have sold oh, toys, forgiven. but he didn't sell the <laughs> lore inside the toys. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Docula base being oh, constructed yeah. ahead of time. Uh, being constructed, yeah. They made a lot of progress by this point already. <clears throat> I did wonder, well, actually, trench, right? why does the trench have to go all the way around the planet when the, the cannon well, is only well, mounted in one part of it? Because there was nothing. a bit, there was a trench, if you remember, on the Death Star originally. It would look like so, a space right. about Star Killer gotta, Base gotta get another one. is one of the most stupid pieces of crap ever put into a movie. See, I wonder, like, like you can you can shoot multiple planets, and people can watch those planets be destroyed several light years away, which should have taken you know a few hundred years for the <laughs> that actual yeah, you know for the light to actually, see, oh, it, yeah. to actually yeah. see it. It shoots through yeah. hyperspace. <clears throat> like, it is dumb on every level. It's My favorite very, thing, very how powerful. do the clouds not fall in the trench? <laughs> oh my god. Does it rain? Now, what if it rains over the, the How is the trench fall? not a sea? Well, we discussed this previously, I think. Like, this planet moves between systems so that it can target its next it's next so the planet has oh. a propulsion system. So, Imagine yeah, how it, taxing that must be to run. Well, not just that, but it has oh, to fly no. through the vacuum of space um, away from any suns that are going to keep it warm. So, like, oh, it's going to so drop you, to like minus five hundred degrees or whatever. Right. I, I was actually going to question you. Yeah, 
I was actually going to question you on that and because because it can shoot through hyperspace. I was thinking, well, that means it doesn't need a move to shoot, but it has to absorb a star every yes. time it, it does have to move. Which means yeah, it, so has it has to, to go move. to a new solar system each time. Holy crap, that's just got worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've gone down the rabbit hole, gentlemen, oh. and we're not coming back. Oh. Star Wars. Yeah, well, J.J. Oh, Abrams has a famous quote where oh, Star Wars isn't about science, so... <laughs> God damn it, just enjoy yourselves, Jesus. Uh, space wizards, man. Uh, imagine, oh. imagine you built that entire fucking planet-sized base that was, like, that impractical and then found out, oh yeah, Palpatine can just, like, do the same thing with a Star Destroyer. Palpatine's message was apparently at the, at last the work of generations is complete, the great error is corrected, the day of victory is at hand, the day of revenge, the day of the Sith. That's what was broadcasted in Fortnite. And apparently that message is what they're referencing in the title crawl. That's oh, fucking hilarious. Why would you not put it in the movie? I just love because the idea. The gotta po give people a reason to play Fortnite. Yeah, Poe is like, you guys play Fortnite? He put out a message. <laughs> <laughs> I have been playing Fortnite for 36 years, mastering my skills. That's why his fingers are so fucked up. He's <laughs> <laughs> the lore expands. <laughs> um, oh my god, I can't believe how long this is gonna. I knew this would take us ages, but fuck it. Uh, so the movie, are we? We are. Uh, we are at seven minutes. Yes, let's go. Excellent progress. So again, with the um, JJ tries some stuff here, tries to do some good. If you guys remember the scene where uh, Poe and Finn are playing the space chess against Chewie, and like, yep. Poe implies he's cheating, and then she was like, what the fuck? And I, I kind of remember thinking, like, oh, I kind of like that when Poe is like, you've been playing this for 250 years, I know you're cheating. <laughs> he's, like, he's just trying to say, like, yeah, I know you're good at this, whatever. Um, hey, like, hey, sorry. JJ is, is a... good at this kind of rapid-fire dialogue between characters. Yeah. That's that's one thing I'll say about him. You can get yeah, a good. little bit of banter going, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something yeah. you can do. He's good at the bants. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 just, movies, yeah. it makes them... it's just unfortunate because like I always felt I think a lot of people felt it was a mistake to separate Poe in the first film even they did because <laughs> they literally resurrected him and then the whole um, the second film just separates everybody like Finn yeah. from Poe, Poe from Ray, Ray from Finn like nobody's together of our main cast so it's just like okay and now this film, because that was the first thing that I think a lot of us noticed from the trailers. We were like, oh, look, they're all on an adventure together. It's like, JJ's trying. He's really trying. He's <laughs> he like, he look. really is. And that, that is a good <clears throat> aspect of what he's been trying to do here. I mean, he, he's obviously listened to some of the criticism of the previous <laughs> movies, and he's done what he can to correct it. But then having the three of them put together now, it's just far too little too late. Like, the, they should have history together, but they got nothing because we've never had them together before. I think we mentioned this on the um the the quick stream that me and uh, Fringy and Jay did, but the the original trilogy set of characters are thrust together thanks to the plot. Like there's various definitive reasons why they're all together. It's not because they all love each other. It's that they've all got something specific that's happening. Um, and we eventually through their adventures are like, man, I really like these people and I like them together and I really care about them. These films is like, look, our characters are together. And you're like, what? Oh, why? I, yeah, I guess that makes <laughs> sense, sort of. Y not yeah, really, just, though. Eh, eh. I guess they have a reason. I, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Didn't Ray even say that she was going to go after the thing by herself and then they were like, no, we're coming with you. We're coming yeah. with you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I love how she says it's dangerous. It's like, we're, we're in a war. Yeah. Like, dangerous is <laughs> kind of what we do. If it was Ryan Johnson directing, then they would have relented and said, all right, you go on your own. <laughs> we're going to go on yeah. a B-plot that goes nowhere. <laughs> if it was Ryan Johnson, Ray would have, like, force-choked them and knocked them unconscious <laughs> or something. You and go Rose... free some slaves! Yeah, Rose would have tasered <laughs> By slaves, I mean animals. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about this! Um... The way someone in chat just said the Wayfinder belongs to Vader, so Anakin didn't tell Luke the Emperor had like a whole base and could stay alive, and that there was army of Star Destroyers, and just, just this whole thing is going uh, on. Maybe uh, maybe Vader didn't know what it was. The Emperor just said a, to him like, "Look, break this in case of an emergency." This is a triangletism. <laughs> just it's a, just look after it. <laughs> He's like, okay. What a dyad is. Can you yeah. imagine that though? He's like, you know, I want to look uh, with my own eyes or something like that. He's about to die and he goes, by the way. <laughs> Just a small thing.
I do like that there would be no plot if um like what happened in Return of the Jedi was real and the um the second Death Star actually completely vaporized. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, guess that's the end of that. I guess you know, what we saw on screen. screen. Yeah, at what we yeah. saw with our lying eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky all those vital areas happened to survive and crash intact onto a planet. Talk about um yeah, shocking lucky. stakes for like back in the day. Like it was 1983, was it, that was Return of the Jedi? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. let's picture there's an after the credits scene where we see Palpatine <clears throat> getting into his ship from surviving the, the blast. Everyone's like, what? Then he arrives at Exegol and he's like, how are the thousands of planet destroying star destroy? Everybody's like, what? <laughs> like, <that? Yeah. laughs> what? Like, so what? So what was accomplished? <laughs> Nothing. It would blow their mind. They'd be like, what nonsense is this? Like, Okay. What the fuck? What did our heroes do? Nothing. Well, that's the big. That's the. That's the, the ultimate like pain of the sequel trilogy. Is it's like everything that they did counted for jack shit. <laughs> that's the yeah. whole thing. What? Well, how uh, yeah. the horrors of this, right? So someone was talking about how you can skip TLJ now. <clears throat> All you need to do is you watch TFA and then you find out that Luke died. He just died. He had like a heart attack, and Snoke died, and <laughs> Kylo took over. You're like, <laughs> they okay. both had heart attacks. They're old. It happens. And then everything sort of can run normally because. The character quote unquote development is pretty much either ignored or irrelevant. Um, and but there's absolutely nothing, there's nothing to, yeah. there's no world building stakes either because we've got absolutely no. no concept of what's going on. Oh, in yeah, the, the world is just not built. So, but then also, like, sadly, if you look at this sort of saga as a whole, you watch the prequels, you can kind of just kind of just skip the OT. Like, oh, fuck. If we, uh, I know, well, I know how that sounds, yeah, right? Because nothing happens. Well, it's like, like, it's this old guy. Yeah. This, this, like, what do you need to see the OT for if the only goal is to understand how Palpatine is ultimately defeated? It's like, yeah, you don't really need that part. Fuck, you can literally skip the OT. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Thanks for, like, thanks for the time the, save, fact, Disney. It all, does it make more <laughs> sense if you skip the OT? Because then you don't find out that. Like... <laughs> These characters don't seem as no. <laughs> you know, it would have right. made. It would have made. Right. Uh, so it makes more <laughs> sense without the. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean these characters are inconsistent? If I see this OT you speak of, yeah, because if you <laughs> see like, the then, OT, then you don't you see how Luke. like. Then you don't and see how no... Palpatine dies. It's like, oh, you know, maybe he was just like stabbed through the chest and he healed himself or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and thus yeah, 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 the yeah, plan is revealed. Yeah. Because if you skip you the OT, then Han Force becoming Ghosts a better the... person, like, and so it Could... makes like it doesn't matter that Han is now a crappy smuggler anymore. It doesn't matter that Luke Skywalker. Well, you don't see Han at all. It's like, yeah, oh, like... Han was. It's like Han was. Who's this piece of just, shit? Just, deadbeat dad. Yeah, it's just some guy. Oh. He's like his dad, I guess. <laughs> so, uh... Because it's the original series that makes their the new interpretation of these characters so dumb and inconsistent. But if you remove the yeah, original but if you series. Skip it... No. And plus, everything to do with Force Ghost being able to summon light, <laughs> like oh. lightsabers also makes more sense because you're this you're there watching the OT and you're like, why does Obi Wan just? Yeah, it does it really does? It basically this makes is destroyed it. This is Star why, Wars. This is why the sequels will always be worse than the prequels because the prequels yeah. don't deal anywhere near this much damage to the Star Wars series, but the sequels like pretty much undermine everything that the pre uh, that the original trilogy did. Not only in terms of what actually happened in the plot, but also a lot of the themes of the story. Um, yeah. <gasps> they damaged someone the incredibly themes. cruel. Someone incredibly cruel. Show someone the prequels and then the sequels and tell them those are the only movies and see how <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh, jeez. I would love that. I, I would so, absolutely love that. They turn up to an informant who has been informed by a spy from the First Order. That is the plot. They come out of hyperspace and then immediately begin collecting information, but they're immediately ambushed by TIE Fighters. Does this mean that the First Order were, like, lying in wait? I guess. They were on their they're way already or something. It just... That's a good question. It seems weird to me. Yeah, we, we just needed some pew pew lasers in the beginning. That's all we needed. Uh. And I mean, we've already mentioned how dumb it is that they need a physical link to transfer such a small, simple message. Yeah. Um, yeah no but, Wi-Fi. But the, There's no such but thing. The, how does the First Order know about this, you know, exchange? <clears throat> so, I don't it's a spy spy. <laughs> spy, spy, spy. spy, spy, spy. 
Um, I apologize for that joke. Then, as, as we went over, for some reason, to transfer, like, a sentence of information, mm -hmm. it takes, like, a minute to put it through a big floompy wire into R2-D2. He could have just said it to him. He literally yes. just been like, this He's is like, the information. Wait, your, R your R2 is a 4.1 USB connection, right? Because that's what we've got. And I've got to find an adapter if he's not that thing. We should have it's, discussed this earlier. But. It's the but fact that the wire is so massive as well. It's like the data yeah. is actually physically getting pushed into it. <laughs> <laughs> like they, yeah, print, they he, printed he out the sentence the, and they shoved it through the, through the wire. And it's just through sludge. <laughs> Like uh, data sludge. Data they literally, they literally just could have called how, out. How do computers function in this universe? Jesus. They don't. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> but like, well, like, you're right. They could have just called out Palpatine's alive. He has a fleet of ships on this planet, whatever it's called, and is going to attack in so many days. That's that's the whole message right there. I said mm -hmm. it right there. They could have just spat. You could have written it on a piece of paper, tied it to a rock, and flung it in the hatch. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, this go. rock has you, everything you need to know. Do you remember, by the way, he's like, how can we thank you for this information? He goes, win the war. And it's like, all you've told us is that the Emperor now has a thousand additional ships, and you're telling us, just win. It's like, just win. You'll be fine. Don't worry. By the way, they can all destroy planets. <laughs> Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. This, this, I'm gonna die this totally... Next. Yeah, this totally brings me back to The Last Jedi, where it's like, oh, they've got this hyperspace tracker on the 50-mile-wide, like, flagship of the, the First Order fleet, and Poe's first response is, so we blow it up. It's oh like, my God. what? It... How are you going to do that? How, yeah, and then he's like, I like where your head's at, but that's not going to work, because every single one of them has a tracker. It's like, what? I, I, my brain, help. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah, so, um... Well, they, to get the Warhammer. They, <laughs> they, so they begin escaping. Uh, as we, as we covered, they this there's, there's like a good I want to say thirty Tie Fighters chasing them, but most of them get destroyed by, like they drop a thing, like loads of them get fucked up, and then they do yeah, the, they fly into it. That, that's kind of weird. It's not right. kind of why they, they do the the hyperspace um, sort of hop. Yeah. Each mm -hmm. time, because every time they materialize, like some of the Tie Fighters will hit some piece of. Debris yeah. or whatever, and it's like just we're gonna keep doing that because we can outfly well, them. Perhaps that could be looked at. Well, I was gonna say the first instance of good luck. We've already had several instances of bad luck, but uh, just the idea that you have, let's just say, eight Tie Fighters following them and the Falcon. They all hyperspace together because that's you know they're tracking them and everything, and they do it yeah. three times, and all the Tie Fighters get wiped out. The Falcon makes it. It's like, huh. Which one was the biggest ship out of all of them? Oh, it was the Falcon. Also, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's remember that Holdo showed us that if you go through something while hyperspacing, you crash into it. So all of those jumps were no, clear. No, that's one in a million. They yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't travel through sight. anything, even though they landed nope, on nothing. planets three times. Yeah, <laughs> those, are, those are open galactic lines of sight. Like I don't know how I'm gonna survive this stream. There's no words. This movie is so terrible. Use the force to survive the stream. Do you think? Do you think if JJ was forced to listen to this entire stream, that he would? What would his conclusion be? Oh, I think he like wasn't he like? Weren't we saying that he was like creatively tied into a corner and then like everything he made was changed? Creatively bankrupt. I'm curious if he would be like, like yeah, the film, the film is flawed. But... I wonder if he'd say that, or if he'd Ryan Johnson and be like, I've not heard any good criticism of uh, my film. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. My movie's perfect. <laughs> the movie's perfect. Really good. JJ, if you're in the if you're in the chat, then speak up and we'll bring you on. <laughs> We'll bring you on. Yeah, you can talk about what happened. We'd love to pick your brain. Disney doesn't give a shit about you. Fuck NDAs. <laughs> We're the people who really want to get out. Disney will murder you in your sleep. guest starring JJ Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be the fucking day. I um, feel like it's not that far off. I feel like it's not that far off getting a director on, like, or someone who's worked in the film. <laughs> not, not, not the Star Wars, but something. Oh, I can the voice act. I want the voice actor for Babu Frick to come <laughs> on. <laughs> Right. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, the first place they hyperspace to is just a series of spikes, loads of spikes. <laughs> Spike planet. Well, yeah. planet I think they're spikes. supposed to try and imply it's like a comet of some kind, but they're just like fishing through all of the spikes, like whoa, whoa, like so close well, to die. Well, they fly upwards to get out of the spikes, and then, then they, they do it. And then they jump and get to the exact same place, but with buildings. Yeah, no, yes. it's, it's like it's like uh, Adolando, but in space or something. It's like, 
<laughs> it's I, a bunch I, of pipes. I got so confused by that planet because there's actually a mirror image of the Falcon above itself. Like it's either there's water or a mirror above them. And uh, it's yeah, a mirror yeah, water it's, planet. It's really weird. I was like, oh, hang on, what's going on? But then it, they jumped again before I could even try and process <laughs> the stupid that was before me. I was like, that's, the, that's what, yeah, that's Stop. the strategy. It's just the, don't think of things. the three, what? of the three possible things that could ever happen. Two of them were a series of incredibly dense obstacles. It's like, wow, yeah. that's unlucky. The third one was you're about to fly into the mouth of a giant Cthulhu worm. Like wow! Way more reason. <laughs> Luck yeah, luckily the tie fighter right into it. Tie fighter. Yeah, the tie like, fighter didn't give what? a shit. It was like, well, I'm like, dead. That, that's <laughs> that's obviously where we need to go. I want to nourish this yeah. creature with my body. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the weird like I... new alien? It's like a big weird blob thing. Oh my god! And... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Is the dick with tendrils out of the end of it? Maybe it, it, it's just this weird it, alien that's on the intro and you see it at the yeah, end. Yes, the Falcon, and it's yeah, because yeah. someone's hugging it at the end, like it's done, like it's got this like, <laughs> part in the plot. Like, I'm just picturing it being like, I was like, oh, thank God, the space dick alien survived. <laughs> Does it have rule thirty four? I I, no, I heard that, that I heard that thing had a larger, you know, like appearance in the one of the original cuts. And, Why? Uh, I don't it, know. It was it the, was it, was the un, it was the secret Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> and blob, blob Skywalker. Can you does, imagine does this thing just to... lumbering in during the Palpatine fight? <laughs> does he say to the blob thing, it's like repair that? It's like this doesn't have any arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it lo yeah, it looks at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like repair. It's like oh, it it what looks is like that? that? It looks like the one guy from. It looks like his face reminds me of the dude from Farscape. Oh yeah, I know oh, you're talking Rigel. about. Right, Joe. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can you imagine, like, if you were a recruitment officer for the <clears> rebels, <throat> and like this thing lumbers up to you, it's like, oh yes, I want to join. It's like, like uh, what are, what I don't know what skills? we can really do with you. Yeah. What are your skills? I can <laughs> offer moral support from a distance or I'm close. Good I'm hugs. good for hugs. Yeah. <laughs> good. Sure. Like, we'll turn you into giant bowling. <laughs> You it's, can't neglect the emotional health of your brave soldiers. It's totally the fucking alien personification of this emote. Like, <laughs> 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 which emote? Um, well, oh, yeah. we did it. We saved Star Wars. So, like, next up, uh, Ray's just casually floating. Like, she's able that to just levitate. Me. Yeah, no, seriously, so, the second I saw it, I was like, well, we've just fucked up everything again. <laughs> like, it's just yes. a good job. Like, Jedi, Jedi okay. Sith can just levitate now? Well, this is the yeah. thing. Well, a lot of people well, might so argue is, that that's is possible. This whole, is this whole, yeah. we've got to go one better. You know, when Luke was doing his training with Yoda, he was balancing on one hand and he was lifting rocks around him. It's like, oh, okay. that's good. See, well, we're going to make her float. But if you see, can levitate, this, does that mean you well, can fly at this point? Yeah, that's the question. All right, yep. so... Other instances, can anyone think of other instances where Jedi were levitating? And people have pointed out Yoda when he was sitting on a chair in one of the original But that was, um, that was a hover chair thing. I thought that was a hover chair. I yeah, thought I the thought chair was, was yeah. lifting him up. But Turns even out everything okay. that's ever happened has been the Force. Like spaceships? No, that's the Force. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's the really force. A, force, a Force jump. And it's like, okay, fine, you can use your strength a little bit. But... Lasers and well, blasters, see, that's the, the, the other thing is when Rey fights Luke in uh, The Last Jedi, she knocks him off his feet and he levitates himself off the ground a well, little bit. He's holding, uh, and then he drops, okay? And right. it's like, <sighs> all right, maybe at a stretch, at a stretch, mild levitation. But she's not just mild levitating. She is fully flying in the air. Mm -hmm. And then and... after she stops meditating, she's like, oh, this isn't working. And she's still floating in the air, and then she casually lowers herself. It's not like she's still levitating, stressful. and it's then she hard. drops. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's you, not you, like it's the it's not like the meditation is it causing again. it. Yeah, no, yeah I get it. If she was like really struggling, me. and like when when she finally loses concentration, she kind of falls to the ground, and she's then pissed off. It's like okay, well, fine, that took a huge amount of effort. Yeah, like she's struggling <laughs> like, to maintain only balance. Do it while she's meditating. shaking in the air. She's result, doing it so meditation. easily. She's right. like, oh, and then she does a backflip float down. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, that's a new useful power. Like, oh, well, you know, if luckily for us, it never would need to come up in this film. There's no time where she needs to travel from certain <laughs> areas to areas in a fast <laughs> exactly. or easy or, way. That's or not no a thing time right. when she's sinking in sand. No, and she might, no, oh, no time at all. Might have been useful. 
Or when she gets oh. assaulted by a TIE fighter or something. And it's, it's interesting, by the way, because she, she comments that her goal with training here is, is trying to... She, she's like, I can't hear them, or I can't connect to them. Or she's re referencing the fact that she's trying to talk to past Jedi, apparently. Um, yeah. Because obviously it's a setup for the, the big payoff at the end, how she beats Palpatine. It's just like, this is what you're focusing on when the world is about to be destroyed. Like, okay. <laughs> And you're like, yo, well, she needs to do that in order to be the Star Destroyer. Yeah, that, I guess. That. Like, well, this, yeah. this is how, this is the dumb way that they set up most of these things. Like when they establish force healing, when they get attacked by the snake underground, yeah. and she's just oh, like, don't, oh, don't, I think I need oh, to heal you. No, it's like, why no, are you doing this? Why, this thing has yeah. no reason to not to heal you right now. That. Everyone, this is an experiment that you can do at home. If you have a dog, take your dog to the vet and see how much it loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off my uh, comments on force healing. Until oh yeah, we'll we'll get uh, it. Yeah. Um, I have a lot to say about that. Her, and... her training sequence. Uh, I don't know that anybody didn't conclude. It's like oh, JJ's trying to make up for uh, the fact that she's yeah. not been trained. Yeah. Nobody yeah. can now See, say yeah. that she's never had any training. No one can say that yeah, anymore. Yeah, guys. She's, oh, she's, she's totally had a lot of training trained. after she did all this. Well, this well, is the... Yeah, but Jay, you're forgetting, right? So she's OP, she has training, and she becomes godlike. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but the training is inconsistent because she is so powerful, so skilled by other movies, yet in the training sequence, she can't take on a little ball drone thing. It's yeah, I think that's... That. Yeah, Kylo is, like, disrupting her focus. I think that's the way they were oh, trying yeah, to... Oh, yeah, he's, he's touching that, Vader's mask. He's having a moment. Yeah, so she's kind of... Yeah. Oh, no. pathways to me. Milo is getting strange feelings from from the from the mask that is projecting to Ray, and the, it's just distracting her. You know, having like um, a representation of how they're they're sort of straddling the line of of dark and light with, like uh, the the example I would use is just having you know Luke just strangles the the guards at the beginning of R R Return of the Jedi. It's quite a like, oh shit, he just straight up strangled them. Like when when it's a matter of they don't even attack him, they're just like, hey, you can't come through here, and he just kills him straight away, and it's like shit. And then he's like, Jabba, surrender, give me my friends, or I will kill you, basically. Like shit, Luke, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, he's like, being hmm. he's being pretty ruthless, but at least you're like, well, he's trying to save yeah, his friends. Yeah, there's, there's we know? understand how and why and stuff, but Ray is only altruistic and uses accidental Sith powers. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's confusing. That's the kind of thing you right. can do accidentally. Like I remember the I, other day, I accidentally just built a computer. Just as I just <laughs> my hand flip, I was just reading, and then whoop, there it was. And the then... force in this movie has basically been abused beyond belief, and it's just been the right force is now. <laughs> It's, it's, a it's, yeah. it it's just a it's just a get out of jail free card for the, yeah. the writers yep. basically. It it the thing is, for Scotchy it, covered. It's like insurance. I have, I have a serious question. Yes. If force ghosts can like touch stuff like lightsabers and stuff, can Wait. they come on stuff? We know. We, 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 can let's they, hold can that they, off. Can, until can they can piss and shit on things? <laughs> um, <laughs> Palpatine's announcing his plan that Obi Wan goes. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, did I ruin your speech? Oh, sorry. Why didn't, well, Luke, you see. why didn't Why didn't Luke just force ghost his way onto Exegol and summon some lightning well, and destroy yeah. all the Star Destroyers? That's the question. Like when <laughs> when Luke caught the lightsaber, I almost lost it. I was like, no, nah, because <laughs> like, yeah, like why doesn't Why doesn't he just take that lightsaber and fight with it? Because force ghosts are. They like must be you know Nobody invulnerable. Can they can't be killed. When he lifts and... the fucking X-wing, uh, and, yeah, and yeah. he can use force powers as well. Now oh, and... I've heard one of the excuses is that it's only on that planet. That planet is. <laughs> Why? It's so it's fucking it's bullshit. It's so so bullshit, dude. The it's temple has been burned down. The Death Star. They should have said that in the movie then. Like, that that would actually can't. explain it, and and it would, it would actually explain if, TLJ. If, 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 See, if the, the only way it. I can the only way I can rationalize this is that the Force Ghost of Luke is kind of manifesting through Ray, and so subconsciously he's using her powers. Even if she's not aware of it, that so even well, it looks like he's catching the lightsaber, but actually she's <laughs> stopping it herself with the force. But he's making it look like he's doing it. Same with lifting the X-wing. I mean, what about it's when you're? It's like Fight Club, though. guys. It's like Fight <laughs> Club right. in space. 
That, that right, lightning though, was about to strike anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just a I, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this kind of fucking like these concessions. Like, nah, it's all it's not what it is. <laughs> like, okay. Because at no point, at no point did I say it's the planet that the planet is connected to the force and that force ghosts can interact with the physical world. They don't well, say that. Okay. Yeah. It is di the direct implication is, is that force ghosts can just do this crap well, now. Yeah. And I mean, why would so it be dark. that? Why would it be that planet when Luke went there specifically to cut himself off from the force? Why would he go to the planet that's super forcey where Ghost can even use the force if he wanted to escape the force. Right. Oh. Wasn't the origin did, the, did the Jedi the originate on that planet? Like was that the origin of the Jedi planet? I that's, think they said it is, like, yes. What it's the Jedi I, Temple. Yeah yeah it's the first Jedi Temple, right? Is that what they say? Yeah, so. so it may not be that they right. the the Jedi originated there, but that's where they established their first. Is that how that temple. works? You just when the Jedi said this is the first temple, it went boom, and Force Ghosts permanently have power there. It's like that's how that works. <laughs> okay, it. maybe they built it there because of the Force <laughs> energy on that planet. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how? Well, yeah, because Obi Wan died on the Death Star, but he showed up on Dagobah and all yeah, that stuff. He showed so. up all over the place on, on well, Hoth. Yeah, and then man. Luke, well, yeah, but then Luke showed up at Tatooine, you know? You can go anywhere as a Force ghost, so you should go to Exegol yeah. and summon lightning and destroy the fleet. Yeah, this is why I joked about it before, but I say it again. What's the point of being alive? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're a ghost, you can do whatever you want. Star Wars, the true game. nihilistic <laughs> yeah. series. There's just, no meaning like, to living, you should just be dead. <laughs> That's the same in religion, though. If you die, you, like, in religions where you die and you go to heaven, What's the point in not dying? Well, isn't it because the, the life on Earth is supposed to be the deciding factor for whether or not you get into but it? That's where you yeah, learn the force like, power. So are you, are, are you really saying that if like a, a, like a three-year-old dies, they're going to hell because they- I don't fucking know the rules. Oh, I, I, it depends on what religion, <laughs> religion you're talking about. You're in. And yeah, so the idea that we've got literal proof, like the ghosts are like, hey, we're super powerful, you can just die <laughs> and become this. Staff. And there's no rules to this, it, you just need to learn about it. That's what they, they say in Star Wars, you just need to learn how to do force ghostisms once you're dead. So that's that's the rules, that's it. And <laughs> so the idea that it's like, oh, you know, like, other religions do this. Like, no, it's not quite the same thing. Like, it's a little oh, bit fuck, different. I turned the other. I turned the other. I mean, was that it was previously established that to fade away on your death into a force ghost took a lot of training and exercise to do it. And though there is one case where a force ghost, someone became a force ghost and dying naturally, and that was Qui Gon, because Yoda says Qui Gon is speaking to me, teaching me about how to become a force ghost, essentially. Yeah. But my point is that. The fact that Kylo and even Leia disappear into Force Ghostdom when they die, it's like, where did they learn how to do that? It's a rat, it's a retcon that they've done and, because, and Rey... like I said, even even um, Mace Windu is a Force Ghost who speaks to Ray. Yeah. Um, and so is um one of the the Force uh, one of the Jedi who died in Order sixty six. But it's like I thought Qui Gon was the first, and then it was Yoda, and then Obi Wan figured it yeah. out. It's not that Absolutely. you don't become a like the the. The other Jedi who got killed in Order 66 didn't turn into ghosts. They're just dead. <laughs> yeah, and, and obviously the reason I assume George did that was because it was like, Jesus Christ, we're going to have to mop up a lot of plot holes if we don't do it that way, because where are all the Jedi in the OT? They should be hanging around as Force Ghosts. Like, hey, bye, what's going on? He was like, no, 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 it, it started with Yoda and Obi-Wan. That explains why Yoda and Obi-Wan are the ghosts that show up. Anakin does too. <laughs> So I suppose you could you could argue it's like how did he know how to do it? Who told him? That's well, yeah, that's another good point. How did Anakin learn it? But then it's just funny that Ray dies. She doesn't disappear. Kylo wakes her up, and then he disappears. Like, we were so close. Oh, yeah, we were so close. Yeah, I know. Ray nearly that, died. That, that asshole. That was actually a comical scene. Like it is. It is legitimately funny, and they're like they. they the acting is as much as they try. It just is so ridiculous. It's funny where. It's just like, you're dead, I'll heal you, I'm alive, they kiss! It's like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it is like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> and then after, after they kiss, no, Kylo just decides to die. I would decide to die in that situation. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm like curious if like, he falls over and then she puts her hand on him and he goes, <gasps> and then she falls <laughs> over and he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no and then they see that on the way to a hospital. <laughs> They keep doing it while driving his ship to a how hospital. Come, uh, how, come, how come when Ray died, she didn't turn into a Force ghost, but uh, Kylo did? Well, that's what I just said, yeah. Like, it doesn't that's make sense. Because yeah. like, Kylo is amazing. Trouble. She didn't deserve it. 
<laughs> she was, she had earned it, even though she saved the universe. To be fair, did she did she deserve it from? Like, I don't think Kylo deserved to continue living either. Do you think it's a it's a slap to Kylo's character that he didn't get to show up as a Force ghost? Do you think it's just like, oh well, he's fucked it's, by? It's odd that they would go through the trouble of showing us that he was a Force ghost, but then he didn't show up with all the Force ghosts. If anything, he'd be he'd be fresh. He's like, all right, look at me. Wait, where, when did all the Force ghosts show up? Oh, no, well, oh, you're talking about the ending with Luke Absolutely. and Leia? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah Luke, Leia, and Hitler. <laughs> He's just there like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Someone make that edit. No, I've already got it. I'll show it to you in a second. <clears throat> oh, no. Are we doing it? We're fucking doing it. It's, You've got to it's... see this. You, get, you talk while I scroll. Uh, what well, are we up to now? Is I was going to say, she, so the, the, the training montage was just trying to establish oh she has a reason for everything. Uh, she drops a tree on BB-8, and I thought it was funny that she could lift all of these rocks, but she decides to try and push it <laughs> off him with her arms. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> I like the BB-8 would have been like, motherfucker, just lift it off me. And she's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> they never use the force for fucking practical reasons in these movies. It's always just, look, the force. <laughs> look, I can float. Wee. <clears throat> Also, she apparently, like, she can kill the training droid with a stick, a, a stick-like weapon, if you will, but not, um, <laughs> uh, not, not a lightsaber. lightsaber. I don't know why. Yeah. The, the, well, she trained with the stick. Alright. <laughs> I, I figured it's been, like, a good year and a half, whatever, if it were the lightsaber, but fuck it, she's still no, just, no, no. Yeah. Sticks are more powerful than lightsabers. True. It's true. Yeah. Why? It's, true. it's the, the thing as well where the she's... The pathway to many abilities. Oh. When she's Someone running did, from... from... <laughs> When she's running through the obstacles, like to get to the next section of her training course, she has the lightsaber out and and powered up, and I'm just like, why? Like, surely oh, running yeah. with that thing because igniting... we have to show lightsabers. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> that that is just asking for trouble. Like, it'd be so easy to slice a limb off. <laughs> like, yeah, like anything. when they're going through the tunnel and she's using it as a flashlight, and everyone's yeah. just like next to her. I'm like, dude, you know what that does, right? If you touch it, <laughs> and like, like get surely... away from it. Yeah, there, there must be a, like a power limitation on it as well. Like, you don't want to just have it on all the time. Like, it's going to eventually run out of energy. No. Batteries, I would yeah. love to see that happen in combat. It's just like... Or it does the thing... It does the thing that... I can't... What's, what's the... Because I know there's some property that's like satirizing it, but you know, like it flops over. Like, yeah. It, it's just like a floppy oh, lightsaber. You're like, uh-oh. Has <laughs> anyone, anyone got a lightsaber that, charger? No, I the old one. Spaceball is just this, it's small, right? Yeah. It comes out family small. Family Guy. I, th I think it was Family Guy. that. I think it's Family Guy. Yeah, I think you're right. And then when the sun walks in, it suddenly gets... Yeah. <laughs> <stiff>. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, this this Family Guy like Blue Harvest movies are way better than the sequel trilogy. Oh yeah, Th those are great movies. It's just that's what we're at. That's like peak Family Guy and Robot Chicken, obviously. Robot Chicken as well. Yeah. Which really good. Uh... I mean, there are a lot of things that are better than the sequel trilogy. Oh, we come to the first blatant. Um, well, I guess this is all to be decided upon. <laughs> guess what you guys uh, think about it, but. Anakin's yeah. lightsaber being repaired. Would you put this into the category of uh, Ryan retcons? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Yep. It's, like, it's, it's right, right up there. Well. Like, <laughs> See, this, like, this and Kylo Ren's helmet are just complete. The, yeah. I think they're the most I mean, blatant, right? right? The helmet is, the helmet the is, is about, really obvious. Well, the lightsaber, there's not a scratch on it. There's no, like, fused, you know, welded part. It's, like, brand new. Well, it's got, like, a strip really around it. From scratch. Right. Yeah, as, yeah, as yeah as it's got like a metal strip. Path would cause the kind of damage oh, okay. fix with that. I wasn't, oh, it's yeah, like I wasn't the, clear what it looked like before. It's so. like a metal band aid. With Kylo's helmet, instead of welding it back together, they should have like started the film and he just had it on, and then he gets like mad. He takes that one off and destroys it, and then he goes to a closet where he's just got like <laughs> loads, loads of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, got like, my Monday why, helmet, why my Tuesday helmet. I have destroyed helmets. Why did he have to get that specific one repaired? Like, I didn't think there was anything unique about it. It's just a yeah. fucking helmet. Just buy a new one. And he, yeah, it also means that like, after he destroyed it, he collected the pieces. He takes it off a whole bunch. What him. was the point of it? Yeah. Why do you have to use chimpanzee to do them. it as well? He collected the pieces before the supremacy was destroyed. Oh. Yeah, and then he collected them, and he kept them with him and brought them to Exegol. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he was expecting them to fix his helmet, like, that's why he really went. Wait, they didn't I fix like it on Exegol, many... though, right? Or did they? It wasn't repaired yeah. on Exegol. It was, it was, it was, it was on, on one of the ships. I assume it was a Star Destroyer or whatever. Was it? 
Yeah. Because it happened. Yeah, because it happened. Weren't the Knights of Ren watching him? Or they were all around. They were helping him repair yeah, it. Yeah. Were they there? Yes. Oh, was that them? Was that the Knights of Ren yeah. who repaired it? Knights of Ren are back, people? everyone. Oh, yeah, God. They they our favorite character is the Knights like, of Ren. <laughs> The Knights of Ren, who were supposedly, they were set up as like the next Jedi or evil order. They were the knight, instead of Knights, Does Jedi Knights, these were the Knights line. of Ren, and they, or they ended up being glorified stormtroopers. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Less, less effective than stormtroopers, because they don't even have blast, they don't even have lightsabers. They have just like metal. They clubs. They have like axes. Like yeah, this like, is 1100 AD or something. You, you realize weird. you're going up against a guy with a weapon that can slice through metal as if it's butter. Well, yeah, he like, pulls like, that out. I was I'm gonna leaving. say, in fairness, like, they, when they first fight him, he doesn't have that, and they, they nail it, but then he pulls it out, and they're all like, oh, well. Oh, I guess we'll keep <laughs> trying. He had a blaster to start off with. I don't know what happened to it, but he did He did ha yeah. have a oh, blaster Oh, yeah, going that's right, there. he did. I, I never saw the open. blaster. I just yeah, thought he, he shot yeah, yeah. some guys. He, he like, he legitimately does force shooting. He shoots, but like, uh, he points uh, without even looking and shoots true. someone square in the chest. And so that's what Han Solo does in The Force Awakens. Never thrown his lightsaber into the sea because it's an evil color. <laughs> yeah, I have. A, yeah. I, that's in my script. Black? I was that, like, "Gee, if only you hadn't thrown your fucking weapon into the ocean." It's like, yeah, but it's red. <laughs> that always annoyed me because like, maybe this is only a tool that I could use for seriously, good. If I'm... <laughs> Now, red's my favorite color, right? And if I ever became a Jedi, I seriously would want a red lightsaber because I like the color. <laughs> but it's like, no, you're not allowed. Why? It's not <laughs> inherently evil. You're not allowed. That means you're a Sith. But red's a bad man. Shout to Sith. But, He's but, been hacked. On, is, is black banned? <laughs> Because Luke and Anakin's wearing black. That's the color of the Sith, but they're allowed to wear black. Why can't I have um, a red lightsaber? <laughs> because you're racist. How dare racist. you wear what they wore? <laughs> How dare you wear what they wore? Because red is, red is communist and that is bad. So I've got that joke um, for, you know, when she's wearing... Luke's helmet. I'm gonna play the uh, "How dare you stand where he stood" clip. How dare you? There was there was something about the X-wing actually. How you know when you were talking about it getting lifted out of the water by Force Ghost Luke? How the fuck can it still work after That's sitting on the bed for like ten I, years? I, 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 that. I, I'm so listen. angry about that part, like, because that establishes something so annoying, but I'll wait until we get there, but seriously. I was say, give, give it a few hours, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, we'll only get after the next 24 hours. I was going to say, yeah, we have, way, we have gone over the cap now, guys. We can no longer talk about the movie without talking oh, about it longer okay. than it is, which fa we are failures as yeah. critics now. Shit. We haven't even gotten to Babu Frick. And I we know. Haven't even said the word. We haven't even said C-3PO yet. Uh, like, prediction-wise, I actually think we'll be up to, like, six hours before we finish this. I don't even know. It's gonna be, uh... At least, at any, least six hours. Bear in yeah. mind. Like, no, 12 hours at least this stream. Yeah, yeah you're like, gonna have to split in this movie. Oh, yeah, me and Rags will be there for that long, but obviously you guys could stay as long as you want. I, did, I wanted to make well, sure. See, I'm, I'm thinking I might go to bed at some point and wake up and find you're still doing it. That's a guarantee. Yeah, I think that's a possibility, yeah. Well, depends how late I stay up. I still have plenty of alcoholisms. I'm here. Hey. Yeah, boy. Um, so Ray is checking out her her sacred boobs. Jedi texts, and uh, yeah, that. she finds a picture about. <laughs> Did someone say boobs there? No, <laughs> ain't no one checking yes. out right now. Right? Well, there's, not, there's not much to look at. <laughs> That's what you're hearing. <laughs> the force, the even the force has its limits, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> she happens to scroll to a page that has the wayfinder on it. Right I... before we find out that we need to go to Exegol, that's what that page specifies. Yeah. So a lot of people concluded that this movie has elements of luck in it. Uh, this would be one of oh, those. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Lucky. Um, like it's it's drawn as well. It's like apparently because it's like <laughs> Luke's diary rather than the sacred Jedi texts. Yeah. Yeah. Like they said, like Luke was taking notes and he re wrote down that he was looking for that thing. <laughs> Dear diary, it's, it's it just like the Grail fucking, diary from like Indiana scrolling, Jones. Scrolling your opinions on the Bible and passing it around. Like <laughs> this is literally JJ trying to do Indiana Jones, and this is like the Grail diary with all these yeah. kind of notes about the treasure that they have to seek out, and yeah, it's just complete imitation. Yeah. So they and uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Oh, because it's that it's his notes that tick. To that tip them off about the um that Jedi hunting guy. What's his name? Oh, Uchi. Uh, Uchi. Uchi. Yeah. Uchi. Uchi. Uh, Uchi? Uchi. It is Uchi. I'm calling him Uchi. 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 He so, has Uchi in my heart. I mm -hmm. like. I'm still confused how they found out that Uchi knew where a wayfinder was, but he had a. Uh, but 
what is is it implied that o that Ochi would have the wayfinder or he would have the dagger? Well, like, so they said they that the dagger, they, I think. they they said that the trail went cold at these specific coordinates, and that <laughs> takes them to uh, Pasana. Then they bump into Lando, who tells them even more that wasn't in the book, and that is that Darth Uchi had it, and that his ship is over there, and that's all they know. Okay. So was he a Darth, or was he just a Sith apparently assassin? Apparently not. Um, he's he was apparently an acolyte, hunter. or someone who is interested, like, loved the Sith, but isn't a Sith. This is from the Visual act. Dictionary, by the way. No, I don't, it's not from the film. Oh, um, well... He was the someone who that... really wanted the Sith to rule again and just worked for them, I guess. Or worked for the Emperor. Yeah, he just thought they had good uniforms they were, or something. They were, they were neat. He thought they were neat. They were cool. These Sith guys know what's up. Um, so in yeah, relation to, like, or, you know. having chemistry as in, like, you know, just banter and people getting along with each other, they also do, like, like JJ just, like, instant conflict, just add water sort of thing. Where it's like, you damaged BB-8, you damaged the Falcon, it's like, you're reckless, you should be with us, it's like, blah, blah, blah. and you're like, oh my goodness, yeah. Poe and Ray have issues, apparently, I didn't even know they, <laughs> yeah, like, I guess. That was, uh, all we do is they said I hello to each other. I felt the characterization was better, uh, done between these characters than it's, before. The, well, the, the issue is that I don't know these people, other. or how they they met, you know, like, like, I don't know enough about them to get invested in this, I'm like, oh my goodness, they're arguing, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, were they trying to play that for like sexual chemistry almost? Like, you know, like they, they're they an like old married couple. Well, almost like, you know, when characters are like in conflict with each other, but they're secretly attracted to each other, but they can't yeah. show it. So it comes out like in different ways. Well, everyone thought that they were supposed to be hooking up after the end of TLJ. The way they look at each other, they're like, hey, nice, met you. It's like, it's like oh. I thought I'd, Finn was interested yeah. in her, but also Oscar Rose is interested Isaac, in Finn. Uh, he's a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Well, like with the Force Awakens, um, uh, Finn he legitimately really cared for Ray, like, and uh, you know he tries to go and kind of save her. Yeah, he yeah. gets friend zoned hard, man. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, brutal. but it's okay. He's got Rose Tico. <laughs> is that the thing that is that the thing that he wanted to tell? Um, no. Yeah, I was about that has to been confirmed now. JJ Abrams yeah. said <clears throat> what he wanted to tell Ray well. was that he was force sensitive. force sensitive. Why the fuck was really? that in there? Why? I thought it was be. I thought he was going to tell Ray he loved her. I everyone thought that. Thought that. Yeah, Fucking so everyone yeah. thought that. Yeah, because that's and if and that's if this the is that's the only thing you would need to address. And you know what? Pretty sure JJ. Pretty sure JJ. Pretty Why sure. hasn't he told her? I'm like, it's the kind of thing you'd want to get off your chest before. I Absolutely, like, yeah. yeah. Well, I like, why would force, you want to tell way. someone? I, like, I sense the force at your death. Like, what point is like, what Ray, what is Ray supposed to do with that? It's like, oh, cool, well, thank thanks, you for telling man. me that. Cool. Oh, I, <laughs> you could have used that. Letting me know. I'd rather think about my own shit while I'm dying. It's like, wait, than why was it? Why was it Leia training you? Exa exactly. He would have told her because fucking hell, we need more force users on our team. I would say, but yeah, um, these, I'm pretty you know sure. Fly. I'm pretty sure this is bullshit, and I'll tell you why. When we read the leaks, a lot of them either were completely accurate or come across as things that would have been cut. Now, the evidence I would say that's strong for that one would be the Lando plotline. Everything seems to match from the leaks. They've just cut things out, oh, yeah. and we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, yeah. but, um, something that was in the leaks was that there was supposed to be a scene where Finn became jealous that Poe and, and Rey clearly have something going on, and that she was going to explain to him that there's nothing between them, and that you know, you don't have to worry, that sort of thing. And it's like, ooh, Oof. that lines up perfectly with him being like, Ray, Ray there's something I need to tell you about mm -hmm. that specifically. Oh, yeah. I think it was cut. I think that they've cut that plot that he was like, no, nah, this is force sensitive, <clears throat> lol. It's fine. Well, the thing is, right, it was set up that he was semi-force yeah. sensitive, even from um, uh, Force Awakens, because he's using the lightsaber, he tries to take on, you know, um, uh, Kylo, and he gets beaten, and to me, that was such a good set. I actually thought that he was going to become a Jedi after that. Like, he tries to use the yeah. lightsaber at several points, and that would have been great. He should have. Like, it would have been brilliant. And, uh, like, if they really wanted a really engaging, interesting story, it would have been that Ray, she's so powerful already, and then she falls to the dark side, and Finn has to stop Ray, and it's the fight. And, and Kylo just, whatever happens to Kylo, but the true, <laughs> you know, fight is would have been between Finn and Ray. That would have been brilliant. You so madman. That would require imagination and risk-taking. <laughs> They're not going to do that. Ray is perfect. Thing. How dare you? That would require Ray to have a flaw. Yeah. Well, the uh, thing is, though, 
it actually it works better to have a, a more powerful, even you know, type of antagonist if the heroes can you know fight them more properly and powers actually used logically. Because and Finn's arc would have been so much better because it starts oh, with yeah. him failing, getting absolutely trounced by Kylo, but then yeah. having to overcome those failings and become a legitimate Jedi. And now he has to take on someone who's just got it all from get go. She has just been the best, but now she's evil, so he has to yeah. really train to you know match her. That would have been such a good arc. But and if he's I if like, he's in I love with her, as is kind of like 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 the beginnings of that are set up in the Force Awakens. What a good dynamic between a hero and a villain. Like imagine her trying to persuade him to the dark side. That yeah, would have been I, I love how like in the, off the cuff in the space of two minutes <laughs> we've up. come up with a better storyline than they managed in four years. Well, Devil's in the execution is though. You know, I, I feel like if we handed that sure. If we handed that treatment to them, they would fuck I it up just as hard as what But I still done. stand by that there's not good good ideas getting botched in this sequel trilogy. There's oh, just yeah, bad yeah, ideas yeah. No, getting botched. Ideas yeah. bad. Bringing Palpatine back is no fuck Garbage. Off. Absolute garbage. Yeah. That, that it was the cheapest kind of grab it nostalgia to try and get people in because they, uh, uh, you know, what is it? What's the saying about the lack of creativity in Hollywood? Uh, it's just, it's so true. It's like I can't come up with anything, uh, you know, unique and original. They got to, and so when I saw that in the trailer, I had already checked out where I was like, that's just absolute bull crap. I think uh, realistically, that's all they could have done with what they had left after after the last Jedi. No. It was either that or have <laughs> no, Ray fall to the so. dark side. Yeah, no, I, I, I reckon. No, I don't think so. I, I reckon um, Kylo could have become the main yeah, antagonist. Just can't have so he, Kylo he the main villain. He's he's been beaten twice already, though. Like, what what kind of threat does he pose? He if has the Knights of Ren the, with him now. No, if they started off the film with him having trained and gotten really stronger, and then doing something vicious, like really drastic, to make him a, a true menacing villain, like he actually, if they started off the film with him killing off one of the main characters, like Finn or Poe, to show how ruthless he's become and is ready to just way laced. Wait, wait, sorry, lay waste. <laughs> that would have set him up as a menacing antagonist for the or film. Don't even or just right from the get go, just, just have Palpatine. Them. Like now, doesn't Palpatine say, "I'm lending you my power to complete this mission"? And <laughs> no, no, don't now have Palpatine. Don't now have Palpatine. Now that now that, now that Finn, now that, now that Finn, now that Kylo is in charge of the First Order, you can show what a brilliant strategist he is, and that he was being like held back before, and he can, you know pose a threat to them with his brain and like his military tactics rather than by you know with, with the lightsaber fights which he obviously can't win against Ray. And the room so, is yeah. silent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my ideas right. are just so good that <laughs> <laughs> everyone is shocked into silence. What could have been so low? Um did you guys catch the line where she says uh like when in their argument she says, You're very difficult. A difficult man yeah, I was like, "Why did why did you a, why did you say swing. that? Why did you have to say that? Like, <laughs> could it just could he just be difficult? I don't know. Women can't be difficult. I don't know. Because yeah, that's, that's the kind of like line you might in the past have had against a woman, but you're you can't say that now. So this like yeah, oh, we're, just gonna, we're gonna we're gonna flip that shit, and then we'll see how you feel when I you mean, have like, to listen to it. It's fine. I just I, I just found it strange. I was like, okay. Move it on. I mean, I, I didn't receive it that way, that he was difficult because he was a man. I just kind of took that no, as same, yeah. he's difficult and he's a man. And, uh, but I guess there's both ways to, but I didn't, I didn't get too much from it. Oh, not that men are difficult in yeah. general, just that, um, that's the class he's being right now. The difficult man. And it's like, why can't everybody so just, be difficult? She's describing it like it's an archetype of the difficult man. Yeah, and I think I think Drink is probably right. Like the whole, like you'd be like, oh, the bitchy woman or something like that. And you'd be like, okay, <laughs> uh, fine. It would be <laughs> great if you actually came back with that. You're being, a you're being man. the bitch. You're being a bitch. <laughs> you dirty bitch. You dumb slut. <laughs> Finn is just there, like, oh, guys, please don't fight it. <laughs> Shit, that escalated quickly. <laughs> and um, then Captain Marvel arrives to tell him off. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Fuck. Rose yeah, like, should have been told policing him or something. You have the uh, the sort of it's bouncing between them all. I think like there's a, the the shot like a cam the camera spins around them as they're all like having a chat. I'm just thinking to myself like man, like if you just done this more, if these characters knew each other oh, yeah. better, yeah, like, it's just everything and was so slapdash. Well like even in just the yeah, first I film, the fact that Poe got resurrected, like I said, it's just like that's clearly just not enough planning. <clears throat> 
Hang on, Poe got resurrected. Just, just fucking released them as novels. First. Yeah, Poe like, was supposed to have died in his uh, crash onto mm -hmm. uh, Jakku, but he like they told. They liked him so much that they kept. Well, he he asked for it, didn't he? He said he was like. Oh. I think the quote is something along the lines of like he kept he was dying in all of his films recently. And so he was like, oh, JJ, can aw. you bring me back? And then he was like, uh, you know, people, yeah, you, I guess your pose pretty cool. All right, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And then he got to be in The Last Jedi. And then this one, and he's like a full-on character. Now we look back and we're like, why the hell was it? He's like barely in TFA. It's like, it's yeah, like, because right, he wasn't I'll supposed to live. Deal. Your body will survive, but your spirit will be crushed and repurposed. <laughs> 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 well, it's just, it's, it's funny because you have all that shit in TLJ where he's like completely chastised for doing the right thing. And then this film opens, he saves Chewie, he saves Finn, and he saves himself, obviously, and the Falcon, and the information. And the first thing Ray says is, you fucked up. And he's just like... <laughs> And I'm like, listen, I don't need another bitch on my case, all right? Oof. <laughs> You're being a bitchy woman. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and yeah, so they they then get the announcement that they need to get to Exegol because the Emperor's there, he has a fleet, this is from their spy, everyone's sad face because... He says 16 hours, by the way, until the attack begins. So yeah. was Palpatine going to actually assault the, like, the galaxy whether or not Rey turned up? I guess why, so. why would why wait? Can, can we just gonna... like yeah? yeah we just wait. need an arbitrary wait, time indeed. limit to make you know to give the them a sense clock. of urgency. JJ's obsessed yeah. with the ticking clock. Also, <laughs> can we just point out how easily everyone accepts that is back? Is like, oh yeah, dark force magic cloning, of course, is back. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you think someone hey, already said this is I... clearly bullcrap? How could okay. it be? So no, of course, it's not alive. Like someone should have been saying like. That's a hard thing to swallow, I, you'd think. Yeah, that would be I like no. Another... That would be like no if 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 we get a broadcast saying like Hitler's been resurrected. Like, <laughs> well, the Nazis had dark science, like they got clones. Uh, yeah, just everyone kind of rolls their eyes, like oh, like this could get any worse. <laughs> I, I was confused by another thing. Didn't they say they didn't even know that anything of this shit was true? But then they all say it's like, oh, Palpatine is back. Oh no, it's like, do you? Oh you yeah, know yeah, Palpatine, was a myth. Palpatine is. Oh, they all thought the Force was a myth, and now, oh yeah, Palpatine's back. But... I guess, I guess yeah. Palpatine's not a myth. The Empire wasn't a myth. Yeah, Luke the, was the, the guy who stopped Darth them. Thor. Like, how? I don't, I don't <laughs> well, know. Again, That's a good point. Know, how is in, yeah? In thirty years, how do people forget that? It'd be like if today yeah. somebody's like Operation Desert Storm. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they're all very comfortable in accepting that Palpatine's back. They know who he is. All of his influences. They're like, but you still don't even believe necessarily that Luke existed. It's like. How the fuck? Yeah. This this um, is what you have to do to get things moving as quickly as possible in this movie. Because you've got so much to try and cover <laughs> in such a short space of time. You've just got to have people be like, oh yeah, cool, right, that's the thing that's happening now. <laughs> Off we go. Next bit, so move I, on. I got a message from someone on uh, Discord here, Coyote. He told me, uh, he said, not caught up with the stream rags, but when Luke and Lando were looking for Palpatine, why didn't Anakin the Friendly Force Ghost simply tell them where his McMuffin was? Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, so many that's... questions. Especially because we <laughs> established that... in the movie that Anakin can talk to Rey. Oh, that blasts it wide yeah. open, doesn't it? Because that's Jesus major. Jesus Christ. That's a good point. That's a very, very good point. You see, that's the thing. This film is densely packed, but think of all this shit like that. Think of what you've done Force Ghost-wise. Is it said in the movie that um it will is it said in the actual movie that it's Darth Vader's Wayfinder? Or no, is that, just like... that is that is the thing that's been cut. Um, but I doubt he cut it for that reason. Like he probably oh, yeah, it's probably just to yeah. save time. Okay. No, can no, you... he cut something because it didn't make sense. Besides, you can you can still argue there's no way Vader didn't know about the Emperor's McMuffin to the right of his throne room, right? He must have known about that one. I I think absolutely he did. I mean, why would why would we assume he knew about that? Why wouldn't he? Well, technically, he was what's overseeing the, the he's, construction he's, of the Death Star before Palpatine the, yeah, even Yeah, he was, he was yeah, second in command. He knows fucking everything, doesn't he? But it's not... It's I don't think it was a, a room specifically created to house yeah. that thing. It was just the Emperor put it there, presumably, so there wouldn't have well, been Darth any Vader reason for him curious. to tell. Vader? There's no yeah. reason why he wouldn't know what's in there. Besides, he's a Force ghost. Doesn't he have the ability to just ghost cam everywhere? <laughs> well, that's what, that's what ghost it cam. For. It's like Just a ghost cam on show <laughs> on sci fi. Ghost cam. <laughs> so. Also, right. The, well, wait. Sorry, just just one right. one clarification that it is okay. confirmed by the visual novel, quote unquote. So a canon according to Disney that it was Vader's. Right. <laughs> um. 
the rebels seem very uh, like uh, easy to accept what this spy is saying is the truth. Like, what if this was a misdirect that the oh, yeah. you know first order? Like, what if just hypothetically say that it was all untrue, but they accept it so easily that they go on this wild goose chase looking yep. for MacGuffins, right? <laughs> that um, and while they're looking for it, they don't really exist. Then then Palpatine just attacks, like you know, in one hour instead of the. 16 well, whatever. First I mean, of all, you the get... accept it easier than the audience does. Yeah. yeah you get like, the greatest force user on the good guys team with the greatest pilot, with the betraying stormtrooper, with their translator, with one of the, the, the only remaining hero of the OT that's not Leia, I guess, all in one like, specific well, position. It's like, seems like a really good way to capture or kill all of you. And then later also, on... Also, everyone like, else in the resistance will just be here, cutting the grass. <laughs> Forest planet where we are. I was just gonna say they also get everybody to turn up at Exegol. What about if Exegol was just yeah. a nuke? That's all it was. What they turn it was up and just blows up the and they'll die. It's a trap. <laughs> like, <I> just... <laughs> well, yeah. If, yeah, Palpatine has literally used the trap thing before. So why? Why? Uh, it's very weird that they would just show up. He's kind of famous for using traps against you. You should be ready for this as a possibility. <laughs> Maybe they don't know because it was all a myth. Maybe. It was all a myth. Oh, yeah, that's right. The transfer of information in the universe is such that in 30 years' time, the galaxy forgets galaxy-changing events. Well, do you see how long they have to like plug something in to download like a, a <laughs> two-line piece of like text? <laughs> like, imagine having to chronicle the entire war against like, the Empire. Send me the, just send me the data. It's like, no, 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 I'll just tell you. Listen. It's like, I, I'm going to need a, a, a hose the width of the channel tunnel <laughs> like, to download this data. Oh, apparently it's not called a visual novel, and someone's upset that I've referred to it that way. I don't know what, what it's called. What is it called? A graphic novel? Visual dictionary? Visual dictionary? <laughs> I don't fucking wow. know. I don't care. If, it's if just the Star that, Wars If you wrote thing. that comic... A, uh, a visual novel is like Phoenix Wright is a visual novel. A graphic novel is, you know, like Watchmen or something. It's a book with pictures. It was a book with a picture in it that said, "Look, this is Darth Vader's oh, okay. They right. they had they had words in white circles with arrows pointing to who says them. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Imagine stuff. being the people who have to write the books around these movies. You'd be like, Ugh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then knowing that whatever they write is going to be easily disregarded and ignored by the people making the movies. Like, that person who had the stormtrooper with the jetpack in the comic, I was like, that was just ignored. Like, this, um, if they like, now. I was just thinking about the way, right? So the whole they reason Ray now? brings up the Wayfinders in Hill Book is because of the fact that these things are supposed to get you, quote unquote, was it, what, what, so it's, it's like, oh, the, the spy is like, we've got to get to Exegol. And she's like, hey, I know how. It's through these things. And it's like, did Luke tell anybody about this? That there was half a mission completed where you were trying to discover, like, the Sith's super secret and you just gave up? Did anyone know about well, this? You, you'd think that would be important information that Luke would let them know Palpatine yeah. is alive. Maybe just, I should tell my that I, I don't know. Did he alive. know or was he just chasing ghosts? Like, did he? I don't know. I thought they were looking for Palpatine. I thought that was what the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, they, for, <laughs> I think it was just they were looking for Exegol. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. what they but were. But, like, after. why would that have been oh, something they just they, give up on? If that Palpatine was alive, that is like, holy crap. Why didn't you tell anyone? So, hopefully, we were looking he looking for Eczema. But, like, why wouldn't he tell anybody about Exegol? He'd just put it in his diary and hope that someone would find it one day? Like, really? Why, why was Lando why he... even involved in this? Like, what in, what stake does he because have in this? Because nostalgia! <laughs> why would Luke oh, want yeah, to find Lando? Lando has, like, no in role in this film. Not Thank really. God, they didn't yeah, ruin not, him. Yeah, not a bit. <laughs> he's like, he's kind of like Hux with the plot device thing. He's like, he's just there to exposit something. They didn't ruin Lando. Han Solo's movie, no, they, sort they, of. They, yeah, they ruined him in Solo. Yeah. Yeah. Already he's a he's a droid. No, um, he's he's gonna help enthusiast. that one chick whose name we all remember uh, with the big hair. He's gonna help her find where she's from. What is her name? Unironically, none of us can remember because she's that L3. uninteresting. I remember Zori Bliss. I don't remember the other girl. Anyone? Uh, <laughs> um, no. I don't know. Uh, that, that was that's his daughter, isn't it? Was that it was cut from the movie. Unbark yeah, Zuwei Ray or something. Her name is Wakanda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, you say the the daughter thing is like, yeah, that was in leaks only. They didn't make it to the movie, so that's mm. no longer canoed. Well, they just have well, this weird goodness, scene because... right at the end where they they're like, it's really awkward. Know, where yeah. are you from? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I right, well, we'll find out together, <laughs> we'll find out. and then it just like, cuts. That, that came across because they cut like the daughter stuff. Yeah. 
like, yeah, the leaks. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, there was something there. there. Well, the leaks were saying that once Lando, you know, had his daughter uh, kidnapped, he just stayed on the planet and gave up. He didn't go yeah. after and try and find Which his is, daughter again, at all. Thank so, God they thank cut that. Thank goodness it was cut. Yeah. Because yeah, if that was the case, that's just ruined Lando as well. It's just, oh, and he already is. But... Remember the like insane damage Ooh. that was dealt to the Falcon in order to do the thing it did? I like how it's just repaired a seed later. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fixed. Okay. That's like, what I said earlier. What he, what he, he said, he said it was problems. on fire. He said problems, all of it of is on fire, and they show all the Falcon being on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a video game. As long as it has one hit point left, you can fix it all the way back up to new. Yeah. It's, it's just like you see someone hitting it with a spanner, and like the, the, the health bar on it just goes <laughs> it, up. Yeah, it's, it's like a battlefield torch. Yeah. You know, just, I'm using fire to fix it while it's on fire. <laughs> it makes sense. And, the annoying thing is, is it is supposed to be canon that fixing things date takes time, especially with the Falcon. There's a whole movie where the Falcon is just on the fritz and not working, you know, with the Empire Strikes Back, and it takes that long to fix properly. And then, yeah, just you know, a couple of minutes is done. Really and yeah, and as for there are like probably one thousand five hundred points to make and talk about, so there's going to be a good po like chance that we'll repeat each other at some point. It's going to happen. <laughs> like it's impossible to collect crazy. all of it. Um, yeah, man. Next up is the wonderful scene that I think we all would have laughed at, at least in our heads, where Rose is like, nah, I can't come. Nah. <laughs> I was like, thank God. Stay here. Someone in my cinema literally woman. said, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a blatant move. Just like, yeah, I'm busy with like looking at stuff and things. You, you go ahead. It's like, oh, okay. All right, and he like taps her on the shoulder, like, nah, all right, like they, they, you know, she's been friend zoned by Finn. <laughs> Finn, Finn was he, he's processed everything that happened. Is like, dude, you almost like killed all the resistance. <laughs> yeah. and then you kissed, You're kind of a really psychopath, cool. like, just yeah. saying, <laughs> it was all for you, Finn, my love. <laughs> That in a movie filled with mistakes, that is possibly one of the best decisions that JJ made. I love it. It's, it's, it's classic. <laughs> People were really upset about that, that like TLJ. Jenny Nicholson was like, she put out a tweet saying like, what the hell did uh, Kelly Marie Trad do to JJ to like, deserve this? Uh, Turns out she's just a well, shitty character, the, that's all. It wasn't the yeah. actor, it was the character. Yeah, the character like, was garbage. Well, I, was, I think I talked to Rags about this the other day, but like the, the, the space in this movie, how do you shove another character in there on like the mainline adventure when she's not... Yeah. Like, what is she going to do? Just stand kind of around? Because Actually, no, no, I have the best use for Ray that they could have done, right? Right. Is have... It, ha sorry, sorry, not best for use for Ray, best use for Ro mm -hmm. Rose. Rose. Have her go along with them, but have her be the one who was captured by the First Order instead of Chewie. Yes. And then have her legitimately die by <laughs> Ray. <and> <laughs> that would have been great. Okay, we would have liked uh, that, but I don't know. Uh... Conflict. It no, would have no, no, caused no, conflict would, for Ray. Yeah, we would have all taken gone, her out. Oh, no. It would have, it would have worked because oh, no. um, it would have been like a... It, it, that would have happened yeah, in the it, first like the first act if you will and i would have just that's was probably the second act but i still would have been like wow he fucking killed her that would have been, been like wow he killed her yeah well done <laughs> no i mean i know it would still be looked at as like disrespecting the character or whatever i think it would be funny yeah okay i'm okay with that go for it is it is it, is it disrespectful to kill a character to motivate other characters if you then oh like, no i'm not saying it give them it, a send off it defines i'm saying they would find it disrespectful like they they would be like oh, yeah, wow but, you brought her in just to kill her why do you hate her so much yeah but they can you could say the like, same thing about luke yeah they, they think i know of, right <laughs> doesn't work that way though it's only with their characters um i like that before they leave ray hugs leia and cries yeah it's just it's <laughs> they just have like, such an on-screen relationship yeah, it's all they just have like is trying chaos. To make something out of nothing. Like they don't have development; they just have emotional <laughs> payoffs. <laughs> Shark Ray, ooh ha ha! <laughs> can we can we also mention that Ray gave up the lightsaber? It's like, no, look, I'm not. Re I just take the lightsaber back. Okay, it's over. And then, yeah, aren't you fucking it, noble, you piece of shit? Uh, Don't you need then, that to fight, though? Then, what if yeah, Kylo can Leia, Leia just you? like, here, take this. She's like, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, she just, yeah. What was the point of giving it up? <laughs> they, they backtrack on Neil so many, like, any, like whatever, anything 
of supposed significant anything happens. The back happens, track on it almost instantly. It. It's like they have no balls in this movie at all. Every, yeah. Every, yeah. Bait and switch constantly. C three PO getting mind wiped, and then up. boom, he's back up and running again. Yeah, uh, you know, Chewie dying. Alive, he's not dead. <laughs> Kylo dying. He's not dead. Ray <laughs> dying. <laughs> he's not no. dead. Like, <laughs> well, just on. kidding. Actually, he is. <laughs> Palpatine's Palpatine's dead, right? No, he's not dead. He's left. Oh, he's dead again. <laughs> also, uh, by the way, Kylo, both Kylo and Palpatine, they do a double take on us. It actually is yeah. unclear as to where he gets his helmet repaired because he gets it repaired and then he's in a transport ship heading to his destroyer so it's like i don't know where he came from when he, he did that to the helmet shop <laughs> the helmet planet the, the sith, the sith he shop the he's been, the he uses his sith points they're like v bucks so I, why, why, is it, gets why is it like actual monkeys that are repairing <laughs> his, his <laughs> helmet know, right? <laughs> like is that the best you could find i mean he did a pretty good job like, he reassembled that thing. Like, well, yeah. it was a weird thing as well because it's like it's glowing red as if it's still molten, and like he's got it on his head. It's like, is it, is yeah, it still burning? Oh, it off. Look, he takes cool. it off. He's got all these scorch marks. <laughs> it's, red. <laughs> it's red for the rest of the movie, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. It's super hot. It's it's hot like it's his red glue. Teen angst. <laughs> it's just red glue. Um. <laughs> so it, 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 I like it when people talk about how, like, you know, at least the sequel trilogy doesn't have, like, the terrible dialogue of the prequels. Um, when we had the stupid salt line from uh, TLJ, and yeah. obviously the, the unfindable comment. There, there's other things. I'm not going to yeah. say that it's all a disaster yeah. or anything, I, but... One of the lines that really stood to me was horrible. I can't quote it, but it's when um, that new bounty hunter can't lady says to something to... Like, he, uh, the line was just so poorly constructed. Something about... I don't believe that you believe or something. It was just. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah. Um. Yeah. So when the when the knights are walking down the corridor, obviously we all knew who they were because there's so many memes about how they've been forgotten by Ryan and JJ struggling to make them meaningful. But um, obviously general audiences will literally be like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" And so they have two stormtroopers go, "Hey, knights are red." Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's and, right. and they really that's, are. They like, are super. I cool. think that's a candidate for some of the stupidest, crappiest dialogue in like the entire saga. It's so blatant. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't just have characters be like, they are the Knights of Red. Look oh, at camera. Everything, cool. everything has to be stated explicitly. Like when Hux shoots the stormtroopers and then he steps forward I'm the spy. and he like, I'm the spy. <laughs> like, no shit, Sherlock. I did that. They, they didn't even go so far as to have like poe or finn or anyone saying wait you're the spy <laughs> yeah that would have been better oh yeah we, yeah, like, yeah yeah i am the spy i am going to assist your escape come with me please <laughs> i like the, how he does the whole like shoot me in the leg and he's like i don't care if you win he said I shoot me in the Kylo no no he said he said shoot me in the arm yeah, and then, then finn shoots him in the leg because finn is an asshole oh wait hang on because i'm not actually 100 percent on board with that statement because the fact that fucking hux has caused a lot of shit for their team Yes, yes, Jux, he's made a good decision well, now, but that doesn't mean you can't fucking punch him in the Hux, face. Hux, Hux, Hux is the one killed, who ordered like, Starkiller Base to open fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah Hux nearly... Hux, for is billions of deaths. Hux ordered the execution yeah, for Finn and Rose. They were just lucky that, well, the, the fall yeah, did how it. Does that, how does that factor did, into the whole I'm a well, spy thing? Well, the only way you can justify it is if he Kylo. became a spy after TLJ. Well, no, he doesn't yeah, care if they uh, win. He cares if Kylo loses. That doesn't make any fucking sense. No, I mean, he, and, and he, I he like hated Kylo he, um, for a while. But, like, I agree with he, that. He like, decided to become a spy after Kylo forced throwing him around in the Last Jedi. I think that's justifiable. Like, you know, I don't like Kylo where, that where much. Kylo Ren is lying unconscious on the floor, and you see Huck standing over him, and he's all, he's reaching for his blaster. Right. And then Kylo wakes up. So it's like, okay, fine. He was harboring thoughts of murdering him, even in the Last Jedi. So I, uh, fair I enough. Like that's not my issue with it. My issue is becoming a full-on spy. Like, that's that's some crazy jumping. Like, if you want to get Kylo well, actually, killed... you know, you are right. Like, he, if he wants to kill Kylo, yeah. why would he try and undermine the First Order, which like, remember, his first I'll clue is... Destroy all power. my power. Like, his first yeah. clue is, go to Exegol because the Emperor is hiding there with an army of Star Destroyers. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with Kylo? Like, what What are you trying to achieve? And it's like, I want you to stop the Emperor so that you can kill Kylo, I guess. <laughs> it's like, you just hire a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, there's easier ways. There's a lot of easier, easier ways. 
Just also, fucking kill the me. irony, by the way, that Hux changes teams to kill Kylo, that Kylo changes teams at the end of the film. <laughs> He's like, oh, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hux dies anyway. <laughs> Hux is pathetic. Like, is uh, you go from the first film, and he's kind of like talking light. He's a little more embarrassing, yeah. a little younger. He needs. He still needs to experience stuff. Second film, he's a clown. Third film, he's a clown who gets executed. There were these different types of clown in every film. Sure. Yeah, he was like he was over the top rage, just psycho in the first one that you couldn't take seriously, and uh, there was no menace or fear from you him. Can't, <laughs> you can't, can't be scared of Hitler if he's ginger. What are they about? <laughs> this is this is the thing when you hire really young actors to play roles like this, like they just don't have. There's the a kind reason of you need old British men. You have to do it. <laughs> you do, yeah. That's no why General British Pride was like, "Yeah, place. you're evil. You're definitely evil." You may fire when ready. <laughs> Not. The first order shall rule the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, sit down. <clears throat> but yeah, dialogue was fucking garbage uh, in that moment, and there's there's a couple of examples in the film, and I just find it amusing because uh, it comes across as desperate to me now. It's like, JJ, how do we sort of explain these are the Knights of Ren? It's like have a character say it. Fuck it, let's move on. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> okay. I think a lot of this comes down to like. We we have to go to print in like two weeks or something, and yeah. we've got no time to come up with anything else. Just, <laughs> oh, and fuck it, just put in a bit of dialogue. So for clarification, uh, someone just said, "Who is the most inconsistent character?" Though we're we're gonna go through the film, and then we'll decide who 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 the most inconsistent character is. But obviously, if if the most of the cast are gone by then, I say if anyone wants <laughs> to leave, we'll just have them sort of submit their vote before they leave, uh, and then we we can all try and discuss it, I guess. Um. So then we have the scene where he has like a board of First Order directors, and he's like, so I got this offer from a creepy old man on some island about, or planet about like a thousand ships, and I like the, the first thing the other guy says is like, well, they're a bunch of soothsayers, and it's like, okay, but they do have a thousand Star Destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> they may be weird, but you know. And like, uh, Richard E. Grant's character says that, he's like, they have an army. It can fucking bolster us like crazy. And then he goes, okay. And, and I, th I felt that that was a stupid question, but his follow-up one isn't. He says, um, what does he want in return? Which is like, yeah, oh, Kylo yeah, okay. just slams Kylo him. Kylo just kills him. <laughs> it's like, why the fuck did you do that? No, that's a really valid question. <laughs> it's, it's like, you're just going like to give us this shit for free? free? Out of the kind where... of... Like, why are they even there if you're not going to listen to their questions? What's the point of them? You said words, death now. <laughs> death <laughs> now. <laughs> Does anyone have anything just... to say? No, no, oh no, hey, you're great. Whatever you're doing is fine, whatever what it is. Right well, do you think, like, JJ that? got to that point in the script and he's like, fuck, I can't actually think up for an explanation for this. <laughs> uh, just, like, I, uh, I think it's Kylo a running theme. Him. I think it's a running theme for the whole series. Like, that doesn't make sense. Get, get thrown off. Kill him quick story. before he what keeps asking out? questions. <laughs> <laughs> quick before he thinks again. And infects us all. Was it like, yeah, in Batwoman, there's that Mary, she randomly asks questions every once in a while. They're all like, yes, Mary, good question. It's like plot hole stuff, but she's ignored most of the time. It's like that. I miss Batwoman. <laughs> yeah, it's coming back. We'll get it back. It's okay. <laughs> I um, need it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird jumping from Batwoman to something... Just as bad, if not worse, than Batwoman. <laughs> like, that's where we're at with this. But yeah, so uh, Kylo's plan is he is going to, uh, I think he says, like, I'm going to find the scavenger while you guys, I guess, consolidate power. I don't know. I, I don't really care. The The point is that he's got no plot. He's got, like, I'm going to find the scavenger. He's got nothing to work with until he engages at a Skype call, which oh, that's what sets yeah. him on his plot. And it's just as bad as the leak said it was. Is this when he pulls the necklace off her? Yeah, yeah you can analyze it. It works when you do forced phone calls. You can do things like transfer physical objects across thousands well, yeah. of kilometers. Well, yeah. they sort of established no, that it could have happened. I was going to say, yeah. kilometers, well, go with light years. Well, yeah, yeah in oh, Channel J, I, it's I almost just... like it's incidental that this can happen, which I was like, that's certainly really, really weird. Mm. But it wasn't like we have to totally abandon ship and it's a disaster. But they take that and they bring it to yeah. the next step. Well, yeah, it becomes, I can it becomes now a choose of what I can and cannot interact with to where I could just yoink things Tell from a galaxy objects. away. Yeah. yeah, It would have been so easy to retcon as well. Like those drops of water, 
that they were just residue parts of the vision that eventually faded well, away. Yeah, I'll tell you this, right? They were just coincidental. Instead of doubling like, as a down result, and transporting matter sweaty. across light years through the force, which is so mm. dumb. To clarify, right? Ryan didn't approve of this movie at all. So the idea that he set up what happens in this movie with his movies, like, I think that's a stretch. So what did Ryan do the water thing for? From my perspective, it seems to be that it sets up the, the, the dice are possible, right? When Luke gives it to Leia, it's like, instead of that being like, what the fuck, you can move objects? It's like, no, 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 we did see it before with water, so it's fine. You, you can sort of move an object, but then it also shows that they disappear after a certain amount of time. Exactly. The dice, so that, so the that, dice to me, is, that to me is pretty much fine. I'm actually fine with, like, you can sort of make a picture image of a thing. It's like, okay, there's probably some application for that. Well, but being able no, to literally teleport shit, like... Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Like you could just yoink it from a distance. Why didn't you just steal? Why didn't they just steal each other's little uh, wayfinder devices? Why didn't he just grab her? Yeah, well, this is the thing. Him. What are the limits? Yeah. Can he grab her lightsaber? Can he grab her like clothing? Does it just come off if he pulls it through? <laughs> <laughs> so what happens? He's just left standing there in the middle of the town without a shirt, <laughs> or like he grabs her hand and like it just detaches from her body or something because he's like pulled it off. Well, like, how <laughs> fucking at least with the water droplets, you're like it's very small, it's very subtle, it's yeah. just like a remnant of a connection. It's it's almost it's it's not something you choose to do. It's just sort of like leftovers that are coincidental. And I want to clarify as well, like, like, this power is just like, imagine they're at the, four, the the base with every good guy, and Kylo has the call with her, she pulls him through, and he's just in the, the base like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just got a gun. Dogpile him but down. Also, how contrived and convenient is it that she happens to have a necklace on for Kylo to grab and pull off? If she didn't have that necklace oh, on, so he never would have been able to figure out Dude, where they yeah. were. It's so, how, so how, we, yeah, I was going to say, how much information can you really get from looking at a necklace? It's intense. To know? I want to, just, just before like, we get to that, though, I wanted to say, like, this festival, C-3PO announces that it happens once every 42 years. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why does JJ want this to be the case? Why would you make it so that you force contrivances in? Like, you don't need I, to. I heard no, that but... is because, isn't it 42 years since yes, either 42 the... Years since yeah, yeah, 42 yeah. years since A New Hope. Yeah, 42 years since A New Hope. I mean, that, you know, that's, that, that's sweet, but uh, it's still retarded. <laughs> and yeah. I, I would like to take this point to say something positive about the film. I know, I know. Let us, when, this is the one point in the film that I actually laughed. It was when C-3PO says that about the, 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 the festival, right? And then they all look at him and then there's that pause and then he looks behind him. And I thought that was funny. Oh, yeah, when he looks behind <laughs> I thought it was funny. C-3PO well. so actually has some half decent lines. Well, yeah, I, guess, I guess this is where like, we'll announce it. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you guys are welcome to agree or disagree. He was my favorite thing about the movie. He was, yeah, yeah. he's my favorite as well. C-3PO was unironically the he best was my part favorite of the unironic part of the movie. Yes. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> C-3PO <laughs> is the best part of a Star Wars movie. Yes, like, C-3PO was actually my favorite part of this movie. He had some funny lines mm -hmm. in the tunnel when, uh, uh, when Poe is calling out, you know, for everybody mm -hmm. to see if they're okay. He says, you know, you didn't call my name, sir, but I'm okay. But I'm okay. Yeah. Like, His lines were chase, very funny. Yeah, in the chase. Excellent work, sir. Terrible work, sir. Terrible like, work. <laughs> and and that, what's great about that is that is actually a line that suits his character. That's exactly something yes. C-3PO would say, but it's in the right situation with the right timing that it's it's funny and it's got good irony to it and stuff. And so it worked. Like, you know what else I like? The fact that they established that they're going to have to essentially kill him to get the next portion of the plot going. And he's like, so this dumb. is this is terrible, but this is the thing. This is the thing I, I liked in the mess. They ask him, uh, you know, like, is this not their best shot, like, statistically? Which is something that he's always rambling on about. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea that they're appealing to his interest in statistically choosing the best choice, and that leaves him with the position of having to sacrifice himself. I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I agree. It's consistent with his character. Why is C three PO the best thing about this movie? <laughs> <laughs> we should have been we should have been doing like uh polls for the most consistent character and no one would have got it. No one would have guessed C three PO this yeah. whole time. We'd just be guessing but people who aren't in the movie. <laughs> like, I would have just been guessing inanimate objects.
like that door over there um, the thing that's the most i think you can character. really call that a character i think you can um, the door yes hmm. Well, is the theme that anyone could be a character? If can, so, then you're it depends on your how you identify. If the door said it's a Skywalker, then <laughs> door. Exactly. What is your last Ray, name? Ray, I <laughs> Skywalker. Skywalker. Door. He is a Skywalker. <laughs> the door probably has more personality than Ray. To be fair, not so, only like, it could not be the only main have character. I... The door is like not only have I closed myself off from the Force, I have also <laughs> closed the way off from the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> um. So yeah, onto the necklace then. <laughs> the ridiculous. So of all the people, like the fact that the random person would even put a necklace on any yeah, of our so characters. Yeah, ugly child walks up to Ray and gives her a necklace. <laughs> and then the yeah, so the one the one of our characters gets a necklace put on them. That seems unlikely, but it happens. It happens to be the one person who enters regularly into Skype calls with the the villain, and he also has developed enough of this ability to be able to pull things off people. So, like, we're already into several degrees of contrivance. Then this necklace is distinctive enough that it provides them exact coordinates to what point of the planet they're at, at what, like, just, just immediately. And she panics from the moment he grabs it to the point where she's like, Kylo Ren is on the way. And he turns up, like, five minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, weren't there already, um, uh, First Order patrols? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they turn up, like, he... 30 seconds from that moment, but he turns up a little later. Yeah, like, they I just don't think the already... question of what they were doing there in the first place, were That's they just hanging out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they have a game. throwaway line for that. There's throwaway lines throughout this whole movie, and they're terrible. Poe is like, watch out for First Order patrols. They like to sort of, you know, be around these sorts of things. And he's like, what the fuck? Do you... Why? Why would they, they like be here? They like to party! <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, she panics everyone by being like, Kylo's on the way. And they start running, and the music starts up, and they turn a corner, and there's this one First Order trooper that's like, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? And then we get to see how effective that armor is once again. Yep. A sharpened oh. stick goes right through it. Oh my I god. I can't stand That's crazy. Armor. Someone gets and, you know, murdered. People try and justify it. Well, oh, sorry, I'm going off on the armor. People try and justify that the armor disperses a blaster shot so they get knocked out instead of dying. And if that's the case, it is the most retarded armor in the world because that means a shot in the shoulder will knock him out. Whereas if it was not doing this, they could keep fighting and they just have an injury yeah, on the shoulder. At that point, you just don't wear like, the armor. <laughs> like if you it just knocks don't you wear out, the armor, you're going to be killed anyway. I'll just wear the helmet and the breastplate and the and the the greaves, and we're good. Yeah, because the knocked out soldier is so useful. I was going to say, if you're on a one on one fight, they shoot you in the foot, you get knocked out, they execute you. Like, cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm only wearing the three bits. Well, I just protect the important parts. Um, I don't want to get shot in the toe and just like, uh, I guess I'm just incapacitated now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just thought it was crazy. You got this like friendly festival where they all celebrate and send each other gifts. A guy gets his fucking brain skewered by an arrow, and everyone's no like, la, la 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 la. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> my, my, my first one was like, parties oh, on that planet are wild. Like John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> it pulled me out so hard. I was like, is nobody like, what the? You just, okay. The festival teaches us that death is a natural part of life. Yay! There's like a, there's children Murder. in the background, like, cannibalizing one of their own. They're just like, yay! <laughs> yay! Does anyone you will provide sustenance spice? for those of us who have survived. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so turns out it was Lando Calrissian. Oh my god, he's an archer. Um, How convenient. And so just to get you guys all of the framing you need, he says that Leia contacted him to say they were on the way, and that he's gonna... So he looked for them, and he found them through seeing Chewie, because Chewie's obviously pretty noticeable. Again... Wait, why didn't Leia just tell them? Why did... Yeah, was, yeah that's, the, fir that's the first thing I was gonna say, is why the <laughs> hell didn't Leia tell them to meet him? Like, that makes no sense. And in the leaks, if you remember... It said that, Ray, uh, that uh, Leia told them of a contact she has on Pisana. That was the original leak. So apparently that was in the film, or at least we can assume it might have been. And they cut that. Like, why what would you... I guess they cut it to make it look more realistic that they didn't immediately go to him and that they, you know, explored. Oh, no. Ha hang on. W they weren't Absolutely. looking for Lando when they... No, nope, they were. They, no, they were. No, I'll, I'll tell you what they were looking for because I, I really wanted to know. If you pay attention to the scene, uh, one point Poe says, I'm going to go talk to the locals. He's going to go talk to the locals about the potential of finding McMuffin number three that leads to McMuffin number two that Luke couldn't find. It's all very complicated. Just going to go up to the locals and be like, hey, do you know where a knife? A knife? 
Yeah, Sith we're knife. looking for an ancient Sith assassin knife. Um, <laughs> yeah, about it, we don't know what it looks just like. Just in this stall, and it's like ten credits. Do they know <laughs> they're looking for the knife at this point, or they they no, just for a the holocron. Right, uh, yeah, I think they think that they're looking for the holocron They're at that just point. looking, yeah, yeah they because they thing. find the knife because she senses it in the dirt and she pulls it out of the dirt. <sighs> Such a headache. Because it's... that's just, it's just, she senses the Sithness on the knife. She gets down with, with she the Sith. She senses the N-word on the knife. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> in, was the knife defense, that killed her knife, parents as yeah, well, wasn't it? it killed yeah. her parents. I think that might leave some residual force feelings. Whatever, she gets it from everything. <laughs> yeah. like she just has forced moments with but everything. The mere existence of the knife is stupid uh, beyond belief, but we'll get there. I liked we'll Chewie there. and Lando hugging. There, I said it. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> it's, that, it's so yeah, superficial that, nice. that I'm just like... Well, <laughs> you it's nice brief... that we got something that makes sense and that we expect to see happen logically. I like That's that people cool. would be like, oh my god, you just want fan service. And I'm like, stop saying that. These people care about each other. They're supposed to <laughs> hug each other. What the fuck? <sighs> um, yeah, so he just he dumps exposition on them completely. He's like, to get the holocron, you need to get Darth Uchi's knife. Darth Uchi had, had a knife, or, or had a... Th Darth Uchi was the last thing that is connected to this holocron. His ship is on some ridge over there. Good luck. And, and it's his funny. ship is completely intact. Yeah, after hasn't, hasn't been for stripped like for decades. parts or stolen. Yeah, and, and it works. into it really easily. Like, they fix it in about I a could... minute or two, Poe does. I yeah. Like, it, in man. my town, if you leave a car unattended for like an hour, it'll be up on brick. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> locked. They just it. walk in. It's like, oh, all right. On this <laughs> episode of Bait Ship. <laughs> Did it really fix it though? Don't it just turn everything on? Just fuck off? Yeah, like it's yep. pretty much ready to go. Yeah, fixing yep. is a generous way to describe their flight. Yeah. <laughs> onward. Yeah, and they it just has take fuel, time. It's, it's everything. It's ready to go. But yeah, while the locals um, that just, no, they, I was gonna say, with, like the locals, that's too stupid. Like, oh no, <laughs> they just not know about space travel. So hang on, we have skipped the chase though before they get to the ship. Oh no, I I, I was gonna do uh, that. Like we. We just no, jumped ahead a little um, bit. We, I can yeah. roll it back. But, so while they're yeah, talking so, to Lando, uh, Kylo arrives. Like that's how fucking quick it was. And they're like, "Uh oh!" And so they immediately want to get to a, the speeders in order to get to. Like this is what I mean by the ticking clock. JJ's constantly has to generate. Like th there was this thing that really interested me. It's going to be toward the end of my TFA series, right? So when they had the finale of TFA, there was no ticking clock, and he said that that was like a problem. Because there's no tension, really. Like, it's just, they're trying to destroy the base, but there's nothing at risk. There's no, we need to do this within 10 minutes or X happens. And so they had to make it so the First Order were aiming at the base. And if you remember, how is what? it that they find... Yeah, 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 in, in TFA. How do they find the base? Uh, how do the, the First Order find the good guy's base in TFA? Do any of you remember? I, don't I believe a throwaway line or something? It's a throwaway no, line. No, it's Snoke's with uh, Hux tells Snoke. Yeah, when, yeah, the, uh, Kylo's having a meeting with Snoke, and Hux walks in and just says, our informants have found their base. Oh, oh well, really you know, it's funny it. how in A New Hope they had causality because she It's great up, in A New you know? Hope. There's cause yeah. and effect and cause and effect. I love it. It's great. In this film, in those films, and that's what I mean. JJ was like, right, we need some instant action ticking clock, because he can't do anything without one. And so, yeah, we get it in this as well. Imagine they were why like... Does, why does JJ fall on, like, s several very simple but not always effective, like, storytelling tropes? Oh, ticking clock, mystery box, good storytelling MacGuffins. all the time. How would you, how would you know, because, Fringy? He's uh, an actual director. Who Have you ever directed a movie? How would you know? <laughs> that works. <laughs> Michael like, Bay's also directed a lot of movies. Well, that's the thing. That, Imagine that um, the scene runs as being like, alright, it's over there, grab a speeder. They do, and they just head over there casually, having a discussion, they get to the ship. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I prefer that. They could discuss things. They could have a reason to explore, <clears throat> like, why are they well, here? What's the plan? Who are they? Like, <laughs> we could finally have a discussion instead of a fucking action scene. Well, and imagine if there was some kind of complex puzzle that they had to unravel when they got there, and it, it required a bit of thought and a bit of imagination. Then, again, it doesn't have to be fast-paced, but there's something that they have to do in order to get this dagger. Like, it actually requires a bit of work and thought. But in this, it's just like they literally fall into it. By stumble circumstances, upon yeah, circumstantial bullcrap leads them. Just think step about by. the number of coincidences, exactly where they man. Need to go. 
Like the if they didn't land, if they didn't land in the quicksand, well, first of all, if they did, if the speeders didn't get destroyed, they wouldn't have landed in the quicksand. If they didn't land in the quicksand, they wouldn't have ended up in the tunnels. If they didn't end up in the tunnels, they wouldn't have found the knife. And it's just like, it's well, insane. yeah, the, the so string of convenience in that scene is absurd because the whole yeah, film. the fact that it's. It's very convenient that this festival that happens every 42 years is there. It's pretty convenient that they get found straight away. It's pretty convenient that they land in quicksand that takes them directly to a place that shows us force healing and the fucking dagger. And it's pretty convenient that the ship from which Ray's parents were taken was also like 10 meters away. How convenient. This like is that. this is the genius though of JJ's writing in that <laughs> he moves you on so quickly from scene to scene <laughs> that you don't have time. Yeah. yeah. And and that's his strategy. It's like if I just keep it moving quickly enough, people won't have time to think about how stupid this is. I think it's it, cinematic gish galloping. Yeah. I, yes, I, I think is. I was talking to Friggy about this. I can't remember, but uh, the, the one in a million comment, I was thinking about it. Just the idea yeah. alone that it was and one in a million in the cinema, and they carried carried on talking. They said something else that was stupid, and I was like, "Wait, wait, hang on, wait." <laughs> so wait you can't why, why was it one in a million? Why? Why do you? No, it isn't. You, How do you fuck it up? Did you realize that one in a million thing is completely contradicted at the end of the movie? Did you guys? Any guys pick this out? What, sorry? Okay, on uh, Endor, sure. where the the on Endor, the Ewoks are looking up, and you see two large star destroyers, and one of them was just holdo maneuvered. It was like it is in the air. Yeah, it's the exact same shot with the like shrapnel flying behind it, and, and all these things. Yeah, yeah someone did the holdo yeah. maneuver yes. against a star destroyer. So it's not I, one in a million. What? I wondered what that was when I first what? saw. It. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure because it, it looked weird. It was the holdo maneuver. Are you sure? It, it's canonized once again. But also, you know, whether or not they did it again, the fact that if it was a one in a million shot, why was Huck so freaked out about her doing that maneuver? Why yeah. was he like, oh shit, Jesus Christ, get us out of here. Like, <laughs> like they, she's, million, not, she's you, throwing you, her like, life away. That's a one in a million yeah, shot. She'll like, never make it. No way. Bullshit. Get out of here. It's on the court. It's like, is this how desperate the rebellion is? <clears throat> yeah, like this is, I, the, it's <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Having some kind of seizure here. I can't deal with it. They're, like, <laughs> they're so incompetent. Also, we have we have lost Jay. He said he was uh, he's he's too tismed to stay awake. I'm afraid. Oh no. Um, we will we, we will carry him. on. We did get to kick him. Everyone's very happy about that. Hooray! We did it. We did it. What a massive. Um. So yeah, uh, I they guess fly the only... now, guys. Yeah, they fly now. Yeah, they fly now. <laughs> oh, that, that... They so, fly now. Like that. There's fly a, a couple of They're like targets now. There is also something else profoundly done with the fight scenes. Did anyone notice what the uh, the stormtroopers were actually riding on when they were trying to chase them down? Like no sand like... spikes. They were like sand, like sand they're, you know, <clears throat> They have technology for like things that Hovering. float on the ground everywhere. But let's just retrogress and put something on wheels also, on the ground. Here's, here's a weird a question. If wheel. they they flew there, right? If they flew there, why would they chase after them on ground? Why wouldn't you just get Well they're like, apparently stationed there? These people were, so, were stationed here for whatever reason. Oh, these okay. And All so right. these things All that right. are on wheels when they've had speeders for er however many years in Star Wars are on Thousands. wheels, it's because one of them is on wheels that they get destroyed. Finn throws a grappling hook that gets mm -hmm. caught up in his mechanics. And it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how come the shield didn't deflect that? Because remember, they have shields yeah, on yeah, those. Yeah, another good point. Uh... <laughs> They have shields at the front of their They bikes. have shields well, now. No, they don't because shields don't work in atmosphere, remember? Oh, like, no, don't. No. Don't bring that in yet. No, 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 we got to get to that. No. <laughs> I don't know, we've been doing this for like three hours. We've still only gotten through about like 40% of the issues. <laughs> that's only the ones like that the we found. Storytelling. It's a nightmare. It's so bad. And I was going to highlight, by the way, Picture Luke and Lando. They turn up to Darth Uchi's ship. They ignore Dio, by the way. They don't pick him up. They don't do anything with him. Even though that would have all the fucking answers they need. Remember? By the I, way, sorry, I, I just realized that, 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 that Dio has the literal readouts for Exegol on it. You don't even need a McMuffin at that point. Also, I just love really, that they really get in the ship and they look around for two seconds and they're like, nah, there's no obvious clues well, I was supposed to be <laughs> highlighting something else, but I just stumbled on that by accident. But... The, uh, they're like, wait, what could possibly have happened to Darth Uchi? This is like, well, there's this big black 
pit over here, like quite close, and it, it's like quicksand. <laughs> what? What if he fell in there? And it's like, nah. Wouldn't no, wouldn't that Luke couldn't have, happen. Wouldn't Luke have sensed the Sith dagger as well? No. Sense, uh, uh, no. Fuck's uh, sake. Oh my goodness. Also, when, when they're getting chased, like they barely get hit, but the last jet uh, jetpack trooper hits both of his rockets in each individual of yep. their speeders and crashes both of them, and no one dies. <laughs> it's amazing. It's and almost I, like crazy luck. When they're singing luck. in the quicksand, my honest reaction when they're singing in the quicksand is like, oh, this is going to be easy. Ray can levitate and lift everyone else out. I was exactly. Expecting that exactly. I was expecting that. I was expecting like, was, shh, and they just all fly away. It's like, yay! It was, it was so obvious. I was waiting for it to happen. When they sink, I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> what are the odds that they fell on the quicksand? By the way, there was like this little uh, tiny patch of quicksand in this <laughs> desert. If they had gone slightly to the left at the start of their drive, they would have totally gone past the clue. Yeah. And I the, guess that the other. The end of the movie. The other thing, and I raised this in my own video, was like, okay, so there's the quicksand, and then there's a tunnel underneath the sand, but they, like, yes. fall through the sand into the how tunnel. How does it not collapse? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, exactly. How the and if there's something the... holding the tunnel up, then how can they fall through it? Like, <laughs> none of it oh, makes any not... sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. It's just un... oh, unending. I can't... You're so <laughs> right. It's like, what is going on? I just, I'm sorry, I'm it, still reconciling because I hadn't thought of it before, just the whole we've got all this MacGuffin nonsense chasing all these different things around all the different places to finally get to Exegol and just, Uchi just has a droid with all the information on it in his ship. Like, all right, there's all yeah. this extensive shit to get to this information and yet it's also, it's like me putting like a billion passwords but then also having a notepad next to my computer with it all. <laughs> Not only that, <laughs> it's on, a notepad that wants to help you. Yeah, it, it was abused. <laughs> Do you remember that? She said it was like, it had a, it was, it's been hurt yeah. or whatever. Like, it's man, they you do... have a really, this Sith assassin has a really friendly and sympathetic robot companion <laughs> thing. Because That's they, weird. They plug, they plug that robot into the thing at the end what does that do? Because I missed it. It gave it gave them a technical me? readout of Exegol. It told them where it was, what what is in the surrounding area, because they say that there's solar winds, really? like electrical really? storms, and the space cancer. Why would that... Why it's would all in Dio. Like that? That's what I mean. It's, it's, it, I'll tell why you. Why would it have that information? The re Because JJ does not write properly. If you remember, Ray takes the McMuffin to Ark 2. She ditches them. She doesn't tell them anything. She just leaves. They have nothing. They go home empty-handed. Their plot was useless. But then they plug in Dio, and they're like, Oh, it has all the answers we need. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> it is pathetic writing. Like, you didn't even try. If they had honestly just talked to Dio, like, you had to see 3P go, Hey, hey, what information do you have on you? And he goes, oh, I know where Exegol is. It's like, right, let's go home, guys. <laughs> well, honestly, like, really, when you think about it, all right, this guy has information. We find his own personal droid. You'd think their first idea would be maybe we should check what's in this droid what information it has let's just you know figure it out but they no they completely ignore it but then suddenly then it has the information you're right it's and i know that the, if i'm that, being if i'm being 100 percent fair right all dio says is where the place is and what the dangers are but you need a mcmuffin to get through it safely i just think that's bullshit that's all and dio as a sith robot he could t he could translate sith so you wouldn't have even needed to wipe C-3PO's memory. Oh my well, this, god. This was another thing oh, that yeah. just... <laughs> there's no, yeah, there's no reason to assume end. he wouldn't be able to do that, yeah. But it's the fact that, like, okay, we've we've got this, we need to translate it. Oh, C-3PO can do it, but he needs to be reprogrammed, so now we go to another place to get that. Is there any reason why C-3PO was programmed not to be able to read Sith? Because Anakin but, made him. Yeah, but, was, like, he can um, read it. No, he can read he it, can he just can't it. translate it can't for them. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's what it does. I think that you could validate that, that he... Yeah, you could validate that he couldn't read Sith. That's like the one language that is forbidden to even read. But Maybe, they have it yeah. that he can read it. He just and can't, then translate, he just it. can't <laughs> translate it. Yeah. He's not allowed to tell Which them means about, about he can surely point on a map, right? And is there any... <laughs> yeah, like, why, why don't they just say, indirectly tell us what it means. Change the words <laughs> up, embellish it a little Play bit. Play charades. You know? Why that, don't you just what, do, yeah. oh, kill him? Just delete his memories, basically. Get Luke's force ghost to tell him to do it. It's or something. It's terrible. It's just terrible. And uh, the question yeah. will eventually come, fellas, and I don't know if you're going to be answering it one way or the other, but is it better or worse than TLJ? 
Oh, I don't know at this point. I don't I've know. Already That's said, the thing. I want to say it's I, better. I, Mostly I because of the this. intent behind it. Yeah, it was almost like it's like a terrible, terrible band aid. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's like a stinky, hairy band aid. It's, like, yeah, it's like a really shitty band aid. <laughs> it's, it's not been sticky used anymore. Twice. I think with one this one. Sticky. There's at least kind of a, a reason why it's so terrible and everything is stacked against it. <laughs> I, I can imagine us, it as holy shit. Like I can imagine it as you've lost your leg, like you stepped on a landmine, it blew your leg off, and so your buddy pours petrol on it and sets on fire to cauterize the wound, and then you just get engulfed in flames. And it's like, I'm helping, right? Yeah, it's like, well, your heart's in the right place. And you're just like, kill me, please just kill me. <laughs> Yeah, I think with The Last Jedi, that was like a deliberate fuck you to like the, the entire fan base <laughs> it of the series. Way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, where, where at least with this, this was like some kind of attempt to produce something halfway decent. And I, I enjoyed some of the it problems. more. I, I enjoyed say watching it way more than The Last Jedi. There is a higher frequency of issues. The degree of these mm -hmm. issues is the tough part. Um, I, I think it's a bit worse but because of the frequency of issues and that... If you even divorce it from previous Star Wars, everything I find that there's less to enjoy. Um, uh, they, they were, I feel, there was more spectacle in the that I could make it more. Enjoyable. I'm not sure I agree with that, actually. You reckon? Because so, me and Rags kind of talking about this, right? Uh, you know how the audience score is actually beating out TLJ is almost like double TLJ's audience score Basically, on yeah, Rotten amazing. Tomatoes, and we were trying to think of why that might be. And one of the theories I actually do think is that. This does come across to me as more of an audience-pleasing movie compared to TLJ. TLJ has a lot of that moments is that is yeah. that is just slow and calm, and people are just talking to each other. This movie yeah, is like I nonstop, like boom, movie... boom, 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 action, flying, all these quippy lines, comedy, boom, 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 and you're just like, oh yeah, yeah. This yeah. definitely appeals to normies in a way that TLJ would not. Good points. Because at least, because at least the thing is with Rise of Skywalker, there's plenty of action. Plenty of cool shots, plenty of ooze and awe moments. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that at least shit was happening. They've really, um, they've toned down the whole identity politics thing, which was quite a big component of The Last yeah. Jedi. And that is something that, like, I was very grateful for, because honestly, I was just gritting my teeth through half of that movie, like, fucking hell, this is insufferable. <laughs> But at it least here it's not as offensively that, bad. Oh yeah, sorry, that's bullshit. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Can we talk about the skimmer real quick? Hello there. Can we talk about the what? The skimmer. Wait, the, the, the water, water. Is that the water skimmer? The water. We're going. Oh, we're, well, we're trying we're, to go through. We're going. We're not yeah, there yet. I, Your I, time I, will come. I'm sorry. Come back the, in six I'll, hours. I'll give you context, <laughs> right? So we're going through chronologically. We're at three and a half hours in real time. We're at half an hour in movie time. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Which is so that's better than I thought it would be, to be honest. We're doing okay, no. and I think we can speed up eventually because we've covered a lot ahead of time, if you know what I mean, as we go. So we can, a lot of issues, we just highlight and move on sort of thing. It was um, kind of amazing. Oh. I, I noticed while you guys, while we were looking over the leaks that one time, and we, we went through just only one part. Like, we didn't realize there were three parts to the leaks. We went through one page. We thought that one page was the yeah, entire Yeah, we thought movie. part one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, then I realized, oh my god, this movie is running at breakneck fucking speed mm -hmm. to the point where it's all like, oh, so wow, was. I feel like we were at part one. Yeah, man, this movie is dense. Shit uh, is happening. So, Rags, you highlighted the joke where he's like, you didn't call my name, but I'm okay. I liked it too. <laughs> but what about the joke, like, just genuinely asking, where uh, Ray lights up the place, the lightsaber, and then Poe turns on his torch, and he's like, oh, man. <laughs> if anything, the torch would work. But so here's the thing: the lightsaber. You you guys know Lindy Beige, right? Yeah, oh yeah, of course. All right, so it's Lindy legend. Beige has a great video. It's old, but it's a great <laughs> video about using torches at night. Torches, uh, like oh sorry, like a not an electric torch, like an actual torch. We're talking charcoal on a stick. All right, torch. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, rags, you you upset me. You know what? I How do I upset video you? On I have a whole video on torches as well. Aww. Just saying. Well, I didn't want to. I feel neglected. Aww. I don't want to. <laughs> his, his is just the one I think about. It's where I first learned about Aww. it. So it's probably the one that comes to my mind. He, he did do it first. That's true. He did it first. He, um, but it, the point is, like, if you were in a cavern like that, you wouldn't want to use the uh, a lightsaber as a light because if you hold that up to your face, it's going to blind you and it, it's not going to actually help you out. But a flashlight, it directs the light at things in the distance. 
so if anything, the light from shining in your eyes. Yeah. So, so if anything, yeah. Ray should be like wincing at the light of the lightsaber, and Poe should be like, "Ha ha! See, I could, I could see at a distance. This is the." Not to mention, it feels awkward to me. Like you're in this crowded space, and someone's just got this like skin melting weapon right next to you. <laughs> I'm just like, they're maybe, fine with it, man. Yeah, like I'll maybe think, don't I'll take a step back. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, like, listen, Ray. I know you mean well, but like, man, uh, that's. <laughs> Just Turn put it away, some... God damn it! It's um, making me really Do you guys nervous. remember how, so, they find Darth Uchi's car? Like, and it's, it's got like, so you know like, um, a Volkswagen sort of... A Mercedes Benz, yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's, it's, got, down yeah, it's it got a Sith icon like on it. It looks like Hitler's staff car. Yeah, he's got the Sith made <laughs> vehicles that had their, like, icons on it, apparently. I've never seen this before, but yeah, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. they've, they've maybe got a whole line of merchandise yeah. that you can get from Sith. And so, we're supposed to believe that he sank through the black sludge sand stuff in his car, he got out of the car, walked forward, and then got eaten by the snake thing. But he didn't he, even get eaten by it, because eaten. he's, he's I thought he just starved to death. They uh -huh. said, yeah, it's like he's just dead. I thought they were implying that he was the one that hurt the worm. No, he didn't get chewed up or anything. All of his skeleton was there. Maybe it pooped it out in order. Maybe. Uh, Ew. Because this, this <laughs> <is> hole. <laughs> Just the <laughs> aim. Star Wars. Now, Star Wars. Now, if it, if it, no, seriously. If it pooped him out, the bones wouldn't be arrayed in. It would have because he would have been no, digested. Right, yeah. And then and so the, the he that was a natural death. So he just sort of no gave way. up. Why didn't he try to, anything? To be to be fair, getting eaten by a wild animal is sort of a natural death. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had to, like, I had assumed that, like, he did hurt the worm, and then maybe he suffered an injury and died. I, well, I thought I, he the died. The thing about that is, though. yeah, because Lando and Luke. Yeah, he died. Yeah, him. actually, thinking about it, that wound looked partially fresh. It's not like fresh. it would be 10 years old, would it? Oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Also, a, hang on a minute. When his bones bleached, like, how would he get to that point in ten years? Is that possible? Is that how that? I, I, what's the decomposition? Actually, right? ten honestly, years and uh, it, it depends. I actually cave? had to look this up. For, no, I had to look this up for my book. It depends. Uh, decomposition can happen really hard, a uh, fast if you're exposed to the elements, like out in the thing. But if you're in a mm -hmm. cool, dry place, yeah, it can like almost mummify you. Yeah, like, and yeah. So, that's, what, that's what I was figuring because he's in a cave, right? Like, it's unlikely he would be bones in ten. Maybe, yeah, so he's going bone slow. That's plus one for the digestion theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the, the snake web thing arranged the bones afterwards. He was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you, you know the other problem with this, though? Because if he's, like, starved to death, that is implying that it is almost impossible to get out of these caves. Well, like, yeah, there's a no Sith, opening. A Sith warrior of his caliber couldn't just dig himself out of a hole? I don't exactly. understand it. I don't understand it at all. How did they get radio con guys, like, I guess he couldn't worm, contact anyone either. The worm just knocks open the, uh, the wall and it opens up and they're free. Like, Seemingly uh, by accident, the worm is like, well, yeah, yeah. bye. <laughs> so, Thanks for healing me. I understand how this concept works. My animal <laughs> brain is like, oh, you force healed me. I'm going to let you go now instead of devouring you. Again, it's so contrived the way they sort of imply that the, the thing is like, hey, heal me? Question mark? Like he's yeah. waiting. <laughs> It's like, He's I would tell you if you don't. Not this, not this strange creature is trying to touch my wounds. I know, right? Get it off, get it off, kill it, kill it, eat it. Exactly. It's, oh, it's probably going it, to heal me with magic. It's like yeah. they're trying to, it's like trying to imply <laughs> that it, there's something immoral about defending yourself against a vicious animal that's ready to kill you, uh, that you can't kill it back in like, self defense. Yeah, no, guys, no. Don't, don't, don't kill it. That wouldn't be the right thing to do. Don't tell Chewie. But this, that wouldn't be the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chewie's just Chewie sweating when they say that. He's like, yeah, that's, uh, you wouldn't do that. Kill wild animals, that's fucked up. <clears throat> so, so <clears throat> but, yeah, so speaking this of is which, our, there are Borgs in this, yeah. This is our setup yeah. for the force yeah. healing that gets, you know... This is the... the oh, uh, so time, time to address it. it. Time to yeah. address it. So, force healing is in... Uh, like expanded Star Wars stuff, okay? Expanded Star Wars universe and in video games, but it's never been in the movies. And I feel 
that's for I, I hoped that it was intentional because having the ability to heal can stuff up so many things narratively Absolutely. so it needs to be employed with great care and like when you see healing done in fantasy and stuff like that there's a lot of things rules built around it whether it's, it costs a lot it's very restrictive only a few people can do it it's really difficult to do it takes ages of time to learn how to do it and train and figure it out it is like healing has massive Massive implications okay and so honestly with all the ways it can be used to stuff up um uh, any type or, or sense of uh, urgency or engagement because with healing oh well they're, they're injured now we well, yeah. heal them okay well, yeah you know, we got like, a healer uh, in the party guys yeah, just fucking like, go that, for it man that's exactly so when you put healing into a story it destroys so much kind of uh, tension because they can just heal themselves and so they would have been smarter to just keep it out and they were smart to keep it out to this point because in star wars it, like with the expanded stuff they were implying that healing was done in the old republic in the video games even like the video games that were based around the same time period of the original trilogy and stuff you could still heal in video games but it wasn't done in the movies and so that is implying very strictly in the movie canon healing couldn't be done it wasn't part of the force and it was smart because if you introduce it and especially if you introduce it in the wrong way you're gonna stuff up so much and that's exactly what they did with this yeah, they, like, they, oh no, they not only shot. screw up they not only screw up how it's employed that you know what what cost is there to heal because it doesn't cost ray anything she heals nope. and she's perfectly fine but when kylo heals he kills himself because <laughs> reason okay there is, there is no cost at all for ray to heal in the movie except anyone else so they screw that up and then they also screw up that this, if it do, is in the movie, it should take so much training to make get this because it is not in the movies yet. So as much as people say it was done before, Disney decanonized everything else. And so with the Disney canon, this is not a force ability that was ever done by the Jedi How she be ever. aware that she could do it? I don't even yeah. know. No idea. She just well, said, I figured it out on the fly. Is, if I could just highlight, the by the way, if you guys remember, the only person quote-unquote who is shocked by this is bb8 bb8's like hey what did you just do and she's like oh i transferred force energy to the whim everyone else is like yeah whatever and now i want to remind you i want to remind you that poe gets shot in the arm at one point in this film when he goes back to base he's got a bandage on it and he's like ah and it's just like, hey ray like, maybe hey, you could ray. like lead the hat <laughs> You yeah, asshole. So I just, want to, just want to point out, Ray, that remember when we met that worm that was going to eat us on that planet, that that animal, that wild beast, and you healed it? Could you help a brother out here? We're like friends and all. Like, please. It fucks up everything. Like, it just. Every, like, it's so bad. Oh, and because that, that's so fucking funny. I, you'd think, because, yeah, according to the canon, this was never done before, okay? Disney decanonized oh, every other instance, okay? And even if it's in video games, the, according to the movies, it was never done before because we don't see it. No one even references, says this would have been useful thing. And people always, they point out um, Palpatine, you know, Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> he could uh, overcome death and everything like that. There is no indication that that was actually happening, okay? It's actually far more in line that Palpatine was lying through his rear end to corrupt um, Anakin. There is no indication to actually say that force healing was a thing and Darth Plagueis the Wise could do it. And it's more likely, again, that Palpatine was lying. And even if it could, even if he could, that's not implying that it's healing on the fly. It was just immortality, prevent, like stop aging or preventing death or something like that. There was no... No one was saying, but all that statement isn't implying that you could just heal willy, willy nilly. <clears throat> and so there's all that. But then Ray, she just does it. She no training, no no one knowing, no one around her knowing how to do it. And Ben Kenobi, when he saves Luke Skywalker, did not heal him. Luke was still knocked out by the Sand People. That was not healing. People tried to tell me that's healing, and it wasn't. Okay, <laughs> no healing was done. Star Wars beforehand. <laughs> she just um, pulls it out of the her rage just, flow through oh, you. I can't stand it. It is so <laughs> dumb. And she just pulls it out of her head. It's the most Deus Ex Machina bullcrap use of the Force up to this point, which is only like it's only been done worse well, at the end of the movie when all the Jedi and she just uh, we see her so heal strange. a lightsaber wound that goes straight through the chest. Can anyone think of another time? Where that may have happened in Star Wars to a significant character. Well, Ray's godlike, so it makes sense. 
I would also like to point out as a little uh, cap on the top of all that, that um, uh, not really too much of a meaningful spoiler, but this means that Baby Yoda can heal better than Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the other thing. Like, I criticize Baby Yoda being able to do this bullcrap as much as Ray. Just because Baby Yoda doing it doesn't mean that ah, oh, it's well, canonized. It's okay. in Star Wars. I I haven't seen Mando episode seven yet. Who have you so all I seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Have I? But people have been no, saying it. Well, we need yeah. to mention it because it's it's got direct implications about this. They only put it in there to try and validate Ray nah. being able to do it. That's the oh, only reason. Yeah, to, that's, only, that's the only reason. To reassure you, it's, it's not a big deal in the episode. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it if it's. Yeah, it is no. Oh, okay. It is the it is the least of that episode. All right. Oh, <laughs> great, awesome. <laughs> Um, so I want to highlight Sorry. next up, right? The wall just falls apart, almost as if the worm did it on purpose. It's hilarious. It's just mm -hmm. like, well, there's our exit, folks. It's very. It would be one of the key moments I would say, like a video game, where it just seems to work out that way because that's just the way it works. <laughs> it's like cool. Oh, oh yeah. my god. The the cave right. is designed like a Skyrim dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like Zelda. You complete the fucking puzzle, doors open. The puzzle was to heal the monster instead of kill it. Like you keep every time you try to attack it, it eats you. It's like what is the trick here? Press the, <laughs> the press monster the square just somehow to knows heal it. that's exactly what your idea is to walk up into its face and heal it. It knew. It knew. because of the fourth. This massive sandworm on an alien planet has a sophisticated sense of empathy that you. I would then like to highlight. Uh, if you guys saw it in the trailer, there's this shot in the desert, where the Knights of Ren are all standing on this platform where the camera like, pans around them. Looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm, uh, that's not the important bit. The important bit to me is they are incredibly incompetent throughout this whole movie. And this is one of the best <laughs> examples where you have like eight dudes and they all just stand and look around. That's what they do. Yeah, they're, they, they're great at it. They're good standing arounders. And, uh, Looker, guys. Somehow, um, it can works. I just, I just want... I just want to answer, there was a question in chat, someone saying, what do you mean no training? I meant no training in healing. Of course, she's tried to train in other things, but no one, none of her teachers knew you force healing. No, so Le she Leia no did. Training in it. Totally. Oh, bull crap. Bull crap. <laughs> Don't give me that. And this is the thing, knowing JJ and how fucking lame his throwaway lines have been in this movie, you would have expected in the opening to be like, I can't, you know, connect with the Jedi. I know that you've taught me force heal and force blah blah blah, <laughs> but this other thing's not working. And we'd be like, oh my god. I have oh found these to the D-pad where I felt is most appropriate. <laughs> and know? like her line afterwards, she literally explains how she does it in the context of, this is new to me, I just figured it out. I, I transferred my force, life force into it. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and, and so <laughs> that alone is implicating that she just figured it out in that moment. It is worth so. highlighting, by the way, that this Mandalorian episode came out, like, a day before the movie did. And yep. I think it's implied that it's supposed to be like, see, Baby Yoda could do it. Everyone could do it if you just, if you wish hard enough. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> if you wish hard enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, they all go back to Darth Uchi's ship. They decide there's no point in going for the Falcon, because that's obviously going to have been captured by now. Which is just like, alright. Like, I don't know why they would have direct coordinates for your Falcon. I guess you parked it in an open space. All right, fine. So why wouldn't can... they leave someone to guard it or, or watch well, over it? Well, yeah, why wouldn't they have someone in there that can just drive it to them to pick them up wherever they end up? That would have been yeah, useful. Yeah, you guys yeah, want like to a... walk across this fucking desert? Like a fucking droid or something? Nah. Um, <laughs> what about that big floopy man, the alien? They could have had him in there. <laughs> doesn't have any arms. He can't use the controls. Well, he, he, was the it's fine. he was in there at the beginning of the show. Oh, uh, and, and Pig Knight just said, it's in, uh, isn't it, in, well, uh, I think it's implied she learned it from the books that she took. Um, oh, the Force Healing? I, mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then, well, that, that just that makes you wonder, then how come, all, yeah, how come all the Jedi don't know it? That's thing? actually, yeah, I think we could do that. That actually yeah. is, it makes uh, it, that make, means it should yeah, be a foundational power that all the Jedi know from the very beginning. Yeah, if anything, this forgotten. is like... This is like Fisher Price's my first force power. Is like imagine, you get a move, um, we'll fix that up. When Qui Gon was stabbed, he was delivering his like death message. Obi Wan goes, "No, it's fine." He goes, Pfft. "The Qui Gon's like, oh, oh, thanks, man. All right, yeah, all right, good. Let's move on. All right, well, um, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I was gonna say later then. I, I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll train Anakin. Yeah, I'll train Anakin. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I still can do it. He's like, no, no, it's okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Healing, healing can be ma like magical healing can be used in a story, okay? But you need to use it effectively. It wasn't used effectively here. It's used as Deus Ex Machina, and uh, 
it ruins so many things narratively. It destroys tension. And so even if you want to say you can justify it, first of all, it wasn't justified properly in the film. But even if it was justified, say, you know, they actually do mention it was a lost mysterious technique that she learned from the books and everything like that. It yeah, makes it the cost. situation worse, okay? You do not want healing in Star Wars, okay? You want there to be proper tension that when someone is injured, you can worry about them and everything like that. And not yes. just say, let's find they'll just heal them. Yeah, it, yeah. It, if if you're good, if you have to have it, it needs to be a long, laborious, tense process that takes a lot of time and a lot of concentration. Not all wounds can be healed. Um, it's it's something only if you. It's like one of those high tier force powers that only the goodest of purest of most wonderful Jedi can learn how to do it. It's very very difficult to pull off. Not just yeah, just. Just, just do it. You'd almost think this is why Lucas kept the Force really simple and Force yeah. powers mm-hmm. really basic One in the original trilogy. Because the more things you introduce, the more complexity you add to the point yep. where you've basically tied yourself in knots. Build that, that, that Jenga tower getting taller and taller with well, yeah, weaker foundations. Um, yep. yeah. It used to just be Force pull, Force push, like, you know, it's like, it's basically telekinesis. Mild um, telekinesis well, they, and mild telepathy. Yeah. That was it yeah. originally. Yeah, and and the it. lightning... The lightning only was introduced as a really dangerous power by the most exactly. evil guy in the evil world. Evil emperor. Only yeah, which gives you the sense that, like, oh, this guy isn't fucking around. He's like... But, but now we've yes. got, like, force astral projection. Force well, no, now healing. you can lightning by accident. Force lightning. Accident. Accident. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You can, yeah. But you it's can not lightning just... by accident. <laughs> it's not just... It's not just the force, though. It's it's everything. It's the technology. It's space battles. You know, now you've got yes. hyperdrive trackers and, and decloaking scans and and like hyperdrive hops like... and everything. Like so yeah. many things you have to account for now. It just it becomes used to impossible. Be... It used to be that the rules existed and you had to write your story consistently with the rules, but now it's the rules exist for the plot. The yeah. plot Remember is when there. force lightning yeah. wasn't the force equivalent of premature ejaculation? <laughs> I'm really trying to put. Could you imagine that in like the in any other scene in this series, like when Obi Wan and Anakin were fighting and they were like trying to force push each other, and then they just had lightning come out. So it's like, oh wow, what the fuck? Like, I want to <laughs> make fry the shit out of each other. I want to make yeah. you guys sad. Okay, so I just saw a comment saying Star Wars is the story of Anakin and Luke Skywalker, and it's like, well, let me amend that. Star Wars is now the story of Anakin, Luke, and Rey Skywalker. No, it's not. I refuse to. <laughs> like, no, no, no. It no, is no, not no. canon. These movies are not canon. Canon. They're bad fan fiction that will be forgotten. I don't, I don't know that they'll be forgotten. I think they'll be hated like, for a I long time. Be, I, I genuinely think they will be kind of rendered <laughs> irrelevant. You know, we are still, you know, 40 years after Star Wars came out, you can go pretty much anywhere in the world. People can tell you who Luke Skywalker is or Darth Vader. Forty years from now, no one's going to remember Ray, or Kylo Ren, or Finn, or Poe. Ray should have you buried know, herself in that hole at the end. <laughs> she just like sinks into the sand. It's fine. It's like, tell my story. There was no like, reason no, why that couldn't have happened. By the way, that they all just died in that sand pit. It's you know it's interesting you brought up the whole thing with like this, see, and who the story died. is about for this series because a lot of people make the observation that. You know, the whole Anakin is the chosen one still works because he took down the Emperor. So in a lot of ways, he eventually did fulfill do you remember the prophecy, what, as it were. Do you remember what he says in this movie? No one's ever really gone. He says, restore the balance like I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what bull, it's like. Bullshit that he restored the balance. He didn't even kill Palpatine. <laughs> Yeah, because there was still 10,000 Sith on Exegol just hanging around. Well, whatever they are. But this is the what I mean. Weird hoodie man. Like, I don't exactly know it's what those creatures are. This oh, is when I'm Snoke exists, too. How can I'm mom, honestly how can surprised we... they didn't have him say, like, Ray, take the step. Do what I couldn't do. You're yeah, so much stronger I than I was. <laughs> yeah. uh, how, come, how come there was no montage, though, in Palpatine's head where Darth Maul's like, Come on, man, you got this. I know you killed me, but yeah. I forgive you. You know, just do this for me. Yeah. On Plagueis is there written him on. <laughs> yeah, Dar- all the darts of the past. <laughs> Come on, do it. <laughs> Dooku's like, no, fuck, fuck you, dude. I'm helping Ray. Well, I, I hate all the Sith. All the Sith would be like, dude, what the fuck? You killed us. You betrayed dude, yeah. us all. 
fucking asshole. I also find it crazy that, so like, he's got all the past Sith in him, nice and weird. She's got all the past Jedi in her, and I'm like, so what about the people who are like, you know what, I'm reformed. Were they going to slip into Palpatine, but then just last minute they go, eh, no, I'm in Rey. It's like, what about okay. the Jedi out there who aren't part of the Order? What about all the Force-sensitive people? Do they yeah. count as well, anything? The or? big issue is that they've made it to where it's like, oh, Jedi just in general are part of the Force, but that was never how it worked because all the Jedi got killed in Order 66. They just dropped dead. They're dead, like, they're not alive anymore. But what we do know from the Force ghosting is that Ahsoka Tana was dead because she was one of the Force ghosts. So that, I'm sure that'll be great for her bunch of people. I'm sure they'll be really thrilled about that. Yeah, that Star Wars girl's not happy about that. Well, I'm, I'm not <laughs> happy about that. It's just like, oh, she's dead now. So, like, oh, cool, thanks, awesome. You had a character here that you could have maybe taken in as the sequel trilogy lead that people really liked, but I guess not. You didn't invent her. Well, Disney didn't yeah, invent her, so she I'm doesn't get to, to be date. part of it. I'm not up to date, though. What was she doing during the um, uh, original trilogy? Um, well, I know up to Rebels, she, like, had a fight with Darth Vader, but yeah, Rebels I see, is I thought, slightly I before. Thought it was like I, I thought she would have had to have died before then, otherwise she should have been all there helping him out. Yeah, well, that's the issue. Mm. It's like, it's not like they figured it out. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, I was actually going to say, that's Disney's fault again. They don't know what they're doing with Ahsoka Tano, so. <laughs> so th this is where, I can't believe I'm saying this, just go with me. This is where it gets really stupid. Uh, the <laughs> oh, now? Please explain. <laughs> We've got the full team heading to Darth Uchi's ship to Yay. use it to go to a place to get the translation for the knife, plot-wise. Like, okay, Ray fucks off. She just, she just walks off, and she says, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. It's like, And so what? does Chewie. Chewie decides to walk well, off Wait, wait, well. well, he's no, told to go and collect her. her. Yeah. Oh, is that what they did? The, the stupid that. thing that he does is taking Darth Uchi's knife with him. I keep calling him Darth Uchi, even though he's not a Darth. I don't care. It's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Uchi. He might as well be. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Um, Darth Uchi. <laughs> so, uh, somehow, logistically, right, you've got uh, think of this as a 2D plane going from left to right. Uchi's ship, mm -hmm. um, Chewie, Ray, and the Knights of Ren cross into Chewie and capture him. <laughs> right? And this okay. is happening, like, to the knowledge of Finn, but not the knowledge of Poe, because Finn, like, walks down to see it happening. And then he's like, Ray, what the fuck? Because this is so awkward. Like, everyone's way too close, and it's also very yeah. just strange and clunky. They, well, they, there's the fact that they staged it in a massive open desert where there's no cover and there's no way any of this couldn't be seen by everyone. And it's, yeah, I mean, like, we, we're dealing, it, there's some rocks. Um, yeah, I, I assumed Ray was on one one side of the rocks and Chewie went on the opposite side of the rocks looking for her. Then. How the fuck would you make I that mistake? He just no, because they know which direction know. she'd gone, so they sent. They could still. You could literally her. see her. Remember, you remember the shot where she's realizing she's killed Chewie. Like you could see Finn in the background and the ship. You can see. You so can how see the, the hell ship, did yeah. Chewie get lost? <laughs> Listen, know. Chewie. Chewie's two hundred fifty <laughs> years old. <laughs> the sense of, they, that, you know what they say: the sense of direction goes first. I like, think. Chewie, how did you get lost? He's like, I don't know. About what, what's that? <laughs> uh, what? What? I poop, I poop my he holds a little horn yeah, up to his ear. It's the fact that he, they were able to capture him without him getting off a shot or raising the alarm or doing anything to, to resist. He just gave himself up. It looks like an officer pulling across a drunk person as well. It's like, what's this? A knife? <laughs> yeah, it really does. You're holding a knife? And she was like, hmm. <laughs> My knife, but okay. Um, and yeah, while this is happening, Ray is just like in a trance, staring at the fact that Kylo is coming for her. Now, in terms of just characters acting to me, it's like, so Ray, you think Kylo's on the way, yeah? And she's like, yeah. It's like, so why don't we get out of here? It's like, no, no. No, no. <laughs> like, oh, okay. And then All right. she like is laser focused into killing him. But uh, so this, this goes two ways, right? So on her end, she does kill him like twice. He like rolls at 40 miles per hour in this small like compartment across the, the world. Just hang like, on, hang on. Before we get there, before, before we get there, right? What was Kylo's intention? Well, that's, I, 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 I was about her? to say, I was explaining her half first. So it's going to be his half okay. second. So, because because he rolls that fast and then he explodes and he's fine. Yeah, she was, she was definitely like, guys, happy to kill him, right? We can yeah, all agree on I that. Have, I have a confession, right? I, I've seen the movie twice. Okay. 
Don't, dun, don't judge dun, me. Dun, dun. I, okay. The family were going, they had a spare ticket, and I just wanted to see the reaction of everyone. So, but it got <laughs> me, it gave me the opportunity to pay attention more closely to certain things because I knew, uh, you know, this, we were going to do this. And I wanted to, and so I watched this really closely. Okay. When that TIE fighter drops, the, the compartment hit so hard and is rolling, the G forces mm. would kill anyone inside. That yeah. was a massive oh, impact. No, he's got And force. then the force. it explodes. <laughs> the no, thing the force. full on explodes. Explodes. It comically explodes. It looks funny yeah. in the background. It just goes. <laughs> There's no way anyone survived that. And he like... gets out, and he's not even injured. He doesn't even yeah, have fine. cuts and bruises. He just walks yeah, out. He's like, "Yo, what's up?" Maybe he's he so... was a clone the whole time. Did he do the same thing Palpatine did to survive the <laughs> Death Star exploding? A Force Shield of Dragon yeah. Ball Z level something. Maybe it's like maybe it's like in Demolition Man when the the safety foam explodes inside it and it just like covers him <laughs> to like shield him from the impact. Uh, but then the other side of it is, Kylo's whole goal in this film is to turn it to the dark side, and if he can't do it, he said, you know, don't force me to kill you, as a result of not turning to the dark side. So that still is, like, this is early film goal. He seems to be trying to kill her in this scene, like, run her over. And the first yes. thing, and I know you point this out as well, Shad, it's just like, if you're trying to kill her, why not shoot her? <laughs> Use yeah, your and, and lasers. Shoot <laughs> or something. Like, don't don't come in at a, like ten, 10 feet off the ground. Like, you're in a ship. You've got the ultimate advantage over her. You could hover like a thousand feet up in the air and just blast away. It's yes. It's bizarre. Yes. Like, I don't know what the hell that's. This is what I mean. There are so many things wrong with that scene. Like, we've we've gone through what's like thirty seconds of time or whatever, and it's yeah. just so much to deconstruct. It's the it's the whole thing because you you know like. We have to deal with this all the time on EFAB. It's just like, if you take longer than the thing to talk about the thing, you're not good at your job. And I'm always like, I think you just miss a lot of what's in a thing when you yeah. talk about it, apparently. There, yeah, you're right. You would, think, so you would think shooting at her would distract her long enough so he can crash it. It's yeah. been so funny. She turns it back on him. And runs. Runs away. <laughs> yeah, now like, shoot her. Why, yeah, why are you <laughs> running? Flip thingy and it's like, oh, I got your wings. Like, oh. hey, <laughs> like you're just, another... surely you're just wasting energy by running away from it. <laughs> yeah, but it it's why not just, just fucking yeah. duck and hold your lightsaber up? Like, yeah. it the no, same. no, no, that, that six or that, that ten mile an hour difference is really going to help them. <laughs> Yeah, for once. <laughs> the TIE Fighter must be doing like 300 miles an hour. You're not going to outrun it. <laughs> it's another perfect example of reason and logic being thrown out the window for the sake of a cool visual. Yeah, that's yeah. not Is there any reason why uh, Kylo couldn't have pulled up and just killed her? Yeah, uh, it was so well, dumb. Kylo could have killed her a thousand ways in, with the setup of that. I, I, remember, I remember when the <laughs> teaser trailer dropped and it was this scene that they showed and yeah, everyone yeah. was like, oh, it's not that he's trying to kill her. She's going to leap on top of the ship and he's going to take her somewhere because it wouldn't be that <laughs> dumb that he's trying <laughs> to kill her. <laughs> That's Let's some crazy we taxi know. shit right there. Yeah, because yeah. jumping onto the TIE fighter was a more sensible. I remember thing. the theories <laughs> that uh, I remember the theories that Poe was driving it and that he was going to be turning to the dark side or some shit. The, the what? reason the reason they don't show us Kylo is because it's not actually Kylo in there. And then the movie, it's like, yeah, it's Kylo. It's Kylo. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like Sorry. let's just go with the most basic explanation. So in the context of the movie, I don't think he's trying to kill her because he wants her to join to his side, all right? Yeah. And so he's obviously trying to goad her or get her riled up and everything like that. So if that was his intention, could you imagine if she slipped and didn't jump and he yeah. just <laughs> like, Wait, so like, was, was his plan to... He knew that she would jump and destroy his ship? What is the Why point? What is the point of the whole thing, if that's the case? <laughs> yeah, he could have just yes. landed nearby and then walked over to talk to her. That's not yeah, what he like, actually hey, wanted Ray, to what's do. Up? It's me, Kylo. That's what he did later on when he was trying to, like, force pull the ship down. <laughs> Instead of, like, force pushing her away. But it was, like, a test of some bullshit. Oh, I wish some... he just slipped and he accidentally just splattered her into me. Yeah, and that's, that's the end of the trilogy. That's the end of the whole saga. <laughs> and it's just like, I really thought yeah. she was going to jump. Um, just... So yeah, I want to highlight, right? You have Finn walks out to see that she is still, she's not that far away. And he's like, wait a minute, where's Chewie? He looks, he glances to his right and several <laughs> meters away, Chewie is just being reprimanded by several stormtroopers in, he's in like handcuffs and shit. 
And he looks oh, you sad. Rascally, Wookie. He's just like, hmm. And they're all like, hey, <laughs> you <laughs> naughty boy with your knife. And it's uh, by the way, in the shot you can see a second transport behind the first one. And it's like, ah. Oh, uh, okay, you I actually see, see it. I, I, yeah. I and so Finn sees that, and then he's like, oh, that's that's weird. And then he's like, walks forward and shouts, Ray. That's Chewie on that transport. <laughs> and so comes the seed wish. I think her intention, naturally, is to just pull the transport down with the force. For some reason, mm -hmm. she has trouble with this. Like, I was, I don't understand why. I, she's, she's like, so powerful in so many sections. Yeah, don't, of tell me that those, don't. don't tell me those rocks weren't as heavy. And uh, she's not very intelligent, either, in terms of, like, using the force. It's like, first of all, like, try and knock off the thrusters with the force. Can you, can you just break them, crush them, do something? And if not, them, direct one. the ship so that you like you push it down, angle it down so its thrusters are actually helping you, instead of angling it up so that they're pushing against you. Like she just, again, she's a very clever person. But um, obviously she's getting nowhere. And then Kylo turns up, fine by the way, not a scratch. And he pushes it away, and it creates this really awkward scene. It's just like, ooh, yee, ooh. <laughs> and uh, the thing that was said in the leaks that we—I just—I didn't think it would be real. She, uh, she lets loose her force lightning <laughs> and murders everyone on that transport. And I want to highlight immediately: she's very happy to discover that Chewie is still alive later. She doesn't give yeah. a shit if she killed no. anyone on that transport. <laughs> any prisoners of any other kind. She's just like, yay, I got Chewie <laughs> back. It's like, wow. I, I wonder if there were any people from the festival that were Yeah, arrested. exactly. <laughs> yeah, like there's a dead trooper lying there. Like, of course people got arrested. He's got little an arrow in his eye. <laughs> little child that gave her the necklace was on there. It's no dead. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised. If Ryan had wrote it, it would have been like, it wasn't Chewie, it was Lando. Like, oh, thank God. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, phew. Um, but then, yeah, Kylo just lets them go. He doesn't chase them at all. Neither do the Knights of Ren. And you might be thinking, like, ah, you've forgotten though that they do. They like tail them in space. If you remember, <laughs> they're like following them directly. And it's like, why didn't they just capture them? And maybe you're like, ah, <laughs> because they want them to translate the Sith tag. You're like, no, they could do that themselves. Because they are the Sith. Yeah. Yeah, Palpatine can read Sith. And they already I have their McMuffin, so... <laughs> like, why would they do that? They have a McMuffin. Um, so it's really confusing, and then you find that as soon as they arrive at Kojimi, uh, they're trying to capture them. So why didn't they just capture them on Pasana? Yes. This movie is fascinating, by and they the way. And you have a line from Poe <laughs> being like, hmm, probably should have been following us, but they're not. And I don't feel good about that. I mean, that's, that's a little bit later, but I, I just... I don't understand. Is this... Is, is this some more fantastic editing where they've had to cut a bunch of stuff out. Possibly, yeah, because what it is the motivation be, yeah. of the Knights of Ren and, and Kylo Ren to not chase, uh, to not capture our heroes the at this Knights point in the story? Kylo. Like, why not? Before we move on too far from the scene, I do want to, again, I know we've already pointed out, but it needs to be said again about mm -hmm. the sheer stupidity in that Ray can do Force Lightning by accident. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And mean, why does she never ever use that again? Because it's really dark time force to be power. useful for her. Yeah. Like, it's a dark side power, which should imply that she shouldn't even be capable of doing it. She's not on the dark side in that any measure in that scene. And so... Oh. And if they're trying to get the idea across that, oh, maybe she is dark side, it's like, no, fuck off, she is not. She is the most <laughs> purest, amazing character ever. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And the fact that someone can use such a high tier force power by accident, and like, and pe like any argument people had of Ray not being a Mary Sue is utterly destroyed by this movie. I I don't know how anyone could try and argue that anymore after what we've seen. She's yet now. to lose a single battle. She's never well, lost. She, uh, she technically lost to Kylo, but nah, not she really. beat him. She beat him though. What I mean is, like, you look at you look at uh, the prequel and the OT. Both times, main characters lost, like, and mm -hmm. lost definitively, getting their arms chopped off, like losing the bad guy because they get away, losing wars. It's like, yeah, the good guys lost a lot in the. In like the, the one other time one. she but comes yeah. close to losing, the plot bails her out. She, yeah, the pl <laughs> and then she stabs him in the gut. The one time she <laughs> dies, the plot bails her out. I know, right? Oh, wow. It's great when there's absolutely no consequences for the main character. Yeah, I know. 
That's uh, why she was so surprised by the force lightning. They're like, oh, consequences. And then she's like, oh, lol, never mind. <laughs> Someone in chat said more, the Knights of Ren saw which who he came from. That's uh, my point, is that they know where the ship is and they do nothing about it except chase it. Yeah, just, yeah. But then once they've chased them to Kojimi, they're like, oh, let's not do it. Like, they, they wander around. Do you guys remember the Knights of Ren walk like in lockstep around Kojimi? Yep. It's like, guys, yeah. maybe, maybe split up. It's like, nope. Mm -mm, then, uh, work. If you remember, uh, Kylo Red is like, together. Kylo Red's like, where are they? Uh, I don't know. Well, the, the scene cuts in with them having said something to him, and he goes, search the city again. It's like, here's wow. A, here's a question. If, uh, if, if the Emperor was feigning like, oh, Kylo, I want you to kill Rey, what if, what if Kylo said, um, can you lend me one of those uh, planet-destroying ships so that wherever I trace her, I can just blow her up? Um, Palpatine yeah. knows very well that she would survive, though. Yeah, you've got 9,999 <laughs> of them. Can I just have one? Can I borrow? No, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Blow it up. Platus doesn't do shit. It didn't kill. It didn't curl, kill Zoral Stis. No, that's someone else. Yeah, it whatever didn't kill was. Zori <laughs> Bliss. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said. I said the fucking lizard god from Divinity. Fuck. <laughs> Zori. <laughs> Zoro Bliss. Um, yeah, it didn't kill her. And I bet, even I bet. She got off, I guess, yeah, even though she fine. had no means. And she took it. Babu Frick with her. Thank God he survived. <laughs> I love the idea that they're really happy to join the fight when everyone on Kojimi is dead except for those two. <laughs> Just like, well, mm -hmm. gotta make the we best out of a situation. We haven't gotten to that part yet, meeting Zora Bliss. Yeah, well, we're about to be. Uh, we've got oh. Ray's all like upset. She's like, I killed Chewie, I might be a bad person. And then Finn's like, nah, you're not. And then she's like, nobody knows me. I think that's the part nobody. of the film that could be later. But... Yeah, basically, yeah, I don't know it. who I am, but everyone seems to. And I, I just be like, no, right, no one knows who you are. No one ever yeah. has. What do you mean? No you one know cares. No, we've got nothing to work with. Evil. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then we go to Kojimi, and they're immediately like in hoodies to... Add to the fact that the Knights of Ren couldn't have found them immediately, but I just, again, I'm just so confused as to why they wouldn't have been captured on Pasana, but whatever. Um, they bump into Zori Bliss by I chance. I don't understand how that's likely. And she knows Poe uh, from their history and she kind of hates him. That's the, uh, oh, she wants to kill him? Yeah, she hates him to the point yeah. where she not only wants to kill him, but she wants to sell the rest of them as fugitives for a bounty. Yep. They're that's, about to. Like, they're just strong, about to. That's a strong position to take, right? That's something that's like, oh shit, this is gonna be tough to work out. And um, they drop yep. that entirely when Ray beats them up. Yep. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, now, yeah, they... Uh, a common yeah, trait really? of the Mary Sue is that everybody loves mm. them. And what does Zori <laughs> Bliss say? I like you, even if you don't care. <laughs> and Ray's like, no, I care. <laughs> that is... It's like it was a force power, but it's a Mary Sue power. It's like, you just beat me up. That you, Some people might be threatened by that, get angry that they'll beat and want revenge and anything like that. But this, it's like, it's like magic. It's like, yeah, whenever like you defeat someone in combat, add a plus 10 to their attitude rating versus you. <laughs> yeah, like, it's oh. like Grand Theft Auto, you complete a mission plus respect. Thank you so much for beating the shit out of me in my head. <laughs> <laughs> You're so amazing. I want to be just like you when I grow up. And it's crazy because we find out that like they're desperate on that planet, they really want to escape, and she says when she's talking about giving them up that this will be what they need to like, you know, get get what they need, whatever. Yeah. So like every motivation is established for them to sell them out, and then she <clears> just <throat> goes, nah, we won't. And she nah. gives up the most important item she, she owns. Yeah, <sighs> that was so weird. So she's got that little that little tracker icon. She's got that Pringle chip, whatever. <laughs> that will mask her ship signature so they can escape the planet. And this is extremely valuable. This will save her life, essentially. This will get her off planet, off world. She could go somewhere else. She could finally be free. It means a crazy amount to her. And she just gives it up. <laughs> so there. And she to, to the very person she wanted to kill for leaving her for dead in her own words. And she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll give this to you. <laughs> not, only, not only that, the very concept or idea of that chip is so remarkably dumb because like, she said it was belong. It's the mark of a general or something like that. It's a, a captain's, captain's medallion. Ca it's captain's basically an <laughs> IFV tag. Yeah. W which organization ever has given any, you know, military leader that type. Usually 
to determine if a military leader has the right to get into this top secret or whatever things, they ask what their name is. It's like, oh, you have the clearance, you can pass. They don't ask, are you wearing the right badge? Did it's you give just... us the, the, the Pringle we gave you? Do you have that with you? It's worse than that, guys, <laughs> because the idea is that it gets you past any blockades, is what she says. So the idea, they <clears throat> scan your ship, you present your captain's medallion, and it goes, oh, captain's medallion, you're all good. It's fine. However, oh, so that, you remember... Sorry? Uh, you'd think that they'd just look out the window and be like, what ship is that? Well, this yeah, is why, the thing. You, you, might, you might be like, no, no, no. Years. The way it works is any ship with that is just automatically trusted. You're like, okay. Do you remember when uh, Pride walks into the hangar for no reason and goes, whose ship yeah. is that? <laughs> yeah. it's like, so yeah. he, he automatically... Is, is he responsible for inspecting new ships? Yeah, I know, something? right? <laughs> automatically, just from the look of the ship, he's immediately like, who the hell, like, wh whose ship is that? What the fuck? I explain this bullshit. Yeah, and it's like, oh, no, 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 sir, they have a captain's medallion. It's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Like this yes. doesn't mean much if there's not a captain to go along with it. And no, that no. makes that no. makes you question. So a captain's medallion. I'm guessing all captains are provided these, yeah? And it's like, okay. So the captain who theoretically is alive and lost his medallion, would he not get it deactivated? Because it's not his? Yeah. yeah. And let's just say they took it from a dead captain, wouldn't his be deactivated because he's dead? Like and if Sorry. they did sense it, they're like, oh, it's our missing in action general, or it's our dead general. Something's up here. Yeah. Like, it just Sorry, doesn't if they, work. If they, had, <laughs> if they had one of these in Force Awakens, could the Millennium Falcon just have flown onto the Death Star? I guess so. Or the, the Star Killer and not have to do the hyperspace thing up behind the shields? Just fly in. I got clearance. I'm well, trying to think of how they were going to, how they would fix this. And I'm like, man, this is like a problem of their own creation. Yep. Well, because, you know, Maybe. it's it's setting up them rescuing Chewie. Like, that's the whole point of that. Yeah. They didn't want to try and come up with anything logical that would uh, explain how they sneak on board the ship. They, it was lazy. It's like, we'll just make another McMuffin. Here you go. That'll get you on the ship. It's so Maybe. dumb. But then they, they like, get on the ship, and then the first thing they do is kill all the stormtroopers yeah. who are in the vicinity. <laughs> like, are there no security cameras? That yeah, yeah. Because that and how funny is it that they're like... around shooting weapons. She's like, we got to blow up the cameras. It. It's like, don't you think they'll find it suspicious that there's one area <laughs> of the place that's got all those cameras destroyed? Like, they're probably going to go to that place. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you remember in uh, A New Hope, what did they do? They is like, hey, uh, they, they checked in and Han Solo answered the uh, the comms yeah. there. It's like the the original Empire was like, wait, something's up. Yeah, and they eventually say, they say like, what's your operating code or whatever, doesn't they? And he's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A fantastic so scene. The How are you? <laughs> Things are great here. How are you? <laughs> um... Oh yeah, and, and, uh, and as anyone would be able to highlight now, so uh, that she explains is her only ticket out of there. She still manages to get out of there somehow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Th this this is what I mean. Like you're led to believe so many things that just immediately are not the case later. And you're just like, all right, whatever movie. Just this is the roller coaster of emotions, I suppose. They they yeah. build the thing and then they destroy it right away. Oh, we need to kill C3PO. Nope, he is restored. <laughs> And they do, yeah, this... I'm making a list. I'm writing all of these ones down. Um, and I want so to what, characters I... that die and then come back to life? <laughs> Not only that, ju just things that are set up that are instantly contradicted in the yeah. film. The old switcheroo list. <laughs> um, so I guess, we, yeah, we should say, uh, introducing Babu Frick, the uh, fantastic character who's like the, a droid smith. He, his job yeah. is to reset C-3PO and delete his memory so he can access the translation of where McMuffin number two is. Um, Actually, isn't that McMuffin number three? Because we've well, got a dagger, we've got the badge, and now we've got... Uh, we've I actually, got the so the, badge the way McMuffin? I order them is McMuffin one and two are the wayfinders. M M M M M McMuffin three is the knife. Oh, got it. And yeah. McMuffin four is, uh, the, is the first order thing. The chip. Oh, the yeah. captain's medallion? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's number <laughs> that's four? Okay, that's fair enough. Sort of well, they, they, they're kind of switched out in terms of priority because their initial goal is like get the dagger, get the wayfinder, then get to Exogu and blow up the tower, sort of thing. But they get the dagger, C three PO translates it, but they have to get him to a planet then to get him reprogrammed. Then that sort of switches out that goal. They still haven't got to the wayfinder yet. But then in order to get off the planet, they need the captain's badge, so that switches out, like, MacGuffin number one. So it's like, you're constantly spinning around step one, 
in this mm -hmm. process. Yeah, J.J. Abrams is quite the MacGuffin juggler. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm obligated to say technically, if we're being very strict, we're using the wrong definition of uh, MacGuffin, but common language has actually altered the definition. No, no, no. We, these are McMuffins. Oh, McMuffins. You're right. Get it right. Because... Um, because technically there is a distinction between a MacGuffin and a plot device, and everyone is using MacGuffin to mean plot device. But um, common language evolves, and that's generally what everyone is now using it for. So I'm kind of on board with it. Yeah, know. I guess the thing is, it's because a plot device isn't necessarily a bad thing. Plenty of things are plot mm. devices, but are good. But MacGuffins yeah. are just contrived or stupid. Why isn't the ring a MacGuffin? Uh, technically, uh, technically, no, because it, it is an object. Like the best, ver like the best example of a true MacGuffin by the original definition is in Pulp Fiction, the thing that's the inside briefcase. the briefcase. Yeah, yeah so you, you don't know what it is. It. Yeah, yeah. So a true MacGuffin is something that actually y you don't know what it is. It's purely a plot, like only there for the plot, and it doesn't have any. The characters aren't holding it. They're not like it. Like it's. Does that make sense? More and more. Yeah, but um, the ring, you know what it is. It affects the world. It is a persistent yes. item. It has a history to it. It and it has defined. It has and, defined and, abilities. And so you know a lot about it. Where a true MacGuffin is something you don't really know anything about. It's just a thing. yeah, like not every it one does whatever the plot needs it to. Exactly. I don't. I don't. I've exactly. never known that it's something that you don't know much about. I've always just known it as something that the the story revolves around or the characters revolve around it. Oh no, no, because I actually made a video on on MacGuffins, and most of my audience <laughs> called me, well, well, not most, but people who were informed in the you know uh, writing terminology of these things said, "Hey, Shad, you got it wrong." And I was like, "Oh crap!" Because I looked it up, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, see, all right then, okay. yeah, see." It's is it not defined? A MacGuffin is defined as something that you the characters kind of fight over rather than something that they can use. Uh, it's it's something that they yeah, want. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's something they want, or it's something that I think it is. It's something but it doesn't it doesn't have on. any actual use on its own. That's yeah. why the ring isn't a MacGuffin because it can be used to turn yeah, you invisible, for example. So I think that's a, yeah. Um, so, but 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 the word everyone like nearly every single video review I've been watching people have been calling these things MacGuffins, which is kind of getting me to know like. The word is just evolving. This is what kind of people, but there is a more official definition I want to point out. Yeah. Uh, so a couple things. Someone uh, in the chat said, or not in the chat, in the, the Discord said, in the EU, force healing was normally used to accelerate natural healing or to cure minor wounds. Even Anakin, who can use force healing, was unable to use it at the level Ray does. Well, naturally, he's not as powerful as her. She's much more impressive. Yeah, yeah, he's shit. <laughs> Um, hey, so this is pretty funny. Um, the guy who played that, uh, that guild member in episode five of The Mandalorian has called The Rise of Skywalker the worst Star Wars movie. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. <Wait. laughs> he was the guy who, uh, played the, the stupid bounty hunter in episode five, the one who was in, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, Tatooine. <laughs> and he, All he right. oh, yeah. shit. He would be correct, <laughs> it is shit. So was his episode. Well, yeah, but I'm just surprised that he, he's <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. That you're I guess uh -huh. he was killed, uh -huh. so I guess he's not getting any more work. Yeah. No, he'll come back as a force ghost. <laughs> no one's ever really gone. A, a bounty hunter ghost. It's a little different. You can... Um, I don't know what the differences are, but it's it's different. Somehow. So, while Babu Frick is getting his droid smithing on, we get a nice little private conversation with uh, with Poe and uh, Zori Bliss, and which I couldn't have cared less about. Well, the the purpose of the conversation <laughs> is to set up why everybody's going to come back at the end when they didn't in TLJ. Yeah, and uh, apparently it's because they're afraid and they need to be united, <clears throat> and the, there's always there's more of them than there are of the First Order, which I found really funny because like which I doubt. Well, it, maybe, but it doesn't really matter because the First Order have a thousand planet destroying ships. So, like, <laughs> yeah. even if there is more of you guys, they could just send one dude to Star Destroyer to blow up your entire planet. Like, I think he's well, gonna... but also, like, how come when uh, the Rebels went up against the Death Star in uh, Return of the Jedi, nobody came to help them? Nowhere Would near as much nobody... as we got at the end of this movie. Oh, no. A new, a new Hope actually says, you know, fear will keep the systems in line. Fear of this battle station. You'd cross us, we'll destroy your planet, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, what I mean is, in the case of uh, in the case of Return of the Jedi, you've launched in this full frontal assault that's going to be the end of the Empire, but nobody gave a shit, I guess. 
is the implication. When 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 you watch that movie, you get the impression like, yeah, this is pretty much the full extent of people who are going to fight against this. Yeah, oh, I, I this agree. Movie. I, so <laughs> if, if that's kind of what's being implied by the previous ones, that the fear of one planet destroying weapon will keep most of the populace down from rising up and fighting against them. It only takes a and, a, and a, only a few brave people really willing to do it. Well, now that's yeah. contradicting in this movie because now we have thousands of planet destroying weapons, and you think that would cause yeah, more fear than yeah, anything yeah, else. Exactly. Yeah, the, the one time when the the first order were at their weakest, when they didn't have any planet destroying weapons, yeah. that's the point when nobody was willing to yeah, help. Yeah, and exactly. they were crippled by Holdo, like significantly crippled. Yeah, it's like you could end yeah. this war now just to get some forces here. Nope, and <laughs> nothing. I guess I want to highlight as well, it's like, it's even worse, because Exegol is, like, apparently known to be this horrible place to have any ships go to, because it's so dangerous. And they have to travel through Space Cancer to get there. Like, all- and, it's just yeah, all backwards. Really it's all backwards. It seems like all of their shields are working, by the way, and it's only mm. <laughs> Star Destroyers are not. Yeah. Remember how Episode Five begins with a shield generator? Clearly, mm -hmm. an atmosphere <clears throat> generating no, shield. No, 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 no. That doesn't no, work. Right. No. Yeah, that's fair enough. No. Uh, see, the Jar Jar's people had it in the Phantom Menace, and then they were all killed, and nobody ever figured it out from there. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you know, it makes sense. Um, Play Creations just said, "Do the Knights of Ren have to stay together when they're Force Ghosts? They just <laughs> walk around together everywhere. We, we live together, we die world. together yeah. for all eternity." Um, they're like the they're like the the dragon brothers in Quest for Camelot. Yeah, there's uh just to to sort of support that conversation he has with it later on. He's like, people will come if we lead them. It's like, didn't didn't you kind of do that in TLJ? And nobody came. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, no, no one gave a shit. <laughs> no one cared. <laughs> but all right. But yeah, but now, now that time. we know there are a thousand planet destroying ships, yeah, now it's the time for us to fight back. You know how um Ray fixed Dio's wheel? She made it non-squeaky. Do you remember that? Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Yeah. Do you think they did that and had that moment to to give it, it motivation to help us, like as a team of heroes? I think. Yeah, it's all like, like oh that, look, we're giving it all the love that it never got before, and now it wants to betray its master, the Sith. It, yeah, isn't this really intensely dangerous to have droids that have free will? And they can be easily influenced by other people. Like, Man. they can have all kinds of classified information, and it's like, well, they'll just hand it over if you oil their wheels. Mahler and I were talking <laughs> about that when we watched The Mandalorian. We're like, so are droids, like, alive like people? I, uh, or, or I don't think what? it's ever been established, is it? Because it's they like, keep they've it, got they keep it vague on purpose, but now they keep pushing it really hard in all the newest yeah, stuff. I mean, well, remember well, thing, Han, Han Solo's movie? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they everybody is they got free will now and they're people Sorry. now but that's the thing they did not treat c3po like a person in this fucking movie at yeah no, like he, yeah. no they were they were cool with him getting memory wipes and dying yeah, and then afterwards they didn't give a single shit that he's like i don't know any of you like yeah yeah very exactly. funny yeah, it's played for jokes uh, and what i what frustrates me about so much is that c3po says that his memory can actively be backed up by R2-D2. So you think, oh, are there any droids anywhere on this planet? Oh, hang on, we have a droid right here from this other thing. Can, wait, wait can why would a droid smith operating? have any access to droids? That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, the person <laughs> operating on your memory, he's like, could you just, like, take his memory files and just drag them to a USB for it? <laughs> that's, like, nope, nope, nope. that's a big help, man. Thanks so much. Also, that was um, easy. Don Radkoff said, uh, they say in the movie they can't turn their shields on on Exegol specifically, not in Atmosphere. Nope, it's specifically no, said that it's about the atmosphere. atmosphere. They atmosphere, say, exactly. to, to be very specific, they say that if they rise above the atmosphere in Exegol, they'll mm -hmm. be able to turn on their shields, but they can't do that without navigation, uh, for whatever reason. They can't go up without navigation mm -hmm. from yeah, a at, tower. At best, at best it's implied. They never stated it's because of Exegol, but they do say beforehand that Exegol is a mess. It's got gravity wells and uh, and lightning spikes and all these Isn't things. Isn't that referencing the, that the space around they Exegol? Say, well, they, <laughs> no, they say it. They say that to justify the navigation, so no ship will be able to navigate in that in this. They won't even know what, which way is up, <laughs> and you could just look and look. Oh, well, where's the ground? Yeah. That way is up. It's right? like it's the nature hard. of gravity should tell you, like. 
it's that's our ship uh, tends to fall so when we go this direction. That's weird. Maybe that is insane. Way. And I was gonna say, yeah, there's these lines that's are specific because JJ is trying to create stakes for a final fight. He's desperately yeah. trying to draw them together. Yeah. And it makes you wonder, what exactly is on those ships' computers? They don't even know what way is up. Like, why is it so big? Like, what is it? What's the point of and these ships? The, the fight, they actually show that they can upload the navigation coordinates to an individual ship, which then they say needs to broadcast the other ships. Why not just upload those coordinates to the other ships? Why don't, yeah, why yes. don't all the ships just have yeah. whatever is required? You, you exactly. build on this planet, let's give them the best benefit of the doubt, this is the only planet where ships don't know how to go up unless they have a tower <laughs> built on them. Why don't you just build the tower on each of these ships? <laughs> or, like, if you can't do it on each ship, maybe more than one ship would be a good so idea. Fucking stupid. It's in, it's honestly insulting. Ship, it's the end of the thing. Like, how insane is that? You lose one tower or one ship and you're fucked. Well, Your it's, fleet it's, is done. It's the it's the great leaps of logic that they have as well. Like when the tower gets taken out or shut down, you know, they, they switch control over to like another ship with, with um pride in command. And instantly Finn is like, Oh, it's that ship which is controlling it. It's like, how yeah. do you even know that? You just the force. That. So he said, he explains it. He says he has a feeling. The oh, force. Cool. Doesn't... That's awesome. That's that's force, that's man. He's got a feeling. Right Backs don't care about your feelings, John. <laughs> <laughs> so, so because they then mention the ship doesn't even know how to go up. They then say that that you won't be able to open shields in atmosphere, and so best faith interpretation is that it is implied, only implied, that shields can't be used on that planet. Because it Which they means spoke of it after. Palpatine needs to push these ships into above atmosphere immediately. Yeah, all they need to do is go up. Why are they sitting in the atmosphere then? They just raise them up a bit and you're fine. I, I right? hope this goes down as being like most embarrassing thing eventually. Once everyone's talked about this enough that ships can't go up in this film. <laughs> I want that to like be known as just like that's a stupid thing that happens in this film. Ships can't even go up. Yeah. Oh, um, imagine if, so imagine the fucking stupid. helicopters. Like we can't go up until we have coordinates. Like all you do is go up from here. What are you? What are you talking it's about? It's like you're standing on the deck <laughs> of the ship. Just look up. We can see, we can see that there is space to go up. Just trust me. Go up. Like there are people <laughs> on a bridge looking outwards at the uh, ship. Uh, do you just, like the idea, by the way, up? that they would prefer to opt to be destroyed than try going up themselves? <laughs> You just have a fifty percent chance of getting it right. <laughs> it's like, guys, may as well just risk it all and try going up. <laughs> yeah, it's like also but, the direction that we came from that was down. See, Let's just <laughs> go the other way. But but even if gravity was like telling you up was in a different direction, all the ships are in line that their exactly, bottoms are yeah. facing the surface. Exactly. You don't even need gravity to tell you. Just move the ship in the direction of the. It's it's top, and you'll reach space. <laughs> yeah, go yeah, from the way you didn't come from, because the way you came yeah. from was underground do caverns. Do you love that, that, that Palpatine that, uh... could just force push them up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would just love to see the bridge crew of these Star Destroyers having this argument. Yeah. Like, about which way up it was. Like, no, up is that way. You fool! The bottom of the ship is way. down. You go the opposite way from that. <laughs> you fucking yeah, it up, see, Frank. What? Yeah, how, the, how, is, how do they not even figure it out? They're standing The poor helmsman's just like, I don't it's understand. Like, well, up is the ceiling, so just lift the song. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Ships one, two, three, and four. You go in four opposite directions. The Build survivors the can tell us which way it is. Building the most Fleet in the history of the galaxy, and I can't even figure out how to go up. <laughs> so, like someone in They don't go up now. They don't go up now. Oh, <laughs> we gave every one of you guys that. a planet destroying cannon, and you don't know which way is up. <laughs> like, you guys need to saw your priorities. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God we got this fancy red armor. <sighs> That's um, the thing, right? When I was watching this movie and I saw the thousand Star Destroyers, I'm like, so it's over, right? This yeah. is over. They've lost. It's over. What bullshit are they <laughs> going to come up with to get themselves out of this? So I'm like, well, I have no shields in atmosphere. We don't know which way's up. Army. It reminds me of in Avengers when they destroy the base of the uh, Chitauri and they just all drop dead. It's like, wow, that was helpful. Yep. <laughs> um, Destroy the command center and all the battle droids turn off. We're not doing too bad, by the way. We're an hour into the movie now. Oh, sweet. I need to pee.
uh what is that like 40 40 percent way it's, uh it's it's just under halfway uh it's a two hour 10 minute movie um or at least around it but um yeah so <clears throat> they rescue chewie because of all the we've been over all the stupid things that they managed to avoid capture with uh ray and we just went over this with someone else but this is a new instance i'm not repeating this ray says i need to go this way and Poe is like, what the fuck? And she's like, I gotta go this way. And he's like, why? And she goes, a feeling. <clears throat> and then walks off. <laughs> uh, she happens she to find Chewie's bow caster, his bandolier, and the knife. And Vader's mask. She finds all this of that. Is, yeah. Which, which this is, is weird. Because... This is in Kylo Ren's quarters, right? Because he, he yeah. says this later. Like, cause, oh, okay, it makes sense that he would keep the mask in there and so on. But why Chewie's bowcaster and his bandolier? Like, what possible <laughs> interest could yeah, in he have in them? Quarters. And why the fuck wouldn't the knife be really? locked down? It's the most important item in your, like, arsenal. It, it leads directly to Exegol. Like, why would you <laughs> keep it on a why shelf? Didn't you why didn't you destroy it? Yeah, that's fair too. Yeah. It almost feels like he wanted Ray to get it back, even though he took it off her. Like, why? What is yeah. happening? <laughs> yeah, that's and the again, thing. Kylo was like, not there during Chewie's abduction, so Chewie? why would any of that be in his court? I now let's restate. Well, just I'm for okay the with that. I'm just guessing that they just threw it in. I don't know. We have somebody who sends out their assassin, and the location of their base is written on the assassin's weapon. It is just, that, just that, remind that, everybody that. that that's a thing in this movie. No, Rex. The, the location to the key to the base. Oh, that's just, that's just bad. That's just as bad. <laughs> it, yeah. it really is <laughs> like... If you put yourself in Ochi's position, okay, and the location to the thing that leads to the most secret, you know, Sith place in the universe, you might want to keep that to yourself. Uh, or better also, yet, best best if you if you want to record it, you might write it down on a secure kind of file somewhere, maybe on your computer or anything like that. But writing it on your dagger, okay, that you carry around with you is dumb. Why would you put belief. your map on your weapon? <sighs> this is where the person who sent me's from. Come and get him. <laughs> That's probably against guild guidelines. Oh yeah. Um <clears throat> Uh -oh. So yeah, she she goes and finds all that. Uh, meanwhile, Poe, Chewie, and Finn are all essentially assaulted by several troopers. They do not get shot to death at any point. Yeah. Poe so, gets shot again, in the arm, you, but then they you, all stop. If you, <laughs> if you want proof that uh, stormtroopers can't aim, I mean, this is just confirmed once again. They how many stormtroopers do they go through uh, before they fight? They they tear through. I'm gonna them. say a good they're, twenty they're to thirty. Their well, there, there are plenty there. of scenes where stormtroopers just do not shoot them. They just don't shoot them. They There's run a, up I think the best example, they yeah. Wait so they can get killed. There's a shot where they're all walking toward the camera, our heroes, and then you can see three stormtroopers in the background. All of our heroes flip around and kill all of them before they can shoot them. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> well, it's crazy how all of the stormtroopers didn't do any formations or anything. They're just running around like chickens with their heads cut off. A bunch of civilians with guns. They just slapped them in their hands. And Send him down a hallway. Um, like, how did you conquer the galaxy? How did you perform? <laughs> exactly. Manage that. I want to highlight as well that uh, when Poe is shot and he falls down, you have that shot of um, uh, Finn, Finn going, Pow! and he like mm -hmm. runs up to uh, to, to Poe and slides to him and he's like, oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look anywhere. Like, whoever yeah. just shot your friend is probably still around. And then he, like, you know, you look up and there's, like, loads of stormtroopers. It's like, oh, okay. That, that, is, that is Finn's signature move, though, isn't it? To scream a character's name and then <clears throat> run up. Ray! 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 Chewbacca! <laughs> Paul! Also, why does Ray need to... <laughs> can I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can say one name. Yeah, do it. I, oh, I already said the name. Okay. No, what, what what does Ray need a feeling to where the thing is? Because when she force talks to them, she asks for Chewie and and her belongings. Why why does she need an extra feeling when the soldiers just tell her where the fucking thing is? Oh, you mean she asks where Chewie's stuff is? Yeah, and then she says, "I have a feeling." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That is a good point, actually. There's a lot of redundant things going on at, yeah. in this <laughs> stage of the movie. 
That way, so that means, yeah, that, that's stupid, but that also means that they were very hell-bent on not just saving Chewie, but making sure to save his bandolier and his gun. Yeah. <laughs> like, guys, priorities. <laughs> and yeah, because I just saw that, so the way it happens, she picks up the bandolier, like, hey, this is what I wanted, and then she sees the knife, like, oh shit, the knife. Oh yeah, that's what right, that's why I'm oh, here. Mm -hmm. We it's wouldn't like, want to have lucky. Chewie go around without his bow caster, and we don't want him to be naked. Yeah, he's naked without that. <laughs> uh, the bad but uh, is this is this then the scene where Skylo, uh, sorry, Skylo. Kylo then uh, Skylo, Skyl Skylar, he, he Skype calls her, and then they have a fight, like a legit yeah. fight where they're like <laughs> damaging objects around them. Yeah, Fire that's a thing. force connection. It was so underwhelming. I don't count that as a proper lightsaber duel. They're just kind of, kind of posing weird, yeah. around each other and and hitting their lightsabers against each other on occasion. It's not a real fight scene. Yeah, well, this, this is where the this is where seriously. the the movement of objects through space just goes bonkers. Where they like they split <laughs> open like baskets of fruit that start spilling on the floor in the other location and all this. It's just there's and, no there's and, no logic and, to any of it. Well, Kylo, considering right? that they didn't stay there, the berries didn't like stay in the room. I think yeah, they did. It's just they. I think they did. Berries stayed them on in the, the room. Afterwards. I think they, they did. They, yeah, I'm they like teleported sure they into the room. But I love that Kylo is like trying to figure out where she is, and the whole time she's holding the dagger. They're holding the dagger. <laughs> yeah. It's like, where where are you? Where are you? And it's like the dagger was it's, in your room. Mate. It's actually <laughs> terrible because like I, when I was looking at the seat, I was just like, oh, so lucky that the helmet fit. She's holding the knife. <laughs> She's <just laughs> holding the knife. I actually didn't even see that. That she was. No, I think the most people wouldn't have. JJ certainly didn't. No, wait. I do remember. I was actually thinking, why, why is she using the knife to fight him? Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't even pick it is up kind of a shitty knife. Wouldn't know that he wouldn't it's know. a really shitty knife. Yeah. Um. But yeah, she knocks so over true. Darth Vader's helmet. That he goes, "Oh, there you are." Like, there you are. <laughs> Um, <laughs> while while I would also have he would have been he also establishes by the way that her parents were like goodisms and that they were um they were killed by Palpatine. The other reveal is coming. I just find it amusing because how is that not a retcon of them being drunken assholes who sold it for drinking money? <laughs> like that's <laughs> clearly a retcon. Kylo, no, Kylo was lying. But he said he wasn't lying. No, what he told her was true. He, he states in this film that he wasn't. He never lied <laughs> to her. They could have been drunk at the time, I suppose. <laughs> you know what it was? They were so, going to give Ray away, go. right? They were going to give her away anyway. And then Unkar Plot was like, do you want some drinking money? And they're like, yeah, all right. And he's like, yeah, I mean, it's better yeah. to have drinking money and no kid than just no kid. So, that's why and then Darth really Uchi, Darth Uchi's like, give me that drinking money. And that's how everyone would do. And he's like, no, Ochi, the Sith code forbids drinking. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, before we get that second reveal, we find out that Hux is indeed the spy, and he does he stops all of our heroes from being executed. They come that close. Oh my god! He happens to be good. the one that oversees. Good thing Hux is there. Like, yeah, good good thing that Pride didn't say cool. execute these people right here, right now. Yeah, like he did with Hux. Lucky yeah, <laughs> literally did with. Uh... <laughs> uh, I just then... love that uh, you know the most senior officers in the entire first order can be involved in the most mundane tasks. Like, yeah. Pride just happens to be wandering through the hangar to inspect the, the <laughs> ship that arrives. It's like, why are you there? What? Why is this your job? You should be on the like, well, bridge. Yeah. My yeah. ships can't tell up from down. I might as well check on the hangar, see what's going on over there. <laughs> see if the I'll... hangar's up or down, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'll check, see, see, if the, I'll see how the boys there. in the hangar bay are doing. <laughs> um, He's just there's actually, there. There's so this is where... Continuity that uh, I've noticed right at, around this point. So I'm not sure because before, uh, are you about to go to where Ray is then confronted by Kylo again? Well, there's a little bit before okay. that, but go ahead. Okay, go there. Well, what, no, you go and I'll, I'll oh, okay. interject. So what I was going to say is that she arrives at the hangar expecting to see Chewie, Poe, and Finn, right? She has no idea they've been captured. All she sees is C-3PO surrounded by stormtroopers. So she kills all of them. She kills like five of them easily. She just goes boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, they boom. Yeah, they don't give a shit. They just yep. stand there and die. Um, and then she's like, okay, so where are they? And C-3PO's like, oh, they haven't gone back yet. And she's like, okay. She puts the bowcaster on C-3PO, puts the bandolier on him, tells him, <laughs> BB-8, and Dio to go and find them. I, I, I was thinking to myself, like, what do you think's going to happen? Like... <laughs> 
if let's let's say best case scenario they are still working through these little like corridors trying to find us like they just bump into them and they get them back to the ship okay that that's a pretty great result what if they've been captured ray what are your droids See, gonna do I, <laughs> they're just gonna walk I, up and be like oh fuck this um, was the thing i was gonna point out but i thought they were already on the falcon at that time no not yet they just so hux has not just yet. uh told them that he's the spy and then we cut back to ray Okay, okay, because um, I thought she gets there, and uh, she basically gives the stuff to C-3PO, and then short, like, very shortly after, suddenly Kylo's there with all the um, uh, stormtroopers around him, and that then C-3PO and the rest just suddenly, they teleport to the Falcon? Like, oh, I was wondering how they're gonna... It's still terrible, it's not as terrible as that. So, okay. C-3PO, the, the first corridor he goes down, he turns a corner, and we see Hux, Finn, and Poe are just standing there. And he's uh, like, aha, my friends. And it's like, <laughs> wow. Wow, that's convenient. There's so many ways you could have walked. <laughs> you just walked the right one. Okay. Oh, and a ship that's like a mile long. And, and it's um, got thousands of corridors and rooms. Again, with the, yeah, the throwaway lines, we were told that Pride locked the ship down. But Hux like, says, just as the scene starts, uh, you've got a few seconds before like lockdown continues or something like that. So it's like, okay. He, mm -hmm. putting himself at so much risk, they point out to us that there's cameras to destroy and he's w running around telling them exactly where to go and what to do and i'm like how do you think you're gonna get away with this <laughs> like you I, and, and he's like oh this is all to kill kylo like we've been over this before but i just don't understand his plan and i think that he just got degraded from a character into a person who will bail them out when they need to be bailed out that's it like he's the reason the plot starts because he's the guy who gives the info to the droid and then he's the reason that they get off this ship successfully um, that's his involvement in the whole story. Well, um, yeah, he became almost like... What could you have used him properly after The Last Jedi, where it was just such a clown and useless? Well, that's the um, thing. I think uh, JJ made a good point in yeah. create, recreating a, a better Hux in Pride and then having Pride kill Hux. Yep. Because I think everyone liked Pride for the most part. <laughs> like, he was just like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. he seemed... Well, he seemed like a kind of yeah. competent commander... Mostly. Yeah, uh, yeah like, outside, of, was, down thing. Yeah. outside of the Probably retarded choices guy. in the end, like, I liked him. I, I thought he was fine. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe I just got a thing for old British men. I, I don't know. But, maybe. Know, yeah. Bag it. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's a good kind. It's a massive way to live life, I suppose. But massive. anyway, they all get into the Falcon, and they somehow know that Ray is, like, waiting at the side of the hangar where their ship was. I don't, like, how? I guess C-3PO would have told them. <laughs> But like, why but, wouldn't but they assume that she would? <coughs> There's so many things what, that could be happening. C is kind of what my point is. How would how would C3PO have known that she might not have moved on to another? Mm. Place I guess they just hoped. Or, or they right. parked outside. They're like, oh my goodness, look, it's Kylo Ren and Ray. Ray, jump. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is where Kylo reveals the Palpatine is her grandpappy, and that just destroys everything about TLJ. All I've got this in my script, but. I don't mm -hmm. think JJ realizes how many video essays he just made obsolete. I, I <laughs> Good job. Good on you, JJ. Good for you, JJ. We're proud do, of you. Do God's work. Because <laughs> so <laughs> many people's, like, analyses hinge on the idea that she comes from no, no, nothing powerful itself. And that the idea with her character is that greatness can come from anywhere. That sort of sappy oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Major Lee is going to be pissed. Oh, yeah. He got retconned <laughs> out. Like... This is the thing, if Ryan has episode 10, which I, I, whatever the fuck, he would probably have throwaway lines in there, like, Palpatine would often lie to people about how he was their grandfather. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. It was a tactic that he would use all the time. He would make you question your parentage's parentage. That's how that to goes. Distract you. Yeah. And just consider the comparison, the reveal of, you know, um, Darth Vader being Luke Skywalker's father. They had the build up and then the final truth coming out. And, and compare that to the weak, just pathetic, you know, like version of this one where there's like Palpatine's your dad, by the way. It's just. Yeah. There's, there's no, like in any of it, none of the conflicts have any kind of weight to them because none of it has been built up from anything. It's mm -hmm. just all plonked in there. There's no real reason for any of these people to be in conflict particularly there's no connection between any of them it's just one word expl or sorry one line explanations for it it's got nothing yeah did you guys like the hux has like a bandage over his trousers <laughs> that's where he got shot 
It, yeah, but you'd put the bandage on your skin and maybe put the trousers <laughs> over it, but... No. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's on the clothes. It's, it just looks really... And I, I honestly think it's on purpose, just to be like, look how fucking nope. stupid he is. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, Hux is right. Hux is right. When you have a burn wound on you, you don't want to remove the clothes from the burn wound. I know. I don't even okay. think that this is the same clothes. Isn't it? It's just, uh, he's just wearing just, a black. I think it is. Well, I don't. I, I don't know. Is, I, I, I'm just suggesting that it looks as if ever it's been cleaned and dressed or whatever, but they just put the dressing on top. I guess the bed. Yeah, it's sort of what you want to do until you can get to like proper medical care. But he's got a cane. He had to get the Wait, cane from somewhere. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say. I, this is post medical care, from what looks to be. I, oh yeah, I guess I was thinking in terms of like first aid. Yeah, because he's got the cane and he's walking around with this. Okay, maybe he always has a cane with him. Maybe that's his standard issue imperial cane. Standard issue imperial <laughs> cane. <laughs> the first in case it's time to pounce. Yeah. Um, so they they hyperdrive, right? And this is the scene, sorry, where uh, Poe says they're not following us. I don't like this, like because they can follow through hyperdrive, right? But they just don't. Again, I don't know why. Yeah. They just don't. Just, I thought, so it's just a red herring can, to make you think something might happen. I don't know. How can they tell if someone is following? I thought in Last Jedi you only knew they were following you when you reach your location I and don't they know. appear behind you. So if you're in hyperspace, how could you tell? I guess he. What can I say? He says that. He says that I'll follow it. I don't <laughs> like this. The the other thing I wondered actually when Pride just like executes um, Hux straight away and he's like, oh, well, we found our mole. Like, why would you kill him? Like, wouldn't you want to interrogate him to, yeah. to figure out what he's been telling yeah, people and like exactly. whose contacts are and stuff? Like, there's all kinds of information you could get from him that might I think be you're useful. Right, yeah, I, I didn't actually consider I that. I was just so happy to see him kill watching. someone. It was, yeah, it was a boss moment for the uh, new character to just show like his pretty, you know, I'll kill, execute people straight away, and so it made. And Hux is cowardly as hell. Imagine the information you could get. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, might, he might like know. Back, yeah, he might know contacts and locations and information and. No oh, man, the audience is watching. Throw his ass across the floor. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed. Once it. we that figure out which way is up, it won't matter because we'll have no, our. That was a powerful first. blaster. That oh, was yeah. like bowcaster level. Which, if everyone likes to point out, it's like yeah, the the bowcaster blasts people away. But when it hit Kylo, he just goes ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they'll say? They'll be like, well, you know, the Force. <laughs> of course. I like how those people the say. Force has become that stupid. Well, you know, the Force. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Well, the what Force, the... you know. Well, yeah, what is the Force? Yeah. Also, no interrogation on him. Who was your, who was your contact that you were given info to? Surely there was more than one. Where are they going? What do you know? Where did you send them? What did they tell you? None we of that. Did. That's what we just said, no? What? That's what we were just talking about. Welcome back to the conversation. <laughs> oh, <that's> yeah. <laughs> I must have blanked out for a second. Carry on. It's okay. Um, so yeah, this is the scene where, where Ray says she's going to destroy Palpatine, and Finn's like, no, that's not you. Don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> I, I love no, that she, that's not she's good. so capable of doing that. It's like, this is Palpatine. I'm just going to destroy him. Well, I, like this. I mean, if, I, if you I, said that to uh, her, she'd probably be like, "Well, I haven't lost yet, so." <laughs> I, I would. I would just love At it if point? Finn said to her, "Like, oh, you know what you need to do? You need to protect what you love, not destroy what you hate." <laughs> <laughs> A smart person told me that once. I think that's like <laughs> Rose Tico just like, shows up and she's shouting through the hole in the wall. That's like peak platitude. Oh, no. The most meaningless See, like, statement that wants to be meaningful ever. It really is. Like try to trying to sound wise when it is dumb, so dumb on so many levels. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, and the, this is the weird singular scene that lasts about like five seconds, where you just have the Emperor is talking to Kylo directly, like on the phone. He's like, "You better not have betrayed me." <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not. It, it's really weird. It's like okay. <laughs> and he just carries on. He's like, "You better kill that scavenger." And he's like, "Yep, yep, doing it. Yep." Don't make me read your mind. They're just having phone calls with each other. <laughs> so now we gotta, I gotta frame how this. Come, hey, how come, um, how come the emperor used the hologram to, you know, talk to Darth Vader and Empire? Why didn't he just force phone call him? Because. Why didn't he force phone call? Because like, the oh, this is dude. This is the one thing we can't actually answer with because the force. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, that's my question. <laughs> like oh no. <laughs> 
So, but that's oh, good job. That's awesome. Thanks, so movie. The planet Exegol, right, has so many gravity walls and things like that that a ship can't even navigate to tell which way is up. Yet they can broadcast communications across light years. There's no interference there. Easy. No, uh, Palpatine gave the carrier pigeon to somebody in a ship, and then they went outside <laughs> of the space cancer, and then they broadcasted it. No, he force pushed a message. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he force pushes Obviously. on the toilet? <laughs> down you go! Ah, oh no, I can't tell which way is down. <laughs> oh, shit! Um, so yeah, right, this whole sequence, if you remember from start to finish, is they arrive here, they eventually get the McMuffin, Ray leaves. Kylo's goal with this whole place is to have her, like, fight him, and hopefully push her to the dark side, but if he can't, he'll kill her. I, I, he does seem to go to kill her in this scene. Would you guys agree with that? Like, the fight they have? He, like, goes mm -hmm. to a final on. swipe, but then Leia's like, yo. And he's like... <gasps> oh, oh uh, you skipped over a lot. Are no, 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 no. I'm, 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 wait, are we on the Death Star now? No, no, no. This is all on uh, Endor. Yeah, yes. No, that's what I mean, but we initially we were on... Uh... No, no, no. The last thing we talked about was the conversation they were having on the way to Endor. Yeah, but there's a lot of things to break down when they... No, of course. I'm I'm not talking about that yet. Um, so there's, oh, okay. there's a specific thing, because I can't address this issue okay. that's right at the beginning oh, right. without addressing the end first. So why uh, is yeah, Kylo was... there? Okay, so yes, I agree. He's so Kylo, we can, we can really. reasonably assume Kylo's whole motivation <clears throat> is to get to Rey, to fight her to the dark side, or to kill her. For some yes. reason, he doesn't follow her until way later. Why? And how does he know where they are as well? Yeah, you're right. No, hyperspace just... tracker, that's fine with me. <clears throat> the fucking TLJ fucked but everything they up, weren't... so... <laughs> but they weren't mm -hmm. getting tracked. Well, they were... well, so the idea, at least in TLJ, is you have a ship go away uh, with hyperspace, and then you have where they ended up on your screen. Now, why, why light sprinting or light skipping works is because they've done one, and then they do another one before you can get their coordinates again. Now, why it didn't fully work in the opening of this film is because the TIE Fires were keeping up with them. All of that, to me, is, like, shaky, but kind of works. Okay, I'm following. So this one is they go from uh, Kojimi to Endor System, and Poe is like, why aren't they following us? That's weird. It, it, you know, there's kind of a plot hole as well, like, why wouldn't he have light skipped three times before getting to Endor? Just to cover yeah. his own ass, but I guess he just thought, ah, fuck it. Yeah, you <laughs> think have... that would be standard operating procedure? Yeah, at yeah, this you'd point. think that would be standard. <laughs> um, well, they blew so, up the Falcon last time, so I guess like they maybe they, they can't, can't do it. it. Yeah, but they should have had a throwaway line. Come on, JJ, you're good at this. You got to get the throwaway lines in there. But uh, so <laughs> the idea is they have their location, and Kylo, because Kylo does use it eventually, but he just doesn't for a bit. Why? <laughs> It gives our heroes time to, uh, you know, get to the McMuffin, which it's is the, the only will reason. Of the force. That's what I mean. I'm just like, it's just yeah. so weak. It's like they had because they couldn't just get there. Which, by the way, is so fucky. So, like, did you do you catch that their landing gear breaks? They crash yeah. land. Yeah. Do you know why? why? Do you know yeah. why? Because they can't then move the ship and land it onto the Death Star or drop people off. <laughs> right. That's, that's well, just... Why was it that it didn't work? Well, this is the thing. I don't care if your landing gear doesn't work. Just fucking drive it over there and drop people and off when you're hovering. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so you have this whole Jump nonsense on. with the water and the climbing, and it's like, why are you? This is like a this is like an open hole in Palpatine's room. Just have it jump in. She could jump in, grab the McMuffin, and jump back on the ship, and they can leave. That's how quick uh, this could have gone. It would have taken it would have taken years to search that wreckage. She needed to be on the shore so the dagger would point to where the McMuffin is. Oh yeah, I'm, is. I'm, I'm yeah, suggesting right. to do that after the dagger bit. Also, okay. can we? That's so that's such dagger... bullshit as well because like it that is... relies on you standing All right, in a yeah, very I guess specific that's where we're place, at now, which, yeah. 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 which yeah. isn't marked. You could be anywhere, and you're going to see exactly. that wreckage from all different angles. How are you supposed to know any of this? That's why. Exactly. That's why I laughed in the theater when she did that. Oh, I was I was <laughs> wide eyed. My eyebrows were hitting like my hairline. I was just like, what? <laughs> also, that the that the fucking cutout that the knife has is even the thing that does, makes you, makes you 
Like, that's the well, last thing you need to have on your dagger blade. Uh, it makes it such an inefficient it, weapon. You, you have to, yeah, so you're, you're basing it on the kind of shape of the, the jagged piece of wreckage of the Death Star, which presumably is never going to change over time. Like, bits aren't going to fall off it. It's not going to get worn it's down by... It's not the ocean or anything. Yeah, like, it's getting hammered by waves that are, like, 300 feet high, like, every day. It's going to fall apart, surely. Oh, oh, this is more stupid the more I think about it. Oh, oh this, this, dagger, this is the big stupid it, it moment for the film. It's an ancient Sith dagger, because it means the dagger has to have been made after the Death Star fell to Endor. And, so, yes. and someone went there and just, like... Oh, she went there, Robert, like, I'm going to write on this dagger the location of the McMuffin, and then I'm going to make it to this thing that'll point to where you need to be from a, but he only took it one to a Sith spot blacksmith where you can stand on the shore. To make yeah, the specific knife. Is, is, is there a it's, reason it, it was a dagger? It's beyond. It honestly is beyond. Then, then it even the... looks like a dagger at the end when you hold it like at the fucking wreckage. Like, insane as well. Like, where does it even work? J <laughs> J JJ just wanted a cool McMuffin. It's a mysterious Sith dagger that has the location. Of the well, it seems to be Fine. what in that in that thing we read at the beginning where it was like uh, the the <clears throat> son of whatever and that the knife was connected to that. It's probably a remnant of a different plot line. And that they, it Maybe. just got forced into this one. Like, that's a potential to explain it, because it really comes across as just bizarre. It's like, what are you doing? You have McMuffins that are led to McMuffins that are inscriptions read off knives. I just like, what? why? This is so weird. I wouldn't have thought Disney Star would go Wars. for this. I figured they'd be like, this is too weird. It's <clears> it's so much busy work, and it really feels like they were... It's like this the thing you would put in to pad out the length of a movie, but that's like yeah. the kind of opposite of what they need here. You need to streamline it. Because like there's so just, many other things you need to deal with. I like how she just pulls it out, by the way, the ruler thing. She has no idea why that would be the case. She just yanks it out. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. This one, th this thing has a little bit different color. Oh, neat. <laughs> and, and yeah, <laughs> like, as you highlighted, like so this. she happened to be standing... Like this. Not, like, there's so many ways this couldn't have worked. Like, yeah. is kind of the point. Um, <laughs> yes. The best possible benefit of the doubt is that... Through the translation, they knew the coordinates. It took them to that specific patch of land. Yeah. And the but the thing is, when they walk up to it, nobody's got like a computer or anything or like a scanner. It's just they just casually walk up. And if she was exactly. like, sure, and then they just walk, you know. And like, yeah, they, there's but so many can, ways it could go can, wrong. If you can nail down the location that accurately, why not just? Give the location of the book of Muffin, the wayfinder yeah. instead <laughs> yeah. of like where you have to stand where the wayfinder is. Like, ah! it's the most pointless busy work ever. And just like Darth Uchi, what the fuck? And he's like, hey, I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> and, and as you said, like twenty years, because remember, this knife was made before Ray's parents were killed, before she was yeah, left behind. Yeah. The, so that the means they started, created this yeah. thing like twenty years ago, and the rubble has not changed significantly enough to dissuade anyone from being able to match it to the knife. Imagine if all the time in this movie, because this movie's pretty long, imagine if they had spent less time on all these uh, created, arbitrary, redundant plot adventures, and they had spent that on characters. Yeah. Then again, now that I think about it, with... they would have just fucked up characters if they did that. So yeah. Never yeah, for sure. We, we could have done without the sandworm part entirely, get rid of the healing, and... Uh, mm -hmm. just... mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, just have it be two wayfinders, one on Mustafar that uh, Kylo's <clears throat> gunning for, one on the um, uh, the old Death Star. Like, as much as I, I, I hate a lot about this, but just streamline it, and their goal is to get to the old Death Star and go through it. Right, like, that's, uh, you could put a chunk of time into that, they can talk to each other, we can discover something uh, about the Sith, I don't know, just, what's with all this other stuff? Stupid Action. sandworm Spectacle knives. Yeah, to get them from locations. different, yeah, different varied locations. I don't know if like, you know, one of the criticisms of the Last Jedi is like it was very contained and it was just in a couple of different places. And it's like, well, I'm going to fix that by going yeah, across yeah. the it's galaxy. Funny, like, because even even in the Last Jedi, they had unnecessary stuff like Canto Bite. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yep. Someone said, light skip jumping makes no sense. Han in the first one criticized Luke for trying to rush light speed, said he could light speed into anything. So the the um, what I'm understanding from light speed skipping is that you're risking death uh, when you do it, but that's what you're committing to. You're like, I'm rolling the dice. Um, and they get 
lucky, quote-unquote, that they don't crash into anything, but they also get extremely unlucky in that they manage to reach three different, like, significant obstacles, which is yeah. very unlikely, but they did. Astronomically unlikely. Um, Celestial. And, you know, it makes sense, I think all of us would agree, <laughs> that you'd want to chart it so that you don't crash into anything. However, if it means yeah. avoiding capture from the Empire because of TLJ's tisms, then yeah, I guess we'll risk uh, um, a percentage chance of dying. My my assumption was that he was intentionally aiming for areas that he knew were going to be really dangerous when they they jumped when oh. they dropped out of hyperspace because he was trying to cause the Tie Fighters to crash, knowing that he was a superior pilot, he could avoid these obstacles whereas they couldn't. Did you get that just from watching it, or was there any kind of dialogue that gave that away? Or I don't think there was any dialogue. It just seemed like a tactic, I guess, because it's like well. We need to shake these things off because they're just going to keep pursuing us. How could there be we enough need... time hey. to plan it though? Like literally jump, oh, no jump, idea. jump. Hang on, light speed skipping is stupid. Hey, uh... <laughs> so originally, right? Um, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Obi Wan they go and they light speed to Alderaan, which takes how long? Ages. Ages, okay, and so that sets up moving from one planetary system to another one through hyperspace takes a certain amount of time. It's yeah, not it takes instantaneous. Time. Oh, nothing but means anything skipping, here. They're, they're skipping between planetary systems instantly with this crap. Well, I'll yeah. have you know that JJ made a montage. That's what was happening. Maybe, he cut maybe out the boring bits. Maybe they're nah. very close. That was real time. I mean, no, no. but also, in space, space, like, like, okay, uh, if you want to say that, then, close. if you want to say a montage, they get the information. No, you from can't. The spy, I was kidding. And they have like <laughs> peppy like, 60s music happen? playing in the back. The best thing you can say is these places happen to be very close to each other. That's the best Endor I can think of. Other yeah. planets and these other planets that you can hyperspace between them. So these quickly. like distinctly different places are all very close to each other. It's just I don't know. But even hyperspacing to the outer unknown regions, right? That implies that this is the furthest part of you know from the galaxy, and they hyperspace there really quickly as well. <sighs> Yes. Yeah. It's shit's really fucked. No. Sigh sighing is the it's correct me. reaction. Shit's <laughs> fucked, mate. <laughs> Gosh. So, just while we're on the note of Endor, and, you know, you see the people on the horses, did that remind anyone of the old Ewoks movies? I haven't did seen any Ewoks um, movies. No, I saw the just... animated one with uh, well, you... Chief even Chirpa know? and the Sunstar Moonstone. Have you guys not seen the old Ewoks movies? I'm aware of them. I haven't seen them. They're based in, um, you know, the, like Star Wars universe. They technically should be canon still, I believe. <laughs> but anyway, the, the bad guys in the second Ewoks movie, they're on horses. And so when the I 1985 horse, movie. I think so. This is old school stuff. The uh, Ewoks, the battle for Endor. That's the one. There's and the so... there's the Ewok adventure in 84. Ewoks, the yep. battle for Endor in 85. Yep, battle for Endor. That's the one. Um, they weren't they weren't space oh, horses. Oh, though. can they I added that with this? Can one. I quickly just cut in super chat? Mm -hmm. Ray knew Chewie was alive because she sensed him on Kylo's star destroyer. Could she not sense that she didn't kill him? I guess uh, not. Moment of weakness. <laughs> like he was literally to the <laughs> right. Was scared. He was just to the right on a different well, transport. I think by that point, had the the first transport that he was on not left. So was he there's no there is away? no way that it could have gotten further away from here than the star destroyer in, above <laughs> the fucking city there's no way that's true congratulations so super hard. chatter We're you pointed out so another hard. plot hole <laughs> Hooray, I, know. You did it. I, I, you a... I was gonna say it's by proximity and the closer they are the easier you are to sense but if she sensed they were much the, closer like, to the transport exactly if they, she <laughs> sensed Chewie closer. on that star destroyer on the other planet yeah that ruins that defense Oh boy! This, this movie is utter garbage. It's, Shit's fucked, it's mate. It really is, yeah. yeah. Um, but carry on, carry on. Oh no, that's it. I just was like, hey, remind me of Ewoks. That was a movie. Mm -hmm. I, had horses. I just remember the animated one is the one so, that I saw. So, the, I so the, the people rock up on their space horses, and they are defectors from the first order. Yep, that all of just them happens to be. So they're more than happy yeah. to help our team. Which, which so is they're all force absolutely sensitive. Absolutely bonkers as well. Oh, because like, I don't know about force sensitive. Was treated, he was treated as being really unusual in defecting yeah. from the first order. Like they were really surprised when that happened, and now you're getting like these backstories. Ooh, yeah, the entire, you're right. The they say it's doing it. 
They say it's like an anomaly in The Force Awakens. Like, it happens, but it's very rare. She says her entire company uh, didn't do it. They all oh, put their yeah. weapons oh, down. No. That, yep. yeah. Contradicting oh. your own movie, JJ? Why would you do that? <laughs> well, what, what that would indicate is that when, you know, Phasma's got that problem, she should have been, like, clamping hard on that. Oh, yeah, she's like, this is that <laughs> yeah, shit where they, they, they start to feel things. Stop him. <laughs> Don't she let it happen. Is it implied, yeah. though, that they became independent through the Force again? <laughs> well, the <laughs> they just colonized their I, I don't know how it happened. We just did it. It's, like, it's implied that that one event made them all wake up. Didn't like she say she had event. a feeling? She tells him she had a feeling. Yeah. I think, but I think I that think was it, meant to be, like, instinct, Finn, right? And what's yeah, yeah, no, Finn I, was I, like, I felt like they, they were implying it was the Force. The Force did it. Maybe they were. That's, maybe. Yeah, that's honestly, kind of I was what I say. was thinking, she, too. She mentions that's that they were ordered to the fire on civilians, and it's maybe the first time that that uh, had been asked of them, and that was enough to push them over the edge, and then they mutinied. I, I don't know. know. I'm almost certain yeah. every time they use the phrasing, I had a feeling, I'm almost certain it's supposed to be to do with the Force. That's what I'm being led to believe because yeah. the force is just that way now. Force uh, yeah, it does anything whatever. they want. It'll even free stormtroopers arbitrarily. Now the force was supposed that's... to be special. It was supposed to be I like, know. well, it could have been special. Like, would have it. Like with if Finn was force sensitive, and he is. That's a, that's the thing now. That would have at least given an excuse to how he broke the conditioning, and that started him off. Yeah. That doesn't mean it has to carry him every step of the way. It's just that little thing that pushes him over the edge. I don't and now know if I just... actually like that, though. That it's like, oh, well, you know, you're just going to be a, a mass murdering piece of shit unless you have some sort of tiny little connection to the Force, and you, then you'll not be well, a Does anyone soul. have the Force now? Well, the, the thing I, is, the thing, I, I <laughs> such a Christmas about, tree light. I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm no, very no. confused. There should be some type of very exceptional circumstance that explains why Finn was able to break free of the conditioning. Otherwise, if the conditioning was so unreliable, yeah, the, the order would never be using. Yeah, because like, they have millions of personnel. They do, they do. And so they have to have a very good track record of these children they're kidnapping, not breaking free of whatever brainwashing they go through to be so loyal to the First Order. And so... It is so hard to figure is... out definitively what this trilogy is saying about uh, brainwashed stormtroopers. It is so hard. They go, yeah. they go oh. through conditioning that makes them like absolutely loyal, except when it doesn't. Also, an entire also, company just, managed to breach of it, so it can't just be it random. Makes the whole, it also makes the whole act of fighting stormtroopers kind of ethically dubious now. Because oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, I, the, the, I talk about that in TFA Part 1. It's like, you know, yeah, Finn, Finn is this clearly innocent dude who's been thrust into this position, and he's just, like, fucking cackling as he's blowing well, up all of his brainwashed friends, who are also <laughs> indentured servitude yeah, people. Because <laughs> the way that it works with the other ones is, because with the clones, it's like, well, they're subordinate. They, uh, they're not necessarily free will. Like they have free will to a certain extent, but well, they do exactly. They will turn as on a told. dime, like yes. So yeah. it's not so bad. Um, and with the stormtroopers, it's like, oh, well, you guys voluntarily signed up to this, but then yeah, again, the, you could have in the second film. It's a matter it. of war. It's just that that would be what people would yeah. say. But in it's this one, whereas in this one, yeah. they're children who were abducted and brainwashed, brainwashed to become soldiers, and yet they get and, and they and can be they can be deaths. saved, but you could also just yeah. kill them. How, like, how awkward happen. is that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that would have been great for that whole Leia thing that we talked yeah, about. Yeah, and, and, and what a great storyline can make for Finn. How how emotionally distraught he would be after all yeah. of this. I'm no, telling he's you, he's the, he's the most all. wasted character. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. The most wasted. absolutely wasted throwaway well, potential of a character. That we yeah, have. was John Boyega not pissed at this whole thing? Like, well, just feeling uh, that his character was completely yeah, underused. The implication was that he had to fight for more to do in these movies. Yeah, and he, he put that tweet out where he said he had no idea so many fans were disappointed with how Finn was treated in the movies. Like, oh, yeah, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, the thing is, you could do a whole sequel trilogy about this character, where this guy is the main character. You know, maybe yeah. he was like, um, he's a, a former stormtrooper who is sort of disenfranchised or disaffected after the Empire falls. You change it around a little bit. You could definitely have a story there, but don't just have him turn on his friends and fam and the f the only family he's ever known and just kill them with glee 
<laughs> for the rest of the series. Yeah, he was it's just it's so joke. it's so interesting how like shallow the the emotional investment is in these movies. How like whatever you're supposed to feel about the situation changes from scene to scene. Like, well, it's because they want they they want conflicting things at the same time. They want to to like have pseudo themes about you know the the nature of the stormtroopers, but they also want their binary good and evil battle. Yeah, but you can't do both. You have to pick and choose what you're going to do. Yeah, because they still want those scenes of like, oh, there's a bunch of bad guys in masks, so you don't see their faces, and we can just happily kill them. And <laughs> they've not had worry wildly too much about inconsistent it. themes on this because in the last Jedi, they also had the whole thing of see they're just as bad as each other. It's like, but they're not though, because only one <laughs> of them wants to build a fleet of planet destroying star destroyers <laughs> that can't go up and are built in some freaking retarded planet behind a gas cloud. Mm, that, this movie, <laughs> this movie is just... and we're not even to like, <laughs> like we're just past halfway woo yay um so, so where are we at i actually <laughs> i was i was talking to rags while i was writing this portion of my video so you have horrible choppy waters that the locals say you cannot traverse until morning ray just does it we don't even know why she goes on yeah. her own she just does it's like okay she she, can... she does this despite being a what? desert risen girl. Exactly. Hey, she can just operate yeah. anything. <laughs> exactly. It's not even about any what? spacecraft, any vehicle, just just things, anything that exists. What What's mm -hmm. weird to me about the scene is normally when you have like a like like a scene in a movie where they go like through rough waters, like they get like splashed with water and almost drown. So like she's like. Brrr. Oh no, this is high. Like, you know, okay, she doesn't know how to swim. There's no way she knows how to swim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that... TLJ established oh. that she did. Yeah, she oh, just what? do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You I just was thinking, like, fuck you. Sense. I was, my mistake. But yeah, <laughs> you, you, you think like mm, there would be a repercussion to this. Like, even if nothing happens to Ray, like, the others go out in pursuit of her and maybe they run into trouble and she has to go back and help them. But it's like, no, everyone just gets there anyway. So it was like, yeah. what's the point of mentioning that it's really choppy and dangerous if it's Good not? Good job, Ray. You made the right call again. Yeah, she was right. They were all wrong because they follow her on the second skimmer and they make it in fine. Yeah. They, do they tell Poe about any of this? I don't the know. The next time we see him, he's back at base. Like, all we know about him is he was repairing the landing gear on the Falcon. Then Finn spots that Ray's left without them. He chases her. She like, abandons him to go to Arc 2, and Kylo's just standing there. <laughs> like, what, was Poe just like, guys, what happened? <laughs> well, they, I thought we were getting a McMuffin. They never seem to have radios to communicate with each other or anything like that, so they just kind of go off and do their own things. Yeah. And sometimes they know what they're doing, and sometimes they just don't. Full it's swim. Just really inconsistent. It, it's just another scene they could have used for something else, like developing the characters more. Just well, do the uh, thing where you just get them with, on the Falcon, drop them off, just throw them out a window, I don't care. And then just fucking piss off and do something else. It's yeah, something it's funny. Um, don't waste my time. I, again, it, it, it's maybe got that feel like in a previous edit, maybe something else did happen in this, <clears> but like they've had to cut it out yet again. I mean, I guess we had to introduce the uh, other... Soldier, lady, whatever that doesn't matter in the movie. I suppose does, we just does, does she get a name? Her Do they name her? I don't remember. Um, she the, does. Let's she see, does Rise at one point. Of Skywalker, black chick. Uh, I think someone. <laughs> All right, it. Naomi no, Aki is Janna. Yeah, Janna. Yeah. Okay. Janna. All right, we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> Uh, yes. but yeah, just a whole so, company just fucking got rid of oh their sh uh, shackles the fucking order like that's kind of insane alright this is demoralizing so I googled rise of skywalker chick and it told me your name so they also <clears> have <throat> the people also ask section uh -huh. and uh, the second question in the people, uh, people also ask section is who was the black guy in star wars <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> Wait, just just the entire saga? <laughs> like, who was the black? Guy? <laughs> just one guy. <laughs> the black guy. Um, the, it is Land it's Billy D. Williams as Lando Calrissian. That's that's him. For all of you who watch this, you don't know. And like, uh, 
so I was going to highlight, oh she does a lot of spelunking that seem to be short jumps, short climbs, like what she's used to, that's fine with me. And she also does the, um, <laughs> but, but you, you the know, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. She also does the okay. the, sw <laughs> the going across the, the river thing. And you, and you could be like, well, she just happened to, knew, to know how to direct this thing. It, just, it worked out that way. Uh, ever since they established <clears throat> that she could fucking float herself, seems like yes. there are easier ways for her to have done both <laughs> of these things. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, exactly. Maybe maybe she can only float, like, and hold position. She can't move while she's floating. Well, she does. Well, she does, it's though. It's easier to float in water than it is she, to float in air, though. She guides herself oh, she down in a backflip. Back yeah. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, she's just going down. I love how the backflip ruins it all. Hang on, hang on. How would she have gotten control. up there if she can't float up? No... Uh, like Leia oh, has a roll and then she the pulls the ladder the away. That would be the size. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole point of her doing the flip is to show how how uh, she's. How in control. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. She knows exactly what she's doing. She has such incredible skill. She's I mean, like Peter Pan, man. Happy have thought. we mentioned? <laughs> have we mentioned in uh, enough detail? How bullcrap it is that the Death Star survived impact. Like oh, this. of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, it <laughs> slipped my mind because there's just so much other shit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, like, it, it obviously be... blew up into nothing. You see we it. We saw it yeah, with our vaporized. face holes. I mean, uh, most of it would have been vaporized with that explosion, but any chunks that were left over either would have, the would have been would tiny. Nothing planet. that, that yeah. big would have been. If anything that big did survive, if it hit Endor like that, it would have destroyed the planet. Yeah, we're talking you know? like huge, huge be a sections. Massive this thing chunks. is the size yeah. of like a this moon. Is yeah. A moon. That impact would have destroyed the whole planet. Well, it wouldn't make the planet destroyed. It would have caused such a crater. It would have caused a lot sent of so havoc. many things A into tidal the wave, a tsunami. But, but yeah, you know what's I'm great is when Ray's mooching around inside it, there's like skeletons of stormtroopers lying in the hallways like they just <laughs> oh, dropped dead there. Actually, <laughs> Guys, uh, I've got a, I've got the, uh, I've got the scene from the battle. I'm gonna pull it up so we can, we can uh, watch it. <laughs> we can watch it together and just see what happens. Uh, All right, right. Let's, Sorry, uh, let's do it. Because there's a lot of dark implications oh, now. Yeah, but hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do that. You'd fuck uh, it up, Discord. Oh, so oh, yeah, I was. Oh wow! It's all oh, gone yeah. crazy. And also, you want to be I careful do? of copyright and stuff. You don't. I, I'm sure all of us remember how the Death Star exploded. Just screenshot don't we? it. Just, just okay, do the yeah. screenshot. I'll... Yeah. What you do is get the frame where that big chunk flies away from yeah. the rest <laughs> towards the well, planet. Yeah, don't, here, here don't, forget to, <laughs> don't forget to zoom in so you can see Palpatine surf again. Here, oh yeah. The, see his little window, here's... and he's going ah. I mean, here's yeah. the main th thrust of it that what I'm about to say. You know, this is all we need to just know that this is this is absolutely not possible. Just like, there's no way. There's no way. Look at that. Like, look at that. There's no way. No, it's fine. Palpatine's <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. in there and he's alive right now. <laughs> oh, it's all good. And the best part is you got all the you got everybody, all the heroes celebrating on Endor, and they were there for a little while, but they never seem to recall any giant impact. <laughs> These strangers that from is... space, they blew up the the, just... the metal moon and it fell down and destroyed all of our tribe. You're just hating. It's yeah. right there. You can see it. There's that little piece yeah. right there. It would, yeah. have impact, yep. it would have impacted the planet with the force of a few mil hundred to thousand nuclear bombs, sent up so much debris into the atmosphere that would have caused a nuclear winter that... Uh, the... Not to, yeah, not to yeah. mention all of the, the energy cells or power things inside that thing that just... Who knows what kind of damage that'll do, like... This yeah, is... and you know the interesting thing with meteorites, the larger the meteorite, the more energy that's released on impact, and so... The, the big meteor craters, you never find the meteorite that causes the bigger craters on Earth because they get vaporized. They yeah, literally man. get vaporized into nothing from the impact, okay? Small yeah. ones can kind of survive because <clears throat> the impact isn't as devastating. But larger ones, especially anything as big as the Death Star we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, how would it keep together? There's no way that it, it would keep it together. It would have vaporized Even... itself on the impact with how destructive it would I mean, be. I mean, the glass, is the glass on the window still even there? 
Yeah. I think, there's some, I think there's, there's some glass <laughs> on the emblem. Yeah, there was guy. glass at the canopy behind the, behind the seat. It didn't yeah. even knock the glass out of the <laughs> Also, how did Palpatine survive landing on the planet? Did he take an Uber or did he just crash so straight in? He, he surfed the Death Star. Why does everyone have trouble with this? It's perfectly logical. Guys, the he is surfed the, the Death Two words, Star. The Force. The Force. Palpatine the force. did the Force pulling to levitate it like, down slowly. I like rest gently. His McMuffin room is like untouched as well. And yeah, oh, yeah, oh, the door still that. works. There is power to the door, and the door <laughs> opens. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The door no, still Shad, works. No, 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 the force, force, force. The force. And it just oh, happens force. to be in the correct orientation. And then she uses well. like the it's force. Not, yeah. It's not upside it's down. It's not upside or anything, down. No. Yeah, or the underwater. Force. Yeah. It's not is on, it, imagine if it's underwater. It's like, well, oh, yeah. Is if that's in the ocean, it could be a, it could be a mile underwater part of it. Man, lucky it's still you know there, you know. Lucky. Is it the force I, levitate the McMuffin yeah, in that room? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Do you like how it's just McMuffin the room is filled with glass spires? It's just like, yes. okay. That's kind of like it's, ominous. It's, I get it. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing. It's his, his room yeah, where he keeps it's that. Spooky. But like, whoever made the Sith chair is like very much, very, really going for that spooky aesthetic. <laughs> also, I, just, I will say that it does remind me of. Is it so? In at the beginning of episode three, is that space battle happening above Coruscant? Yeah. Rip yeah. all the people down below after all the debris falls to the planet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, there's, there's basically definitely there's no. It. The problem, the, what you highlight in there is that they do show part of that, right? Like Anakin and Obi Wan crash into the in Coruscant, but the thing yeah. is, it's a war. The the separatists attacking over Coruscant, like it's not something they want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, it's a lot of the smaller. Like, the smaller bits are probably going to burn up an atmosphere. Well, yeah, but yeah. there's like also, a capital. Is a part of that. Seems like you know, yeah. There's a lot of um, uh, defenses Corvette and technology and... on Coruscant. They might have shot. The maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Um, maybe. Also, that's an interesting question. How come the Death Star isn't like scorched from burning through the atmosphere? Um. Yeah. I mean, that, that's sort of included in the whole. How the hell did it like land and not yeah, how stay structured? Yeah. How, how is it even there? I mean, and if anyone even tries to say that parts of the Death Star and that chunk was still operational and it was able to use thrusters or anti grav to pull oh. itself down, no. Okay. Don't even no. go there. Oh, this is <laughs> Don't. This is fucking bullshit. Well, um, exactly. No, that's bullshit. I, I guess that pushes us to uh. Evil Someone's Ray. like, the ships don't fall down, it's not Evil TLJ. Ray. It's like, alright, let's discuss gravity for just a moment. <laughs> okay. Evil Ray attacks regular Ray, and she gives her the golem face. And then does golem teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she's got the double lightsaber, it's there! I'm so happy! Double lightsaber. Shad, I imagine this was a difficult one for you to watch. When that well, double made, lightsaber unfolded. Right, I made a video ripping apart how stupid that was, and that, oh, so I think that scene in there validated everything I said about it, and that's why I was pleased. I was smiling at it, because she actually, in the small exchange when she fights with Ray, or both Rays are fighting, she actually switches the double lightsaber into the, the parallel configuration to try and trap Ray's lightsaber there. Yeah. And it is so dumb. And it's exactly <laughs> what I said in my video that they wouldn't have done that unless they were intending to use in that configuration, which is exactly what they do. And the <laughs> stupidity is off the scale. I, was just I like, mean, why wouldn't she just slide her lightsaber down and exactly! cut her off? Exactly! Like, <laughs> <her fingers. laughs> <laughs> So stupid. Um, uh, the, the I was just trying to think of which one. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, a couple of people have been saying that there are planetary shields on Coruscant. I don't, I don't remember if there's any dialogue for that in uh, episode three, but just another sort of element, I guess. Um. Uh, oh, evil Ray has pointy teeth because that's yeah. what I don't. Dark, dark like, well, do. What is? What are they doing? You know. What are they doing? What the, That's what, what the Sith thinking? does if you're at the dark side, it makes your teeth pointy. Even though Palpatine doesn't have pointy sharp teeth, and Darth well, he, Vader doesn't have pointy sharp teeth. Well, they, Darth... they got him filled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Vader wasn't a fan of the pointy teeth. sharp. Yeah, they all got fill, <laughs> fillings because they didn't like it. Oh, so Count got... Dooku just went to the dentist one day? Can well, yeah, look, like listen, listen, Springy, you bite your tongue one time with those teeth, <laughs> and you're getting them filled, mm -hmm. all right? <laughs> 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 so stupid. Golem face. In <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil you.
Um, do I look beautiful? So yeah, this this will actually be a good moment for us because we can almost skip like a good <laughs> five minutes essentially. It's just them fighting. It's like boom, boom, <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Wow, fight, wow. Fight, you, you want to skip how atrocious oh, that well, fight scene was? I mean, I'm looking forward to your breakdown when the film comes out. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll break it. Cause <laughs> I honestly, I would just so defer to you bad. at that point. I'd be like, it's it's bad. Go to him. <laughs> He'll it's sort it out. Really bad. That like be kind of like why it's like, around. the telegraphing is like the amount they telegraph and wind up their hits like a baseball bat is baseball bat is twice as bad in this movie. And then they just it gets worse to the point where they are both telegraphing wildly to just smack into each other. Like they legitimately go to reverse grip telegraphing. It's just like mm -hmm. and 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 with how bad it is, right? Last Jedi throne room scene, the, the choreography was really bad, but at least there was a lot of movement and it were, there was more people involved and things like that. And if you weren't paying attention, it was possible to enjoy it. This doesn't even have any of that. It's got the choreography is, is as bad, if not worse. And then it's disjointed by, by big pauses in the fighting through jumping over water things. And so you can't even get involved in the movement a lot because the movement gets separated so strongly. And, uh, and uh, the only thing that I was like, oh, good, this is happening, is when Kylo actually wins we to the point where Raylo's really, uh, sorry, Ray is really <laughs> trying and she's just losing. He's like, Ky Kylo's like, you got nothing on me. And uh, it doesn't make sense because because every other <sighs> point Ray is winning, but now suddenly Kylo is dominating her and she tries to hit, she hurts her hand. She's like, this isn't working. What's wrong? And Kylo's there just like, yeah, don't even try. It's over now. And then she cheats. I'm not winning it. by default. Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah. Uh, during this fight, if you guys remember right, the idea is that Leia decides to do the Luke thing, and her goal is to, I don't know, fuck with this fight, save Ray. Let's just say that. The weird thing, though, is that she walks off and starts limping, and then someone has to hold her, like as she's limping, and it's like, wait, yeah. are you dying? <laughs> like, what? Why? And then Maz Kanata just announces what's happening. <laughs> it's like really bizarre. She's just like, yep, it's time for her to die. You're like, what? So would, would this yep. have been unused footage from when like Han Solo was killed in TFA? And like she was kind of distraught from that and May I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Because obviously the, the shot of her limping is from the back, so Yeah. yeah she just kind of stands up and then just goes to croak. It just just happens out of nowhere. Yeah, she like, even lies down on a bed to do it. And like Luke has several <laughs> conversations. He like fakes it out for a while. I guess she just wasn't that powerful because all she can do is appear and then disappear. We don't even see her. Oh man, she just wasn't very good. Unfortunate. Even though they have that weird moment with Luke where he's just like, "Yeah, I totally trade Leia." By the way, you're like, "What?" And she beat him in a fucking lightsaber duel. That was as well. weird. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Is there anyone he hasn't looked to? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Himself? Did he fight evil Luke at some point? <laughs> Did evil Luke have sharp teeth? I don't know. Ah, bark. <laughs> yeah, uh, so... All the better for eating porks with. Leia does that, and Kylo, like, turns around to see her, and he drops his lightsaber, so the assumption there, I guess, is that he knows she's dead. Yeah. And he Rey realizes it died. later. Like, she doesn't realize it at the same time for some reason. And so she takes this opportunity, it, it just doesn't even seem in character to me. Like, why would she go, she's about to be killed, then the guy, like, you know, stops the lightsaber and drops it, and she sees that as like a, aha, I will kill you now, like, I can counter that move. You're like, what are you, what are you doing? I think he clearly is not killing you. You're kind of just being a dick, honestly. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then she realizes, apparently, because the, the, you knew they couldn't do it, that she knew Leia had died, and then she kills him anyway. That would have been like, wow, that's... <laughs> so they have it realize immediately after, and then she heals him. But the him. idea that he knows, but she doesn't, is it baffles me. Well, I mean, it's obviously his mother, so I guess he's got that stronger connection to her. But hasn't the whole yeah, this, all these movies, all these movies, have been trying to imply that her and Leia are super close? Like they haven't earned it, but they keep like pushing that. Shit's fucked, yo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it her motivations again because it is within her character to pause because she is so pure that you know if your enemy isn't fighting you well then maybe not but at the same time 
she clearly has wanted to kill him for a while ever since Han and stuff. And this is her opportunity and she seemingly takes it. And so she's flip-flopping all over the place and it's yeah very difficult to figure yeah, out. She didn't take the opportunity in the other two films, if you remember. She had, she's had several opportunities to kill him. And the one time he doesn't, he chooses not to kill her and drops his weapon. Like, that's when she go, guns for it? Like, she even grabs his weapon. Like, it, she does it in a way that implies she's doing a counter, like, to a move he made. Could it's, like, you know, I think defenders will say that she was so frustrated in, you know, being beaten in the fight that she was very emotional and didn't really realize that what she was she just wanted to win and she only then realized that oh i shouldn't have killed him he was he was stopping he might have been i might mm. have been able to talk to him after she did it and then that's why she heals him magically Fair and enough. i think that defense holds up enough you know i just thought it was a cheap shot as hell uh but i want what i want you to look at that if you've got a moment there i think that's uh kind of kind of interesting upload failed well we'll just try that one more time because that's <laughs> knuck and futz you've you've made me interested now what are you doing what is it yeah, well i'm i'm trying i've caught i've pasted it and it's processing on discord and it's oh, having a schism go here yeah see it should should all right. work out all right there you go man i can Let's... take that shit and smoke it to the bank or whatever oh. One. Okay, <laughs> some light-hearted non-spoiler thoughts on race in the last Skywalker. Oh my god. Finn finding mm -hmm. Janna, a fellow black decolonized, formerly colonized Imperial subject who got woke, revives my 2014 Guardian essay in which I theorized all stormtroopers are black. Guardian? <laughs> what a, you what don't a surprise. Say. What a surprise that shit like this comes from the Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for posting this. That so, so is hang on. hilarious. Quick thing to test this. When, uh, is it Janna or whoever is, rides up on her horses, do we see any of the other people with her? Oh, I'm sure we do. I just have to... Yeah, have they, all this. she and had a white friend. Black? Did well, they have sure masks they on or something? I no, like... there was clearly a white guy with her. Right. All right. Well, that's debunked. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> also, debunked. there's, well, there's clearly <laughs> people in the First Order who are white, like Hux, General Pride. Well, like they're all not stormtroopers. Uh, they're officers. They're talking yeah. about stormtroopers being. Black. Yeah. Okay. So they, but there are also officers who are black. So are they just like the really like? Oh the, wait, the I know, really I know, good... I got it, I got it. Phasma. Phasma's white. There you go. But she's a woman. Uh, yeah. She's a minority. <laughs> I just like that so they probably can... say that they'd be like, yeah, but women don't count. You'd be like, what? Yeah, women don't count. Not anymore. All the stormtroopers are black. Yep. All right sure right. Um, that makes sense so she heals up kylo uh and it doesn't that. cost her a thing it, kylo was on the brink of death he wasn't dead granted but that was a wound that was he was gonna die from it okay yeah, he was, was on the brink of death was fucked. and she heals him without any problem at all no it issue yeah, no issue at all. easy peasy also, lemon squeezy also found it kind of weird how she's grabbing the ship like before she's about to zap it with her zappy lightning. She's grabbing the ship and she's reacting like she's getting her tetanus shot. Yes. She yeah, just... She, she, it just... Oh. She never has any problems at all with what she's doing. Um, she then says, I wanted to take your hand, Ben's hand. Um, why do you keep hanging on the idea that this guy is a good man? <laughs> I just don't get where it comes Wait, from. Did she not, yeah. like, all right, because she's trying to make a distinction between Kylo Ren and Ben you know, yeah. Solo. Did she know yeah. anything about him as Ben Solo ever? No. Other than, other than, each other. other than Luke They're trained him like and Luke kind of failed him. No, 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 no. She's seen him without a top on, so that was enough. Oh, well. Ooh. Yeah, oh, by the way, so she, like, defeats him, and she just runs in a line to the other way and just gets into his ship. Apparently, they, the way they fought, they ended up right next to his ship. Also, he left the Wait, keys in the ignition. And he came from the opposite direction. So he got out of his ship and then somehow circled around behind her. Hey, was he smart and That's landed the power on the dark side? What the fuck? Like, uh, yeah. Also, yeah, him <laughs> landing on the death. I understand the geography of, funny, of this one at all. Uh, Got Grey Worm powers. Um, which uh, I think it pushes us to like right to the end of Act Two, which is Leia's dead, Chewie's sad, everybody's sad, 
And, uh, and you know, whenever anyone is pointing out anything that made them feel something, it's when Chewie reacts to Leia's death. And it has yeah. nothing to do with these films. <laughs> <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so sudden. It's like people expected her to die, too. Nobody seems to really ask what happened to her. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we don't get yeah. Yeah. we don't get much of anything in terms of like conversational discussion about even what happened. They like, well, how did she die? So, Whatever. Hey, did did you address Mola that you know she died so easily with that projection? Like, she wasn't very good at it. She just wasn't good at it, you know. <laughs> she overforced and um, overforced. Well, like I said, she, she seemed yeah, she seemed to be dying before she much. even did it. Yeah, when you force too much in uh, Star Wars now, it kills you. The force, which is the thing that binds all living things together, is one of the sources of life. Well, it Doing it three too much, times. getting too much of that in you, you, the force will kill you. We the got a full pattern. Funny. Luke, Explain Leia, and a... Kylo all die from using the force. There's such a massive resource cost to doing things like that, and yet Ray doing four healing costs absolutely nothing. It's uh, exactly it's so brilliantly inconsistent. Yeah. It is like first time lightning, no problem. Right? So Ray and Kylo are talking to each other across vast differences, and they are both seeing each other as a projection of itself to the point where they can actually teleport items without any problem at all. That's not even doesn't make a cost. Yeah. But but for Luke to do something that is considerably less impressive, he he's not projecting anything physical. Yeah. Or nothing anything physical. Like that. He, he's making an a an illusion Apparition. of himself across yeah. the same distances that kills him. But. Ray and Kylo, not not Here's a problem. Physical they objects. They can move physical objects across. A lightsaber places. too is like shit, uh, man. Being able to teleport lightsabers to people, fucking hell. Like, <laughs> yank ships and heal wounds. So, no, I feel like that could be useful. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Then again, only Snoke can do that for them. You know, the thing that can be mass produced in a test tube. <laughs> This movie suck. <laughs> it just shows that there are no set, like no rules. It's all inconsistent bullcrap. Now it's like uh, the force will kill you because we want you to die at this point. But whenever you do anything else that isn't you, that sometimes using more power than what's killing these other people, yeah, you're fine. It's so like no wonder there's no like any type of suspense in this. You're not invested in it at all because. There's nothing telling you that, oh, this is going to be dangerous. Be worried because the force could just do bull crap. <sighs> um, <laughs> why? So, play creation asks, uh, he said, teleport the fleet. And I'm like, yeah, Palpatine should have that power. He doesn't necessarily even need to. He's just really stupid. Like, he could just have them go up. Yeah, but that's everyone. And hyperspace in whichever directions they need to go, but he just doesn't do that. I mean, why? Just take out the middleman, just have him be there. Yeah, I mean, he could do that too. I don't know. He just, nobody just does do anything. Just do it. I mean, it's this. the force. Um, I'm sorry to announce the next scene is when Han Solo pops in. Uh, that's. that's <laughs> I almost uh, burst out laughing at that down. scene. How there's much did they have down. to pay Harrison Ford to get him in for that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that must have taken a lot. Maybe they recorded <laughs> it in TFA. Or they just used, like, unused shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's just a memory. So any mm -hmm. criticism of what he says can't necessarily be fulfilled because it's all from Kylo's head. But see, this is the problem. Well, moving right? on. Because <laughs> if Kylo... Kylo legitimately believes this is a memory, okay? Yet Han tells him something that to have the true emotional impact it has on Kylo, it needed to have come from the real Han, okay? When... When he goes, Dad, and he goes, I know, or, or but he was basically going to say, sorry, like, I'm so sorry, and stuff like that. And, you know, how to say, it's basically saying, I forgive you, okay? Kylo can't do that for himself. He can't imagine his father forgiving him, okay? Yeah. It has to come from the real Han for Kylo to actually properly accept it. Otherwise, it is utter bullcrap, okay? Yeah, he's and just apologizing to himself. Well, I was, exactly. I was about to say, if Kylo, if Kylo told you about this, he's like, yeah, Han kind of forgave me. It's like, what do you mean? Like a force ghost? He goes, no, like a memory. You'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just remember. imagined my own perfect version where he just gives me for everything. And remember imagine, this, uh... imagine if like Han was a force ghost watching this exchange and is like, I'm sorry, son. No. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> you, you, you stabbed me through the chest when I tried to do this the first time. You're not getting it now. Yeah, he's like, I, I was pretty nice to you and you killed me, so. Mm. 
<laughs> just <laughs> just opened the movie with the idea, with, with establishing in the opening of this movie, establishing that Palpatine is every voice in his head and he's been messing around with his mind stuff. When Han Sh Solo shows up, Kylo just accepts this without question. Yeah. Couldn't be Palpatine. This is definitely for real. And it's, it is the yeah, scene to uh, push Kylo to be a good man as well. And it came from his own memory. <laughs> I'm okay. a good boy now. How meaningless. I mean, and you know why, by the way, is because he couldn't be a force ghost. That just fucks everything up. So JJ's like, it came from his exactly. memory. And it's like, but then that's equally meaningless. It's himself telling himself he's a good man. That's just like, oh. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, how does. Mm. Uh, uh, is there anything else we... about that that bothers anybody? <laughs> it's, no. it's, 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 just, it's just so <laughs> fucked up. It's just so fucked. It's so fucked. Well, it's shit. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very big cop out narrative wise. Uh, you know, to need a conversation with someone's dead will just, you know, have a memory or a. And they, and they can't really, because like, say with Harry Potter, when Harry Potter is talking with Dumbledore when he's died, that's actually implied that this is Dumbledore's spirit in the afterlife, okay, like that. Whereas with Star Wars, the only afterlife ever really implied is Force Ghosts. And if there is an afterlife, it's only Force Ghosts. And so they, because of the, uh, the actual canon that exists, they can't do the Dumbledore thing. And so it has to be a memory, which again, just robs it all from any validity. So, yeah. so it makes you wonder, was Han a force ghost of a kind? Was he a, like, was he really there? Was that actually Han's spirit or was Kylo just talking to himself? So well, the way that it's portrayed, it doesn't look like a force ghost because they're all blue and glowy. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't look like one. So, I don't think he was a force no, ghost. No, he's it's portrayed he as if he's apparition. actually standing there. There's no blue stuff mm -hmm. or anything. Right. So he must have been an apparition. And must doesn't 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 Kylo say uh you're just a memory and then he says your memory? Yeah. yeah. So he's probably a memory, not a force ghost, which is fine. Which like, again, well, yeah, you're just talking to yourself, like I said, telling yourself they lose you both hear. ways. One way yeah, it breaks it's... everything, the other way is meaningless. Yeah, you're just <laughs> Yeah, you're talking to yourself. You're telling yourself. <laughs> he's, if anything, he's a psycho. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling myself the things I want to hear in my father's voice. Imagine watching that happening in real time. He's just talking to nobody while standing there. <laughs> well, the awkward thing is, right, that he he's he got he gets a lift from there to uh, Exegol. So it's like, who did he get that from? Did he did he just yeah. go, hey, first order, pick me up? I'm not kind of well, with you guys anymore, but I need a ship. He's a regular TIE fighter. He, he lands on X-School in a yeah, regular TIE fighter. Which means yeah. he, ha he had to have appealed to the First Order, right? He'd be like, I need a ship. Mm -hmm. And then they would have been like, where are you going, boss? And he's like, just d don't ask me. I'm the Supreme <laughs> Leader, don't question me. Yeah. Can you where's your helmet? Like a, I, like lost, a I lost my helmet. I dropped it in the ocean. Don't Wait, ask. Where's your lightsaber? <laughs> um, I, I, lo I lost my I, I dropped that in the ocean, too. <laughs> I the getting rid of the lightsaber was so fucking stupid. Yeah, can you imagine just as a cutscene where he just finds a TIE fighter well, on the Death Star? It's funny, right? If, if he was actually, I'm done with it all, right? Okay. Like, no more Jedi, no dark light side. It's again. All, again? Again, and he throws it away. <laughs> that, that would make sense. But he throws the lightsaber away to then go and fight someone. Yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, like you might as well keep Yeah, it, it is a useful died. tool that will help you. If Ray you. didn't teleport the lightsaber to him, he would have died. Yeah. So... Um, someone suggested Honestly, working like, TIE Fighter from the Death Star. I think it's a bit of a leap that there's a working TIE Fighter in that there, Death there Star. Is a, yeah, well, I, there I, is a scene where Ray's walking through it, and you do see a couple of, like, wrecked-looking ones, can, like, kind of yeah. in their housing, so, I don't know, maybe there's some intact ones lying about. Alright. I mean, I don't actually, I don't think it's a problem that he could actually just go, hey, first order, I need a ship. Like, yeah. there's no reason why they wouldn't give one to him, and he could just be like, yep, I'm totally on your team, wink, wink. <laughs> um... Then we then we get the scene where, for some reason, Palpatine is like, "Come to Exegol with all of the First Order ships and join me." It's like, why? Yeah, haven't they got more important things to be doing, like, well, you know, keeping the galaxy in line? The weird thing is so, that so Pride goes with, like, I guess, a portion of the First Order to Exegol, while several ships from Exegol go to several planets, including Bespin, Endor, and Kojimi. Hey, are you sure? I thought it was only one ship that came to Exegol and one ship that left. It's definitely more than one that left because the, there's one over Endor in there. <clears throat> Is there? Yeah, yeah. The the the, the, uh, the Ewoks are looking at the uh, 
Star Destroyer oh, blowing I thought that up. Was, I, th I thought yeah, that was, I thought all that was just a regular stuff. one. Yeah, yeah I, thought I thought it was, it was all first a... order getting destroyed at the end. Oh, when they didn't they have the cannons? I thought that was the threat. No, nah, because I thought that before. I thought that the only like, reason they can insta they... destroy them is because they knew the weakness of if you destroy the cannon, it destroys the whole ship. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's what it shows. If they were there, why the hell didn't they just destroy all the planets? Well, that was actually going to be went... an issue. It's like how could you be in yeah, range to destroy like, a death star, a like, death star destroyer without it being assumed... in range to destroy you? Yeah, that's why I assumed them to be first order ships, because surely no one would be dumb enough to have the planet destroying ships just floating above these planets while the galaxy just unifies against them to fight, and they just yeah. decide, oh, let's not destroy these planets. Yeah, while it doesn't matter if you win the battle, you're going to come back home and no home. <laughs> Pretty awkward. Surely they went that job. Well, um, right. I'll, I'll have a look now just to check, but uh, there is an interesting idea that that means that the one that killed Kajimi, that's still out there, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, but remember at the end at the end of the movie, the implication is that they're all, you know, everyone rebelled. The Star Destroyers. But the yeah. thing is, well, no, that's Kijimi's what we, gone, that's what we were just talking there to about. Rebel? Yeah, and we were just oh, talking about yeah, that. Yeah. Like the the idea that they're destroying these Death Stars. I'm looking at it now. You can't tell if these are ones with planet destroying gear or not. Ones over Jakku, by the way. Um, so you got Jakku, Endor, yeah. Kojimi. So is it just the First yeah. Order is just being wiped and, out? And really, yeah, you really it, opened yeah. Pandora's box by putting these I'm, ships out there. What if people salvage the cannons? Uh, no. Well, no, we don't even I'm know if these sure. are the, the yeah. ones with the cannons. I don't know. No, because... not not, not I, was, I, I was pretty sure no other at least planet the destroying one. one left. Yeah, there's only one out there, but even that one is a big problem, because that is a... Of course, a yeah, it's a Death Star. It's a Death it's, Star. And remember, remember, it's above atmosphere, which means it gets shields. <laughs> <laughs> it's get shields. <laughs> it's they have man just this. Yeah, what what rules? What rules ships. remain? Like what have they not fucked? Like what 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 is left in terms of us understanding things? Make you know just so many elements just keep getting fucked with. But uh, so okay, so best benefit of the doubt in order to actually contain this, Pride leaves the First Order fleet to go to Exegol. Exegol sends one ship out to go destroy Kojimi. Sev the First Order is wiped out at the end because the galaxy rebel. Yes, that's the best uh, way Pretty it. much. Alright. And yet it still leaves that one Death Star Thousands ship. of personnel, a Death Star Star Destroyer, Death Star Destroyer. They, um, they could just hyper jump planet to planet, destroying each one yeah, without like, oh, any yeah? contest. Yeah, yeah espe especially every, as like a well guys. Every planet that had rebels on it, we're blowing it up. <laughs> yep. But they seem to be able to fire like it's. Someone was asking, by the way, the Death Star had this like enormous reactor. The Star Killer Base had to absorb a sun. It's like, what do these things need for power? Are they just oh, just a little gun, the just a little gun on the bottom. Just, just a little the force, gun. the force. Okay, They're powered by the force. The just force answers everything now. But you're right; they should not be out exist. It's the biggest stupid, convoluted, you know, change in the technology of this universe. It's just dumb beyond belief. Like Palpatine, why would you only send the one away? Send a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, as a contingency, them all right away. Like that's shown yeah, right like, there. There's nothing holding him back. You could, you have enough star destroyers to place them like one per solar system and practically have a gun to the head of the galaxy. Maybe, exactly. maybe that was like all the elite crew members who understood which way was up were put <laughs> onto that ship so they could get out. <laughs> and it's like, well, yeah, we've sent like, our best already. When I heard the leaks about the um, Star Destroyers all having Death Star capability, I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was just so stupid and open. Yeah. I, like, it'll ruin everything if they do, did this. And they did it. And and because they did it, and again, it ruins everything. It screws up so much. And they try to make their convoluted bullcrap that they can't leave the planet when they really could. Palpatine could have sent them out at any time because the navig even with the navigation bullcrap, it was just Palpatine was choosing not to send it because of some dumb time limit. Oh. Well, you can totally see the, the thought process behind it, though. Eh? It's like, well, we had the Death Stars in the original trilogy, and we've already done an even bigger Death Star in The Force Awakens, so what's left? Uh, let's, let's, let's be death clear stars. here. Yeah, we, all we of need these some death... kind of threat. Well, you you have all these Death Stars, right? You're Palpatine. You're thinking, it's obvious to me that this is the ultimate bargaining tool to get whatever you want. Is like, tell everyone above to surrender or else I'm going to blow up this planet because I've got to start a... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to blow up this planet. Like, boom, surrender immediately or it's just done. And yeah. I'm just going to keep blowing up planets until you all surrender. Yeah. 
Like, that's insane that you didn't have these things sent out just waiting to move into position. Like, why do you need that many to be so they close together so at this one place? And you know what and the answer plus, is? They... Well, Mola, they didn't know how to go up. And also, like... <laughs> I feel like well, well, that one did that got to Kajimi. <laughs> yeah, that like one did, Emperor Rex. That's a different story, okay? I really do feel like the Emperor hasn't considered how much this is going to cost him, though, when he reinstates his empire. How's he going to pay for these crews and maintenance? And everything, oh, and keep them all alive. Ten, like, yeah, they're clones. They're clones, Fringy. They're clones that don't need food. Or if you lose one there. ship, you are in serious danger of losing your empire. If you lose track of one ship, <sighs> you're in big trouble. True. You know how it was like a miracle that the Cold War didn't end in a nuclear explosion? This is like yeah. that, but 70,000 exactly. times as risky. Exactly. <laughs> and that was only two countries with nukes on one planet. This is intergalactic planet destruction times 10,000. Like, where do you go from here? How will you ever make another Star Wars movie? You won't. That's just the oh, evil well, that's why on it, this. Yeah, at retcon, get it, it's all garbage, remove it all. Oh, yep. absolutely, yeah. So it, um, it, it's irredeemable. It is irredeemable. All Any prequels movie, from here on. If if they try yeah. to make it based <laughs> off of this canon, there is no way for it to be good. Because anything yeah. they do, you could just say, why didn't they do this with their Death Star technology? Why didn't the Force do this? Or there, there's no limitations. There's no point to have any investment in the conflict or anything that's based off this is crap. It's, you gotta, like, go a thousand years in the future or some shit. The timeline of Star Wars allows... For just go, go forwards a thousand to be years. Disconnected Some, from yeah, the main saga. Yeah, like maybe one or two references. Just the old da da da. If you really have to connect it, but only like just literally just one name or two names in the whole thing, just to show that it's after that stuff. Like a thousand years ago, the defeat of the empire and the reinstation is something. Just really, just if you gotta make a reference, just super quick, and then get it out of the way. Then never again. It's new. It's a new new galaxy in terms of timeline. New people, completely new factions. Um, it's just you gotta gotta move forward. Gotta just get out of here because you fucked it all. Mm -hmm. Abandon ship. Yeah, um, get on a new one. The next, I guess, key point would be Luke grabbing the lightsaber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no! A continuation of what was established we, in the Last uh, Jedi. Before we, we go into that, guys, um, I think probably what I'm going to do is sign off now. I reckon. Yeah. Um, I would like to continue this this rant with you, but uh, I'm kind of out of time here, unfortunately. Wow. Fair enough. So you only had, had six hours free. This point. That's it. I know. <laughs> I, I feel like I've half-assed this one, man. Wow. <laughs> I can't say that I am impressed. That's not a, not a true longman. Um, yeah, but, uh, I'm still learning. Yeah. Look. So how far are you now? You 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 doing part two? Currently making it. How many parts do you think you'll have as a total? I, I I'm hoping it'll just be two. So like part two will probably be twenty five, maybe thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's a bit lopsided, but uh, that should cover it. I don't really want to split it into three parts because I kind of just want to get it done before Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's that's the plan so far. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll finish writing it tomorrow and get it recorded, and then it's just editing. Yeah, so I'm looking you, forward uh, to getting it. Thank you for coming on for so long. Do you want to plug your channel quickly? Get them invested? Do it, do it. Do yes. It. So I'm the Critical Drinker, and I do movie reviews. I'm currently working on my review of... Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, and uh, it's a two-parter. So I've done the first one and had a good rant about some of the many problems with it. As you can see from this um, stream tonight, there is a lot that you can't touch on. There's just too much, uh, but I'm doing my best. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. All right. Hey, Drinker, before you leave, which character do you pick as the most inconsistent one? Because we need to remember your vote. Oh, good question. Um... I'd probably say Hux, just because the way that character's fluctuated throughout the three movies has just been ridiculous. Yeah, man. You know, Whoever was, picked was... him from the get-go, man, they had some foresight. Well, if, <laughs> it, yeah, sure. If if the question was who's the most inconsistent across the three movies. Well, it depends what you mean by inconsistent, isn't it? 
Well, we can't. I was going to say he wants to leave, so <laughs> he's okay. okay. Yeah. He's, We're going to need putting... to have a bit of debate on that after this. Yeah, we'll series. definitely do that. Uh, but his vote is yeah, hugs. That's, that's all good. Well, because what we'll do is we'll make a straw poll for the audience once we've discussed it, and uh, we'll see what everyone thinks. All right, nice one. All right, well, enjoy yourselves, gentlemen. Good uh, remainder of the stream. Yes, sir. Right, thank man. you for joining us. And uh, we'll we catch you later, man. In the future. Good Bye. job, mate. Later. Yeah, yeah. Go away now. Go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah. Uh, so, Luke. We did mention, like, Luke catching that lightsaber is so many levels of stupid. Now, a continuation of what TLJ established as the and new Force Ghosts. They physically manipulate objects <clears throat> in the environment around them. Yeah. And they could summon lightning. And, and they can we... lift X-Wings out of the water. Oh, okay, okay, see, I, I, wait, I, need, I want to talk about the X-Wing thing. Because we already had, we did do, uh, you know, a detailed um, rant against the Force Ghost stuff. And that it isn't said that it's the island or the planet that does it in the movies at all. And so it just means everything is, is screwed, okay? Um, and then, so Luke, right? He... <laughs> That that's what the next is his dig against uh, his his portrayal in um the Last Jedi, where he just just flat out says, "Yeah, I was wrong." And what about his line, right, when he catches the lightsaber and he says, "A Jedi should not." What was it? You should you should know? treat a uh, Jedi's weapon with more respect. I think. Or yeah. Like yep. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Ryan. That's, that's, that's such a funny coming around. Yeah. Yeah. A middle finger to Ryan Johnson. It's, right a, it's a downright slap. Just uh, <laughs> wow. They, because it hit me in the, because I, I was expecting TLJ retcons, but not blatant ones that are almost reaching <laughs> out of the screen. I was like, wow. <laughs> and uh, you know, having her be like, "I came here like you did," he was like, "That was a mistake." <laughs> <laughs> I love how the Star Wars franchise has just become the collateral damage battleground for two men <laughs> wave their dicks at each no, other. My I mean, idea is better. Filmmaker. No, my idea is better. <laughs> and yeah, uh, he Sorry. his rousing speech is go kill Palpatine. Go kill, go just go kill Palpatine. <laughs> you know what? Yes, you're a Palpatine, but it's not about your blood. It's about you. You must face him. Go kill Palpatine. <laughs> it's like, okay. Such a weird, like, it just feels wrong in some way, I guess. Like, it just, it's just like, go hunt down and murder that piece of shit. You're like, all right. Well, it's almost guess. like, if you don't, then countless lives will be lost. Darkness will cover the galaxy. You oh, have yeah. to stop it. There are ways to phrase this that are just less um, vindictive or dark side y or <laughs> strange. <laughs> like do it because you have to or else you know he is an evil that that has to be vanquished or else you know terrible things will happen this is what a jedi protects the peace of the galaxy something like that um yep. and so yeah she, go, Fuck him up. It, it's kind of weird because i've noticed this in my script i don't know if anyone else thought like the, the, the thought this was weird but um he says that he was training leia right up until she had a vision that if she continued her Jedi journey, that her son would die. So she placed down her lightsaber, she stopped her journey, waiting for someone to come along and finish her journey. That's what Luke says. By the way... Mm -hmm. By the way... No, 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 by the way. no, 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 hang no, on. No, 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 hang on. This is really important. <laughs> I just... I just she, she, he says she, her journey is going to end in her son dying. That's why she stopped it. Was it, was waiting. it dying or turning well, to the dark side? No, dying. Whoops. Like, wait, oh. your son that I'm training? The, no, so the, what I'm trying to highlight here is that Leia wanted to not continue this journey because she doesn't want her son to die. But then he immediately says afterwards she was waiting for someone to finish her journey. Meaning Ray. <laughs> meaning yeah. she's like, I don't want my son to die. I want someone else to result in my. It's so bizarre as a piece of dialogue. I was like, what are you <laughs> saying? Like, you don't want to be the one that kills him. You want someone else to be the one that finishes your journey, resulting in his death? Like, it's. it's... I got nothing. Nah, yeah. me neither. <laughs> I don't, was it a. Was she. Has, did she have a force premonition? Well, no, I'm I'm fine with the idea that she has a vision where Kylo or, or Ben dies and it puts her off wanting to be a Jedi. I'm like, I understand that. Because she said that her journey will result in that. That's why she stopped being a Jedi. But, That's why she but, gave up her but, lightsaber. But, 
It resulted in that anyway, though. Well, no, but she s specifically yep. says she wants someone to take up the journey that she left behind that resulted in her son dying. I don't understand. Yeah, which means she already would know her son was gonna die. Like, why would she want someone to continue that journey? <laughs> that sounds like the kind of journey you want to discourage anyone from completing. <laughs> and if you're okay with someone continuing it, why didn't you continue it? <laughs> like, what was the <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Pussy! <laughs> Like, it sounds also, like garbage writing to just sound like sort of flimsy It's cryptic, episode. but empty. Yeah, it but, but then it. you listen to it, and you're like, hang on a minute, you just said you want someone to kill Kylo. Or Ben. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was saying, like, man, she kicks Luke's ass. Yeah. Like, yeah, everyone's doing that these days, I guess. <laughs> They have desecrated Luke's character yeah. in more Ray, like, Leia, just, just everyone beats the shit out of him. This movie puts a such a dis disrespectful, horrible nail in the coffin of that, which is related to the very next thing that Luke does, right? He raises the force, you know, he force raises the X-Wing out of the water and it still bloody works. I yeah. I got <laughs> Uh, this was a point in which I got more angry than any other point in um, my review, and only since do I really understand why, right? Because that means uh, it means in the previous movie, Luke chose to commit suicide. Exactly. And he that could have gone the, to crate, but he, he didn't. He, exactly if that shit worked he could have gone physically and actually done something more substantial but instead mm -hmm. it is now canon by this movie that luke decides to give up and commit suicide that is the mm -hmm. ultimate statement against one of the most beloved characters in all of fiction it is so flipping annoying i can't express i could I could save my sister i could save the resistance i could confront kylo who I should want to after all of these years. I could do all this stuff, but nah, I'm just going to create a mild distraction and die from here. Exactly. Well, no, like the, only, didn't... the only defense against that implication was that he had no other choice because he was stranded there. The ship didn't work. So if the ship didn't work, then maybe the only thing he could have done was force project himself to try and do something to save him because, he, and it's still it's crap because it took him way too long to come to his senses to try and help out and he didn't catch a ride with Ray when she left. And so it's still crap, but the only redeeming thing was is that he tried whatever he could do and their defense was that the ship was broken. Now that defense is just destroyed out of the water. Do you, the um, ship worked literally the whole damn time. We covered a video problem. on a previous EFAP that said that that ship was waterlogged and so he couldn't have used it. Exactly. <laughs> Rip. Well, didn't they try to backtrack on the whole state of die thing and said he was searching for something instead? But he, he explicitly was searching for the says, McMuffin to track down the Sith, He right? explicitly says he came there to die. Yeah, you but then in this movie, he that. said they were searching for something and that's what the Jedi texts were. They were puzzle pieces to finding the McMuffin to find Palpatine again, right? Isn't that yeah, what yeah, right, but he gave up. He was searching for it, and he found Uchi's ship, and then, and then he, he just went, up. oh, fuck it, there's a droid in here, but never mind, let's, let's go. Oh, well. <laughs> Should I turn it on? Nah, I draw I my line at droids, on. well. Uh. So, what this sequel series has done to Luke's character, and especially with the confirmation of this movie, is beyond the pale for me. I can't believe it. I like, Luke, as a character because of these movies, and if you were just to try and judge his character now, is an absolute pathetic, you know, coward. He just committed suicide and... Oh, yep. I can't even express it. I mean, what a trilogy, right? Like, looking back, just like, wow. You guys nailed it. <laughs> what a great you job you did. You did such a great job. Man, you did such a great job. You just... You went around the horn from doing a great job into like going out of your way to fuck it up in all of the ways it could have oh, yeah, possibly we, been fucked up in. We did talk about that. Uh, I used the term surgical. Like This is very much deliberate and expert ways of destroying everything we liked about the OT. It's like, good job. Uh, if that was your goal, of course. I mean, so... Luke, his, his moral, you know, standard, his hopefulness was utterly destroyed. He was emasculated on screen by getting his butt kicked by, you know, this upstart who has had no training. And uh, on, so it's like, they, and then she steals his name at the end. It's like, <laughs> they tried to destroy his character on every level. It's just... <laughs>
It's Pretty like exciting. I'm I'm the real Skywalker. Oh, you know what happens <laughs> immediately after that scene, by the way? Uh C three PO comes back, gets his memory back. Yeah. So, <laughs> Hello, I'm back. So yep. Come. Just like, okay, Ooh. that was pointless. <laughs> like, why did yeah. you even make that? Yeah, and then nobody's like, oh, cool, he does have yeah, his no memory one cares. back. Nobody cared. Again. Like yeah. Ray, Finn, and Poe, who were there, they were like almost awkward about it. It was like they don't give a fuck. Nobody recognizes it at all. It was really fucked up. <laughs> he describes that's, that's kind them of a as terrible his, thing. He describes them as his friends. Living. And and he does this to help them. Like he considers it killing himself, and they just don't give a fuck. Um but yeah, of course, Dio has provided uh the information about Exegol and uh, on her way there, Ray gives them the specific coordinates on how to traverse the evil space cancer. Uh, which, by the way, on the sort of, like, image that um, Poe sees... I'll try and get this for you now, actually. The space cancer is a hell of a lot bigger than they portray it in the actual um, shot. If you look at that, see the red is the space cancer and the planet is to the left. Okay. So, like, the space cancer is not do that. It doesn't engulf, like, the majority of Exegol. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's just like, maybe the when the CGI people did that, they were like, yeah, this makes sense, because obviously otherwise you could just you know, do whatever well, you want. You know, well, you say that, you say that, but have you considered the Force? Well, you know, you, even if it was that big, you can still go up and around it, assuming it's not, you know, it has to engulf the entire planet. That's the only way yep. that you can make yep. this force. work. Yeah. <sighs> Um, the dark side, and so they construct stop. their plan. They're going to take what little fleet they have to support Rey, or at least follow her in. Um, they're going to send Lando and Chewie to the core planets and ask them for help. That's like that's it for reinforcements. Don't send like messages. Don't broadcast a <laughs> don't signal wait. telling him. Yeah, don't. Yeah, just, just just run in because they're going to do it and they're going to hope that. They get helped, um, even though they've pretty much established that without backup, they're fucked. Um, yeah, if I if that was me, I'd be like, man, they didn't come last time. I feel like they'd have even triply less of a reason this time to come and help us out with all these Death Stars. You know, why would they yeah. come? Somebody brings up a good point. Is it D zero or D I O? I imagine it's D zero. Well, it's D O D O. Yeah, it sounded like Dio, like, it's me, Dio! Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying D-I-O when I say Dio. <laughs> um, just D-O as far as I know, yeah. Anyway, uh, the, the, they, they come up with their plan based on what they know about Exegol from Dio. So that is, Star Destroyers cannot activate shields below atmosphere, or in atmosphere. So that's a pretty useful little tidbit. How about that? Mm -hmm. That's just a rule now, I guess. Um, which gives you a, a bit of an advantage. Rule, but it is a rule. A second piece of information, they cannot navigate out there without a tower, a navigation tower. If you destroy the navigation tower, well, they're all sitting ducks. <laughs> and then the final, <laughs> the third piece of information that just brings all this together is if you shoot their cannons, it'll blow up the entire Star Destroyer. Oh my god. So when you know those three well, yeah. things, which are all insane, uh, <laughs> you actually have a fighting chance. Yeah. Good yeah, job. but it's like if they knew that from the beginning, how come they didn't start by blowing up all the cannons? Because they established that one ship can shoot it for like a second, and the whole thing blows up. Um, they should like definitely a have like so. They want to stop them from escaping. I I understand that, but yeah, it does seem to be that their only concern is stopping the tower and then blowing them up. When it should be that they have a whole bunch of fires just immediately starting to blow them up. Especially for the fact that they're all so close to each other, like, the collateral would yeah. be helpful. Yeah, man. But, um, I think that'd be insane chain reaction kind of material. Obviously as well, and the... Again, y wing just, like, shoots it for a second, and the whole thing blows up. Sorry, a what wing? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Most people haven't heard of them. Y wing Is that Named for their distinctive... Like... I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, it, it confirms in the Star Wars canon that Engl you know, that Latin you know, letters exist. The, the Y wing. No, no, you yeah. lost me. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, it's like a sh it's a Y shaped thing. Sometimes they're used as bombers. I asked everybody, and they said they mostly don't know. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we get a wonderful line 
possibly my favorite the whole film. Uh, we should do some real damage. How about some holdo maneuvers? And Finn says, no, nah, come <laughs> on, that's like one in a million. Everybody like, knows what that. in a million <laughs> what? Like, what's the risk? <laughs> what, well, what would that? Uh, you know, we did point out that is contradicted in the end of the movie where you see someone doing the holdo maneuver. Yeah, but that was just a million people tried, but that was the one that a million people yeah, tried. That was, uh, yeah. I'm trying to wonder with the one in a million thing, like, what would go wrong? Because it's really, really like ramming someone, right? Is the, really basic. Just driving your well, car no into idea. another I car, mean, it'd be like you wouldn't say the chances of you hitting it are one in a million. You wouldn't even say one in a hundred. You'd just be like, yeah, it's kind of binary. You're gonna I'd hit be it. Like, one in oh a God. million. Well, I guess the thing is, like, what happens those nine hundred ninety nine thousand times? Do you just smash yes. into it? Like no, you're you, flying? This. Do you just go into hyperspace and not die? It's like, like the ship it's... does that little, oh, you know, that little dodge right before it hits you, and you go past it, like. I, don't know. I mean, there's admit, no there's miss? no way you can get around it. No matter how you've done it, you've done something wrong here. The fact that it's even a maneuver <laughs> that's possible is is just you can't fix it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Raya dipped his hand in the cookie jar. JJ is like cut his hand off by no, putting the, yeah. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop it. People are saying one in one point two billion chance of it happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Wow. Um, yeah, so that's just like the worst possible way. Just say, oh, no, it's one in a million. Well, it's just those are four, four established sort of rules in order for JJ to generate our final battle. Like, you yeah. cannot use hyperspace kamikaze. No reason, you just can't. You're like, okay. Uh, All right. I there's guess. no shields on the enemies. So despite the fact that there's thousands of them or whatever, uh, we can still shoot at them. Cool. They have a weakness that's so obvious and insane that it actually makes it pretty easy to kill them. They're all about as good as a TIE fighter. You're like, <laughs> all right. They but can't escape the planet. You're like, what? what? How, how stupid is this enemy team? <laughs> like, and you know, you know, even then, even then, the uh, rebels and the Galactic Alliance, whatever, should have gotten their absolute butts handed to them because all these ships needed to do was use their main cannon once each, and they would have destroyed <laughs> everyone. They do not yeah, use I mean, their well destruction the cannon yeah. even once. Like, because the thing is, it was established in Return of the Jedi that the Death Star can be used to blow up ships. Yeah, yeah exactly. it blows up and, the Mon Calamari cruiser. No there. Yeah. defense at all against it. One I shot. Even, honestly, of destruction. I don't even think they need it. The, they kind of lie to us. They all arrive, right? Our our good guys, and all of the Star Destroyers start launching lasers at them. There's like thousands yeah. of green lasers, and Poe's like, "Whoa!" and like gets out. It's <laughs> like, "No, no, you're all gone." Well, That's the a issue wave is of lasers. Yeah. It's not. It doesn't work because in all of the the battles that we've seen in space before between fleets, what we see, yeah, we see fleets. We have big ships, cruisers, star destroyers on both sides, and then their own. But in this one, they're all small ships. There are no cruisers, not that I could see. So it's not even. It's not even at all. It would be like if you had a battle where a bunch of people in rowboats were fighting against, um, you know, aircraft carriers. It's just not balanced. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. Like, there's no way. Unless you contrive that you can shoot the cannon and well, blow it up like Independence Day. There's not even that many of them, and they last for ages, the good guys. Mm -hmm. Like, at before the, start, the reinforcements yeah, arrive. Like, how do they last this long? Yeah, it's insane. You know, it there are, no, weird. are there any Tie Fires? There are Tie Fires, right? Not just Star Destroyers. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Like, how could you possibly <laughs> survive for more than one minute? <laughs> it's just so not. They, so they all know how to shoot a cannon. A like. thousand Death Star cannons just poof, and you're gone. <laughs> you just yeah. just to know, Ugh. you did notice the Tie Fighters had a different design. They had like um arrow wings instead of um what are they? Uh, Octagonal or hexagonal. Things. They were little Vader ships, but they were mass produced mm. now. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about. Um... Yeah, there were heaps of TIE fighters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um... yes. Vader's special one. Um, oh, so, in, in case. I think here. like one or two people thought I actually didn't know what a Y Wing was. <laughs> it's a reference. No, it's... Oh. Um... <laughs> no, seriously, what is that? So, I guess. Uh, it's kind of like, I just kind of want to split this into two. Uh, we could talk about the battle portion and then the Palpatine portion, so... I guess we'll do battle portion first. They yeah. immediately go to, to knock out the navigation tower. They have to deliver a transport down there, okay? That's the plan. They are being assaulted. I want to do a grab, yeah. See, I first, I first thought that their plan was just to destroy the tower, 
just by shooting at it. Mm -hmm. And that seemed perfectly logical. And then they needed it suddenly. Oh, no. Now the navigation thing is on the uh, Star Destroyer. Let's do a ground assault. And I was like, and I even said this in my video, they pull a ground assault out of their butts in my second viewing. No, they planned a ground assault even against the navigation at the beginning with. I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why do you even need a ground There's assault? No There's no shields. <laughs> There's no shields. There's no shields. There's no point for a ground assault except for having a shot of horses running against your But is there any reason why they needed to use horses instead of like flying in and blowing it up? No, there's no, no, reason. no reason. No reason at all. Also, I mean, what that means is that all of those people they met, they brought their fucking horses with them. Yeah, yeah how'd they get them? Like, so they yeah, yeah, the there's a line. Pick them up. Before they leave, uh, they say, like, what's our plan for the ground assault? And Finn, like, looks at her, I think, and he says, I got a plan for that. Like, oh, that's his yeah, plan. plan okay. To have horses. horses. Why? Because he thought it would be a cool shot. And then they're like, oh, no, nah, let's just have the horses ride on top of a Star Destroyer. And instead of having him just, like, tilt 15 degrees, even 15 degrees, and just have them all fall off and die. And that's the end of the mission. So nah, I... just stay still and deploy your own soldiers on top of a Star Destroyer to fight the horse people. The also, BB-8 is faster than all of the horses. Yeah, BB-8 is much yeah. faster than the horses. <laughs> like, fucking fast. The way, so, yeah, the way people will defend the horses on the Star Destroyer, that uh, tipping it over wouldn't knock them off because they would have been caught in the Star Destroyer's artificial gravity, and just turning it around meant that they would still be... Literally, towards. it is... Okay, that, let me, let me just... I'll just work. clarify this for you, right? You make an announcement on the Star Destroyer. <laughs> We are about to lose everything. We are turning off artificial gravity and we are spinning this bitch. If you don't yeah. hang on to yeah, something, hold on, yeah. or die. It doesn't matter. But that, we're all but you know what's coming to do say then? But sir, which way's up? Just spin. Just spin. He's like, how do I spin? <laughs> hold right. Which way's right? For fuck's sake, Frank. <laughs> is, is, is right any up? Direction. Is up right? I don't know. Any direction. I don't know, man. Just I'm spin. nervous. It's my first day, God! We gotta put some Christ. pressure on me. So, shitty first day. Yeah, so we've established a stupid other ground team for it, but it gets stupider, because, uh, Pride, being so very intelligent, <laughs> notices they're gonna destroy it, and he's like, aha, deactivate it and activate the tower on my ship, which we've, we've been over, it's like, why would you just put a tower on every ship if you're building it on a planet yeah, that yes. doesn't allow things to leave exactly. unless they have towers on their ships. What if you, yeah, because what if you have, one just needs to go someplace. Um, it's all or nothing, I guess. <laughs> uh, so someone said they deployed troopers, though. So apparently they did have the foresight to tilt wait the destroyer. A minute, hold on, it doesn't wait, matter. Wait, hold on. Um, so you know how like Ray transmitted the path she took to get through the um through the thing, and that's how all the rebels uh, resistance. That's how they all got through. Uh -huh. Is there any reason why you couldn't just draw a map and give it to each of the ships, like a physical map or a digital map? instead of having a transmitter, because it seems to be a path that's set, because otherwise how could Ray broadcast something that's useful but to see, them? I don't even think they needed a, a broadcast tower to do it themselves. All they needed was the coordinates, because... Yeah, well, that, wait, wait, right, wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about exactly in good. relation to the navigation tower, or just to... What, what's no, to just get through, the, to get through the gas cloud. Is there any reason why they... Because that's what I thought the navigation tower was for, to get through the gas cloud. No, no, the navigation was just to leave the planet, I thought. Wow, what? Yeah. what God, that's even well, worse. It, it, free, honestly, man, I don't think that's a Star Destroyer assumed. can fit through the space cancer. Yeah, I assumed it was to just, like, get out of the atmosphere. And then they just hyperspace what? off in any of the other clear directions. <laughs> oh, well, then, okay, so either way, it doesn't work. It's all <laughs> stupid. It's just beyond stupid. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just to continue, right, so they deactivate the ground tower, our team decides, nah, we don't need to destroy that tower because they clearly activate in a different one. In fact, it's that one on, on Pride's ship. Now, you could have had Finn go, like, you can tell from the design that that one's got a tower, it's the leading ship, blah blah blah. Instead, he just goes, I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. feeling. He feels He's it. He's like, look, that, that tower looks just like the one down below, it must be emitting the same signal, or something. But no, <laughs> I got a feeling. I got a and feeling. See, 
With other things, usually there was a cause to get the feeling. Like when Vader sensed Obi-Wan's presence on the Death Star, they had a lot of history, so it makes sense that he would sense the presence. Even with Rey and the dagger, the dagger killed her parents. Okay, there's a lot of evil around it. It can make a bit more sense that she could sense the dagger. Why on earth can Finn sense that the broadcast tower is on that ship? That That's just, again, the Force doing whatever the hell they want in the plot now. I want to highlight as well that um, it's lucky they decided to go with horses, because if they had gone with speeders, they would have been screwed, because there's this line where uh, Pride says, jab their speeders, and he goes, we can't, sir. They're not using speeders. And oh, like, so you can just jab speeders. Or, I, didn't, I didn't know or, you could jab speeders. <laughs> I didn't crazy. either, and I thought I'd missed something, but I'm so glad you brought that up, because now I'm not crazy. We'll see. Yes, the other thing is, do. they could have just landed their landing craft closer to the tower. They didn't yep. need horses. Why didn't speeders. they land them closer Possibly to the tower? Yeah. Well, you, you have... yet, why didn't they just shoot them with their spaceships? You have about, I want to say, 20 resistance members pouring out, right? And then you've got like 100 Sith troopers or whatever. It's like, yeah. they're already dead. <laughs> they're fucked. <laughs> Sorry, it's a numbers game. All you are are people. And what would have guns. happened if that transport blew up? What was Plan B if some, if like a Tie Fighter blew up the transport? It's like, oh, game over, I guess. And like, we have to ignore all of these things in order to have their moment where they drop the grenades down this hole and it blows up the tower. You guys remember that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does they do in response? I was in the cinema thinking, ah, all the first order need to do now is reactivate the ground tower. That's the obvious thing to do. Yes. The ground tower is never <laughs> mentioned again, so that's dumb. Instead, he's like, get the tower back online. And then they're like, sir, we have to reset our systems. And then Fit is like, look, they're powering down their cannons. They're resetting the si How do you reset a tower that's been exploded? <laughs> How does that work? And Finn is like, well, they reset. Now we got to destroy the whole De Star Destroyer. Just like, oh, you mean just shoot the bottom of it or whatever and explode it? Like... Does this one not have a super cannon attached to it? Is that the, why it's harder to take it down, I guess? I like how they made no oh, effort to conceal cannon. the most important ship in their fleet. I like that they put no effort into concealing that. I mean, how close does it have to be to them to nav like send a navigation signal? Could they not just push it really far, like, over the other side of the planet? Would that work? Does it still transmit at that point? I don't know. Well, I think what they were trying to do is their numbers were going to mask which one was the real ship that transmits but then pose like i got forced now it's that one it's pretty bad um it's really bad isn't it but yeah they uh i guess it's kind of hard to sort of figure out in terms of like linearity what we should actually approach next but Ray turns up to Palpatine, he reveals to her the plan all along was to have her kill him so he could inhabit her body with all of the Sith and be victorious, and she could and lead his Emperor. And that makes no sense, because he legitimately sent Kylo out to kill her, like... I think, no, that was I'm part curious. of his master plan. What if he kills himself while she's standing there? What happens then? What, just commit seppuku? Can he, can he, can he <laughs> then, like, can his Sith spirit just jump into her? At that point, he's like, <clears throat> why not just do that? Yeah, there are rules. Wait, no, no, there isn't. Because, <laughs> because, like, that's what he's desperate for her to do, and it's implied by this film that if she does that, she's lost. It's like, okay, just fucking kill yourself, have your Sith spirit jump into it, right? Like, why not? I guess, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, nah. <laughs> just, nah. He does, like, um, the whole ceremonial thing as well, it's like, and now she takes the lightsaber, and she does, it's like, what are you doing? Just oh, yeah, he, he, he kinda, it's kind of like Snoke, when Snoke was like, And he kills his enemy. <laughs> Yeah, um, and all those those I don't know creatures go like oh yeah ah. they they make a lot of noise those dudes. The fuck um, are they? They're like, I don't they're know. Chanting has fool has no nah or something oh, like that he, in the background. Oh, 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 oh. You have no idea where they came from, what they're doing. They're just there. Yeah. Um. Just so Kylo shows up, and uh, he didn't bring his weapon, so he gets like owned straight away. Then, Why didn't he bring his weapon? Because he threw it into the ocean. Away. But oh, he did yeah. bring a blaster with him. Yeah. Does he get the blaster uh, after he beats them with the gun? With the sword, no. sorry. No, but, no he runs in there and shoots he... like three or four people. And that's before he runs into the Knights of Ren. And yeah. I can't remember what happens to it after that, if he got yeah, disarmed. I, mean, I, will, I will keep a lookout for it as I'm, as I'm seeing the events <clears throat> transpire. But, um... 
yeah, like, he's he's in a position where he can't do anything, and she provides the... It's kind of weird. She, like, holds it at the back of her head, and it appears at the back of his head, almost like they're standing in the same position in terms of force Skype. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't actually follow from what we've seen of it before, right? Like, that's not how that works. Yeah, they, so. they had to reach and touch one another from their projection that they were looking for. Like, why, uh, would, he, why, why yeah. would he stand like this? Like, he doesn't have anything to grab there. <laughs> it's like, oh, the only way itchy back. Oh, shit, nice, a lightsaber. Well, the only way Maybe it would it's work, implied the that they... Well, if Sorry. Rey was standing in the projection back to back to Kylo, and she oh, hands okay. behind her back... That's what I was about to say, yeah. yeah. They must have Skyped back to back, and then, uh, yeah. Man, that coordination. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do so you like as well how oh, um how the girl just says like I'm staying with you, Finn, when he's like I'm gonna destroy this ship, and I'm just like you could easily have had that be Rose, and JJ just didn't. <laughs> just like, yeah, no. there was not a peep of Rose. Like I I did get the distinct impression he just wanted to get rid of Rose. Yeah, but I but guess um, man, no one liked her as a character, so. Yeah, but I mean, like well, I was gonna say, Shad, TLJ lovers, they they loved everything about TLJ, including her. So, yeah. oh yeah, wasn't <laughs> well, it Quentin that was like, I want to <laughs> applaud them for putting an Asian in or something? Yeah, and now. if you I'm don't sorry. like it, you're a bad racist. Well, mm -hmm. the anyone um, who doesn't like it that? is a bad racist. Uh, yeah, well, he said like, if you don't like Asian casting, then you can fuck off. That sort of thing. Uh, obviously ignoring the actual criticisms of the character. It has nothing to do with the fact that exactly. she's Asian. Exactly. It has nothing to do with that she was Asian. It's that she was a horrible character. It was like... Most yeah. people and said that they actually her liked her sister. Because... Like, his sister seemed stronger. <laughs> just like, I think it's because of the fact she sacrificed for something, so it just made her more respectable. Yep. But, uh... Oh, fuck, I almost skipped over. Shad, uh, did you enjoy the, the bow and arrow takedown of a TIE fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, was that, was that a oh, right. was that a that, tie fighter or a guy in a jetpack? Oh, was it a guy in a jetpack? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either either it. way, it's like you're you're Hawkeye it's a bow and arrow. It's like what are you doing? Hawkeye is in Star Wars now. Nice. Uh, Alright, I'm see I'm seeing the thing because you're right. He shoots a couple people, then he sees the Knights of Ren. Where's your gun, Kylo? I'm keeping an eye on it. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> it? It's just gone. Oh, cool. Really? Well, so at least on the wide shot, I'm, we're about to get the tight shot now, and I'm going to see if he just gets it kicked out of his hand or something, but I don't think he has it. Yeah, no, he, he just doesn't have it. He uses the force on one of them to knock him over, and he just doesn't have his gun. Okay. They were using melee weapons. A gun would have been really effective. Really good, yeah. <laughs> they're they're oh, yeah, just man. glorified stormtroopers by the end. He could have just shot them. Maybe. Wait, wait, does, doesn't he jump onto this weird chain thingy? Does he lose it then? No, no, no. After so it's, it's after all of that them. that he shoots He shoots two random guys, and then he bumps into six Knights of Ren. Oh, the chain thing is after that. The chain thing's the first Not thing before. he does when he jumps in. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait a minute. How did he get off that thing with the surrounded by water? His ship was blown. We already said he would have contacted the Empire, I guess, or he could have gotten one of the old TIE fighters inside the Death Star that apparently were in one of the shots, I guess. Okay, no, no, somebody super wrecked. chatted about that, and I, I, I think he brought up a good plan. I had to bring it up. Um, so yeah, uh, I just like the idea that, 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 you know, JJ was like, how do we disappear a weapon? Has that ever happened in Star Wars before? And then Ryan was like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's canon! Yay, it's consistent, uh. guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, did anyone else think it was weird that he teleports the lightsaber into his hand, all the Knights of Ren back up, and then he does this sort of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a sword now. Like, I felt like I was yeah, really I off. I was like, what? <clears throat> oh. Wait, all he wait. needs to say is, let's rock and roll! He, he's kinda, a good yeah. boy now. He needs to be quirky now. Uh, Definitely the felt that way. Between him with the lightsaber and the Knights of Ren, it's garbage again. This is, uh, yeah, that we mentioned the re there's a really weird part where he brings the lightsaber behind his back, turns and poses with it, waiting for a hit to land there. And if any competent fighter saw that, they wouldn't have struck that way. They just like stab him in the back. Yeah, just, I, I think they would have stopped for a second and be like, "What are you doing? <laughs> You're like, gonna lose this fight, dude." <laughs> is this some ancient Sith technique? <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of oh, scared and, uh, to attack him. <laughs> seeing the scene now, this there's a lot of force a powers being used from Kylo and Rey. Like, lots of stuff. And I just like, is this because uh, Ryan forgot to use them and everyone was upset? <laughs> like, like, there's just that, because all of the throne room scene, there's just no force in it at all, which is weird. 
You'd um, think with Kylo's power, he could have literally just picked up every single one of the Knights of Ren and snapped their necks. I mean, he is picking yeah, up yeah, yeah. Yeah, already. Well. And even if he can't do it consecutively because it's not as powerful as Rey, do it one at a time. It wouldn't take long. Bang, dead. Bang, dead. Bang, dead. Like, it shouldn't he, have been a challenge for him. You know, um, the actor for Palpatine was like really into the idea of coming back, and I, I know it's obviously because it's just fun for him and everything. Do you think that when he came in day one, he was like, how am I alive, by the way? Like, <laughs> by the way, how is this possible, me being here and everything? Like, it's cool, I'm here, I'll, I'll do the season stuff, but like, how? Yeah. And then JJ's like, yeah, yeah it's nothing. I honestly think that conversation happened where he was like, it's, it's not something you need to worry about. <laughs> Force, whatever. Uh, so yeah, Kylo turns up, and he immediately gets his, his tisms sucked out of him along with Rey, and it powers up That's Palpatine. He even gets his Sith eyes back. Gets his fingers back. Yep, and his fingers. <laughs> And it makes you think, like, okay, so he was already pretty powerful, and now he sucked the power out of both of them to become super powerful. So he's just one. Like, he surely. took the power out of a Mary Sue, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> and then he throws Kylo and down a hole. Before we get there, it's so <laughs> arbitrary that this Force Dyad thing is the thing that makes him more powerful. Like, suck it. like why? There's no, there's no logical connection that a Dyad would mean he can now suck life force out of people, whereas before he couldn't. And, uh, it's like, uh, there's no <laughs> logical consistency to this at all. It's like, uh, st stop it. <laughs> Why are you doing is this, this to him? Is he still, still on this mechanical thingy after he sucked life out of them? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't, I, think I, I don't remember if they have a transition from him being on the thing to his chair. I don't yeah, even know. I, I, don't, I don't know either. I'm going to have to make my decision based on everything that we've gone over so far. This is the worst. This is worse <laughs> than TLJ. See, I think it's the worst myself. I think I'm on that. I think I'm in that camp at this point. Yeah, it was <laughs> tough for a while, but I'm pretty sure that this is I mean, the worst one. It's demoralizing. The plot and the world are fucked. I still don't yeah. know that I would concede the characters is more like this worse than TLJ. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, if anything, I guess this... it's kind of like the final undermining of the original trilogy, which is why yes. it stings so much. There's no it's, denying it's, like, it's complete. It's mm. undone Anakin's sacrifice entirely, so that's not cool. Yeah. So it, 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 did the final yeah. nail in the coffin to Luke's character as well? Yes, it does as well because it adds so that extra element that you brought yeah. up. Yeah, it's just, um, but this is just confirmation of something that he did in TLJ. Well, yeah, that's the thing is... Uh, so which I mean, does it count this for? Film, which movie does it count TLJ for? TLJ is in part responsible for why this film is yeah, so bad. You you could make an argument that he had no other choice in TLJ if the ship was broken. And so it's At this movie that. that makes it worse. I mean, that yeah, is still bad, yeah. but this movie made it even worse. I think I still I easily concede I the know. frequency of issues. There's more in this film to talk about. Because uh, TLJ, like... Like we just said, there's lots of just there's no, nothing goes wrong moments, like extended moments of characters just speaking to each other, <laughs> while this one's just just packed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's no time to think hardly. It's just stuff happens. That's his yeah, strategy. Like, don't, I, I'd don't like to, to say about it. we've been talking nonstop about this film. Six hours of issues, just back and forth and back and forth, going through all of them. We don't even finished yet. Get them. Um, I, <laughs> it's I, now, I will say, actually, I probably have to bow out. Um, I'm bow out? very tired. I woke up early for this, and I didn't sleep as much as I should have. Um, <laughs> well, I thought I could get through the whole thing, but... <laughs> but do you want to put your to... vote in for who you think uh, the most inconsistent character of this film is? Okay, I can't remember who I voted for before, but I'd say Ray is the most inconsistent character in this movie behind Kylo, obviously. He's number one, but she's second. She's flip-flopping constantly. I'm evil. No, I'm good. No, I'm, e I'm the Jedi. I'm Skywalker. <laughs> I'm going to exile myself to a fucking island. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, wait, <laughs> what? <Yes. clears throat> I'm uh, gonna so kill you, no, I'm gonna for. kill you. Yeah. Um, yeah that's that would be choice. my vote. Um, before mm -hmm. you go, do you wanna plug the old uh, channel? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm making a video. It'll be out <gasps> on Christmas Eve, hopefully. Script's oh done. God. Script um, is done? Oh, alright. All right. Well, I've gone through it like three times, so, I, yeah, I hope it's good. You've already beaten, <laughs> I'm not selling you've already beaten well most uh, video essays, nice. Well, it's like uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little Christmas short story. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. 
I hope. Um, but yeah, Chris, Christmas Eve, hopefully. And I've been streaming more as well, but I'll talk about that later on at some point on mm. the channel. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's that's it for me then. All right, Ooh, well, guys, I just found all a... Righty. Fringy, before you go, Fringy, we can yeah. see what your original vote was because someone made a Reddit post on Mauler's um Oh, Reddit did they? About who do I vote for? for who. Um, and so I'm looking down. I voted for Finn, didn't you, I? You voted for Finn, mate. Yeah, Finn got voted for the most, and yeah. Finn, Finn is got... just not even close to inconsistent. He's barely in the film. <laughs> no, it's <Yeah>. not. No. <laughs> uh, okay, well, so, yeah. That's there, there's a link then. to the edit thing. I'm going to peruse that then. All right, thanks again, lads. It's been a lot of fun talking about this terrible, terrible, terrible movie. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no yeah. problemo. We'll catch you around, sir. Bye-bye. Right, see you later. Yeah, Toodaloo. See ya. All right. Uh, there he is. We, we're getting there, folks. We're so close to actually finishing this Gosh. movie. Um, so I'm not even out of beer yet. Where were we? <laughs> what were we talking about? All um, right. So the force. Finn and, so the force. Finn and Ray they come back together. Palpatine sucked their life and is young again, and now he's got super mega power. And he basically just slaps um, Kylo away like is nothing. <clears throat> See, and for Kylo. Flies down a, a you know a whole like a wet rag just is out is out. Well, and what a waste, hey! He's, he went through this epic redemption arc, and you're like, okay, Kylo, you, you can come and he can fight against the bad guy and everything, and then he's just slapped aside and unused. <laughs> it's um, I I and I, I guess this isn't necessarily a criticism of like consistency. I guess this is just how it works, but how boring. Like to have them both stand against him and they just both get defeated immediately. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. You'd think they're setting up a chance for them both to work as a team to beat him. And they don't. But no. And then, Ooh, nothing there. And after, after Palpatine sucks the life out of him, <clears throat> he doesn't finish the job. He lets, like, by letting. They are so vulnerable. <laughs> they're defeated. And by him not doing anything, not finishing the job, that's Ray's able to get up and then uh, Deus Ex Machina, you know. Mary Deus Ex MacGuffin. <laughs> MacGuffin. MacMuffin. MacMuffin. Deus Ex MacGuffin. And when she was defeated, like, oh, Palpatine just kill her. But he doesn't. He's like, <laughs> and then. Uh, Although like I will admit, seeing, bad guy, uh, seeing Palpatine be bad guy, it, it got a grin out of me. Seeing Palpatine do bad things again. I, I grin. Yeah, it doesn't last long though. It's the same. No, it really, it really doesn't. It's the same category <laughs> as seeing Lando like laugh with Chewie and the Falcon. It's like, eh. <laughs> you know, I was surprised that they didn't fucking kill him. I'm waiting. Oh my god, they're gonna kill him next. <laughs> he was barely in it either. I heard that they did in one of the hey, um scenes, like in one of the other cuts, that they Lando and Chewie die in there in, in the Falcon. Oh, in like one of the leaks, uh, Lando was yeah. supposed to die or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. in, in the fight, and uh, and uh, it was on one of the leaks um, in one of the test screenings that when that happened, several of the viewers got so ticked off they swore at it and they got up and walked out before it ended. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, that clip with it, they're, they're all shouting at the screen in the cinema when she becomes Ray Skywalker. I was like, oh shit! I guess people really do actually do that. Eighty-six percent. Well, I, I, that's you know, the crazy thing. Like, I don't get it. I don't get how that score has come to be. I don't know. I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes at all. They're full of crap now. Ever since yeah. the stuff that they're trying to, like, Disney's paying them off, I reckon. Like, something's twist, like, really shifty is happening behind the scenes there. It's funny you well, mentioned that, that Ray Skywalker thing. That uh, somebody in the, like, two people in the theater threw their arms up in the air and walked straight out as soon as they... Yeah, like my my theater just didn't really react to much at all. It was just like, man. Yeah, same. Like every yeah. review on YouTube about this movie is negative, except <clears throat> two. Two only two have been reported to me that I've like found that were positive, and that's it. And so, like, if if the overall reception to this movie by so many you know creators on YouTube is that negative, I, I, I t that has to represent some type of you know comparison to the general reception you're like why would all the people on youtube and these are people who love last jedi who are also saying this is utter garbage right and yeah. so mm -hmm. i just can't see how the audience review could be so positive when uh, I, mean, I, that, I mean 
I, I do know people. I, I, the second time I watched it, there were two people in my family who liked it, um, and so a couple did like. So there are people who like it. Yeah, um, I guess it it certainly seems to have more normy appeal than the Last Jedi. But I don't know about eighty six percent positive to that degree, you know. Yeah, like, I am willing to believe the general audiences can find this movie entertaining, but I'm just so surprised it's such a high number, especially compared to the TLJ. Um, but I guess, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Let's see what the general perspective is on this movie, because it seems to be that the majority of reviews are going to be... Like, all of the regulars for TLJ hated this film, according to Twitter, so we're expecting a whole bunch of video Sorry. essays about how it ruined everything. What if... Because TLJ um, was hated by so many people, that so fewer people are watching this one now that it's only the people who will love any Star Wars movies have actually went out and watched it, except for the ones willing to critique it for review. And so, that sense, because yeah. that is getting it's getting a higher score just because so fewer people are watching it. I feel like there's but, a, uh, probably a couple of ways to office. potentially explain it. I just it seems so unlikely. That's all. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm DB has like a 54. See, that seems more likely to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because an 86 is like really up there. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, 86 seems very. Um... I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, Joker's an 88 from audience. <laughs> oh. That's it? Yeah, it's yeah. just funny to think about, yeah. isn't it? Um, but anyway, uh, so so all all of our team shows up. Like everybody in the galaxy fights together. I don't see how all of them guys got through the space cad. So I imagine a whole bunch of them died, and we just didn't see what happened. It's just like, well, you know, <laughs> for a good cause. The amount of ships there—that's insane. Like it's if all those so ships had to go through the space cancer single file, <laughs> like it would have taken them days to get through. There was yeah. so many ships there. That's funny because there was a significant groan. Like my theater was mostly silent up until that point when the ship, ship showed up. There was an audible groan from the audience at that part in particular. I mean, it's not in. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. Nothing is earned. It's all just. It's all just look, payoff. And then, then we have like a little bit of of space fighting, and then. Uh, Pelting goes like, and then yeah. nothing well, happens for a while. Before we skip over the space fighting, I found the space fighting so underwhelming. Like in all the other movies, there was like things happening where yeah. someone goes for a trench run and they fail, or you know they're gonna do something uh, like weird uh, droids jump on the ship and start te tearing apart my ship. Like there was like an order of events, a mini story within these space battles in all the other movies that made them more engaging. This. It was just like space battle spew on the screen. Yeah. Where Cut away. Fighting, Cut away. And that's it. And, and, and it, was, it was so low tier for Star Wars. I'd say I'm, I'm mostly, I mostly only was... remember like, like small fighter ships just going around and killing the, the, the cannons. Just pew, 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 I, I, pew, I didn't pew, see pew. Any, any big ships doing like the, like the whole flanking thing and just shooting all this shit at their ships. Like mm -hmm. little shots like that, for example. Yep. And of course, but... none of the. The, the Death Star Star Destroyers use their Death Star cannons at all. Yeah, it's so stupid. Wiped out everyone. <laughs> I think we were just doing especially, especially when they all light up. <clears throat> when they're like, "Hey, here we are!" It's like, guys, shoot them all right now. <laughs> they just all annihilate them. Just yeah, there, there's like them. a thousand of you. Just eliminate them immediately. You can't miss. <laughs> You're not gonna just shoot. Just, just shoot at them. You'll hit one. And then they'll all Retire explode the and blow up all of each turn. other. It'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I, I know this would be their, their radio call. Shoot them! Shoot them where? Shoot up! Which way's up? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, we're we're if only... Just all start tilting, crashing into each other and die. <laughs> um, Zori Bliss shows up. We were led to believe she was dead because <clears throat> Kojimi blew up and she said she had no way to get off it. But she's just fine. Yeah, it turns <laughs> out that wasn't exactly true. Um... I, I mean, I was really, really... I mean, when I saw Kajimi explode, I knew that Zuri Bliss was there, but most importantly, I knew that Babu Frick was there, and my heart just sank. <laughs> yeah. I, my tear, uh, the tears in my eyes, they grew thick, and I, I almost... 
I I had a moment. I couldn't believe that Babu Frick. I, I, I didn't even pick that up gone. anymore at this point. I just wanted to end. I just wanted to get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was actually at a point where I was like, is this over soon? I want to go home. I want to have breakfast. <laughs> well, yeah. The, I was kind of just... relieved to have it be done too. Well, this is the funny thing as well about the whole like the stake turnover because you're just like, here we go. The good guys are now winning dominatively, but Palpatine does his tisms. <laughs> oh yeah. And, just, just yeah. Wanna, I want to oh, ask you guys so a funny. question before we get to that, right? So when Kylo gets forced thrown into the hole, mm -hmm. did any of us, did anyone at all, but just asking us, did any of you feel worried for him? That that thought that oh he's dead. I read the that? leaks, so no, not really. I just, I I just, just like. like Yes, well, I don't thing. care. I, 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 about I saw Kylo. him about Kylo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw him for him and he fell like right in the middle. I was like, oh, I guess he's dead. Uh, I but, mean, like, I, I, I guess I he's was just like, not. he went in the hole. Maybe <laughs> he's dead. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he was coming. I just feel like I was so apathetic. Yeah. Same I was like, oh, like... maybe he's gone forever. And if he is, all right. Well, and it was the delivery, <laughs> too. They, they dropped him into a foggy pit where he didn't get yeah. to see, like, you know, any consequence. Like, yeah, he'll be back. We've seen him. <laughs> Yeah. So it's a character that has been evil for all the movies, and he just turned around. It's like, oh no, the horrible person just yeah, maybe yeah, died. Yeah. He hasn't had full <laughs> redemption yet. Come on. He hasn't kissed the beautiful princess and brought her back to life mm. yet. <laughs> Rose Tico? What a weird thing to do when... <laughs> God, Jesus. What? Uh, what a weird thing for them to do when they're trying to get away from all of that, you know? The whole Prince Charming kisses the... Person to bring the to bring life to the it's like Sleep of Beauty, right? It's just like also no white. You know, well, I mean, no, they only kiss after she's brought back alive, though. But still, um, before there were a lot of Star Wars ads before the movie, like a bunch. I should just stop showing up. I I should start arriving for these things like thirty minutes after the show <laughs> yeah. time says it begins. Um, oh, there's a lot of ads. Yeah, there's a lot of commercials that. That like I feel like Disney is really trying to pe uh, uh, trying to appeal to young girls. Like all of these commercials had you know, like little girls at the center of them, and I'm like, man, you really want to capture that you know that female demographic, that young female demographic. And I'm like, I just can't imagine that's working out for you at all. Like you're that I can tell that's what you're clearly trying to do. It just ain't working. That's like your opinion. What's there to like? What's there, what's there to like about these? Um, I, I, I can totally believe that the sales of these toys are just in the shitter. It's like, why? Why have a toy? Why have... Who, why? The, are, who gives a shit about these people? You telling me you don't want to play with the action figure of Rey? No. I want to sell those action figures at fucking little... Well, it's just, it's so... Aldi. When I was young, I was so big into the original Star Wars. And I was so big, even when the prequels came out, I'm like, oh, they're so imaginative, and there's big fights, and there's clones, and there's droids, and there's Jedi. And it was like, oh, it was so, my childish mind was filled with the wonderment of Star Wars. And this new shit, I'm like, I just don't, damn, in any way. There is no one here I care about, except Babu Frick, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nobody. I'm a Babu Frick figure, do it. Yeah, I, I just, what is there for kids to latch on to and enjoy? I, I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. See, even in the prequels, there was a lot for kids to get into. Like the the mainly is lightsaber fighting. It's actually everyone says it's good lightsaber fighting and stuff. And so heaps of like kids got into it and thought it was awesome. And yeah. Obi Wan was cool. Yep. Obi Wan was cool, was yeah. cool. Speaking of all of these cool old characters, guess who we get to talk about now? <laughs> All the cool old characters giving lines to Ray in order for her to beat Palpatine on behalf of well, them. No, 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 we, we accidentally <laughs> Children are not their fathers. We skipped something because I interrupted the uh, Palpatine, you know, force, mega force lightning. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah mega force lightning. <laughs> this is a... What could it, you say now, about Ray that? Could have done it by Ray could have done it by accident. He had to, like, try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had to try. He's he had very... to be supercharged. He had to be charged off of her energy. So someone said it earlier, he like, he's oh also God, super right. accurate, Jesus. he's so accurate, like, he doesn't hit his own ships, that's like, the only the other ones. That's, that's, that's the, force. the magic yeah, of the, the force. force. Yeah. That's no just problem. the force now. Makes and all he really sense. does is, like, tickle the ships until they all bang their head on something. Well, a lot of them explode, yeah. but none of them explode if they have any main characters in them. 
Yeah, yeah, they just true. get shut down, the unresponsive, and then the amount of time it takes for them to fall, and the, <laughs> the distance they showed them from the ground, they should have all landed and crashed and burned. But for the yeah. time it takes them to yeah, get Poe fell for a long time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He, yeah, yeah it was the force. He he he's force sensitive. He used it to fly. Oh, now he's force sensitive. Got it. They all are. It's fine. Um. And when their energy is back, they all fly up. All the people in the de the, in the, star the star destroyers must be so confused. Like, how are they doing this? How does it work? I don't understand. So, um, as that's happening and everyone's getting killed, just every Jedi gives Rey a a, a bit of encouragement. Pep talk, yeah. Obviously, pep talk. you can do it. Um, the question becomes like they could do this even if they. So, on one hand, right, only Force Ghost mm -hmm. trained people can do it. Which, if so, how is Mace Windu there? How is how is a, there's a couple of uh, question marks in terms of how they could possibly be doing this. But on the other hand, no, maybe it's all Jedi. In which case, yeah, there should be a Jedi. thousand voices going. Blah, 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 Ray, 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 you gotta yeah. do Ray, 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 Ray. <laughs> She'd be like, shut the fuck up. What at a time. He's like, I get it, I get it. I know. He's like, how do I beat this guy? I'm trying to concentrate. Like we're all. Gonna it's almost like does your spirit go to the beyond and can only whisper in people's mind in special circumstances but the force ghost can just show up whenever is it like a two-tier system or what's going on here it's, oh, weird. it's hard to say you don't know i was really dreading ghost. it seeing the leaks we saw the force ghost fight from the leaks and i'm thinking oh my god here it comes <laughs> i'm glad yeah like, yeah it's gonna be like the ghost now. fighting from dr strange yeah it's the uh, it's the biggest deus ex machina moment in this whole movie where she was defeated. She is outpowered by this insanely powerful villain now who has just defeated a galactic army with lightning and everything like that. And then suddenly she has the power because reasons, just magic. It's like, so dumb. I mean, like, why didn't the Force people go s come back to help Luke when he was getting lightning to death by, you know? <laughs> they knew Anakin uh, had it. Know, they knew Anakin had it. <sighs> Even though they also do that they were like like Anakin celebrated is like you didn't kill him, he's fine. What are you doing? Go get him. You haven't <laughs> finished him yet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But you gotta love like again with the whole sort of trying to mend this trilogy. She's like struggling, she's bleeding, she's like, Oh, I gotta do this. It's like, I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. You killed the Emperor, fuck's sake. There is no amount of struggle. And the way that they show it is so dumb, right? The Emperor mm. just showed that his Force Lightning can take out a galactic fleet, okay? I mean, why, he, why have a galactic fleet of your own? I know. You should but just fire lightning into the universe and kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> he unleashes the full force of that lightning power onto Rey, and she blocks it with a single lightsaber. <laughs> no! Yeah. No, and she's got no light... power left. He sucked it out of her. I mean, but she has a lightsaber. She should have overloaded and exploded the instant that lightning hit for how powerful it was. <laughs> and she should have just been fried to death. Like, there, was no, there is no okay, logical Okay, 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 fair enough. But what about two lightsabers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, lightsabers. shit. Yeah. Take that and double it. <laughs> and not only that, they're shaped as an X. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's like that's war warding off powerful. evil, like making a cross. <laughs> it's symbolism. No, oh, no. And so I wasn't sure at first if um she was just making some radiant energy that melted Palpatine, or it was his lightning being reflected back. I'm pretty sure it was being almost. Back. It's you can pause it, and there's just lightning going into his face and screwing yeah. it up. At which point, the so natural question back. is of, hey, Palpy, why don't you just, why don't you stop, stop it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure it's actually his, because she does, like, a little, like, push, and there's more lightning coming back. No, so uh, like, his shooting? fingers are still going. He's still zapping. Yeah, it's, it, there's still think, yeah. lightning coming out of him. You, I guess we could argue that she's, like, simultaneously reflecting and, and powering up as well, I guess. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, sure. Why not? Lightning is not strictly a dark side power anymore. It's just a power, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like electricity shoot. powers uh, my microwave, and that's good. It's prob <laughs> was probably an accident by her, anyway. It's like, oops, lightning. Yeah, um, they seem to repurpose a turret, uh, Finn and then the Janna, 
and they aim it to shoot at the bridge, and they blow it up, and they blow up Pride's ship by doing so. So this yep. whole time, those those death troopers or, or Sith troopers, they just couldn't clear that area. They just couldn't do it. No. Also, if the cannon from the ship could do it, how come one of the rebel ships just didn't shoot it? Exactly. Yeah. What are they doing? They didn't have any shields up. So yeah. Yeah. those the turrets don't need work to in the atmosphere. They even had Y wings this time. They could have bombed the ship. I'm sorry. What are Y wings? What are those? Uh, the, um, I I don't know. I heard that. That's the thing. <laughs> are they like X wings but with a bit cut off? Yes. It's All like right. broken X wings. Mm -hmm. uh, just put a stick in it and it's like wee. Right. Like just just to go back on Palpatine because I really want to just point out how underwhelming that his defeat was. It was just like yes, yeah, lame. Uh, of course, mm. Ray can do that. You know, he's probably yeah. yeah. Like, Palpatine's like, like what the fuck happened? Exactly. I mean, we've, like, we've I had talked... this in a bag. What the fuck? We've talked about it to the point where it's back. like more normalized. But like, just rewind even a year and, and talk about the fact that like Anakin didn't kill the Emperor. Ray is going to the girl from TFA. <laughs> Who's like this crazy Mary Sue? She's gonna be one that kills. Pa You'd be like, what are you talking yeah, she's about? She's the real hero. What do you mean? None of those stinky uh, old like, characters. No, no, that's not possible. He's dead. What are you talking about? It's like, oh, <laughs> you're in for a fun ride, person. <sighs> like to bring him back and then to underutilize. At no point did he feel dangerous or truly menacing. Like it was just like, no, of course, Ray's gonna win. I mean, there's there's no way that's just not like it, it was so weak. <laughs> It's so easy as well. They they do the move that Mace and, Windu did to him, and it's like, wait, yeah, but that doesn't yeah. kill him, does it? And it's like, no, it does. Yeah, but she, and, had, she had two. She, two. Yeah, you that might was, say, see, that was Mace Windu's mistake. He didn't pull out the second yeah, lightsaber. Had two purple course, purple lightsaber. Fool. You know, people, people might say, oh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Um, uh, oh, no, that was a good point, too. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna remember it halfway through and interrupt you. Was it about the 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 futility? Well, the boringness of beating Palpatine. Oh, yeah, that armor. Um, they might say that, like, you'd think. Of course, the heroes are gonna win. So, uh, why what should why shouldn't you expect that? And how can you have suspense if Palpatine is gonna win anyway? It's like. He could have killed a couple of characters along the way or make characters truly need to sacrifice something of significance <clears throat> to get to that point where they can defeat him. Like, to make make them struggle to achieve it than just getting knocked on the ground and then Rey getting all the Jedi zapped into her and then killing him like it's nothing. Like, <clears throat> there wasn't any true struggle to achieve it. It's like the characters weren't really worried about it. It's just, yeah, she'll win. It's, it's weak. Yeah, man. Breeze. He's crazy. Awesome. He's amazing. Crazy awesome. <laughs> No, it's kind of weird too. It's like when he sucks all the dyads out of them. It's uh, <laughs> he only has lightning. Like he couldn't use any other ability to get around those. You sabers. think he'd just like, have know, force disintegrate have, at that point? You think he'd have his own lightsaber at that point? You think they would have made of one? Like you are fucking Palpatine. Like concentrated you have, like, lightning. He just has a lightsaber of lightning. Yeah. Yeah, something or just I don't know. Saber. Squish your head. Just squish your head with his hand. Just squish. Oh well, yeah. I I, I think I managed this. Lightsabers either earlier or, or with rags at some point but it's just like you realize when she was unconscious on the floor before she'd woken up if he just like fucking exploded her head film's over <laughs> yeah. like qui-god jid is like ray you need oh shit she's dead and then luke was like i <laughs> thought that she could handle it i don't know <laughs> sorry <laughs> you hear the other voices they're like barfing <laughs> dude what the fuck <laughs> Oh, oh, god. oh my god! Oh, oh, oh god! god. <laughs> Babu Frick is our last hope. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I would actually think that would be a nice ending. <laughs> Fucking Babu Frick do it. Just like jumps onto Palpatine, hey! bites him, like <laughs> yeah, just bites him, gives him rabies. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, uh, Finn detects through the Force that Ray's dead. He has the the moment, and then she's like cold, and they even make her pale. But she doesn't disappear because the Force knows that Kylo needs to oh, die to save her. No, you're right. She didn't yep. disappear. <laughs> what? what everyone else does. Including uh, <laughs> Kylo Mary very Sue. shortly after. Can't even die. Of course. So, um, such a cop yeah, he gets up. He but does the Force tisms. They have what is. How do I even put this? Like an inappropriate as fuck kiss. <laughs> It's yeah. so, so forced and so awkward. It's like, it's just... 
Ew. <laughs> what are you doing? And then, and then he dies. It's like the kiss is the thing that kills him. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because so she doesn't gross. she doesn't get a chance Daddy. to use her, her powers on him. He just disappeared. Like the force is like, nope, no <laughs> gives these backsies. <laughs> yep. And no, we let Leia she... stick around, but not this guy. Exactly. No. She would have been able to heal him and not die because she's got all the power and all the Jedi. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like the force saying, No, you can't heal him. He's gone. It's gone. Too late. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard people face palming in the cinema when that happened. It's garbage. But then again, the yeah. whole thing is garbage, so uh, what, so what? What is left? We're near the end now. Um, but God damn. Uh, I guess they, they all they all just head home because they win. Exegol is well. It, it was the uprising against all the um. Oh, of Star course. Destroyers, you know the first order stuff in the sky, and of course that's where we see a Holdo maneuver, which is face palm. Which uh, which planet was that over? Do you remember? Above, Endor. Above Endor. Endor. Yeah, yeah, the, Ewoks the Ewoks were watching it. Remember and Ewoks? Just, oh, just that's for, what that I'm was. A, I'm gonna see it now. Like I've, I've got it running. But what is? Uh, is it that you can see like a stream of of something going through it? Yeah. Is it or stream, yeah. uh, like the same type of stream of debris that's caused by the impact flying out past behind it? <laughs> and uh, I was yeah. wondering what that is. Like, what, what the fuck is uh, half having the fucking star destroyer there? Well, I, I guess realize. they went. Right through the middle, I guess. Because I was a little confused at first, and I'm thinking, <clears throat> is that the Holdo thing? All right. I, sure. I was, at this point in the movie, I was just ready to just... I was just in just accept oh, yeah. your fate mode. You know, like, my bucket was full. Like, in terms of having stuff to think about, I was just like, I need to leave now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had enough way. But they do wrap it up pretty quickly, too. They're just like, yay, celebration, woohoo, wait, bury the lightsabers, woohoo, bye, 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 bye. And yeah. just like, oh, wow. Um... So yeah, the, the, they're all like celebrating. There's this super like I, I know this is out of order, but I just want to get to it. The super awkward moment where uh, Jada just sits down next to Lando, and she's like, "Hey," <laughs> and he's like, "Hey," and he's like, "Oh, I don't know who I am," and he's like, "Let's find out." <laughs> and that's that's it. I was like, "Why? Why is this here?" <laughs> and for clarification, like. I'm almost certain, I can't prove it, but I'm almost certain there's a whole bunch of scenes where she was supposed to be the long-lost daughter of Lando that he left behind because she was stolen by the First Order, and that was, like, them reuniting, and I guess he would have been like, let's find out who you are together, that sort of, like, nice sort of thing, but they had to, like, cut the shit out of it to, um, <laughs> well, fix it. Because I remember it being announced that this film was supposed to be two and a half hours, and if the final cut was 210, you have to wonder what, yeah. what's been lost. I, I mean, if imagine. you're at two ten, fuck it, go for two and a half. You you might people are there for the long haul. Just go for it. I just like the idea that he asks for advice on like, should I cut this whole thing with Lando and his like inability to be a good father? He like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, JJ, you want you want to be doing that. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Thank thank you so much for asking this time. <laughs> <laughs> Though it is interesting to think that uh, Palpatine was actually Disney forcing upon him. Um, that that yeah. wasn't his choice, that because I know uh, I will, and I'm sure many others will like blame him for this. And if he had like no yeah, he's choice, he's gonna cough it all. I feel sorry for him. Yeah. Oh, so when they come back to the rebel base or whatever they call it, there's so many people just coming back. Like everyone is still there. I was like, yeah, even though they surely fight. lost like everyone, but yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> when the reinforcements came, there were like probably like a handful of ships left, but. Everyone we saw before, they're just all there. It's like, yay, let's kiss. Mm, I was like, what? Uh, okay. Yep, the, the forced diversity kiss, which is, it's pandering of the highest order because you know they're going to cut it with the China release. It's just... They did. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and the releases in the Middle East, I think, is something that happened as well. But it's uh, it should just be considered frustrating for anybody who wants that kind of content. Like, this is not, yeah. this is just, you're just tr jangling your key. It's just another form of key jangling, which is all JJ really does. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Like, you like this, right? You like this? Eat your slop. You're like, oh, all right. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm choking on it, man. <laughs> no more, no. Um, and yeah, we, like, like Ray comes back. She lands and everyone's like, yeah, hero of the universe. You did it, Ray. Woo. But it's just like yeah uh -huh. right you, yeah good job you uh -huh. okay you, you did, thing. Did, did it, it. she gonna tell everybody that it was kylo that 
saved your life, I wonder. No, she's like, I shouldn't complicate yeah, things. I can't yeah, it's going to be hard to explain is. that. Oh, thinking she's about it. I, I, she's... I could Kylo and Palpatine she's, alone. She's the only person who knows that he even changed teams. Exactly. <laughs> How hard is that going to be to explain? But like, yeah, he kind of like... Kind of like, help me kill Palpite. Uh, you know, like, I'm so glad the Emperor's dead. Yeah, and that bastard Kylo Ren. She's like, oh, um, um. So he's like, kind of cool. Like, not, you know, not like full cool, but yeah. I don't know. He's alright, I guess. I mean, you know, he could be, I suppose, if you wanted him to be. It'd be okay. Um, I mean, I'm the real hero, just don't forget that. So yeah, she, uh, uh that's a sort of... Comple a nice completion to the saga, a beautiful end. She heads back to Tatooine with uh, with Luke's lightsaber and uh, and Leia's. Obviously, Leia's lightsaber. You guys know Leia's lightsaber pretty well, right? It's like a saga thing. Like Leia's yep. lightsaber. Uh, been Leia's lightsaber. very thoroughly. Well, when she pulled it out, I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I tried to look at it, and I, I don't recognize this. It looks Leia. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Leia has a lightsaber because she was trained by Luke and she beat Luke in combat. Yeah, I, I, yeah, she's great. She's really amazing. I love Leia so much. She's great. She is my favorite yeah. lightsaber wielding character. My favorite Disney princess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not frustrating at all that we have to deal with like just. No, no. Great. All that could be said. I, uh, I guess. There's, there's the final piece of this horrifying puzzle. She's uh, oh she's asked by a random local. She's, she's like, oh, nobody comes around here anymore. And he's like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna, Except bye. you. And, yeah, I know, right? And then she's like, what's your name? She's like, oh, Ray. She's like, what's, what's, what's the other part of your name? <laughs> Ray, like, Ray what? I need a last name. How am I supposed to address you? <laughs> um, and then she says, oh, she looks out. And you have Luke and Leia just sitting there, being like, "Hey, buddy, is that steal uh... my name?" It takes so long as well. The other's like, "Hello, <laughs> hey." I was saying to hey. Rags, like she would have seen her bury those lightsabers. Once Ray walks off, you imagine she was like, "Oh my god, lightsabers!" <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Show so much money. This well. is worth. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's like, "My name uh... is Ray Skywalker." <laughs> Skywalker. And Guy the audience that. screamed. <laughs> and then those two threw up their hands. I knew it was coming, room. but I couldn't yeah. brace myself. I, it was, oh. It's, it's like the longer she took, it hurt more. Yeah, <laughs> Imagine if like, she'd said, no. my name is Ray Palpatine. We'd <laughs> <laughs> like, be oh like, God. oh, okay, well. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, like that Palpatine, or is that just like a coincidental thing? And she says, like, her goal happen. is to clean the name of Palpatine and to, 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 in his name, do good deeds to try and correct, you know, the world or something <laughs> like that. We'd be like, oh, all right. But no, she just steals Skywalker because obviously she doesn't want her name to be anywhere near Palpatine. <laughs> uh, it'd be funny if like Luke and Leia are over there, like, what? Wait, what? Back up! Fuck! What? <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> The Skywalker you. line is cut off. Well, yeah, so the, the obvious thing to say is that at the end of the saga, the Solos are dead, the Skywalkers are dead, and the Palpatines win. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Jeez. You, know, you just have that second, of, you have to sit down and be like, oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why did you want this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What a terrible what a, movie. <laughs> what an absolute catastrophe. Of a Sheer film. disaster. Yeah, we did it. We got to the end. So, I think the first question and poll I want to put out, uh, we kind of addressed it halfway through, but we'll give it a shot again. Which was worse, The Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker? This. You guys are settled yeah, I here? Say Rise I say feel this one. I, I don't know, I feel like there are two different kinds of bad. I feel like one is malicious bad and the other is just incompetent bad. It's, it's hard to measure. I don't know if I, I don't think yeah. I can give you an answer. I think it's, it's complicated because they're both awful. I they're both so terrible. the plot in both of them is absolute garbage, but I think uh, Rise of Skywalker takes the cake. Like its plot is so utterly insane. Um, then, world building wise, I think that like Rise of Skywalker inches in a slightly better, but it's still garbage. 
That, and then my brain has a lot of trouble when it comes to character. Because... How does... How do we... Because, like, Luke was destroyed by TLJ. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this just confirmed it. This just twisted the knife. Yeah, and my made Leia better than him and everything. And they made him lift X-Wings out. Oh, yeah, no. They're better when they're dead. <clears throat> I don't know they're all they're both terrible in their own wonderful ways. Mom hates both of you kids. Stop. Yeah, arguing. I definitely <laughs> hate both of them. Oh, it's tough though. Like if I had to vote, <clears throat> Ooh. I really don't know. What, do you what, what, do you, what else you got, Rags? <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> so as to which one's worse? Yeah. Um, um, which one did you enjoy watching the most? Probably Rise of Skywalker. Because I enjoyed watching Rise of Skywalker the most. Rise of Skywalker, thank God for C-3PO. I actually laughed. Because yeah, yeah that, we got a chuckle out of C-3PO. So already, the, high, the highs between the two, <laughs> Rise of Skywalker has achieved a higher high. The question um, is, which is the lowest low? Obviously, for me, this legitimately ruined the Force in every way. Like, that is epic, where The Last Jedi, yeah, you yeah. know, it made some big problems with Force Ghosts, but that was kind of it, you know? Like, well, like I feel like the, Force is just the Last Jedi set up, like, the, the Last Jedi ruined them, but it didn't, like, go that far into ruining them. No, like, it, it laid the groundwork for, oh yeah, they're definitely ruined, but The Rise of Skywalker was like, and here's how! Like, it was yeah. using it as a springboard to just fly with see, that idea i don't know see with the, how the force was ruined the uh, the the amount of deus ex machina the the pointless absolute pointless um well what, mcmuffins right <laughs> the amount of backflipping on anything that they tried to commit to and the sheer staggering number of stupid contrivances throughout the entire story just makes me feel this one takes a cake. Like, yeah, I absolutely. made a list. I made a list of the amount Remember, of times this TLJ backflip. destroyed space battles forever. Uh, Still yeah. pretty significant. Let's not forget it. I don't. They're both so. T it's, it's hard. It's like comparing a rotten apple to a rotten. Mm. So a list of the m times this movie backflips. The Falcon is damaged, and then it's instantly fixed. A Ray gives up, you know, the lightsaber, and then instantly, instantly flips and takes it off Leia straight away. Chewie dies, and then is not dead. Uh, Ray strands herself on the island planet, and it's instantly fixed because she has another ship to not strand, be stranded anymore. C-3PO's <laughs> mind gets wiped, and then it's not. Zori Bliss is dead, and then she's not dead by the end of the end. Uh, she needed a wayfinder to get Frick. off the planet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and Baba Freak. She don't needed a... Robert Frick. Oh, you needed a wayfinder to get to the Sith planet, and then you don't, because um, Ray just broadcasts it in her ship. Uh, Zori Bliss needed the chip to get off the planet, and then suddenly she don't since she gets off the planet. Um, Kylo, he dies by Ray stabbing him, and then is not dead. He's instantly healed. Um, uh, so we got the Zori Bliss. Uh, he falls down the hole, supposedly dies again, and then and then is not. The lightning supposedly defeats the entire galactic thing, and then suddenly everyone's fine, and the lightning does nothing. Ray is suddenly dead, and then she's not dead. She's instantly alive, and then Ray and Kylo kiss, promising that they're going to be together again. And then Raylo dies. And then Raylo dies. dies. It's true. Raylo <laughs> dies. And they, they does die, and then that's undermined as well. Wow, that's we're it. we're at a fifty-fifty split, gents. Oh. oh, is that true? Wow, yeah. Because I'm I'm split. I haven't. I can't even vote because I don't even know which one's worse. Yeah, they're so like, both honestly, ter both so terrible. I really don't like to do this. But I cannot answer this question. I don't know. I don't think I can either. They're both so terrible. <laughs> the th the fucking thing is flipping like upside down. Like it doesn't know. Yeah, it is fifty fifty. It is neck and neck, folks. Holy shit! <laughs> like we are two two three to two two two, and now it changed. It's just it's fifty fifty, man. It's just neck oh, wow. and neck. Uh, this is a photo finish. I'm still going to argue then for The Rise of Skywalker because the level of bullcrap is on a new level. There was a lot of bullcrap in uh, The Last Jedi, but this this one legitimately has crap like people not being able to figure out which way is up. Like, <laughs> yeah, wait, hang, hang, hang on.
It's not like TLJ didn't have stupid shit as well, like, oh, we can't catch up to them because they're smaller than us. It's true. It had we can't stupid, shoot it forwards. Have that, like... It didn't have that chase. Yeah, and they've established that TIE Fighters have hyperspace, so hyperdrives. Hyper and, and, and remember, the three TIE Fighters together destroy the Hagger and the bridge, and then they just go home for no reason. It's like, you have thousands. I don't... I, it's... <laughs> My god, I don't... Like, I don't want to call it this, but could it be that, like, if you really try and figure out every element and how bad all of it each is, it's like they kind of just level out as equally bad? <laughs> I mean, really if, this, I, if, yeah. if this poll concludes within, essentially, the margin of error, like, if they're yeah. within a, a percentage or two of each other, I'm just going to call it and say they're both... We're just going to say, official, e officially from EFAP, they're both equally shit. <laughs> they're both shit. This is, well, it would seem yeah. to, like this is EFAP chat's vote, right? So this is what they're saying. Yeah. Pretty nuts. Yeah, vote, people. I'm going to stick with chat on this one, though. I'm going to agree with the difference the, uh, is, like, within five vote. Like, this is neck and neck. I think that um, once I've got a lot more time to spend with Rise of Skywalker, I might be able to have an answer. But for now, like, we just, we thrashed that movie just now. Like mm -hmm. it was. It's not like the it, like. Oh, you guys are you know hard prepared for how bad it is yet. You haven't really absorbed it. It's like I don't know. We just went through every single scene and talked about how awful everything is. And there are shit. There's definitely stuff that we missed. Definitely, definitely stuff that we missed. Like so, you know, someone just said they brought back the emperor. It's way worse. It's like they killed Luke's character in TLJ. <laughs> it made him a cowardly idiot. Like it's this is what I mean. It's hard. Oh yeah, um, which which movie? Yeah, let me see. I was say, Last like, Jedi is currently ahead by six any... votes. Yeah, because six Rise votes. Is is like it's... if it's within like you know three to five percent, well up to five percent, I'd just be like it's pretty much undecided from. Um, <laughs> see, I like that uh... chat is actually having a back and forth. It's like TLJ's worst holder maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, ROS is derivative of TLJ. It's a train wreck attempt at correction. Uh, it's it's tough. You forgot about Chewie getting his medal from Maz Kanata out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that was like a really funny meme. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We're at 800 votes and it's 50-50 still. 800 Jesus votes? Christ. I got 590 on my one. Oh, I, I refreshed mine. Oh. It froze for a moment. But yeah, we're at... I mean, it is... Oh my goodness, yeah. With I mean, it's within like five votes. It's basically tied, at, and we're at eight hundred and thirty votes now. <laughs> it's that's nuts. They fly now. <laughs> oh I fly God. now. <laughs> what a like, sir. Do you, I, do you guys all find this fascinating? I do. Mm -hmm. oh, it's amazing. This is. It was. Oh. It was incredible. This is art right here. How bad it was. <laughs> 850 yeah. votes and it's locked in at 50 50. <laughs> it's literally it. like holy this shit is incredible. like crazy. That's I just looked crazy. up and it's it was tied at 427 so it's like man I just oh my god I think I'm just let's we're just going to call it as a tie. Yeah. An yeah, official yeah. EFAP wow. tie. I think I think it's EFAP we can leave it up obviously it's just that I think it's fair to say <clears> it's a tie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I will say yeah, as well, I yeah, I think the comedy was better in Rise of Skywalker than The Last Jedi, but again, we're looking at all these mm. different aspects where, like I said, I think the plot <clears throat> is just a bit stronger in Last Jedi. I think the world is just a bit stronger in Rise of Skywalker. I think the characters, it's really hard to pick, but I probably would go with Rise of Skywalker for characters. Well, yeah, you can't lose if you don't play. Right. Um, though there is, <laughs> that's where we're at. There's people being stupid. Like that's the best oh, criticism yeah. we got. While in Last Jedi, they are completely beyond out of character. Um, wow. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> yes. Uh oh, that's that pie chart's going into a meme. Oh my god. <laughs> so I, I guess we'll we'll completely... stop we'll stop like considering it once it hits a thousand votes. I guess. Com yeah. Completely off topic. I just saw something on Twitter. Universal notifies theaters cats is being updated with improved visual effects. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> improved visual effects. Improved visual effects. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll save it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. What's being updated with improved visual effects? Uh, the movie Cats. Oh dear. 
Uh, we're gonna fine. we're gonna efap movies, cats. Oh yes, we are. Oh, oh fuck. Sorry. Also, <laughs> uh, do, do we move on to the most inconsistent character now? Then. Yeah, I suppose. Well, I was just gonna say we nearly. Uh, let me post this one more time to get us over a thousand. I guess. Uh, <clears throat> and then we will. Your. We will concur. Well, no, I'm just curious to to get it over a thousand. <laughs> see what we're I'm, looking at, and it looks able like to vote multiple times. T no, no it, it it prevents, or it's supposed to prevent you from doing it, that anyway. It does IP duplication checking. But okay. that's so much trouble, it'll probably keep people um, away from it. All right. Home stretch, everybody. Your boy. It's Some of uh, keep changing their IP address so they could stand for the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Last Jedi, man. Just... It looks man. as if Last Jedi is, like, trying to get some form of a lead here. All right. It looks like... It, it's still so damn close. Uh, yeah, like 1,002 it's, votes. It's only um, 20 of a difference by the looks of things. Yeah, it shows here um, 18 vote difference at 1,000 votes. So it is it is That's neck and neck. Uh, refresh, you might get more numbers. I'm looking at 1,060 votes, and it's uh, yeah, about a 30 difference. Last, yeah, last yep. Shelly's pulled ahead by a percent, so. There has. Still tied pretty close, but yeah, I think we can conclude. As far as EFAP is concerned, right now, we don't know. <laughs> I would, we don't I would know. Be, so here's the thing. I think that this is a poll that we should make in a month. You know, yeah, let it yeah. let all the info come out, let people think about it, let it get you know, not be on the forefront of people's minds, really think about it. Cause I know when I walked out of the theater for TLJ, I was confused. And we all pretty much liked The Force Awakens once it came out, so give it a little time, give it a month, give it a couple weeks, and then we'll. I'd be curious to see this poll again and see if any of the sides really take a take a strong lead. Uh, which moves us on to the next discussion, which is uh, who is the most inconsistent character? Now, what I'll do is we'll 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 each choose and then make our arguments, I guess, and then we can uh, make a public poll for it. Oh, hang on. Are we allowed to change our votes? I thought we had to Oh, no. Hold the you vote. can ignore the ones you went for originally because we didn't even see the film at that point. You can just compare them to that. I know. That's why we're going to... We're gonna. They're going to... The whole thing was who guessed correctly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, I guess we'll, that's where we'll start. Who... What What? Um, what do you think was the most inconsistent what? character, everyone? Can we, should Looks we go like down the list be Hux. have a list? Yes. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to prepare to post it. I think we, we should offer some arguments because if sure. people are going to say Hux, I, I don't know. I want to say that um, like, he, I voted he, for he, he was consistent in his hatred for Kylo. That's what justified... The inconsistent part him. for me is how much of an idiot he is being in terms of like risking everything to not even directly but, but... hurt Kylo. In the he fact was always that he's an idiot, though. That's consistently. He's being not an always. Idiot. He's been an idiot since TLJ, so it's consistent with TLJ. I'll give you that. He's not. He was. And he wasn't like a complete buffoon in TFA. And then his allegiance just swaps. Or how long has he kept it? I mean, it's fucking weird. How he's, how long has he been a mole? I would say he's yeah. a contender. I think. Can we all agree that Finn is not a contender? Yeah, Finn's not a contender. Uh, Finn's po Finn. Poe. I would say Poe's not a contender. Is Luke on the list? Yes. So the list is because... Finn, Poe, Luke, Ray, Hux, Han, Leia, Chewbacca, R two D two, C three PO, and Babu Frick. Luke, uh, Luke is Luke a contender. Did a massive backflip with uh, this movie because of the middle finger to Ryan Johnson and the last movie. <laughs> yeah, there's repairs done to Luke. So, but it's almost like what we're doing is we're picking the character mm. that JJ is using as a cudgel to beat Ryan with. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think really what is weird. what is our criteria exactly do you think like what should we say it is like inconsistent with tlj or inconsistent with tlj and tfa or just i'm gonna say I tlj and tfa fair. yeah it needs to be with the with this or, sorry uh, sequels, whatever we know yeah. about them would you say is that? Yeah. and whatever tlj and the last yeah the last skywalker and tlj i would say because um but I think we sh I think we shouldn't discount any inconsistency that made them better in this movie that we liked. Right, I think right. That still being yeah, inconsistent needs to count. Um, so Luke is a contender. Uh, what would our biggest examples be of like how he's a contender? Uh, well, you should treat like... a Jedi's weapon should be treated with yeah. respect. You got to go out there. You got to get off the island. What I did. In 
a mistake. But so that's inconsistent with TLJ. But could that arguably be consistent with everything up to TFA? Uh, that seems more Luke like to me. Right. With the original. So how trilogy, do we how do we, how do we judge it? But him secluding himself on the island. Um, uh, was established in The Force Awakens, and so that... Yeah, but we didn't get the reason, and that's why TFA always survived criticism, because we don't know why he did it then. And obviously Ryan has changed a lot, and then JJ has... Don't, don't you think it tells you something that the first thing he like, says is like, yeah, that was stupid, like me doing that. Also, <laughs> everything else I did in that movie was stupid. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> first thing he does is a slap in the face to Ryan. Yeah. So I guess my question uh, is the how do we judge this if he's if he's in line with X but not in line with Y when we're trying to judge the whole of it? I don't know if this is something that this is what we're doing is strange. It is strange. Yeah. <laughs> um I don't even know if I could answer that. So my my vote personally is Ray, and my evidence would be that she's like kind of losing a shit in this movie for no reason. She's like Yeah. Uh, suddenly deciding that, oh my god, like, I am evil, I am gonna fuck up, I'm gonna blah blah blah, and it's like, you've literally had no value changes. You you just decided that this is the movie where yeah, it all comes to a head. you're shockingly perfect. So it, yeah, it suddenly just, you're doubting yourself. And it, it feels it's like the training. film is forcing her to have conflict in herself from nowhere, because it's the finale, we gotta do it. And also, does her parentage swap? Does that count as an inconsistency of her character? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to say yes. Her parentage used to be it didn't matter from TFA. Then it was nobody in TLJ, and now it's Palpatine. Extremely important. Yeah, very important, <laughs> well, in fact. Oh, now it's, it's, yes. it's, 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 it's the most powerful force user outside of Atticid, if depending on how you sort of judge it. So, yeah. So, I heard a weird well, thing. Go ahead. So, I don't mean to... Uh, detractors or anything but um just on the note of that i heard that it's established somewhere in one of the comics that palpatine was the one who created yeah. anakin that he made he manipulated the midichlorians to make anakin mm -hmm. have you guys heard that rumor well like, is that is i've that seen a screenshot that's something that i've heard for a while mm -hmm. so wait wait so if okay so shmi okay anakin's father would be palpatine then Depends okay. how it works biologically. Yeah, it, so by if that's the case, Anakin's father is Palpatine. Anakin's kids are Luke and Leia. And Leia's son is Kylo Ren. And Kylo and Rey kissed. And if Palpatine's granddaughter is... Ray, then what's the relationship between Kylo and Ray? Because they're like totally related. Are they cousins or second cousins as a result? The thing Something is, like that. making a force baby, I don't know how it works. I'm, I'm not a doctor. Or is Ray um, Kylo's auntie? Is that what it is? Would hmm. that put, would that make, would that put um, Ray higher in the family tree than Kylo? <laughs> So would that make Ray Kylo's um this is confusing. <laughs> aunt nephew aunt and people are saying aunt and nephew. So Ray would be Kylo's aunt? I guess so. That's Force aunt. Mm. But but hang on, is it confirmed that Palpatine made Anakin? Well, like, oh, is my that God. Am I really? oh my God! Oh my God! This is this is what Leia meant when she said it's about family. That's what. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! She was trying to warn no. us, and now she's dead. No. Oh my God! That Star Wars girl in the chat said Ray and Leia are cousins. Ray and Leia are cousins. Oh my goodness! Their parents would have been brothers or sisters. For that to be the case. Oh my, my brain God. is melting right now. I had way too many beers for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of people are sending me that there's been a poll for this already. The whole idea is that we, we present all the arguments and then do the poll. Yeah, and then we're going to do another poll in like a couple weeks or a month after yeah. it's kind of been fresh in our mind. Because Lord knows, I know my opinion generally changes. 
I don't know if this one will. I don't I don't know if this one will get better with age. I think as we discover more and more issues with it, it'll be like TLJ where it gets worse and worse as time goes on. I think um we just haven't had the raw time to think about all the issues yet. We can't count Han because he technically wasn't in the film, as far as we can tell. No. Um just the head Leia was barely in the film. To the point where, yeah, I'd almost say she wasn't in the film because they had to just repurpose old stuff. And, and her usage was so awkward, it really kind of pulled me out of the movie. I would downright say C-3PO was kind of strong compared to the uh, everyone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was my actually consistent character. in his character in this movie. Yeah, like, I, um... C-3PO is my favorite character in this <laughs> film. Yep, nobody it. loved him. Why is it that now in two of the Disney films, the favorite character is the droid? Oh, no. <laughs> Um, I I just quickly made the family tree. Yeah, it's Ray and Leia are cousins, and so if if Palpatine is the father of Anakin, and that's just like where the hell did that come from? If that's the see, case. this is why like, this is why we who have made that because they're big into family trees. They could tell us this shit for certain. <laughs> We're pretty good with family history. This is true. <laughs> so they'll, they can tell us exactly w what relationship Ray and Kylo have when they smooched. Galaxy spanning Star Wars is so small that incest happens. <laughs> 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 I just, I hope it's not true. Like, if this is, is that a natural canon? Comic well, look, the one thing we're is stuck on is comic book in, in Disney look. Wars, okay, like... but if Palpatine put his actual semen inside. Uh, oh, no. thingy, then you've got a point. But manipulating midichlorians to make a baby? I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's, it's not a biological child. You, then. Is it not? I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I need to ask <laughs> Palpatine. I have no real life scenario to compare it to, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of just something that <laughs> well, seems it's weird. It's stupid beyond belief. I, I want to know the origin of this. Like, if it Someone comes from a comic book, I need to Someone see sent it. Me I this. need to see it. <laughs> It's so dumb. It can't be. It's it I like... saw. I saw the screenshot of the comic at, uh, on Twitter at one point, so I definitely know it exists out there. A weird world we live in. We're spending a lot of time discussing this because it's fascinating in its own <laughs> messed up way. Um, <laughs> the only two left then would be R two D two and Chewbacca, which I think we're fine. Yeah, lime green. I I yeah. did send that away to them to look at. the The jury is still out on this one. This is a this is no simple matter. I I <laughs> guarantee you that. Which I means... think if if we're talking about inconsistent character, I think Ray is the winner. Yeah, I'm she pretty... would be my vote. I'm convinced of Ray as well. That was so. Fucking so, well, yeah. yeah, it's so weird because Ray yeah. is like I feel like some of these other characters are like I said they're just Not even they're just the movie. tools that JJ <laughs> is using to shit over Ryan, and I almost feel like that pollutes it. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, that was the thing. It's like at first I didn't think Ray was going to be entirely inconsistent because she's still all powerful, yeah. she can't be beaten, and everything like that. But then when we factor in her family, she skyrockets to the top. Yeah, we went from your parent. We don't know who your parents are. To your parents don't matter. You're a nobody. To literally the most important thing about you as a person <laughs> is your parentage. To the point where that's arguably the theme of the movie. That's like a whoa. That's whiplash levels of holy shit. What a change. Yeah, but, and then of course the of icing was just all the doubt she had in herself. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of her motivation. She is flip flopping all over the place. She wants to be a Jedi. Star Wars she doesn't girl. want to be don't a Jedi. Drive. Don't drive. Don't be texting and driving. Oh my goodness. Danger Mouse. She said, she said, sorry, I'm driving. It's hard to comment. It should be impossible. Don't impossible. text and drive. Don't, don't do don't, that. Come back alive. Also, I wanna, don't do it so dumb. This is interesting. I checked the poll that was made previously, uh, and the winner was Hux. But um, the one I've just sent now, Ray, seems to be dominating with Luke and Hux in second place. Yeah, man. Well, because well, I, yeah, had guessed, I had guessed Ray a while ago, or I guessed... Uh, uh, sorry, Hux a while ago, because I thought he would go back to original JJ. But with Ray actually being a Palpatine, I'm like, damn, that oof. Jeez, <laughs> look that look at her actions as well. She wants to kill Kylo, then she doesn't. She heals him. She no, wants to give up. Yeah, she wants to give up being a Jedi and goes to the thing, and then she doesn't. She'll go fight Palpatine. And in the previous one, you know, she's flip flopping about joining Kylo and that not joining, and she's lost in her your place and everything and then she has the hots for kylo and then she doesn't and then she does and so 
She wanted to die on the island like Luke wanted to, and then she did. Yeah. And uh, to clarify, all it takes to get off that island is a pep talk. The people who voted for Ray are Wolf, Shad, Das Bullshit, and Chaseface. Oh. Yay! Winners! I remember distinctly being like, why would I vote for Ray? She's just going to be perfect again. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, I thought, I figured JJ was going to totally pull back on her, and he did. Yeah, this is the thing, there's a lot of rationales you could use, uh, and it's just funny how it turned out. Like, I love the, the most voted for character was just, nothing happened to him in this movie. It's like, Finn was just around. Yeah, I'll admit, like, I, I was wrong on the reason for why I voted for her, because I thought she was going to stop being a Mary Sue and start sucking all of a sudden. So, I can't take full credit and think like, oh yeah, I figured it all out and I thought really hard about this now. Like, she was still a Mary Sue. Really <laughs> hardcore. Yeah. I had no prediction of what she was going to be. Uh, I think the reason why I picked Ray is that if any character is going to be inconsistent with bad writing, it's generally the main character. And so I think that's someone why in I'm the, picking her. Someone in the Discord said, The Rise of Skywalker is a worse movie, but TLJ is more... More what? Cut out. Say that again. He said, The Rise of Skywalker is a worse movie, but TLJ is more insulting. Hmm. Maybe. I, I he, he makes yeah, a point. I, I, he makes I, a I point. I agree with that. I don't. I don't. It's it's weird. We're comparing some. It's tough. Some They're so close. Things. Like I'm willing to bet that the answer is going to be tough to reach. <laughs> We're going to be stuck for a while because it's just like, oh, uh, does, does that mean we all agree that TFA is the best of the three? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out of the three, yeah. Because I was going to say, yeah. like, I think of TFA and I'm like, oh, but that's bad too. And I look back at those two and I'm like, ah, fucking hell. Yeah, okay, fine. It, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, it's the least terrible. It is literally, it's winning by the process of elimination. So congratulations, TFA. <laughs> like, sure, it can't be TLJ or Tross. So I guess it's TFA by default, by, by elimination. You know, the other two have been disqualified. Something I can say about The Rise of Skywalker is that they have achieved something rather impressive to make a movie this bad. Like, this, this, Jeez, this yeah. is an achievement. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. It's, I, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. What corporate meddling is causing this type of crap or just completely oblivious writers or, or is it directors, JJ? I have no idea. Because to me, it doesn't take too much of an objective lens to find some of the massive problems with this. Well, who did they get to look at the script? What were they patching together by the end? I can't believe it. Just... I'm so curious. What comes next? Oh, like for Star Wars? Oh. Well, yeah, that's retcon. They can't build anything from this. <laughs> That'd be so stupid to do that. Yeah, like what, this is where they go universe next? trotting. They go somewhere else where nothing is recognizable. Oh my god! Can maybe they'll put it up for sale on Amazon? Could buy it or something. I mean, fucking no. George Lucas never wanted this to happen, but it's cheap enough that Disney might try and organize it, and that's a crossover movie between Star Wars and Star Trek. Oh my god! No. No way! <laughs> I could see Disney say doing those it. words together. I could see Disney sentence. doing it. It's it's money in the bag for them. If they did that, I would have to watch it. I'll be like, oh gee, this will be so uh, bad. I have to see it. Yeah, like, and who would it? And so, money in the bag. Uh, um, that, that's possibility. All they need to do is get what? Who owns it now? Paramount owns or um, uh, Star Trek? I don't know. And I mean, they've desecrated Star Trek enough with the new series and stuff like that that they got nothing to lose either. <laughs> it's just... They should just combine them. Trek Wars. <laughs> and that about does it, I think, in terms of we've covered yeah. the movie now. <laughs> it only took we've us covered. seven hours. So, yeah, that's the, that's the first... Um, EFAP concerning the rise of Skywalker, and no doubt it will be the first of many more to come, and it will sustain us with hatred and the video apathy essays, for... I'm so excited. The video. Oh essay. man, the flipping and the flopping that might happen. You see Just... how TLJ oh, was yeah, a miracle, man. and the rise of Skywalker ruined it. Ruined it. That's that's so nuts. How many people are defending it right now? The usual suspects. We've got Cinema Roberto and who? Else? Oh well. He's the only person who likes the Rise of Skywalker, from what I know. But yeah, the rest of them, everyone else seems to hate it. Well, the rest That's of them. Movie Bob is just. 
the worst. <laughs> yeah, true. It's the it's the joke we would have made. It's like who liked this movie? It's like I don't know, movie Bob. It's movie like Bob. oh my god, he did. Give it an eight. He gave it an eight out of ten. Apparently, I haven't seen the video, but oh, oh Jesus, and we're gonna have to watch it, aren't we? Oh, oh at some point, I imagine. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, I'm, we'll, we'll be, I, it's probably time to start responding to Super Chats. Um, hey, obviously, super chat. anybody is welcome to, uh, stay or go. It's completely up to you. Is, does anybody want to do anything um, of any particular kind? Oh. I'm good to keep going, mate. Really? Oh my Let's God. do it. I'm God. good. We, uh, yeah, I suppose <laughs> I'm all right. So, the only issue we have is that me and Rags have a selection to respond to from a different stream, but now we've got a new selection to respond to already because of Rise of Skywalker. Does it make sense to respond to the ones from this stream because it's going to be relevant to the conversation <clears throat> rather than catching yeah, so up? Yes, I think, I think this is a special say... one where, like, let's, I think it would work to keep it all self-contained to this one because this is an event. Yeah. This is a special I agree. event. And can we get them all? I don't think that's remotely possible. Oh my god. A classic. Is, we, we might get backed up to the point where uh, we might just do an EFAP stream <clears> for <throat> Super Chat responses alone and it'll take us to like a cap or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> I am still <laughs> scrolling down the list and we had a oh whole bunch god. to respond to outside of these. And, and maybe some of those Super Chats have some really good points about the film. Exactly, so... I'm I'm sure that sure that some of them just we, we will might. take this to the eleven fifty five gentlemen. <laughs> Still Let's scrolling. Go. Oh my let God. me see what um Do it. let me see how mundane Matt had to say about it. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Thank you. I think he is it like good it. or is it bad? My response is maybe. I have to find Oh he oh. um he, he made a point about how like it never had a chance because everyone's gonna hate it anyway. I want you to take a look at this. This I want you to look at this, and okay. I want you to prepare thyself. That fucking thumbnail, though, is... Oh, oh, oh that hurt. Why does he do oh, this? Fucking hell, man. Why does he do this to himself? <laughs> Why is he such a meme? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you guys... Ready to get going? Let's go. Let's, let's do it. First one. I was actually notified. Excellent. I mean, no, seems like a lot of people it. were because this, this is like I said, we got more more of an audience with this one than we ever usually do. I think people really wanted to uh, see what we had to say on Star Wars. Apparently, some of my fans and, and EFAP fans and you guys, Shad's fans, like they all seem to like Star Wars. What's that about? I don't know. About that. I love yeah. watching Star Wars just crumble. <laughs> I have I I can't love it anymore. It's just it's been gone for years now, and this is only the continuation of that. Yeah, what? The, the rage from the disappointment of the fall of Star Wars is the only catharsis I've been able to get from it. I've just been binging the reviews of this movie on YouTube for the last day, and it has been <laughs> helping heal my broken soul. <laughs> Um, get out your rhino milk tanks, you massives. It's the reckoning of a lifetime. Yes, sir. I watched it yesterday no and didn't enjoy it nearly as much as I thought I would. Didn't you thought you were going to enjoy it? I don't know. From those leaks, I just, I was like, Whoa. I was, I was prepared that I might enjoy it in some terrible, horrible way, you know? Like, it'd be <laughs> so terrible, I'd enjoy it. Yeah, I was trying to get not to get my expectations colored by like tweets and reviews and stuff, but boy, they were coming in so fast. I, you know, they, a few of them hit, so my expectations in, in check there. Uh, Angry Joe did a long man. He mentioned in his review The Force Awakens with Darth Sidious roommates YouTube vid, and it's exactly as Rise turned out. Did a long man. Is he just like. Yeah, he has like a two hour uh, spoiler review. Um, uh, with him and his mates. Wow. And most that of it's pretty man. solid. He, he hated the movie, and he points out a lot of the crap that, you know, uh, we've pointed out as well. And so good on him. Um, Oi Morley, totally missed you covering my super chat last time. Uh, last time. Discuss. Also, hi, Rags, you wonderful floof you. Hello. And it is um, 
It is my TLJ critique part two, one twenty-two forty-six. I forgot what it was. Let me just play it quick so that I can. Uh, one twenty-two forty-six. Because episode eight, <laughs> I love it. A so in the interest great. of shoving in more slapstick comedy and some, some of these memes and EFAP podcast talk are really good. <laughs> that doesn't make the dynamic in this film worse. This one stays the same, and it has a purpose. The change is the fault of the Last Jedi, not the Force Awakens. So uh, uh, it's a portion where I'm explaining that um, it's not on TFA that Hux is changed into a clown. Um, I don't know if that is is the point that it's like, what do we think about, I guess, how, I don't know, that whose fault is it that Hux is the way he is in this film? Uh, let me play a little bit more because the timestamp seems to go further. <laughs> found him very funny. <laughs> One last thing on this scene, however. Kylo immediately assumes from the recent events that it is the performance of the individual stormtroopers that is the issue. When the concern Well, while you're looking, I'm going to use the loo real quick and I'll be back. In the first place, mm -hmm. Not to say that okay. they aren't underperforming as they are, but there was two when there was like 50 before. On top of that, why wasn't this his mission, considering how invested he is in this... Yeah, I'm not sure what they want, they're looking for. I, if it's just like whose fault is it that that Hux is an idiot. I would say it's taking forward what was established in TLJ, but pushing him a little bit, like, to the point of, I don't know if he would do that, um, what he does anyway. Like, I'm okay with him trying to get Kylo killed, I just don't think his choice was, um, very effective, if anything. It seemed like they just needed an informant, and they were like, let's just use Hux. Hux is a character who's angry with Ty uh, uh, Kylo, that'll work. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, hi dads. We got all of us are this person's dad. That's nice. Um, in one word, describe the movie. Contrived. Yeah, that, that pretty much nails it. Outside of just using words like abysmal. If I could use a second word, it would be garbage. Contrived garbage. <laughs> Um, did my man Finn get C blocked? My boy didn't get to lick that ray taint. Oh my goodness. Sad steamboat oh, noises. Toot toot. I know that reference <laughs> too. Um, well, so you know how he clearly looks as if he's going to be trying to tell her that he loves her? Uh, yeah. That apparently was just him trying to say he's force sensitive, according to JJ. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's not what. That's so dumb. That's not something that'd be hard to tell. That's like a passing. Oh, I think I can sense the force, Ray. Just letting you know. That's a, <laughs> that's not a big difficult thing why, to yeah, say. Yeah. Why would you? That is. <laughs> Imagine he said, why, Ray, why before we die. Want to tell I he want can to sense tell the force. And she's like, oh my exactly goodness. Exactly what I was gonna say. Crazy. Yeah. Why didn't he tell Poe? And she even asked, like, after they get into the, the, the tunnel thingy, it's like, oh, what, what do you want to ask about? It's like, oh, no, it's fine. It's going to take later. It's like, oh, okay. Um, all right. Check the meta score. It's at 5.1 user last time I checked, which, again, seems more, seems more accurate compared to Rotten Tomatoes. But um, I think everybody's just on the on the point of like don't trust Rotten Tomatoes at this point. That seems to be uh, what we're going with. Um, execute EFAP sixty six. Yeah, I, I I'm curious if this will be like the, uh, the 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 one that everybody seems to want to watch because I think we did a really good breakdown honestly. Um, it was it chronological, was extensive, lots of voices. Um, and I think having multiple voices just helped out so much because so many of you guys are pointing out things that, you know, I didn't pick up on and stuff like that, which just made it so comprehensive all over. It was like uh, having that happen all over the place. With each scene that passed, everybody was like, I have an issue. It's like, but I also have an issue. I have an issue. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was a mess. You needed this many. Um... Watched it last night in Discord with my buddies, pirated that bitch, not even lying, we laughed the entire movie, had a blast. Movie is garbage, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, we had so much fun. It was shit, though. 
Hey guys, whenever someone accuses you of saying the N-word, just, yeah, I said Nakama. It means friends, so that works. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound remotely like it. How would that possibly <clears throat> work? Avatar Rey, the last Skywalker. She is now. She identifies as it. As long as someone else doesn't take the name, she is the last Skywalker. Um... So sad. <sighs> TFA was the cancer that Disney spread, TLJ was the death of the franchise. From what I've heard, TROS is sodomizing a dead corpse. <laughs> Pretty much. Shad, drinker, your videos are gold, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that very much. Uh, just got my Christmas bonus. Enjoy it, m enjoy it with me, you gaggle of massives. You deserve it for going through TROS <laughs> for us all. High rags, kick J, etc, etc. Well, Jay has been kicked, so that's half of the job done. I wonder if he'll come back. Like, it's been a while now, right? Like, three hours? He said he will try yeah, and come back when he has a sleep, so we'll see. They're alive now. They're alive now. <laughs> <laughs> um, a good friend of mine loves it. I don't know how or why. <laughs> I love that, like, you come out of the cinema, they're like, I loved it. You're just bewildered. Like, what? What? No, stop it. Not possible. Uh, Muller, are you going to make a critique series for TROS after you finish TFA1 in a few years? Who knows what order exactly I'll be doing videos, I'll just let you know that it's been non-stop for the past few days and it will be as soon as the stream is completed as well. Things be happening. Uh, God, this is such a fucking train wreck. Here's to you lads breaking it down, hopefully it'll be the longest EFAP yet. The problem is we've already reached the cap on the longest EFAP several times. We can't actually go <laughs> further. I'm, uh, the day they extend that is going to be a wonderful day. We need more! Um, <laughs> hello, Euphlisms. I swear to God, this movie annoyed me so much, I actually made a video script and I'm going to make a YouTube video even though I have no subs. Well, Good on ya, mate. Yeah, keep at it. Creative process. <clears throat> Good shit. Um, I swear you massives better be going when I get back. Well, Chapter Master Rosarius, are you here? <laughs> We're still going. <laughs> Uh, do you have any- Can you hear me? Do you have- oh, you watched the wrong part, TLJ Critique, part two- oh, not the TFA one. Okay. Alright, give me a second, lads, I'm gonna put that one on now. Mm -hmm. Fucking useless search function. Alright, one, two, two, four, six. Anything. I'm back, what's up? Just, I got oh. the correct timestamp, I'm just listening to it one sec. Character. Rey was speculated to be the child of Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, it, was it? or even the granddaughter Rags, of Emperor Palpatine. It was alright. Yeah. It was okay. Nothing, you know. Nothing Wait, you know what? I can, the ordinary. I can play this for you yeah, guys at the same time as I play it for, uh, <clears throat> for the EFAP in Opal. So, wait, the trilogy, on. and he will like Let me make sure I got the right timestamp again. Yeah. One, two, two, four, six. Yeah, that'll be close enough. All right, I'm gonna play it for you guys while playing it for the stream. But uh, people are like, I can't see visuals. It's like, yeah, you don't need to see visuals, trust me. It's just, it, it helps me avoid copyright for sure as well. Could be the reason I watch episode nine. However, let's discuss a different character. Rey was speculated to be the child of Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or even the granddaughter of Emperor Palpatine. The reason people speculate these sorts of things is to see how the ripple effect pans out. Let's take the Palpatine theory. If she was related to Palpatine, then would that incline her to the dark side? What would Rey think if she knew she was a blood relative to a mass murdering monster that held a horrifying grip across the galaxy? How would this inform her powers and her abilities? Will the first Order respond to Rey as a leader? Will there be people in the universe who want her to take the throne that Palpatine lost? What will her friends do if they find out her lineage? This is interesting, not because it references the old films, but it asks so many story-building questions that are ripe for not only exploring, but connecting to. Trials, tribulation, oppression, pain. This small section of dialogue could have revealed so much while being a simple line about her parents. I understand that many people will say, well, that's just typical. That's almost annoyingly bad that it's just gonna turn out to be a character from the OT, but it could have been anything. Instead, it was nothing. Well, <laughs> how about that for progression of uh, what they went with? The funny thing is, they didn't do any of that. Like, you have... Well, they, yeah. they, they tried, it, like, at the smallest level of her worried that she might go to the dark side, but that wasn't even implied that it's because she's the granddaughter of Palpatine and she thinks that, you know, 
I, she has the same weaknesses. It's just there's no connection she makes to that. It's just that she's doubting herself because reasons. Oh, apparently, I sounded like a robot. Everyone's saying I sounded like. No, you sounded fine. Well, it, I guess it no, sounded fine to you guys, but it may have sounded like an echo to everyone in. Is oh, that... like it lagged or something. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they heard it. Is the important part. <laughs> well, if you didn't, so I talk about the potential of making Ray, uh, the granddaughter of Palpatine, and what you can do with that in terms of story, as well as it filling in the gap of where her power comes from, as a sort of fixing for what happened in TFA. Um, it's so funny that we're this far in now, you know, like, the third film, but, uh, they just don't work with any of that. We have a moment of her being like, oh my goodness, I'm a Palpatism, oh. But, like, you don't really, doesn't do anything, and then she's like, I'm gonna kill Palpatine. It's like, oh my god, and then she, that, like, Luke encourages her to do that. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, I'd say they wasted the potential in terms of storytelling, for sure. It's just that it's yep. funny because I sound definitive in that video that she is not the granddaughter of Palpatine and then they just wreck on it. <laughs> well, no, she is. I swear. It fucked. It's actually funny because you, in the context of how you're speaking, it sounded like you picked Palpatine because it's the most unlikely conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> and where did we end up? Like, oh, it's crazy. Um... <laughs> Uh, do you have any idea how many times I'm going to have to watch Revenge of the Sith to get the taste of horseshit out of my mouth? Well, I, yeah, go for it. It's better than the sequel trilogy, for yeah, sure. Yeah, if that's the movie that does it for you, sure. Hey, tell you what, has the best lightsaber jewel out of all of Star Wars at the end, and enjoy it, mate. It is great. Um, I watched it three times and was never bored. JK, like hell, I'm giving Lucas Phil bye, buddy. Well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Hey Rags, I heard you may do a hey. Raid Shadow Legends review. Um, <laughs> I recommend watching some ordinary gamer's recent rant video about it for research. Um, say what for research? Yeah, I guess like he might have some insight on the game. That's the name. I guess, um, maybe I'm not sure. I'm I'm definitely not committing to anything yet. Mm -hmm. Um. Do I think Rags of all people would love cats. Oh. <laughs> Rags, what does that say? <laughs> um, uh, you see, I, I almost feel like they said it, but they don't mean it. You mm -hmm. know? Like when people do that. Because I think I'll love laughing at it, or I don't know, it looks like it could be super cringe, though. It looks horrible. It does horrible, look horrible. Filled with nightmare fuel. Like, just... Yeah, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I just think... It's almost certainly terrible, though. Um, just as the really spiders foretold, like yeah, the stream was this stream's been coming for forever, pretty much. When did I organize this? Was it like half a year ago? I was like, this is mostly the round the date we're gonna try and go for, and it worked out great. It gave everyone a nice bit of time to see the movie. Hooray! Hooray! Um. DLJ is far better than Rise of Skywalker. I rewatched the PT and ST films before ROS, and I can attest to this. ROS is bottom three Star Wars films with episodes one and two. Episodes one and two are better than TLJ. <clears throat> I would agree. I think so too. Well, <laughs> I think Chad's going to be a, a outraged at the idea that one and two are worse than TLJ. A lot of people there who, are some um, people who think such a concept is uh, ridiculous to even consider. Yeah, and like and T TLJ and Rise of Skywalker, they are blasphemous now. They are the ones that yeah. we do not. No, speak. no, seriously. I I tried to watch the sibling rivalry review of this movie, and as soon as he started spouting, like, if you think you know the prequels are better than the Rise of Sky, uh, the you know the Last Jedi. That you're an idiot. I'm not going to talk to like, oh, okay, man. But you're losing <laughs> it's on our list. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got so much to get through. Um, I've shot my Jedi General in the head. Now what? A referencing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. Is that like a Clone Wars thing, an Order 66 thing? Maybe I'm trying to think of because obviously this would be oh, in the opening. Oh, are we talking about Hux? <clears throat> Hux shooting Kylo? Maybe. I don't know. 
Um, Merry Christmas, you entertaining massives. Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, best Star Wars I ever saw in cinema. Never laughed so much. Everyone was mocking the movie. At the Raylo part, someone shouted, just kill him already. Um... <laughs> 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 uh, I can't believe I thought The Last Jedi was the worst thing that could possibly happen to Star Wars. Fuck you, J.J. Abrams. He's, he's did an impressive job. Who would have thought we would have gotten to the point where we cannot decide? Like, wow. Yeah, man, um, I don't know. It's like, terrible. TLJ was supposed to be rock bottom, but it just keeps <laughs> on going. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can digging. decide. <laughs> lies. Like lies and slander. <laughs> no, well, I, I, always, I, I guess I'm referring more so to, like, the EFAP community uh, poll. Uh, this film was so shit it convinced me to make a video. I hate it. I bought a ticket to Cats and snuck into the theater, and I still want my money back from Lucasfilm. I couldn't stop laughing in the theater, and the other five people were mad at me. Hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. See, this is the thing. I did, I was encouraged to have some more emotional reactions, but I knew, especially being in Britain, I was like, well, better not ruin it for other people who are actually having fun, I guess. <clears throat> But, um, you know, mostly silent. There was a couple of giggles here and there. Um, I, I kind of wish that I had been in a cinema that saw what, like, oh, fuck off. To, like, some portion of it, that would be great. <laughs> um, to be fair, I think Rhino fits Jay well. Ah, there we go, when, when Jay was yeah. talking about his fist owner, I remember. Yeah, of course, who could forget? Because he has big tits. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, I am all the memes. Yep. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Merry Christmas, Mauler and Rags. Merry Crimbo. Merry Crimbo. The Cursed Child, Jake Skywalker, Harry, lol. Cursed Child is uh, Harry Potter, right? Um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I guess that book may have fucked up Harry's character. I don't know. I yeah, actually it... heard that, yeah, that Harry's character in the... I, I've watched a review of the play, and yeah, Harry's character is just destroyed, like completely incompetent in that. So, is that a so that's like a play that's a sequel? Yeah, it's a play that's a sequel of the movies, and it's garbage. I've only seen one review, so you know, could the be wrong, cursed the child. Could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the cursed child is his son, but I don't know. Um. I've got, so there's three different accounts that have said this now, so this is the third one. Working on my first video to rip this diarrhea apart. Holy shit, my friend said it fixed the fucking trilogy, apparently forgetting that but... retconning is lazy horse cockery. Jesus, fuck this shit. Horse cockery. Horse cockery. Horse cockery. Horse cockery. It really is unifying the fans once more, this movie. Yep. <laughs> I want my money back, Disney, and compensation for the emotional trauma. Yep. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't join you for this one, Baller, but here's some money. I'm looking forward to hearing what you all think of this train wreck. We... I don't think we could have been more extensive. I think anybody looking to find out what we all think of this movie would uh, absolutely get what they were looking for. That was good for a start. That was good for a start. Yeah, that was a good, good base. <laughs> and remember, this is just the first of many. Mm-hmm. Uh, why is Rag's PFP so sexy? Oh, oh man. It just art imitates life. Yeah. You know what they say. Kill Jay. He killed Epstein. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. I he knew did? it. As, as soon, yeah, as soon as he gets back, you're going to have to address that with him, I guess. Oh, yeah, does that mean Jay is a Clinton? Probably. <laughs> oh my god, Jay is Ochi. <laughs> He's been <laughs> hacked. Uh, Ochi <laughs> killed Jay Eps J Joseph Epstein. <laughs> Jay Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. J. Epstein. Joseph Epstein. J. Joseph Epstein. <laughs> Jepstein. Uh, hello, all my Skywalker words. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! The Rise of Jay Walker, a far better film. Yeah, I'd give it a shot. Directed by who? Jeb Bush. Um, Merry Christmas, you massives. Merry Crumbombulus. I'm trying to find different ways Mer of saying the word every time. Merry Christmas. Merkimus. Merkimus and Normal and Norman. Shmeri, shmish, shmish. Um, I've been provided context for the Anakin, uh, well, the Re Raylo situation. So, says, okay. um, 
Take in mind that Disney fucked up because Darth Plagueis, or Plagueis, I think it's Plagueis, uh, was supposed to be the Sith that creates Anakin, but Disney changed it because they're dumb. So when the Jedi or Sith use the Force is with the midichlorians that they have within themselves that allow them to channel the energy of the Force. So every time they use it, there's always a residual of them in it. So for example, if you were to pick up a holocron, you would know which Jedi created the holocron because they channeled the Force energy through themselves to create it. They leave a part of themselves within it. So when Palpatine used the Force to create Anakin in Shmi, it was with his midichlorian slash energy slash power, so Anakin is a product of him and would have part of him in him. Think of it as... Uh, think of that, I guess, instead as slimy seabird, it's force seabird. Yeah. <laughs> midichlorian... Uh. All right. <laughs> I mean... Disney is... Uh, with the way they've handled styles on every level is trash. It's mm -hmm. just garbage. Uh. Congratulations. They did a great job. I am all the Jedi, and you gotta deal with it. Oh, the horror references. <laughs> um, so I saw the horror show of TLJ. I went home to watch TFA because I didn't remember it being that bad. It was. These two films have been soul-crushing. I will not be going to see TROS. Without respect, we reject. Well, if you're curious about what happened in it, you can just uh, check out this stream, I suppose. We, we covered the plot, right, guys? <laughs> uh, we, yeah, it was a little disjointed because the movie was a bit disjointed, but we did well, all right. The movie contradicts itself, so you have to jump ahead and back every once in a while. Uh, so it's just like... Yeah, if you did it chronologically, you just confuse yourself. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hi, Shad. Oh, g'day. Have you guys watched The Witcher? I have not. not oh, yet. that's out, isn't it? Uh, it? It's on my list. I have oh, not I heard can... anything yet. <laughs> like, honestly, I haven't heard anyone say it's terrible or great. I've heard um, a good review, a mixed review, but overall good so far. Um, people even be pointing out like, hey, got to check out those sword fights. And some people think that's trash. One thinks that one was brilliant and all the other thing, all the other ones were bad. So, yes, I'll have a lot to uh, analyze in that series. Uh, I swear to God, if anyone ever makes fun of episode one and two again. <laughs> uh... Hail fellow hate boggers of the Toxic Brood, yay, Saturday stream. Yeah, I figure this, uh, it, it makes sense, this is the most likely free day for most people, right? Um, the Sundays kind can be of. awkward, Friday, yeah, kind it's of. it's complicated, but I mean, if you're gonna, if you're a betting man, which day would you go with for the freest day of the week? This was a very special event that I needed to make a very special exception for this once. I appreciate it, Mr. Shad. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, all my JJ Longbone words. I thought JJ did surprisingly well considering what he had to work with, but still a hot mess that breaks everything. So glad being alive is a disadvantage now. Okay, so hmm, I appreciated I that JJ tried to fix some of the problems in the previous movie, but he made so many more problems and made... Uh, just Like a house was damaged and he fixes it just by hitting it with a sledgehammer over and over again. He's like, I'm trying to help. <laughs> You're like, I know. <laughs> He needs that. Whenever someone makes a Star Wars movie, they need to have an official, uh, hired position of someone to say, "No, no, no. How about no?" Yeah, the problem is the Disney higher ups do take that upon themselves, and they say, "Then do this instead," and they make it worse. And oh, yeah, you're right. They, the... If if they had some like a canon expert that no one could contradict, if he said, "No, no, this contradicts how this is supposed to do it." That Texas would, yeah, I agree. Supposedly, they had canon experts that approved of the Holdo yeah. maneuver and said it wouldn't we, cause we any We played problem. that clip. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, you know, said right? that? Um, like, I'm pretty sure crap. the people in chat will know, because it's, like it's, it's a not... That's a bald-faced lie. It's the I one that's... It. What are the names? It's like Pablo Hidalgo, that, I think his name is. Uh, I forget the names, yeah. but yeah, there was the podcast we watched where they confirmed it, man. They yeah, just, pa Pablo Hidalgo, it. he's the guy who approved okay. it. Okay, if they said it, they were lying through their rear ends as much as JJ <laughs> saying there was no previous test screenings or that they had planned to bring in Palpatine the whole way. Like, it is so blatantly a lie that, I, you know, because with JJ, I want to look at it as like, all right, you tried your best, but you, it didn't come together and I'm, you could be a, still a really nice person, stuff like that. But with him coming out and blaming people hating The Last Jedi because they hate women and then the just absolute bullcrap dishonesty he's been showing with the release of this movie, 
sorry, mate, this is reflecting very poorly on your character now, not just your ability as a filmmaker. It's just... Uh, anyway. My friend, who is quite intelligent in most matters, fully acknowledges every flaw with the new trilogy, yet still loves them unconditionally. We're still bros, and I have yet to be called a Nazi. Good to know sane people. <laughs> oh yeah, good stuff. Oh, well, lucky you. I think the worst character was Poe. They knocked the fuck out of his intelligence to make him consistently make stupid decisions and act like a child. His side bitch couldn't even make me care. Um... What would you say of his stupid decisions? Yeah, I'm having trouble. Like, I don't I guess you could call that, like, jumping thing that he was doing kind of dumb, considering the dangers of, you know, the now established Holdo maneuver. But I mean, like, if he's doing it to avoid being captured or destroyed by the First Order, is it not worth it? I'd say it's worth it. I mean, to some it's, degree. Like, I can imagine that. There were so many ways that could have killed them just from the jump itself. Maybe that's one of them, but I'm I'm kind of having trouble with any other aspect. Of it. It's dumb. Mm. Uh, also, yeah, apparently ER's been here in a, for a while. Glad you're enjoying listening to us rip into this wonderful movie. I'll be looking forward yeah, to I your review. I hope you enjoyed the movie <laughs> as much as we did. Uh, people in my theater applauded the opening crawl and the end credits. I want to die. Aww. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I want to watch the trash fire. My theater was like nothing. Yeah, mine was like, yeah. like no reaction. Ours was pretty. Ours was pretty tame. Mine was at least. Like as soon as as, as she says like Ray Skywalker, I was like okay, and 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 credits. Bye. Like, everyone <laughs> just fucked off immediately, pretty much. Um, I get to watch the trash fire tomorrow, so I'll have to dip out. Also, hi rags. Hello, wizard. And you have quite a day ahead of you. This fucking tells us where, where we're at. Like, this is like a, going down memory lane with Super Chats. Wizard poop dimension. Isn't that just inside of <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy's head? Also, hi, Rags. Hello. May the dawn be with you, and all hail the toxic brood. Hail. I love that that random video that guy made calling people the toxic brood is just stuck so significantly. Like, it <laughs> won't go away. Um, I never usually catch these lives, so here's some bucks to keep y'all going. Love you guys. Oh, Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, read the visual dictionary. It's all so stupid. No. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Isn't that what you were referencing, though, Mola? Yes, but that was just for clarification on something. I don't want to read that book. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mola, play Kotor 1 and 2 and read Wheel of Time, please. They're, they're on a very long list. A terrifying well, I can list. comment on all of them, and they're all brilliant. Oh, there you go. Uh, Mola, can you ask Wolf which edition slash cut of Lord of the Rings book slash movies I should get? Also, Merry Christmas to all e-fabbers. It would be, uh, the extended editions. And as for the books, is there, is there multiple editions of Lord of the Rings books? Not, like, in terms of text. Oh, there are editions, but usually editions will just fix up little grammatical things here and there. Uh, but Lord of the Rings has been established for so long that new editions now is just new covers, really. Uh, mm -hmm. Different size prints and things. I just got my um hardcover, like leather bound hardcover, Lord of the Rings all in one copy. It's now got a prize place on my bookshelf. And yeah, uh, like I said, me and Rags will do um a, a mini recording, and all the super chats that were sent directed to him in his last stream will be asked to him. But I'm gonna have to like say that we're not gonna be passing messages on to him and then back to you guys because that'll be like just unfeasible, and I don't I don't think that's something that he's gonna want to be doing. Um, like, I totally appreciate that you're gonna want to know, like, different things or ask different questions, but I don't think, like, Wolf wants any kind of, sort of, uh, public persona anymore, even in, like, answering questions to what would be his fans. Obviously, the, uh, the, the EFAPs we had with him, um, was it a week ago now? Time fluctuates in my head. Uh, those are sort of the send-off. So, um, yeah, I just don't want anyone, so, like, anybody who's thinking, like, I will pay money to have... Wolf answer a question. I, I'd I'd want to discourage that because um, you know, like the last thing we want to do is just keep sending questions his way for him to reply or anything. He's gonna want to be kicking on with um, what he's pursuing in general. So um, I but, want to pressure the guy. He's he's done. Uh, best comedy of the year, better or worse than TLJ? Oh right. Well, we tried we to answer that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Ray Jury's and... still out on it. 
Ray and Kylo sitting in a tree. P I S S I N G. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, I try to behave in the theater, but the first three words of the crawl sent my friend and I howling. This is the funniest movie I've seen all year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kylo rages onwards. Uh, Shad, I like your Rise of Skywalker video, you blackened shade. Oh, thank you. And that was a reference to my book, if you guys are wondering. Jeez. I appreciate that, sir. Especially the reference. Absolutely. Ironic. Just Right and Patrick could save others from bad Star Wars movies, but not themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. Just a sip from Kylo and Rey allowed Palpatine to blast the fleet. Why didn't he just kidnap and drain all of the broom boys? <laughs> I don't know how it works. <laughs> he just seems... He just seems to be able to... Because that's the thing, right? He's like, because I drained the dyad, I get to be super powerful. It's like, could you just drain a thousand people? Would that give you... I don't know. Well, it even seemed like he couldn't drain anyone except if they were in a dyad, which is... It doesn't make sense. Like, I have what? a special power. I could drain force from people, but only if they're the dyad. Very specific. Um... I left the theater salon while uh, when pa Palps died to bash my head in the wall five times. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Owls for Wolf and prayers for Shad, weed for Mauler. Weed for Mauler? I'm alright, I'll take alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'll happily accept those prayers, though. Thank you, sir. Uh, Merry Xmas, EFAP. Can't listen to it in full because I leave for holiday in two hours, though instead I'll ask, have you seen The Fly 2? Um, no, I never actually saw The no. Fly 2. I haven't seen The Fly 2. Um, I always just knew that it wasn't a particularly great sequel. That's always what I understood about it, but I never actually watched it. Um, Fly 1, though. Good shit. Yeah. Is it possible we can make it canon that Rey Force drained the life out of Kylo with that kiss? Also, hi, Wags. Hello. Yes, she murdered him. <laughs> She's a killer. <laughs> she, she finished the job this time. Oh, Rey is so screwed up. Um, people clapping at the end of the movie. They claps mean nothing. I've seen what makes the boo. That is a reference to uh, uh, wait, Rick and Morty. Rick, Rick and Morty. Also, high no, wags. Clapping at the end. Hello. Willems is a hypocrite piece of shit. <laughs> well, yeah. oh yeah, he's really twisting in the wind, isn't he? He's not happy about everybody <laughs> holding his words to him. <laughs> like, Stop it! <laughs> I, I love how he said, "That's not what I said." Like, it, it, it's a photo of you holding a sign up that says that. <laughs> Hello there. Obviously, my... Russian hackers mm -hmm. doctored that image. Um, hello there, my first super chat. I am glad this bad trilogy ended so I can pretend it doesn't exist. Merry Donmus, you massives. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, this movie made me want to die, and I already knew, knew the leaks. Yeah, the leaks don't... Same. They can try and prepare you, but the leaks don't ultimately sort of take care of that aspect. You know, not always. Um, just watched it today. Uh, thought that the adverts for an Indian online casino website were very tastefully done. Not so much for the rest. Oh, you mean like all of the Star Wars related ones? Because that's the thing, right? We've all talked about how we, we experienced a lot of ads, but we all probably got different ones. Yeah, probably. Right. Um, it was crazy. I got a trailer for the Sonic it. in my one. Uh, Shad, have you seen the first battle in the new Witcher series? To me, it seems really bad. Oof, I'm not yet. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, exactly. Gosh, it's making me cross. nervous. <laughs> um, Ray's lightsaber equals yellow because she was taking the piss. Oh, we never mentioned. Yeah, Ray. Got herself a new lightsaber. It's yellow. Yeah, she just she built it. All oh, right. Got herself a crystal and built a one. Yeah, yeah it wasn't a big event for me. She's like, yeah, she's got a lightsaber. Now. I don't she know what the it. point yeah. was. Like, why even? Who cares? Well, that's part of technically it's supposed to be part of a Jedi's final training that they make their own lightsaber. No. Uh, she which, trained for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, she knows how to do that. <laughs> that's all you that's get, okay? She, she gathered the materials to make one and then had the knowledge. Do it. She bypassed the compressor and boom, lightsaber. <laughs> Easy peasy. I mean, it um, seems to become inherent with a Jedi because Luke was able to build one, and I don't know where he would have learned either. But 
They, they yeah. do that. They make, they make lightsabers. Comes with the force. Uh, Patrick obviously watched the movie wrong. <laughs> oh, it just... The, the, it feels so sweet, doesn't it? To just throw all the... Because this is the thing, people were saying that to him, but then with uh, Just Right, people were like, uh, you need to watch the movie through like the correct lens. You need to evolve as a critic. <laughs> like, yeah, how does it feel, buddy? <laughs> Um, Delicious. So I hear the leaks are uh, under ninety percent accurate. I w I think I said uh, sixty to seventy percent accurate. There's a, yeah. a lot of things that don't quite make it in, but there's loads of stuff that does. Oh yeah, man. Uh, but there were no pre-screenings of the movie, so they just can't. The leaks must be false because they couldn't have come from anywhere. It's, it's like there's no screens. To all the guests, Wolf, Rags, and Mongla, without your content, we'd, we'd all be poorer. In keeping with this time of year, here's some tokens for festive beer. Cheers and happy Christmas to all. Mm, okay. oh, and to you too, thank you. Uh, Palpatine's dead eyes mirrored my own as I watched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morley Utism, your reading quotes wrong. Oh, is that uh, maybe in relation to me reading out that, that paragraph? I don't know, maybe. Um... I, I only read what the screenshot had. Unless that's a reference to something I'm missing, which is probably the case. Hmm? It's alright. Um, Commander hi. Mauler, my time has come. Execute a EFAP 66. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! EFAP 66 was indeed executed. Do you know, originally I was going to put all the names of the guests in the title, and I could only fit like half. So I was like, well, hmm. I guess I'll just not have any. <laughs> <It's a little> <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> um... I watched Shad's review. Amazing. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. That made me angry doing that review and I came <laughs> through. <laughs> Sending this to show I was here for this momentous event. Hi, all. Hi, Rags. Hello. So glad to see this awesome group of people discussing ROS. Keep up the great work, guys. Yeah, we, we nailed yeah, it. We... It took seven hours, but we got there. We had a good bunch, yeah. It's kind of, it. I could totally see so many people being like, how the fuck did you say energized and talking about this for seven hours? And I'd just be like, I don't know. Because <laughs> our hatred makes us stronger. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> what exactly <clears throat> motivates Kylo to fix his mask? Those red lines across the mask were just ridiculous, but hey, I was told it looks cool. Shut up. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> At least uh, with um, his yeah. dark side, I don't know. Just... With, with, with TLJ, dark they kind side. of imply he's hiding behind it. And he has to take it off because it's a silly bass piece of shit. And TFA, it was like he's using it because he idolizes Vader. It's like, okay. But in this film, he's just like, well, it's my mask. I'm like, oh. That's me. It, it just, it screams me. Like, I think if you had asked him in universe as a character, he'd have been like, well, Ryan destroyed it. And so JJ wants me to repair it. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, my father was excited to take me to Star Wars for my birthday. Sadly, I had to burst his bubble and convince him to take me to Jumanji 2 instead. I've heard that's good, which is good news, because I liked the first one. It's not like I think it's a great yeah, film, but it, it made me laugh, so hopefully the next one's good what as well. time we're in. I know. Jumanji. Better <laughs> than Star Wars. <laughs> Uh, I'm very disappointed that my theory about Palpatine using the Death Star chunk to surf through the ocean didn't happen. Good day, my dear massives. He is it, Ocean Man. We don't know that it didn't happen. I think we can safely assume it did. I think that would have been the happiest moment in his life, surfing it through space and onto the waves. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell, made it to my first stream. I have to say, fuck you, Rags. Respond back to my messages. Our child has your nose and sunglasses. You can't escape your responsibility. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I'm shocked. I must say, I, I'm shocked. Um... Hello to everybody else. Here's to a good stream. Yes, mm, sir slash it was ma an Excellent stream. Yeah, it was a very good stream so far. Holes in management equals plot holes in entertainment. Who do you think sent that, right? Holes in met. Oh, I think I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, does it hurt? Objectively, this EFAP will be superior to the movie. Hi, rags. I think our EFAP was them. more accurate and consistent than the movie. So. I think so, yeah. yeah. I feel like I, I, I don't feel like I've been betrayed by myself in any way. Yeah, like who was the most inconsistent in the EFAP? Probably Jake, because he went to sleep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jay. Um, 
I ragtag the rad dad man. Or rad deadman. Mm. Dadman? Uh, Muller invite Jay, then kick Jay. Oh, we did. We did. <gasps> yeah, we did that. Yeah. He has been invited and kicked. Uh, this is my first EFAB live. I wish everyone a Merry Fatmas. May the memes be with you. Very Merry kind. Force, force teleportation is so fucking stupid it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree. That's a smart comment right there. I got excited <laughs> when Ray died and then she woke up. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Imagine being the director. You see everybody like celebrate when she dies. You're like, oh, jeez. Like, oh, what? Oh. 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 And then oh, just roll no. credit. <laughs> Cut, um, cut, cut. Yeah, cut, cut. That's the movie. <laughs> That's it. The they did it. And what's good crazy job, good job. is, uh, I don't know about his freedom in relation to Disney, but there's a good chance that could have <clears throat> been something he did. He, like, cuts the scene there, it fades to black as Kyla's holding her. And then, like, everyone's celebrating the victory across the universe, and they just have this unused shot of Kylo, like, looking forward, and then he's just looking at Luke's home or something like that. And then they credits. It's like, oh shit. Like, there's ways to make it happen, but we got what we got. Um, Skywalker. I'm gonna see Rise of Skywalker tomorrow. I'll watch this on Moolah later. Don't let your brains turn to goop analyzing it. No, we, we survived. We watched each other's back. We survived, uh, yeah. Nah, mine, mine has melted a long time ago. <laughs> TLJ prepared us for this. Um, this is awesome, in a way. I am 30 minutes from seeing the film, and then I'll have this EFAP to wash the taste out of my mouth afterwards. In the event I retain my sanity, that is. Wish me luck, Massives. I fear I will need it. Good luck. Oh, good luck, sir. Is this a 66 hours long EFAP? Also, hi, Wags. Hello! No, not 66 hour long EFAP, no. <laughs> schnicksy schnicks. Um... Do Tonal Patrick... Sorry? What are you even gonna do for EFAP 100? No idea, me and Rags will have to brainstorm 100, on that. 100 hour stream. 10,000 <laughs> hours. Streaming <clears throat> forever. One, one hour for every Star Destroyer. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't even know how many there were. There could have been loads more off screen. Uh, to Tonald, Patrick, Jenny, and Jack, without your CRP content, there would be no EFAP. In keeping with this time of year, here's some tokens for my Milky Rhino Tears. Bar humbug, you massives. Thank you very much. Uh, there comes a time in all forms of media consumption where you are so utterly bewildered by an event taking place that there are so many things wrong with it that you don't have the words and you simply laugh. That is from my first or second Game of Thrones video where the dragon gets shot in the neck. I was like, this doesn't make sense for about a million reasons. <laughs> we have to stop. Um, mm -hmm. I remember that. Also, I'm, I am getting the sleepies. I, I think I'm gonna poop out now. All right. Do you right. want to... Um, Wanna give a plug to your, I guess, Twitch channel in this case? I guess it is the Twitch, yes. Uh, I, I, I don't do the YouTubes yet. Yet. <laughs> Talk a bit yet. about that, Mel. What do you mean? I will. I <gasps> will. I'll get there. What do you mean, though? Uh, Bait them. Uh, but I'm trying. What you said, <gasps> interrupting me. Bait them. <laughs> uh, no, I'm working on the John Wick video still, obviously. Uh, been recording gonna take a little bit because i have no idea what i'm doing mostly i was trying to do my best uh but otherwise i'm pretty regularly streaming on the on the twitch the metal commander twitch yeah and yeah we drop in every once in a while though in the next few days yeah. it's gonna be unlikely because i'm just non-stop working on something <laughs> but uh yeah the, <laughs> we, we hang out there's there. a lot of deep a lot of deep lore on mm -hmm. that uh, Twitch channel. <laughs> some of the dranklages and some of the just yes. hanging outs in general, playing some Halo as you do. So, um, I check it probably out. even stream on the 24th. Oh, look at that Christmas Eve stream. <gasps> nothing else to do after I had all the eatings and <laughs> family stuff. No, he doesn't have a family. Oh, wait, okay, yeah. That's, that's oh. all good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, I told you that, like in secret, but. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> What is a secret <laughs> if not to be distrusted? That's that's what I've always lived by. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I, I, twice. You said it twice. You're right. Yeah. But uh, well, thanks for hanging out for eight and a half sure. hours. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. And, and more. And more exactly. Many more. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have fun with the chatted things of the supers? Yeah, it should go pretty well. Here you.
Bye. 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 Pleasure, sir. Toodaloo. And then there were four. And then only yeah. the true ones remained. Mm -hmm. The movie would have been ten times better if someone said, "Where are those droidica?" <laughs> Where are know. those droidicas? Where are those? Does, well, yeah, well, it's weird because some people call them destroyers, don't they? Well, the movie did have a do it in it, and so like that got Wait, me did a it? smile. Yeah, did. yeah, Palpatine. He was, he that's when Ray, uh, do he it. was telling Ray to kill him. Oh my god, I didn't even like... notice. Really? I, I I think I was too consumed by hate to enjoy the memes. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna enjoy that in HD eventually. <laughs> Snatch it out and be like, look, the let's compare the scenes. You see like the one from episode three, you're like, it's much stronger in meme value. Alright, we're looking at yeah, a man. seven point <laughs> eight seven six eight. And then over to Rise of Skywalker and we're looking at a, a much lower, a carbon copy like three. You know. Meme value's just not as strong. Uh, do, you, yeah, do you reckon there's any memeable things from this movie that could from any out? of the three of them? Fly now, what, what, are, what are the memes of TLJ? Um, Fly now, Babu Frick. Um, just you know, TLJ is two years old. So what what do, what do we meme about that film? What are the things that we kind of almost laughing, kind of with the film a little bit? Um, I don't know. I've I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> um. The Jedi are taking over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I I don't. Nothing. Comes the sacred to mind texts. For the, the sacred Jedi texts. The that's, sacred yeah. texts. That's one. Yeah, I've seen that memed a few times. The sacred texts. I'll give him that. That's one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, ben um, Swallow you just said was wrong. Ooh, Ben Swallow. You're right. That is one. Ben Swallow. All right, two memes. Oh, the milking scene. I suppose that counts. Yeah, I was, kind of thinking, I was kind of thinking of quotables. Oh well, I just mean memes in general, right? Like, yeah, save what you save what you love. Is that one? See, right. Memories? That's yeah, yeah. Saving what you love. <laughs> See, I don't. Think uh, sorry, we're... I'm just reading the chat right now. There, so this is not coming from my memory. It's all credit to the chat. Fire on that cruiser! Is that a meme? Every <laughs> everything you said chunk. was Star every word of what you just said is wrong. Yeah, that's one. I guess. I... Um, we have Leia Poppins. Leia, yeah. The, see, because these are slightly different with each one. Like some of them are just directly like making fun of the movie, while some are laughing kind of with the movie. Like I feel like Ben Swolo is kind of like laughing along with it while Leia Poppins yeah. is like trying to humiliate it. Yeah, it's very silly. Does it I mean, hurt? I don't know if does it hurt counts. <laughs> subverted expectations? Uh, is that, I, think I reckon that kind of comes that from that. That was more the Jedi, all the, uh, the essayists yeah. than the movie itself. They were the ones that ruined that. Even though I'm sure Ryan would have been like, I did subvert expectations. That's another one well, I'm looking forward JJ to peddling. Yeah, your expectations, exactly. Ryan. It's like you guys expected something from TLJ and you were subverted. That's the only thing you're complaining about. Yeah, you thought it was good, but it turned out to be bad. Yeah, there, there, there are good. some memes, but this one, yeah, Babu Frick. I hope he gets into memehood. Oh, uh, from uh, yeah, I am all the Jedi. I reckon that's gonna be memed, or I am all the Sith. Yeah, but what I found out about that light, I was just like, oh, <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> Um, at least for the most part, the prequels were intended to serve and further the story of the characters of the OT, like Anakin, Obi Wan, and Yoda. I don't think they pulled it off very well, but the intention was good. However, Disney Star Wars has done nothing but destroy the OT. Uh, yeah, I think it, the conversation is actually interesting. Like, how much damage was dealt to Anakin, Obi Wan, and Yoda, and how much do you think their histories were enriched by the prequels? You could sort of have a discussion. About all of that. However, with with the OT, like if someone says, "How much do you think Han Solo has been improved with the OT?" You'd be like, "Why would you even say that?" Oh no! Why? How dare you mention his name in mockery? Hello, all except Fringy. Oh my god, Mola! Oh, Die goodness. Hard is objectively a Christmas movie. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Chad, yeah, thoughts sure. on missiles that deploy swords? Oh yeah. Ooh. So hang on, where is this coming from first? Is there any um, Let me show you a picture. Else? Yeah, we, we talked about it. Um, let me show you a picture of it. 
Okay, if they were if they were being shot pummeled first, well, that's you know weapons of mass destruction right there. Yeah, blade so first. Here we here's a picture, but this is a real thing. <laughs> what? Now <laughs> what? Inert but lethal. Six planes to flip the last second. Basically, in order to cut down on collateral damage and uh, civilian casualties, instead of an explosive warhead, they have so six blades that stick out of it before it hits, so that it basically just really fucks up that one person a whole lot. <laughs> which, no kidding. Which is like, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that, that would do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, just well, you know, I, some I designer honest... was like, yeah, and six swords stick out of it, and everyone was like, it's fucking well, brilliant, Johnson. I am honestly a proponent of the theory that swords, adding swords to anything, improves it. So I give this a big thumbs up. <laughs> what about adding swords to yeah. swords? A double sword. Or new? It depends. It for... Like. So if if it if it's like a double bladed sword sticking like in Thanos? opposite directions, like Darth Maul, uh, that works. Thanos's one is more stupid because the blades are facing in the opposite directions, and Ray's one in her dark version is just retarded beyond belief. So it depends. But if there is no sword already, always adding a sword is an improvement. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. And uh, this ends with also hi fringy. So they said hi to everybody and ooh ooh rags. Ooh ooh. Probably won't see it in theaters, but eventually I will uh, want to watch episode 9 really drunk and just laugh at it. Is it worth the time for that or no? Probably. Uh, yeah, watch with a friend. Yeah, watch with a friend. Uh, who's kind of similar on that. Have, yeah. yeah, drink and be merry. Be merry, yeah. Don't be surprised if the pacing makes you dizzy and sick. Oh my god, Mary! We didn't talk about how Mary is in this film. Oh yeah, Dominic Monaghan's in I don't film. know why he's in it. <laughs> he's he just... is, I know. Yeah, that's right. He is in Mary's in it. Oh, oh yeah, from Lord yeah. of the Rings, Mary. He, uh, what? He's just like he's there. He's, he's doing nothing. He's, he's just he's, he makes comments about yeah. you know, dark force and cloning. It's just, that's, he's that's the, he's he the one who says, "Let's do some uh, holdo maneuvers." Yeah, holdo like, maneuvers. Why was he in the film? <laughs> you, like, is it one of those like? Daniel Craig cameos where he just loves it and wanted to be in it. I guess so, but but like it's more, it's just a bit more than a cameo, if you know what I mean. So it's like yeah. you wonder what was going on there. But all yeah, right. he's just like a he's a rebel. He's a pretty he's of, of all the rebels, just the rebel crew. He's fairly prominent as far as they are concerned. But I was like, yeah, it's Mary. Pippin Where's wasn't Pippin? there though. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pippin was he was. He, oh yeah, he was, I he guess played. John Williams had a cameo. Did you guys spot it? Uh, no, I don't know what John Williams looks like. He's an old man. Well, maybe um, I saw him. Let's see. John Williams cameo. Uh, let's take a look. John Williams cameo. Um, I'd like it if they showed me a picture. I, um, I think it was Kojimi, but they're walking through a bar, and he's like the bartender, and it gives him like a oh. full shot, and he's like, Urgh. Yeah, I, I I gotcha. Yeah, I I remember who you're talking about. Cause cause I noticed they focused on the bartender, and I'm like, is this like an homage to like the bartender, in like episode four or something? I couldn't quite put my finger on it, mm -hmm. but I knew there was a reason that he was. They focused on him, and I'm like, man, there's, surely there's a reason for that. Um, a bold decision to have a piss yellow lightsaber. <laughs> now, to be fair. Right, <laughs> I I think the yellow lightsaber looks cool. I think that's a fine lightsaber cut. When I played Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, my lightsaber was yellow. It's cool. It looks cool, and I ain't gonna apologize for it. It's fucking sweet. Going back to what I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I think there's a prejudice against the color red in the lightsaber Star Wars canon, mm -hmm. and I want to complain because red is awesome. I want a red lightsaber. Yeah, red's the color of communism, and yellow's the color of bananas. <laughs> Which means color, orange color, is, a, color, is like a banana that's orange. a communist. Orange. What about orange? Banana communist? No, communists don't have food. Oh. <laughs> what about a banana that's sentient who became a communist? Banana Frick? Yeah, that's him. Bababu Frick? But he's just not orange. He's kind of just like alien colored. 
He's oh, that's, me, ra- that's me... racist of me. I should have said that. Babu Frick. Let me get a picture of Babu Frick. He's he is um like a grayish tannish. What's this? Move out. O- Wait, move over, baby Yoda. Babu Frick is the new cutie of the Star Wars. Tri- no, Fuck off! He's no, 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 that's, hey, no that's chance. That's not that even doesn't close. Doesn't even hold a candle to it. I oh my know. goodness! The, the appeal of Babu Frick isn't about cuteness. It's more like like weird with a strange voice. Like, oh, like y'all look at that tiny person. Bull fucking shit! Trying to be cuter than Baby Yoda. That's tough. That's pretty tough. Bobby Frick is not going to be the contender. <laughs> uh, how do y'all feel about Disney and Lucasfilm spitting in George's general direction uh, with discarding his outlines and basically flushing his creation? I'll say that they're well, certainly behaving in character. And it says uh, a lot that he didn't go to the premiere either. He wasn't invited or he just didn't go. Yeah. And a... both says volumes. Yeah. I would say, for those of you in the chat, I was reading that as an article on twinfinite.net so that's bullshit go over there leave an angry comment i don't know if i could do that no don't do that i meant that ironically hang on what don't actually in a video game okay uh happy holidays and all that folks glad to finally see the fall of disney star wars rags if we do manage to schedule your time in my star wars rpg what kind of character would you fancy playing uh babu frick I would have very, very low strength and wisdom, but I would have extremely high dexterity and intelligence. With um, I'd be very, very good at mechanics and engineering, but I would have like no combat capabilities whatsoever. I'd be a pure utility character, and I would go, hey! <laughs> there you go. Is that your mating call, or is that just a general sort of hello? No, that's that's the mating call. Mm-hmm. Whenever whenever they hear that, whenever they whenever I walk into the the cantina, and I go, "Hey!" You can just hear the panties hitting the. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, those feels for cancer patients who saw it early. Yeah, oh I mean, God, I know, right? I they mean, have to I, go. Th- they have to have two deaths now. It's cool that they do that for those people, but holy shit, I wonder if any of them were like, "That was terrible." I know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh man, it's a shame I, I hung on this enough. Um, I miss the prequels, they're underrated good rat. It's because of the sequels that everyone is re- re-looking, and people have this theory that once the sequel sequels come out, that we will re-look at the sequels and be like, you know what? They're still the, the shit. The sequels, the, the sequels, the sequel sequels. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Uh, this one I just says, these... ooh ooh. Ooh ooh. Is Mola just going to beat this dead space horse this entire stream? I mean, it, it's not, it just came out. <laughs> it's, it's not, not dead yet. It's going to be it's dead, but not dead yet. Yeah. Also, Palpatine. Dead space horse is going to be whooped. Oh, I thought he meant <laughs> dead space horse. And I'm like, dead space didn't have, what? And oh, I was right, like, oh, yeah. dead space horse. Oh. Like, not dead space horse. <laughs> um, so the, this says, also, Palpatine forced himself into Shmi. Hashtag Shmi too. Shmi too. <laughs> <laughs> that has some very Hashtag deep implications. Shmi. It's true. There's like Palpatine. Hmm. Palpatism. Uh, lastly, high regs. Hello. I'm just upset that the Akbar still out there theory didn't pan out. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Let's not forget they flushed him out the window in the. Uh, TLJ, that was fun. They replaced it with like a purple head homeless lady for reasons. I'm just a, 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 a sequel trilogy is the J of the Star Wars films. Hi, Rags, Oo-Woos. Hello. Oo-Woos to you, Oo's. Hey guys, haven't seen the movie? Quick question Do they use Y Wings? Uh, yes, yes, to great effect. It takes a Y Wing merely seconds. On its own to destroy an entire Star Destroyer. The Chad Y Wing versus the Virgin TLJ Bomber. <laughs> it's a space fortress or something. Which they were in the shot. People have uh, seen it. Like it's it's a part of the enormous amount of ships. But obviously, we all know that the Y Wing is way better. 
is, I mean, is I would decision. say it beats walking, but if you're going into battle with that, maybe it's best <laughs> that you're just not there. Does it beat walking? It's probably pretty slow. <laughs> like, I could just yeah. get out. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I could see it on the surface, like, taking off, and there's just a guy walking past it as it's moving. <laughs> Uh, by the way, typo on my last stream, Ray R34 is not half bad. Oh, oh, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, sure, yeah. She's um, not ugly. We need a Rogue Squadron movie with Wedge Antilles. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Just, you know what? Why not? Do everything. Because yeah, go for it. Just I think did you guys notice now. Wedge? I that did, Wedge yeah. was in the movie? Yep. He was like, good shooting or flying Lando, and I was like, oh, are yeah. they going to show him more than the ones? And I was like, no. No, he was on the gun on the Millennium Falcon, I think. Was he? he was I thought he was in his own ship. Yeah, I think he, no, I think he was manning the gun turret. Hmm. Uh, sure. Shad loved your review. Thank you, I appreciate it. Drinker loved part one of your review, looking forward to the rest. Also looking forward to the rest of your reviews eviscerating this Disney hate fiction sequel. Hate fiction, eh? How about that? Uh, the only good parts are that Force Storm is now canon. Ahsoka talked, and C-3PO went from being a cameo to giving one-liners. I disagree with that. It's not canon. Don't even say... Don't even <laughs> joke about that. And most people find the fact that Ahsoka talked to be a very bad thing. Because it confirms that she's dead. Well, I, I mean, that... I, I feel like... You can't really get around that. She would have to be. You'd think, unless well, you, know, you can unless you can make something up. Darth Vader, when in the showdown in Darth Vader between him and Ahsoka in Rebels, he couldn't kill her, and he knocked her out and put her in carbonite or something, and she's been frozen the entire time. It's yeah, like it could be captured or secluded. There's a lot of different sort of things they could do, but. I think it's just there's something to the idea that like being told someone's dead without having been. It, it, you know, consume the content in which they had died. You're just like, wow, okay. Like it, it obviously felt bad for those fans. Um, yeah, you'd want to know how at least, mm -hmm. like somewhere. But uh, that would have been kind of cool if Darth Vader did just, you know, spare her life but keep her trapped away, because she is a pretty, you know, cool character. I have plans for that. you. And then he died before he could do his plans. Well, he might want another Medichlorine baby, so. Yeah, uh, not my, another one. That sorry, because it would be his first one. Family. My penis has fourth degree burns. Was the Han Solo scene new or old footage from TFA scene? I hear the dialogue was very similar. Also, hi Jay. I think it was new. Uh, that would be my guess. I don't know for sure, but he looked a little different from how he looked yeah, in TFA. I don't know. Did he? He did, he did look different. He did, he his, did look different, hair, and it made me like, wonder if he was computer model. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know, how how would we be able to prove it? We'd need Harrison Ford's, like, I guess, uh, him saying that he was in it, I guess. Disney's not gonna let him say otherwise. Yeah, he, um, um, I can't know for sure. He was making that movie with that CGI dog, and he was like, maybe I want to be CGI. M maybe I shouldn't have left Star Wars. <laughs> like, maybe the CGI, uh, the trailer for that film looked weird. Say the that that was one of the trailers for seeing uh, Rise of Skywalker, and I was like, "What the hell?" It's like, "What the fuck is this?" I was like, "Oh man, oh my god!" Uh, the most shocking part of Rise of Skywalker was when Rey finally closed her mouth for one minute. Anyway, have a merry Jebmus. P.S. High wags. Hello. And she did. Yes, yes, she has been known to do it every once in a while. Um, pretty neat. Uh, so did C-3PO say the N-word? He didn't. He did not. Nope. He, he did, but it was in Sith. So only the uh, only the OG in words could understand him. It was a hate crime by the Galactic Senate. Remember when um uh Anthony Daniels sort of came out and said he would have liked it if like the OT characters were given more like time or whatever and he got like blasted by the the crazy yeah. fans again Man, um these people are crazy it's funny because imagine being him you're like recording for this next new film the end of the skywalker saga you don't you still don't share a scene with luke or han or leia uh everyone's dead Chewbacca. yeah you got, you got chewbacca right yeah i mean you don't remember him for half the film but he's there it's just it's kind of crazy it's just like yeah no wonder he felt 
pretty late yeah, about it. All of these characters are in these movies. They spend basically no time together. But they're all here alone as individuals, not together. And I'm like, oh. Damn. Uh, the Dagger of Mortism. Oh yeah, because it was called Mortis, right? And Mortis. That could have been interesting. A dagger is so bloody story. stupid. I can't stand I know, it. Right? No, I know, but like, if there was a different plotline entirely, and it involved some, you know, broken Sith ancient dagger called the Dagger of Mortis, maybe that could have worked. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe if but... it looked like a dagger. Oh yeah, it, you, you could know, have a dagger of a... some significance, as long as it wasn't had this stupid, you know, location that's supposed to be secret written on it, and it wasn't like this rule that <laughs> it's supposed to point to. Gosh. You know, like those Cleon daggers? Like, those look intimidating. Um, hey, Mola, when can we expect your unbridled rage, 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 rage for Rise of Skywalker? Uh, I would say at a push, a week's time, it's going to be a long one, so it means I've got a lot of editing to do, and I think if I was like non-stop doing editing, I might be able to do it in that amount of time, but yeah, um, I got another draft to do, hopefully tomorrow, today, in my time, um, and then I'll be recording, and then it's just editing, 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 which, you know, it takes time. I, there's no way it's going to come out for Christmas, uh, hopefully the New Year, maybe New Year's Day, that could be cool. Um, that'll be that. Uh, I'm excited to get it out, it's going to be fun. Um... EFAP is great and all, but it doesn't compare to your exquisite unbridled rages. Don't worry, it's on the way. Um, hi, Mola. Hello. Hi, Rags. Hello! To quote Luke, what a piece of junk. Was it me, or was it the very last scene edited very badly? The worst part about the movie was how hollow it felt and nothing felt earned. Oh, completely agreed. Nothing was earned. Oh, yeah, it was all payoff, no build-up. It was all just... It, it was just... Just... It's like being max level in a game right from the get-go, and there was no journey to earn it, and you don't know what it's like to be weak, and there's no weight to it. You, there's no perspective on how far you've come. Nope. Um, release the Lucas Cut seems a lot more appealing than release the Snyder Cut, so without further ado, release the Lucas Cut. Um, I'd be interested to know what Lucas tried to do with it. I don't know how... It's salvageable, yeah. though. Like, I don't know what you would have to work with that would have been, you know, workable. Seems like it would be a disaster See, no matter what. Yeah, out of any of the rumors, that one is the one that seems the most thin about George Lucas making a whole cut and that they filmed all new footage to make for it. That one, I don't know. I, I, like, if it exists, great. I just need to see it to believe it for that one. Um, I mean, I'm sure a metric fuck ton of people didn't go see the film, so those who saw it may have just been predisposed to liking it. Probably not, though. That's the thing. There are a couple of explanations for that Rotten Tomatoes score. It's just not what I expected, and I just keep coming back to that, I guess. Seeing it, I'm just like, how? It's, uh, it's fine. Um, hello, guys. If you're into wrestling, see if you get this. Star Wars before Disney was Attitude Era WWF. Star Wars is now WWE today. Uh, Metal Commander is a big fan of wrestling. He could have answered that for us. Well, I actually used to watch WWF back in the day when it was WWF mm -hmm. uh, a little bit as a, you know as a teenager, and so I I do kind of get it. I don't I haven't seen too much of WWE, so only a little bit do I get that reference. But still, Whee! Get some. <laughs> uh, why are you doing this when it's too early in the day to drink? Well, theoretically, it would have become you know later. So <laughs> I wonder if John Cena had a cameo. An episode. I hope he did. I hope so too. Then there should be something good about this. How can TLJ defenders say it would be boring to have an OP Luke, yet they make Ray the same thing? Also strange that this is now the Palpatine saga. Yes, it is strange. And I guess they don't see Ray as OP for some reason. What what is the <laughs> general opinion on that from TLJ sort of fans? Do they think she's OP? I think this they... movie has convinced them that she is. You'd hope so, because it's off the scale. Uh, God, I'd rather staple my dick to a ceiling fan and self-administer a sulfuric acid enema than watch that autistic uh, fuckfest again. Whoever made it needs to have their kneecaps ground to dust. Hashtag Legion Jesus of Ra. That's Christ. aggressive. Oh, yeah, I, that's, that's what I thought. I... That's graphic. Yep. 
I don't know if I'd go that far. Bit I'd extreme, I'm saying. Yeah, look after I'll yourself. Someone... You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> There's no coming but... back. <laughs> Some hot guy slapped my ass, but I wouldn't go much further than that. Uh, Ray didn't need to start out on her Todd on her own, or on... it says Tio Todd on her. Oh, she should have been a child Todd. of two or more senior Jedi in Luke's New Jedi Order and not OP as hell. That would have been an idea. Then they would have had a history with Kylo. There's so many options they could have taken. So, yeah. uh, Whatever you're thinking in your head right now, it's better than what we got. Yes, yes, Maul, I've been waiting for this. Hi all, tear this shit show apart and buy Above the Storm on Amazon. Great fantasy with no Mary Sues. I have not heard of it, but fair enough. Critics gave it a bad review because it doesn't pander to alt-left stuff. Also, rags. Yes. Poop with your door open. We're watching. Never. No one watches me as I poop. <laughs> Never. Pooping is something I do in private. Uh, the entire cinema laughed when Ben died after the kiss. Also, the Knights of Ren are like the Spanish Inquisition. Something happens, camera pans, and they just appear out of thin air. It's a joke. They're, yeah, man, the Knights of Ren were fucking lame. Again, they're another element of like, why were you in this film? Go away. And they were an invention of JJ. You'd think you would have treated him with a bit more, you know, umph. Yeah, give him more purpose. Like, why do they even exist? Yeah, they, there was so much wandering, and the only thing that they eventually did was just beat Kylo's ass. Apparently, Honor Todd means on her own. I've uh, never heard that before. And they said, on Muller, are you British or not? I've lived in Britain my whole life. I've never heard the expression on her Todd. On her Todd? No, I've never heard that. I know I've... a lot of people that try to emulate like British lexicon and everything, but I've never heard that. Before. On her Todd. On her Todd. On her Todd. This is one of the best known examples of Cockney rhyming slang. It means on your own. All right. Yeah, I've on never heard of that toad. one. On your toad. On your toad. Uh, to add to your point about Luke's Jedi Order, Shad, the, his order was something Anakin himself would have been proud of. There you go. Um, game time started. Been here before Rag sent a chat to himself, and I was still there when we watered our jabs. Let this be the time we can all say, <laughs> episode 66, we were there. We were, we were indeed. There. Uh, would you rather have cat girls who have human ears and cat ears, or just cat ears? I wags. Just cat, just cat ears. I feel like the redundancy would be really off-putting. Yeah. Why would you want two types of ears? Yeah, man. I just, just the cat ears would be perfectly fine. They're soft. You know, you know the phrase "velvety soft like a puppy dog's ear." It'd be like that. Just a cat on a, you know. Dainty ass. Never heard yeah. that saying. Yeah. Well, we, there you we go. Americans. Maybe oh, I just made that up on the spot, and I'm pretending I heard it from somewhere else. But <laughs> um, execute EFAP sixty six. Save for bits and pieces. I refuse to accept Disney's canon. The Thrawn trilogy, TFU, and the rest of the EU is true canon. I mean, I'm sure it's better. So yeah. <laughs> Could it at really be point, worse? Yeah, at this point, I'm just legit. I'm like, fuck this sequel trilogy. Just don't think about it. It's not real. It's not real. Episode 6 was the last. Uh, if they made a reboot of Star Wars, the obvious choice for a recast would be a black Jewish woman. Uh, for who? Luke? Yeah, that's what I was about <laughs> to Luke. say. For Luke. I, I guess it makes sense. Darth Vader is played by Medea. Mm-hmm. Personally, I would have loved it if the new trilogy had the galaxy split in two, the Republic and the Empire, each ruling their halves of the galaxy in peace and the First Order coming in as a third faction. Uh, that's a theory, that's, a, that's an idea, you know? Like, the, the idea At least of... that would have been world building, it would have showed that Republic, the Republic had some kind of control over something. Well, you wouldn't need to call them Republic and Empire, but the idea that after the Empire's defeated, the galaxy splits into like two significant portions in terms of like... Yeah. Oh, that could be pretty cool. It's so depressing how the Republic was just a non-existent thing in this sequel series. No, yeah. Yeah, they inhabited a bunch of planets that all got invisible. That, that was all, <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're dead, they're gone. They're nothing now. Yeah, all five of those planets—they're just gone forever. They're just destroyed. Now, I'm assuming... You can't use them anymore. 
Yeah, I'm assuming one of them was Coruscant. It would have to be. And so... No, that was uh, different. A lot of people think that, but it wasn't Coruscant. Yeah, apparently, like, whatever Coruscant. visual dictionaries do confirm it's not Coruscant. It's, um... Okay. Speaking it has... of which, during that whole movie, I couldn't help but wonder, I wonder what's going on in Coruscant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well... I wonder, wonder what's happening there. I wonder what people think about we, all we this. Don't, we don't get to know what happens there. Uh, I wonder how people feel about these things that we're watching. Um, execute EFAP 66. Rise of Skywalker was better than Game of Thrones Season 8. Um, yes. Because hmm. Game of Thrones Season 8 annihilated really that. all of the main characters. Rise of Skywalker didn't do much with many of the characters, to be honest. Yeah, it didn't kill C-3PO. Yeah, it did a good job with him, honestly. And this is the thing. What character was well served by season 8 of Game of Thrones? It's like, not really anybody. Um, Rise of Skywalker doesn't even look like or feel like a JJ film. I'm gonna, gonna give a hard disagree on that one. I did sort yeah. of... I noticed a lot of uh, lens flaring. I, I felt like all the visuals were very sort of... his sort of thing. And then the feel, like... The constant mysteriousness, the the MacGuffininess, the, the it just I don't know. I felt like I was watching mystery a JJ box film. behind a mystery Com box. Complete Sith incapability Land. of telling a story. <laughs> yeah, and like Sith Land, the, all that lightning, it was Sith actually Land. really hurting my eyes. Like yeah, yeah man, it was. With all the light. I said on the, the other stream at first, the idea that you have different sources of light that are changing and making Emperor Palpatine look kind of like it's hard to like make him out consistently. The first few seconds, I thought that was kind of a cool idea, and then it got old super quick, and I was like, I can't fucking focus. Like, this is getting really annoying. Um, I guess if they just showed him less, I probably would have been more okay with it, but yeah, it's so flickery. And, uh, I didn't get one in my cinema, but apparently there was, uh, epilepsy warnings. So... I didn't get a warning, <laughs> but it was, it was hard on the eyes. So, let me say this, um, I accidentally bought a ticket for a 3D showing oh no. um yeah i know right I, I i went to i gave the guy my ticket and then he handed me my glasses and i'm like wait what this is in 3d and he's like yep <laughs> and so i said fuck <laughs> so i watched it all in 3d it added absolutely oh. nothing to the experience because it's a 3d movie it was fine it was like fine it, it was i, I would have preferred it normal but it wasn't you know terrible but man those flashes something about them just the depth that they had is some of them were just ooh, it was rough not a fan of 3D movies. Would avoid. I. I can't stand 3D movies. That's just With the exception of when I saw Dread, the new Dread movie, the newish one in 3D, and it actually worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. But that's like the exception, not the rule. So, um, yeah. The Jeb Speak. You are writing new Star Wars movies. The sequels are still canon. How do you fix the Force Ghost problem? Uh, I would, um, it, it takes would... place a thousand years in the future and everyone forgets how they did it. I mean, I would yeah, have to try and make the idea that the island was special and they could only do it on the island. I think um, that's the other solution, yeah. That. Yeah, that's not a not a terrible idea. There we go. Two solutions and both accounting right. for different timelines. Uh, oh dear lord, it was as bad as the leaks foretold. Rip Star Wars. Maybe you'll be better in the next go-around. Oh, I like how lord. that's our attitude with all the new reboots were like, well, better luck next time. <laughs> like every time. Um, why always when I'm working long, man? Why? Isn't that... Well, theoretically, that could end up being better if we can keep you company. But um, also, with how long the streams go, unless you've got a bigger than nearly 12-hour shift, you should be able to catch uh, a portion of it at a certain point. Um... Uh, six of the Jedi at the end who talked never appeared in a movie. Why would JJ give Adi Gali or Gali, uh, Ezra and Kanan or Canon more dialogue than Anakin? No idea. Probably trying. That might have been mandated for all we know to try and boost those um, those sort of shows in a way. If that makes sense. Um, try and include more because the whole you know like the whole I I really feel like Endgame kind of got ripped off. You know, like the whole everybody's coming to, to win the day. All the characters yeah. we know from all these different areas. Like, oh, look, so, yo, so, so great. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're there. So, um, yeah, it sort of assists that way. Uh, because of Disney, there will now be uh, Palpatine porn. All right. 
porn patine. Oh, man. Help the porn. <laughs> Episode 9 gave me the tism tremors. I'll need several dosages of rhino milk and an extra long fap to cure them. The tism. Well, see, this is the problem now. So, 11.55, is that normal or is that long for EFAP? 11.55? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Is 11 hours and 55 minutes normal for EFAP? That is the question. I don't know. The average human is dead, so who knows what the average EFAP is. That's true. That's true. Rag spitting truth. Uh, the thing he's attached to looks like what Dragon Megatron is attached to in Beast Machines. I like the comparison to GLaDOS. I think that's funny. Yeah. it. I will say this. It did look creepy. Certainly he had the creep factor going for it, that strange mechanical arm attached mm -hmm. to who knows what up top holding him in place. Extremely impractical, makes no sense, but it looked creepy, so. Uh, Pima Kick J for uttering the words immigrant song, you know, the song from Thor Ragnarok. I know, he's young, he doesn't, he doesn't understand the world, right? And he has been kicked, so it's all good. Uh, spends decades lying in wait patiently building a massive secret military somehow and at the last minute transmits this info to the galaxy without any defenses in place. Palpatine was the spy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anybody see I Hate Everything's Episode 9 review? He sounded like a defe defeated loser having to cope with the fact his precious baby sucks now. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, he, I have. He, he spoke to me about how like his, his perception on TLJ has definitely changed from when he first saw it and that... Uh, this one was bad. You know, and good on him for kind of reassessing his views on it. Mm -hmm. Snoke slash Palpatine killed off the Kaminoans, so shitty clones. Oh, of course, they killed the clone makers, and so they're making shitty clones. They yeah, if only they had the Kaminoans around, then, man, he would have had some fucking bang-ass clones. Mm-hmm. I feel the need to say Force Heal eliminates the entire reason Anakin has to turn to the dark side for Padme. The entire story's reason is gone. Pretty much. I mean, if it could heal a deadly lightsaber stab right through the chest, then sure, it could probably mend a uterus. Surprised you referenced that instead of bringing somebody back to life. <laughs> so, oh, okay. well. That, um, that's just what came to mind. Yeah. It was more graphic, I guess. Uh, Ray, I don't think anyone knows who I am. Me. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> I loved it when Kylo was about to ram Ray with his ship and she just stood there for ages. And when he pounded her into the ground on the Death Star wreckage and she saved his life anyway, I was reminded of all the times in college where I'd verbally abuse girls or shove them into walls if they pissed me off only for them to lovingly defend me afterwards around all of their yeah. friends. Based. Some chicks are crazy, man. And she certainly was in that moment. Yeah, uh, Ray seems to be one you know, of them. Kylo's getting some mixed signals. He was like, whoa, you killed me, but then you're like, <laughs> healing me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. I am inevitable. I am Iron Man. I am all the Sith. I am all the Jedi. Coincidence? I know. Uh, oh, and now my number seven film, Gone Girl. Thoughts? Also high rags. Hello! I, I like Gone Girls. Good shit. Um, I don't know... I, I don't think I've actually spoken to anybody about whether or not... Any of you guys seen Gone Girl? I have not. I have not. Oh, no. there you go. Damn. I'll have to see what chat thinks of Gone Girl. Review away, folks. TLJ is an absolute mess I cannot defend. That's from I Hate Every uh, Everything. Yeah, his mind's definitely changed on it. Uh, bruh, Palpatine... Is that, that actually from him? I mean, it's, it's quoted. I, I'd have to watch his video. I watched half of his okay. video. I can't remember if he had said that already at that point. Um... Bruh, Palpatine announced his return in Fortnite instead of the film, lol. I'm a Zuma, but sheesh, that's two films Fortnite's ruined this year. It's weird. <laughs> I wish Fortnite would get out of movies. <laughs> like, yeah, I can't believe that we had to kind of begin a lot of this conversation with the fact that Fortnite was a relevant topic we had to discuss <laughs> for this Rise of Skywalker review. That's where we're at. <laughs> we did Woo. it. Yay. Uh, and he left flying cars. Oh. Palpatine got hit with his own lightning three times. I would have stopped personally. Three times? But, we know. got. Oh, of course. When you fought Yoda, I guess Yoda would have blasted it back at him. Yeah. Is that the three times? Uh. Or was, oh. 
when Veda picks him up, does that count? Yeah, I would say so, because then he's kind of roasting himself as he's about to fall. <laughs> Every time I think of that scene, I think of the... Ah, and he falls down and then... What I'm like, and he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I've been temporarily inconvenient. Like, all that sound, the soundtrack, it finally calms down. Vader's looking down the hole, you see it. Ow. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> like, calls an elevator from down there. It's like, ding. <laughs> it's like, I'm coming <laughs> off you ass. Uh, did the new Sith troopers ever show up? They did, but I, th there was no reason why they wouldn't be normal troopers. I don't know why yeah, there was... There was could it be toys? Equivalent, could it be toys? to stormtroopers. It was, yeah, they didn't do actually. anything, yeah. Like, they didn't do anything that we hadn't seen, you know, whatever. Yeah, they just there to shoot <sighs> at people and miss and then get killed. Now, the best part about Palpatine's announcement is that the announcement to the galaxy actually happened in Fortnite. Look it up. Yeah. I yep, liked when Palpatine really. raised all the Star Destroyers, all those massive roofs, all the impending planetary genocides. I felt like a kid on Christmas. Okay. I'm glad you got something out of it, man. Most yeah. people were just upset. Uh, holy balls. Over 8,300 people watching. Good job, guys. Jesus Christ's testicles. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, if you've seen them. I, I find that blasphemous. <laughs> Do not just, talk about his testicles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm at work currently, but I can't wait to listen to this all the way through. Been waiting for this all year. Love you guys. Drink your rhino milk <sighs> and obey the spider's visions. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Merry Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed Merry Star Christmas. Wars. Merry Stone. Merry Star Wars. Happy Life Day. Star Wars is <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, Agent 47 with his address on his pistols. Yeah. There's so many comparisons you can make. Like, yeah, basically. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, that's kind of, uh, just, yeah, uh, that's what we're... Like, and I know this applies to a lot of movies, but just every step of the way with JJ, he says, like, this is what's gonna happen, this is this, he's like, this, he has the MacGuffin fucking thing on the knife. You'd be like, why? Why? <laughs> you know, that's really dumb, JJ. You, you don't have to. <laughs> the movie's not out. We can write this out easily without We've any problem. We've got time, buddy. We've got time. I know, this is the way it's gotta be. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Uh, why is killing right. Palpatine in hate worse than killing billions of stormtroopers? Oh, Because in, in... they did those with a smile on their face. I guess one protects the universe while the other one is like a more of a personal thing. Like he wants to kill Palpatine for his own personal gain. And you might be like, well, wouldn't killing Palpatine save the galaxy? It's like, well, it depends on what your motivation to do it is. And that was kind of what he was wrestling with. In episode six, it's like, uh, obviously Anakin kills Palpatine to save his son. So it's like, it, you know, he kind of like defends what he loves instead of attacking what he hates. You, you know what I mean? Start, start, start <laughs> like sometimes it could be good to kill evil, horrible people who want to destroy planets. Maybe that's not so <laughs> bad. Maybe if you do you that, know, you're not really a bad person. Like as he throws the upper dab, also Rose. Not bad? I would say hating a genocidal tyrant isn't a bad thing. I'd yeah. say that type you're of hate. Right. Wow, that's like well your opinion, well bro. Yeah, you're okay. You're all right. You um, did good. But yeah, I was just gonna say, like, Rose would have disproved of what Vader did. She'd have been like, hey, man, put him down. That is disgusting. Stop <laughs> hate killing what you hate. And Palpatine's like, thank you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I told them all the time. They don't listen to me. <laughs> People never ask how's Palpatine. Mm-hmm. The super duper star destroyers are from a space wizard intended for slave children. Sheev Willems. I, you know what? If you could, if I could get the take from any one of the video essays, it probably would have been him uh, about this film, knowing that they all were gonna hate it. All the people who liked TLJ, it would have been him because uh, I just like I want to see how he would structure his video while avoiding falling into the trap of being too emotional about it because he's not allowed to be from his own metric. So. How would he do it? How would he avoid all the lad bides? And, uh, and what would he criticize? Because remember, he's not allowed to touch inconsistencies because that's not relevant. It's You have to go after... What was his thing? Do you remember Rags? This is like EFAP 3 I'm going back to. He said, like, yeah. valid criticisms when you talk about, I think, character motivations, I think, was one of them. Uh, I can't remember. It's been, a, it's been a while. I can't quite remember. It has been a while. <laughs> 
Uh, he said some dumb shit. He did. You're right. Um, Palpatine, kill me and I will win. Ray, no, I won't. Two minutes later, Ray, gra, kills him. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't we ever talk about, well, like, doesn't his spirit... Like he, she killed him. So his—that's what he wanted, right? Well, this. Yeah. So this was what I was thinking about. Did they have her die in order to argue that his spirit couldn't get into her body? But that doesn't make sense, right? Because you can inhabit well, like zombie him. bodies. Yeah, she's alive. Yeah. Well, I think that's why the lightning—they had to make the lightning shoot himself and reflect it into his face. So he it killed matter. him. Oh. The, the whole point is that he was inhabiting a zombie body, right? That was the whole thing? So it, the, the state of the body isn't necessarily relevant compared to his spirit doing his floatytisms and running around. Yeah. So I don't... And this is the thing. You cannot establish to us directly that if she kills him, he goes into her. You're like, oh, wow, okay. Mechanically, I understand the rules. And then she kills him and he doesn't. <laughs> You're like, okay. Hmm. All right. Like, I know it would have been really goofy, but to really nail it, you would have had to have had his spirit come out of his body and go for her, then she directs the lightning at the spirit, and the spirit goes, Bawr! and explodes. <laughs> like, well, the defenders will say, no, it ha she had to have killed him during that ritual, and if it's not done during a ritual, uh, he can't inhabit it. That will be what people will say. What ritual? Yeah, or he killed himself, right, he, so he, it doesn't He starts count. a ritual, it's like, she takes the lightsaber in anger, she will raise her to That's a ritual? He's just saying and stuff. I don't that's, that's what a ritual all is. Theatrics. But that's but, what people will say. But, I reckon. That's what a ritual is, but, Miller. It's just but, people saying stuff. Oh, that sounds like the big gay. Uh, TROS is better than TLJ only because it lacks pretentiousness. TLJ thinks it's smarter than you. TROS goes out of its way to prove it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, one way to look at it. That is one way. Uh, did anyone notice the memory of Han accidentally moved Kylo's hair when he touched his face? It was a fizz. Yeah, he touched his face. I mean, his hand was on his well, face. That would certainly go into the category of arguments that support the idea that he's not uh, strictly a, um, a a memory, but that's probably an accident. I don't fucking know. It's kind of confusing. I'm pretty sure, that's a mistake. Like, well, I mean, even if there was no hair move, you could argue that when he touched the cheek, the cheek was actually yeah. compressed by the pressure. And so, yeah. Excellent. Uh, did oh, anyone else weird. think that the knife looked like a rampant rabbit? A I rampant rabbit? Crap. No. What? I just thought it looked crap. No. It looked stupid. Rabbit, it, does, yeah. it didn't look sharp. It didn't look deadly. It looked... Silly. When the ruler part came out of it, it looked even cooler, right, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to measure like, up the stab. Like um, laugh my ass off. Palpatine fried the entire resistance fleet but couldn't fry two lightsaber hilts. What a bitch. <laughs> exactly. Know, right? That yeah. was my point. <laughs> uh, Ray commits identity fraud. Changed my mind. Nope. <laughs> I'm not changing my mind on that one. Accurate. Imagine how awkward that would be if one, like, she's taken the name of one of the most famous heroes in the universe, and they're like, you're, a, you're his, like, daughter? And she's like, no. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, well, with who? Yeah. Who's the parents? It's like, um, uh, you know. Um, Mara Jade? Oh. <laughs> that one's not going to say That's not going to upset anyone. Kylo, my knights and I are going hunting. Me. These wounds will not heal. Oh, that's uh, that's Lincoln Park again. <laughs> um, I had to go out of my way en route to the cinema to find a bottle of Johnny Walker and a flask in which to sneak it into the theater, but I'm so glad I made the extra effort. Last time I felt this one out of... Oh, last time I felt this was uh, when I drove an hour to see the Irishman. Best part was around the start of the final battle. All the coke in our cups was gone and only scotch was left. I was laser-focused on a tiny rectangular portion in the corner of the IMAX screen directly in front of me and I couldn't tell jack shit about what was happening on the rest of the screen because I couldn't be bothered to turn my head. I hadn't slept, I was drunk, I kept booing and bursting into laughter and I was making silly faces too so I probably looked like a cross between Jack Nicholson and The Shining and Jack Nicholson and Departed. Um, and Leo in the lewd scene in Wolf of Wall Street. At one point I yelled what the fuck and some little shit went language would have started a fight but thankfully more stupid shit happened that distracted me. All right. 
Was that with the Irish or with Mark. Star Wars? Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, all right. Uh, it sounds like he had a fun drink adventure. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat in terms of enjoying yeah, these movies, it can be tough. I know. Yeah, um, go for it. Whatever gets you through the Star Wars movie these days, you know. Uh, Rebels talks about Korriban. It's in canon. This is different planet. Oh, I think most people know it's a different planet. It's just disappointing that it's a different planet, I think. It seems to be that people, like, wanted it to be Korriban. But maybe they would have ruined it, so... I don't know. Ancient Sith planet know. that isn't the other ancient Sith planet. You know how it be. Mm-hmm. Too many hows. How did the dagger know where to point to find second MacGuffin on a 40-ish year old destroyed space station? Well, so yeah, that, my assumption that is that the sense. dagger was created after they discovered the ruins, right? Like we 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 would agree on that. I'm yeah, guessing. like because the, the shape of the the fucking shape like, of the dagger was the stupid. There's shape no way the, JJ is that yeah. stupid that a dagger was shaped the right way before the Death Star crashed. <laughs> well, like, the force. <laughs> It would be so funny if he said that was it. He's like, no, no, that's it. We'd be like, wow. The force guided the hand of the blacksmith. Um, thousands of times. Go for that too. Retard McChucklefuck is saying hi. Hello. Oh, hi, Retard McChucklefuck. Uh, that no. is a name. I was rooting for the First Order. I never get what I want. Why would you root for them ever? <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> They're terrible. On oh. air, like, really, look at all the movies and try and rate the First Order's competency. Like, they Which are. Which group just... of idiots do you want to win? <laughs> they constantly fail. Like, they, they just do nothing right. And they have so many resources. Like, it's incredible if you look through the three films. Look at their insane machines they turn a of planet death. Into like, a gun. Yep. Because the that's the first one where you're like that's an insane weapon. It's like it's not just that. And the second one they have this huge army of star destroyers, and you're like, oh, Morley, you've made a mistake. You're talking about Rise of Skywalker, and I'm like, nope. Second movie, they have an army of star destroyers as well. They have the supremacy, an enormous ship. It just all means nothing. And then you have the third film, which, yeah. Um, hey, Fab Crew, according to the new comic, the Emperor killed all of Luke's students with his massive force lightning attack right after Kylo woke up. What? What? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? That's a retcon, right? What? Is this to make Kylo look better? Because <laughs> he's like a crazy asshole. No, no, guys, it was Palpatine the whole time. I'm like, oh, what the oh. hell? So what, he shot lightning through space to, like, light To kill away. everyone. <laughs> But it didn't hit oh, Luke children. somehow. Is that true? I don't. Uh, <sighs> like even though even the writers and you know directors of the movies disregard the comic books as continuity and they ignore it and contradict it all the time. It's almost so like why buy them then? Why yeah. why read the comic books if they're just they can just discard them at whim? How do you even keep track? You know. They fuck their own retcons all the time. They retcon their own retcons. Like, what are you supposed to do? Oh. Uh, so Palpatine wanted Rey to find him, but also controlled Snoke. Good thing he just knew Kylo wouldn't kill Rey when Snoke told him to. That was lucky. Oh. Yeah, how... how so, are we supposed... Lucky. To, are we now supposed to believe that Snoke knew that Kylo was going to do that the whole time and that was his purpose, to be killed by him? Because obviously, if he was going to kill Rey, that would have fucked everything up for Palpatine. This is terrible. Also, I guess it's... So, did Palpatine intend for Rey to tell the rest of the Resistance where the planet was so that they would well, come and attack him? It wouldn't even have mattered because they found out from Dio. Like, does he want them to have found out? It sounded like it, right? Remember, he's, he he says, um, come to me on Exegol, uh, the, the girl is coming or whatever, and if friends will follow her. He says, right, something, he says something like that. Oh, did he say that? Oh, and, he, and so, like, he's counting on it. I would think that you wouldn't want to fight him on the secret Sith planet. You'd want to fight him... Why, uh, Especially if your your fleet couldn't get into the atmosphere. Why would you want to fight them there? 
Uh, you you knew that Wait. they wouldn't be able to raise their shields for some fucked up reason. Why fight them in that condition? Oh, you are you saying why would Palpatine want to fight them there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Especially uh, now, everyone will know where. I, I mean, assuming there's at least one rebel to tell everyone else where Exegol is now, then that becomes common knowledge. It's like, oh, so much for the secret Sith planet. <laughs> what a stupid person. <laughs> Rags with the scathing judgment there. You're a stupid person. Palpatine's He's stupid. Palpatine's message was in Fortnite only. Um. So it was. So is okay. I can't believe I'm fucking asking this, but is Fortnite Star Wars canon? Evidently. I don't know how to answer that question. This welcome to 2019. It's the end of it, just about. But we have to ask: Is Fortnite material Star Wars canon? It would appear so. I mean, you can YMS. Get all Star Wars characters in the game and make them dab. YMS is in the chat. He said, I missed Star Wars because of a trade broke, so we watched the cab rip instead. <laughs> <laughs> Saved did, money. Did what you did. like it? Did you have fun? <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, Rags. Leaving out rhino Merry milk Christmas. and weird grapes in the hopes that you'll soon come down my chimney. Mmm. Sounds great. Sounds like a, sounds like a night well spent. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, the R2 spy message was a PowerPoint with a fancy slide transitions. That's why it took so long to upload it. But it didn't matter. It was just the N-word every slide. <laughs> 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 They're cycling through it, waiting for the important slide. They're like, who did this? <laughs> who did this? <laughs> Come on, guys. We're trying to save the world. Who put the N-word on every page? There's 77,000 pages. <laughs> and then, like, when Huck saves them in the ship, he's like, did you get the thing? Did you see it? Did you get did it? Did you see it? I thought that would be funny. <laughs> Uh, I heard that all stormtroopers were black. <laughs> he said, I didn't save money because I'd already bought a ticket. It wasn't good. Oh, yeah, I figured from the whole, you, the train made you miss your uh, showing, but um, no, you it wasn't get to good. see the amazing We visuals. literally spent nine hours talking about how it's not very good. Um, With no doubt many more to come mm -hmm. as the days pass and we think more and more on it. Uh, I just really like Metal's Avatar. You like the uh, the crying Pepe? Oh no, wait, the drunk Pepe, isn't it? Oh no, wait, now he's got the uh, the Sid Nicholson version, which yes. Oh my god. Very cute. Um, K O F R were priceless. What's K O F R? Knights. Oh, Knights of Ren. Of Ren. Uh, like I'm telling my friend that the Zori Ray scene is because women fucking hate each other, and boom, the camera whip pasts to. Knights of Ren slowly marching around the block in formation, lol. I mean, they, they were useless. <laughs> but funny, they sure. They were useless. I was expecting them to... I thought they were Jedi. I thought they yeah, were like students they were, yeah. or something that Force followed users. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they were just, dudes, just dudes with, with really sticks. impractical weapons. <laughs> dudes with clubs. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> my, my personal... <laughs> fucking Gestapo with baseball bats. Like, why? Um, yeah, so if Fortnite is canon to Star Wars and Thor plays Fortnite in Endgame, that means the Endgame is canon in Star oh, Wars. Crossover. Oh my god. I'm not um, sure that's how it works, but oh my it's god. It's 110% how it works. I'm willing to believe anything. I've been waiting for this for so long. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! I got a headache after watching TROS. Yeah, I think that's yeah. perfectly reasonable to have happened, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, that was rough. It can be tough. Um, if the Wayfinder was Uganda Knuckles, it would have been. It would have saved the movie. I don't necessarily I... disagree. Do you yeah. know the way to Exigo? Why would it's the not Tie a Fighters? Map, it's just Knuckles. Why would the Tie Fighters follow them, light skipping? Apparently they have the technology to do so, and because this is their only lead of finding what remains of the Resistance, I, I can see the TIE Fighters being ordered to do so. Though, if you remember, fellas, they would argue that um, the reason that the TIE Fighters were not sent in to destroy the Radis in TLJ was because they didn't want to just arbitrarily have TIE Fighters be lost in the war, you know? They don't want to waste TIE Fighters, because TIE Fighters yeah, are so precious. Yeah, I mean, can you believe... Can you believe losing some of your equipment in order to end the war? That I would mean, be, no one no, would do that. Not that would that. be insane. And obviously that it was a great no decision sense. because they only cripple their entire force thanks to not... <laughs> <laughs> um, I like when Ray got scary Bilbo teeth. <laughs> 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 
scary Bilbo, Bilbo teeth. teeth. <laughs> she did have Bilbo teeth. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to use Bilbo that in my teeth. video now. Scary Bilbo teeth. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go with Gollum, but I was like, oh, no, wait, yeah, because it is much more of a Bilbo moment, that is, isn't it? When he's like, Gah! Scary Bilbo <laughs> teeth. Uh, first scene on the base, Poe. Don't ask how, but someone, uh, somehow the Emperor's back. I spat out my coke, and I thought the battle plan scene in TFA was bad. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but that's, that's the thing, the pro- it's funny how much the meta's broken, like, we're all dealing with it, the characters in the universe have to just deal with it. Like, everybody's just dealing with this, it's like, the Emperor's just back, fuck it. Uh, Claude the Slug had more development than this lot. That's his name, Claude? Claude? His yeah. name is Claude? The Slug is- <laughs> Oh, the guy that was getting hugged at the end, right? That one. <laughs> the guy who had like a few. I don't know. Oh my god. Um, hyperspace skipping was just to create a Disney uh ride at Star Wars Land where they jump from planet to planet in the universe to milk it. I can believe that. I believe it. Yeah. I would act. I believe it. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I believe it. Um, I thought you had to escape a planet's gravity to hyperspace jump. Don't interdictor cruisers create artificial gravity wells to trap ships? That's not currently in any of the mainline movies, right? But that's, uh, I'm not sure if you get if they're getting that from EU or from Clone Wars Rebels sort of thing. Be an interesting limitation. Interdictor, though. but I hardly know her. <laughs> Ray's better at light speed skipping because she's Ray. No, of course, I, I, of course, she's better than. Yeah, she's the best. She knows yeah. what's best. Poe's a fucking yeah. idiot. Uh, the Millennium Falcon definitely belongs to Ray. Uh, Poe's a moron. Whatever. She's like just the best at everything. YMS said half of his videos complaining about the people walking in front of the camera in the theater. <laughs> because of the camera, rip, there's like a bunch of people who randomly get up. They did you a favor. There's um, the camera rip that's been going around. There's like this like obnoxious break where like they advertise gambling. And it's just like, fucking, does this work? Do the people like go, yeah, gambling? Or they're yeah, like, you know what I can use after watching this movie? Gambling. Uh, Palpatine. Ready for my Vegas trip. Gets electrocuted, thrown off a ledge, and explodes. Death Star explodes. Cinema sins. He survives this. Ding. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's not going to get that wrong, is he? <laughs> he's pretty sure he'll nail that. Uh, execute EFAP sixty six. Absolutely. Took me four point five hours to watch two point five hour flop. Ros. Oh, like because pausing and stuff. I guess. I think a lot of people probably uh, watched the cam version of this one. Yeah. They, they probably were like, yeah, we're not, we're not going to risk it with this one. I mean, just erase this trilogy by going into the future where they're all dead and have them say the sequel trilogy is a poorly written story by an author called Ray. Yeah, you, can, you could actually do that. Like, not necessarily decanonize, you just have it be that these are the representations of a story that some character in the universe wrote. Like, if you really wanted to, at that point, I'd just be like, can you just decanonize it? Like, there's no point. I would laugh. <laughs> Because that's the quintessential thing, you know, about fan fiction and the main character is based off the author. And so, yeah, the author named Gray inserted. I like it. Um, where are we? Did everyone forget the TIEs have class 2 hyperdrives, aka slow? The Falcon has a 0.54 times faster. They should be hours behind. Um, it doesn't, yeah, well, we went over how, like, so, yeah, all, all that doesn't exactly. seem right. It was, yeah, it was just news to me that TIE Fighters had hyperdrives at all. Every I don't think they did in the original trilogy, I think yeah, the new one Not in the original too. one. That's, that's why I, in A New Hope they were so surprised to find the TIE Fighter fly over them just before they hit the Death Star. They're like, how the heck did that get out of here? Get out of here? Um, and even the early movies, I thought the Force Awakens, sorry, the last, first, whatever order... Um, uh, their TIE fighters didn't have hyperdrive, but this one, this movie, seems like they do. And they have the trackers yeah. on board, which apparently, if you remember, require like this big old breaker in order to <laughs> run it. Like this yeah. looks like it's bigger than the TIE fighter itself. But it's like, all right, you've you've streamlined the technology. Good job, guys. Really size that down. Yeah, did a good, good job. job in one it's year. They must have developed a miniaturizing technology technology mm -hmm. because uh, they they brought the uh, the Death Star cannons down. So yeah, I mean, so the practice. advantage is that it's a lot more portable and thinner now. But the bad news is you can no longer plug in your earphones. To I mean, it, I can't believe so I'm saying this. Take a go with a van. 
but it is technically a reasonable development from that weird cannon that TLJ has, the Death Star cannon that they open the crate with. You know, that one... No, Mola. Bad. Miniaturized no. Death Star? It's... No. Bad Mola. It, no. I'm, that, I'm sorry, but if we, if we, if we, no, no, hang on. Strong enough to melt the gates. That's not what I said, though. I just said okay. that if you can miniaturize a Death Star cannon and you put it like that, because I thought that was dumb on its own. But um, to attach those to star destroyers actually seems like kind of a good idea. The fact that it can destroy planets, though, I don't, I don't know okay. that that's good. ridiculous. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I think like we actually argued that in TLJ. We were like, why aren't you putting this on ships? Like those things look yeah. like they could pierce through, yeah. you know. But, uh, yeah, all right. The logical implication did. should and be by miniaturizing, it, yeah, by miniaturizing it, you invariably lower the power capacity of no, it. No, 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 increase the power. Fold. Oh, you increase it. <laughs> or keep wrong. it the same, either way. Um, all together, please. Please quote Red Letter Media. Loyalty to Disney. Loyalty to the Brad. Loyalty is salvation. Loyalty is yeah. life. Well... Consume product, be excited for next product. Yeah, I bet Jay is very happy that he said that on Red Light Media, because that's going to be like one of the most used quotes in relation to how terrible mainstream movies are getting. Hey, <laughs> so, funny thing, real life thing, right? So, yesterday, I was just trying to binge all the uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker reviews I could find, and I clicked on the Collider um, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, review, and I tell you what, like, five minutes into it, I'm just... I was getting like nerd crew flashbacks. Like this, <laughs> this is not a parody. This is not, like. <laughs> is it really that bad? Damn. It was so much like you know. There was, was I liked it overall, and I was just like, oh. me personally, me personally, <laughs> me personally. <laughs> no, and so yeah, I got five minutes into that review and just clicked off. as like wow, that like nerd crew nailed it with those types of reviewers. It was amazing. Um, episode 7 planted the hyperspace seed, episode 8 effed it in the wrong hole, episode 9 forgot to put the condom on, but since it went in the wrong hole, it's okay. I, it sounds like crisis averted with that one, but I mean, it was not averted in this film. Define wrong hole. Yes. Um, in one of oh. the scenes in which Finn runs up to Poe and Rey and pulls them both into a hug, I turned to my friend and said, you know why he did that? It's because they're friends. I did this throughout the movie. Oh, I guess because he's t kind of trolling, because obviously they're not friends. Uh, there's a Sheba named Rags in Valkyrie Chronicles <gasps> 4, but there is... There is. But there it's... Yeah. But there it's short for Ragnarok. Hi, Wax. Yeah. Hello. Hmm. He's hey. a medic, too. And I love being the heel bitch, so it fits well. Hey, guys. Just wanted to let you know I unironically and ironically love this movie. Definitively a mess, but I appreciated the storytelling attempts. Eh... Um, yeah. all right. Mm. <laughs> okay, I, if, <laughs> if that's enough for you to give it appreciation, then all right. Gonna say that just the just the attempt should be the default is that you're attempting. Uh, I don't think you should give people props for trying. Trying should be the, the bare minimum of what you do. Trying is what gets you into being able to be judged. <laughs> like that's the uh, he's like, congratulations. We can now look at what you've done. So, yeah. Uh, favorite parts? Uh, Chewie breaking down, Kylo, Dad, Hans, I know, and yes, Queen falling for the tall, abusive boyfriend who isolates her from her friends. What about you? C-3PO. Uh, C-3PO, yeah. 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 Yes. You just nailed it. C-3PO, man. C-3PO. Unironically, the best part of Star Wars episode Which is amazing. nine. He was the only character oh. I felt bad for. Good old C-3PO. That is amazing to me. It really is. I'm Give just this robot a medal or something. Uh, best thing about the film, Emperor Palpatine's Surgical Reconstruction Center is canon. That is a deep lore reference to Red Letter Media. When they read the, um, <laughs> yeah. the series of facts or whatever. Uh, really? Warhammer 40k is now less ridiculous than Star Wars. How? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, this movie has solidified my resolve to abandon Star Wars entirely for 40k. For the Emperor, the Dawn protects. For the Emperor, Press man. TLJ didn't do that for you. I've... TLJ yeah. is what happens when you don't praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> Mola, will there be an unbridled rage? Yes, it's on the way. Absolutely. I miss when entertainment had good writing. Hi, Rag. Hello, and me too. Mm. Yeah. 
Ah, mm. those were the days, man. That's um, why you got to embrace some of the better writers these days of good fantasy literature. Get into audiobooks if you if your reading is takes too long because that same like I'm a slow reader, and so sometimes reading large books are too tedious. Audiobooks are the best. I bet Babu Frick is a really fast read. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, probably. Um, like he really has to turn his head to read, though. I, I think that would slow him down. <laughs> you think he yeah. can't turn his head super fast? He doesn't even look like he has a neck. Exactly. Yeah. So it must be difficult for him. Yeah, I don't even I know what to say. Uh, no battle station is required for Death Star tech. You only need an anti-planetism gun. Oh, there you go. That's probably directly from a lore book. And how do you power those big ass things anyway on a little ship? Double A batteries. For fuck's sake. Yes. The force. Um, I've got to <laughs> yeah, start. Yeah, probably. I've got to start creating content so you guys can invite me to an EFEP stream. Also, I'm poor, so sorry for only five bucks. Appreciated, sir. It's very kind of you. Yeah, thanks much, man. Uh, Creamy Sheev, the dark side of the force. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was so tempted to quote Boogie 1999. Oh, fuck, to. yeah. <laughs> Three, what? Where? Well, you know what, man? Three dollars is a lot for a black person, like a person of color. Like. <laughs> oh man, I, I didn't realize that's where like you were going. Like one of the going. funniest quotes in internet history. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I have a gun. I have a little gun. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just listen to it. And you're like, what the hell did your brain just do? Like. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Boogie. I think you're a nice enough guy, but. Live streams You're a mess. <laughs> uh, sleep well, Mr. YMS. I'm sure you enjoyed the film. I'm sure you love The Rise of Skywalker. Mm. Uh, Creamy Sheev, the dark side of the Force leads to many me. Well, time to dust off the old noose. I think it's finally time this, for this one. No, no. We will soldier on. We made it. It's fine. We knew yeah, this we was coming. This. We knew it was happening. This trilogy had to end. <laughs> we knew it would. Um, Amazon Basics Recreational Nukes. Oh, right, yeah. Remember when we were talking about, um, the plentiful nature of the planet-destroying Death Stars is like nukes being on Amazon. <laughs> um, yeah, man, just, just buy them. Yeah, that's the thing, um, got the power. as Fringy, Fringy wasn't kidding, like, if you had one team break into one of those things and take control of them, as, the planet's gone, you win. Yeah, like your base planet, you'd be like, oh. Yeah, point it straight <laughs> down and just poof, it's gone. That's insane. Literally just came out of the cinema ready for this EFAP. Can't count the amount of times I flipped off the screen during it. Yeah. That's a good way to sort of silently protest, I suppose, without ruining anyone else's uh, experience. Snap Wexley gets to vote and be in Star Wars twice. Oh but he goodness. didn't make it, though. Discount oh, Porkins well. is dead. So close. Sadly, so even having twin pocket Death Star lasers wouldn't make you half as powerful as Ray. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! And that is true. Mm -hmm. Ray could blow up two to billion planets. <laughs> she could blow up the, like, honestly, the billion. If they, it would not have surprised me with the way that they were using the Force. If one of those um, Star Destroyers turned the Death Star cannon onto Ray, shot it at her, and she lifted her hand and stopped it in the air. Like... That's the level of absurdity they've gotten to with the Force these days. Yeah, and then someone would have been like, yeah, but in fairness, she did train, so... <laughs> yeah, there are some things oh. that you could just... I mean, as as long as you roll a natural 20, you can literally anything. <sighs> Episode 10, Mara Jade and Jana, Jana Solo versus a reality-warping, memory-manipulating, history-rewriting... Mouse-like Eldritch Force entity <laughs> and his four incompetent droids, RJ8, JJ79, KK5JW, and IG3R. I yeah, say mouse-like entity is funny. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. It's clever. Palpatine the Silk Lord. Yeah, when he, when he gets his, his new threads, he's looking, yeah, he's looking great. Um, apparently physical immortality is a light side power. Uh, Not I, unreasonable. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right. Uh, why didn't they I'm, have? I'm at the. 
Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, I'm at the point that any expansion on the Force powers now, beyond the core utility from the uh, original series, I'm against. Because <laughs> yeah. it seems like as soon as you allow anyone, any addition to the Force, they just run with it and then it yeah. gets out of control. It's, it's like, like you're dealing with children. Yeah, it's like, it's put like those well, toys if you down. if you and your brother can play nice, then they're like, no, you and your brother are not going to play nice because you're two little kids. It's like it, it. You would think that all right, there are some special super high tier powers, but they come with a massive list of stipulations and almost mm -hmm. to the point where they're unique. And but they can't handle that stuff responsibly. They can't make it. They just can't do it. They don't have the ability. They don't know when to say no. They're just more is better. More is better. I agree completely. Uh, why didn't they have Anakin instead of Han Solo that makes him turn back to the good side? Makes more sense. I don't know that it makes more sense. It would have been interesting to have... Uh, no, yeah, I was actually thinking about, like, all right, if they really wanted someone who could add some emotional validity to Kylo's um, uh, acceptance of trying to turn good, you would need a Force ghost, His not idol. a memory. And I was thinking, what if they actually got Hayden Christensen to appear instead of, like, and actually got him to appear as a Force ghost? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, hey, kid, I heard you idolize me. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they never told you. They never told you, did they? He just walks up and slaps Kylo across the face. What are you doing? <laughs> you know my master, Obi-Wan, da-da-da-da-da. That would have been really nice. Just to get Vader. Oh, they would have, they, they might have, but these would have been like Vader's last words, essentially. The, the most recent things that, the, you know, Anakin had ever said. So I'm like, man, I wonder if they would have fucked it up. Most but thing, it would have been man. a great idea. Every time we think of anything, I'm just like, oh, but they'll We're ruin the it. risk of them ruining it. They'll do something. They're going to fuck it up. <laughs> um, hi, Mola slash Rags. Hello. Hello. You guys have inspired me to write my own long media analysis. Thank you for being inspiring. Do you have any advice oh, aside great. from redrafting? Um, We get this question a lot. We've kind of started to develop a what you could call singular answer it's just like focusing on lots of different elements primarily being you're passionate about it secondly being keep to accuracy as much as you can mm -hmm. um structure it well i know that sounds time, like a cop-out yeah. but <laughs> like try to debunk it as you go there's like yeah there's so many ways to uh to make video because this is the thing me and rags don't even make videos the same way um, and yet we're both long men. Same with Shad, by the way. I don't think he makes it the same way that me and Rags do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it's, it's tough. The unifying elements I would like to believe between us is accuracy as well as uh, just, just getting that work done that needs to be done in order to get that video where it needs to be. As yeah. generic as it sounds, I think it's a, a good way to go. Um, by the way, Palpatine's whole plan was for Rey to kill him and she kills him. So Palpatine is in Rey now. That's what I mean. But yeah, yeah it's it's weird. The rules are so strange and odd that you'd think that, but apparently not. Well, imagine unless they the like... new sequel is actually Palpatine did get into Rey. Ooh. Well, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like, imagine they had this like moment where she's like, "Yes, I'm Rey Skywalker," and she turns away, and then it like the camera goes up to her eyes. You see them go like the the Sith color, and she goes, <laughs> I know, she gets and then the credits smile. hit, and it's like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, like the end of Michael Jackson's Thriller. That's the thing, man. It's, uh, they, and they would leave it open for the Ray trilogy. Because this wasn't that. <laughs> this is funny. Let, let me show you this here. Someone posted this in the, in the Discord. Alright. Uh... We got, uh, first we thought Boba Fett died in the Sarlacc pit, but he survived. Then we thought Darth Maul died after being cut in half, but he survived. Then we thought Palpatine was killed by Vader, but he survived. So you know what this means, right? Porkins has a chance. Rise of the Porkins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's the best character. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, isn't he? He just, just ends up going like, I'm having a little trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like he explodes. I can't even remember why he just does. It's a, it's a good arc. I think he might have been a Vader kill. Uh, boom, 10k. Yeah, we did uh, hit the 10k viewers. It was surprising. Um, Exciting. We almost but... hit 11k at one point. Like, we were like, I forget if, I didn't see if we crossed it, but we certainly got up to 10,900. People wanted to know if Star Wars was good. 
it's a natural thing. I hope we've answered that question. If you have any, uh, imagine, if we weren't clear, imagine the only reason they were here was to discover if it was better or worse than TLJ. And we're like, oh, <laughs> they well. already knew. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> well, if they wanted Shad's answer, they got it. Um. Palpatine, I have the final order. Stormtrooper. Uh oh, Palpatine's been listening to Europe again. Oh, Palpatine probably has access to all kinds of dimensional radios. It would make sense. He's very powerful. 10,000 N words brought together by hate. Yes, indeed. 10K massives, but that's really what this movie's about. It's a film about family. Aw. I've been looking forward to this. What do you think is the worst scene in the Disney trilogy? Damn. Scene. The worst scene in the Disney trilogy? So, my brain immediately goes to oh. Luke angrily trying to fucking murder Kylo in his sleep. I don't know. I like Ray killing Palpatine is pretty darn awful because it's the ultimate Deus Ex Machina element out of everything. And so that's really hitting the top for me. Oh, wow. There's so uh, many choices. And <laughs> really? You think that's the worst? <laughs> Might be the Holdo the, maneuver. The, the, the Holdo, sure, though. Um, might be. Yeah, just one of those bitter scenes with Luke. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of terrible. Yeah. For that me, would I think it's the death. Yeah, I think it's the death of Palpatine, or when Luke raises the um the X wing out of the water. Like I lost it at that. Lots of choices. Lots of good ones. Um. Ra, can you find a roof big enough to throw Disney off, please? I think um, it doesn't really matter how big the roof itself is, it's how high it is. Like, yeah. getting Disney up there would obviously be a tough thing as well, if it's like the corporation, or just a mouse. You know, it depends. Um, we need it for the dyad. I, uh, I think the dyad was supposed to play a bigger part in the story, but they like thinned it out completely, because I was expecting it's zero references. One time. Yeah, only mentioned the one time by Palpatine. I thought, oh, you're a dyad. That's weird. I, okay. I, I think it's mentioned once by Kylo as well, because he, he describes him and oh, yeah, Rey as yeah, a dyad. Yeah. He says we're a dyad in the Force. Uh, Palpatine the doesn't know. He doesn't know. And somehow. then he's like, oh my god, I was going to suck the life out of you, but now I could just suck the life out of you, because you're a dyad but in now, the Force. now like a tasty <laughs> dessert. Uh, an army of Snokes, and each has a Death Star laser. I know you could have done that. That's how insane this is. Like, resource-wise, generate your own Sith Lord with a test tube and throw him into a Death Star that can hyperdrive all around the place and do whatever it wants. Like, talk about ruining, like, the crazy powerful elements of the world. Um, after witnessing this cinematic travesty, I regret my last Super Chat. Oh no. Um... I'm not sure if that was referencing an old e an old an EFAP or something. Maybe they hoped the film was going to be good. Um, has anyone heard of or played Arachnorox? Arachnorox, yeah, Arachnorox. Heard of that? Sounds like a puzzle game. No, I haven't. I haven't played it. Uh, why are more clones of Snoke? Well, Morley, you see, a Sith Lord gets awfully lonely on a desolate Sith planet. He needs someone to share his cream with. Oh. Yeah, but he had thousands and thousands of people there with him. True, true. I don't even know what to think anymore. They all seem the like they were into Nothing it. works. Nothing. Just... Maybe they're just really shitty conversations. He's like, talking to myself is the only way I can get some good chats around here. Hmm. Uh, when can we do a best of the worst with the NT? The NT? New trilogy? Oh, maybe. Um... Maybe. I mean, that's kind of what all these EFAPs are, right? <laughs> like, we're sort discussing of, them. <laughs> uh, I remember when Mauler said that six people on stream would be too crazy. Now look where we are. Seven people on stream with 10k watching. Congratulations, oh you massives. Oh my god. Did we really have 10k watching? Yes. Yeah, Holy we did. shit. No. Oh. All right. It's fucking nuck and futz. If they can keep cloning Snoke, then why is he always old? <laughs> I don't know. It's just... That's... Good question. This is a really bad template. They <laughs> have like Add an old the list. <laughs> uh, you need to watch Jenny's new Star Wars vid. Oh, I'm guessing. Oh. Uh. 
Hey, can I just share something with you guys, right? So mm -hmm. I was showing my kids, you know, the movies leading up because they wanted to watch, you know, uh, Rise of Skywalker. And so after Rise of Skywalker is watched, my uh, eldest son is like um, nine years old. And he asked, hey, uh, daddy, was um, who, who was the guy in the uh, in the Last Jedi, the bad guy? And I said, oh, he's in Propulsion. You saw him in one of the other movies. And he's like, hang on, is that the guy that fell down the thing and 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 died? I'm like, yes. He's like, but how did he survive? And I'm just like, that is a good question. One they're not gonna answer. You can't. It's like, son, you can't trust everything you see on TV. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's one of those teachable moments. You're like, welcome yeah. to film analysis. Some media is just <laughs> shit. <laughs> but hey, he knows even what he's a doing. nine year old, like even a nine year old, couldn't accept that incredible. Like, it's just. Oh. Uh, like I might not be, I might not, I might only be a nine year old, but I know when someone blows up, that's it, man. Someone's so bullshitting they, me. Because <laughs> like, I feel like I'm being spoon fed lies by the mouse. Um, Mola, you said in a previous stream that you've seen Code Geass, as it's my favorite anime. What do you think? <laughs> also, hi, 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 Rags. <laughs> hey! <That's> <laughs> um, I liked it. I really liked the ideas of it. I thought execution of some of the bits of the plot were kind of tis me. And I'm not a huge fan of how exactly his Gias works and how it develops to work. It's a little me with the famous example that we've uh, mentioned a couple times, I believe. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, I've never Broom... seen it. What do you think of characters? A lot of the problems that anime has is characters. I remember liking the characters. Uh... Okay. Pretty, I'd have to see it again. I haven't seen it in what feels like three or four years now. Uh, Broom Boy will be the new Sith. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It'll be fun. Uh, so Finn is force sensitive and potentially the ex trooper girl and her friends too. I can't wait for them to do nothing with it. They can't do anything with it. Finn's uh, not going to be in any more of them. And as for the ex trooper girl and her friends. Like, her, Zora Bliss, all those other people, like, are they gonna try and make more films with those people? Oh, I, I think, hope, maybe I they're just, really. whatever, whatever action figures we could sell of Zora Bliss, you know, it's, that's, that's it, man. So, I you just, would, you I would, think of them so cynically. Yeah, you would expect this movie to bomb, I mean, I'm sure it'll make money, but the critical reception, the toys and merch won't sell and things like that, and you would hope that would send a message to Disney, and, and on top of that, if the actual box office is a lot lower than they hope for, then you'd really expect that to send a message to Disney that, you know, we've had enough of this crap, give up on this sequel series, start over. Um... Longman, I was wondering if you have a problem when working on a long video where it lags a lot while in editing. Got a workaround? Oh, not really, honestly. Uh, that could a essentially... video where it lags a lot? Um, uh, make sure... Yeah. Uh, it's, that might be a question for old Das over here. Yeah, sure what you're you... dealing with is a, uh, it's a hard drive read thing. Like, the larger your file is, eventually it's going to lag a whole lot, especially when you're about to reach, like, a cut... Um, it depends on what you're using. I think Premiere is stuck with it right now, but I think what happened is Vegas came out with Vegas 17, and that uses GPU acceleration for uh, the preview window. So I think, I don't have it, but Good. it's supposed to fix it. So um, look into it, see if anybody else has 17, and whether or not they're having the same problems. It's not a quality issue, it's a read issue from your disk. There you go. Uh, one little trick what I've also come across is if uh, the display window, if you're using Premiere, if you get the display window to not display it in its native resolution, you can lower the resolution of the display, which helps the uh, read speed a bit, I think. Or at least the processing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like on, I use Vegas 15 or 16 and just go from, instead of being on like best, best or default uh, raw, whatever thing, just go to like I don't know, half, see what it looks like. Hopefully if you can still see it and it runs better, then that's all good. Yeah, dude, GPU acceleration in, Ve in Vega 16, like, oh my god, it saves so much fucking rendering time. Uh, so, Kreia was right, hashtag. Um, I know, that's a KOTOR 2 reference. I'm hip with the kids. About to see Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Hope it's good. Oh... <laughs> Bless you, Longman, for watching this for us. Also, hello, Rags with Doggleton. 
Hello, sir. Uh, given the end of TLJ, what is the resistance? It is a group of people on a Millennium uh, Falcon, and they managed to find a base and sort of grow their numbers a little bit. Yeah, they got, yeah. They're that they're good, they're, dude. They're the good people. I reckon the rebels should sue them for uh, copyright infringement. Absolutely. The the resistance is should just be called Ray and Company. <laughs> Ray and the others. Uh, the force is drunk now and needs to sleep it off. The force is screwed. Yeah. It's just you screwed. Need, you need to put it down in this state and just start over. Don't yeah. don't try and fix it. I watched Cats after Rise of Skywalker, and at least that has some good beats. Also, hello, Ragazzles. Hello, Zuzzles to use. I would have made the three movies about Kylo's struggle. There are people out there who will argue that it is about that. Like, to us, though, it was just ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, back before, and we are just like, yep, he's mm -hmm. deciding to be partially a Goodman, Badman, Goodman, Badman, Goodman, Goodman, Badman, Goodman. Good oh man. yeah, a pendulum is struggling to find out where it's supposed to be, too, I guess. I don't know. What... <laughs> That's the philosophy of the pendulum. It struggles to know where it should be. Uh, screw the Force, Shad. I think Kreia is smiling right now, where, wherever, whenever she is, which is probably space hell. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be nearly impossible to properly clone Force users. Something about not being able to artificially generate connection to the Force. Well, well fuck that. That would that. explain how right. fucking insanely powerful Snoke is. Right? That... Sure. It's just a natural or rule the, you would have. Because you can clone Force users, it just fucks with everything. But yeah, yeah plus, I mean, now. clone Palpatine seemed like he was pretty fucking strong with the Force. I thought That's we decided cool. that he was just Corpse Palpatine, right? Yeah. Not Clone Palpatine. He was corpse Palpatine. Oh, yeah, I don't even. <laughs> it's hard to whatever. keep track whoever, of all whoever, these that, whoever that rules. thing was. And I like how people look at this. They're like, oh, look at your silly corpse spirits and all this other stuff. Which is like, it was always nonsense. It's like, stop saying that. It wasn't always nonsense. <laughs> uh, the conversation about the futility of Jedi trying to eliminate emotion is kind of criticism Luke should have had on the Jedi in TLJ. Yes, instead of being like, they failed and they let Palpatine win. It's like, can you stop? That's really and unfair. And wasn't part of Luke's philosophy, it, like, if there's Jedi, there's going to be Sith, and so get rid of them both? Like, he was going in with the thing that the Force bringing balance to everything is by making both Jedi and Sith all the time. I remember, his yeah, argument seemed to just be get rid of both of them, yeah. Because if there's anything I know about the Sith, it's that they will happily, voluntarily disband. Yes. <laughs> it makes sense, guys. His cloak turned red because he used Force tailoring when he regenerated. The dark side is a path to many abilities, etc., etc. He, 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 he threaded all of the, you know, the strands mm -hmm. together instantaneously with his power of the Force. Pretty cool. Um, off topic, but I finally watched one of Fat Man Falling's Ruby reviews. Honestly, pretty good. Genuine, real, legitimate, long man stuff. Don't know what his beef was with you, uh, was or is. Yeah, he really hates me. I don't really care. <laughs> like, it's I fine. Care. I don't care either. We don't think about him at all, really. Mm -hmm. Every time he comes up, though, it's usually good for a laugh. Uh, yeah. Did the spiders put out the leaks since they were so accurate? I think so, yeah. The only real way to explain it. The spiders would have known. Um, Maybe. You'd think that... Yeah, I mean, even... You think that spiders did? Because wouldn't it have been perfect? Um, They can make some mistakes, I think, right? Well, maybe... Then again, remember, the if they're seeing the future... After they delivered the script. If they're seeing the future as it's changing, like, maybe they were trying to tell us what the leaks were at the, at the time of... They were, like, looking into what it was, yeah, and then yeah. just by them maybe. trying to predict it, they changed the future. Could be. Now, I'm not sure about the whole balance thing, but the Force made Anakin as a response to Darth Plagueis manipulating life. Palpatine just took advantage of the Force's decision. I don't know about that. I don't like it if it works that way. It just sounds it's, confusing uh, to me anyway. It's a, it's a mess. It's a big mess if that's how the Force works, and it's a jerk. Don't, don't, do, don't get into the Force if that's the case. Lolled when the General asks Ben why they shouldn't trust Palpatine to get these ships, and what does Palpatine get out of this bargain, and then Ben force slaps him as if it's not a reasonable question to ask. Yep. 
It's such a weird moment. It's like, what a what a fair question. Die. <laughs> okay. Never mind. They should just never talk. Um. Why didn't D-Bag Yoda force heal the younglings? Oh. Well, that's gotta be an awkward decision, isn't it? It's like, you could resurrect any one of these younglings at the cost of your own life, and Yoda's like, hmm. Well... More important than I am. <laughs> uh... DS technology needed, kyber crystals to operate. When did they get them for their ships? Also, Korriban, aka Moraband, was in Clone Wars, so that's a retcon in 9. Uh, it seems to be it's either a retcon or they both exist. Why are you guys still talking about Star Wars? Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out. I don't, uh, I don't care about that film, I, I guess. Care. I'll it's just... not looking great. Okay, let's see. Like, I'll just check out what everybody has to say. Like, I don't have any interest in seeing it myself. Um, the force healing is completely idiotic in the movie. The idea of force healing someone else was done better in Paul. I remember Paul. The alien who can do a heal. Uh, just got here. Is that Shad I hear? Love your content, man. Oh my god. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. Hmm. And I am here. Was, that, was I the only one who saw Palpatine do jazz hands and rip the biggest fart that... F with the force lightning. The big beads are strong <laughs> with this one. Hi, Wags. Hello. Dude, that'd be hilarious if he just farts and jets up with all the spaceships <laughs> and then fucks them up. They're like, that'd be the... I already hours of live streams to get through with this movie. Are you guys aren't helping. Well, this one's going to be a short stream. You know, it'll be fine. Uh, the dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some consider to be unnatural. How can it be unnatural if you need a dark side user equal a light side user if that's how balance is achieved? I don't know. I don't even know if those rules are actually how it works or not. I don't even know if Disney know if that's how it works. All I've seen well, is some it, shitty it, chart. Yeah. It's clear Disney doesn't know. Uh, best series of video game cutscenes I've ever seen. Yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty high res, you know, high details, good stuff. Wags is a mm -hmm. sexual deviant. Um, yeah, 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 pretty much. I, I just love to eat ass. Oh, there you go. Uh, people keep comparing, uh, Revenge of the, no, W, R-O-S-W, Rise of S Skywalker, oh yeah, I guess that's Rise of Skywalker, um, uh, to bad fan fiction, and it's pissing me off. People should stop taking talking shit about fan fiction if this is what's canon. <laughs> Raylo included. Keep J. I mean, someone's saying it's bad fan fiction. I completely agree. Ba fan fiction can get pretty bad. You know, I think we'd all happily agree with that. Like, it's not like someone's saying it's just fan fiction because you can get some really good stuff. If they're saying it's really bad fan fiction, I'm sure we can all sort of like, yeah. Besides, that's more of um, I think that's more of a comment on the idea that they don't accept it as canon, rather than saying fans write bad stuff. Because this is definitely bad. Um, also, once Anakin became Darth Vader, the Force made Luke to clean up its mess. I find this interesting. That would imply that the Force is a living conscious that makes decisions. Uh, Force is a dick. Exactly. Force is a weird that's dude. Like, sorry, the Force is making mass murdering genocidal maniacs to... Uh, Destroy peace and hey, you know, Chad. It also makes some nice again. people too. Yeah, it makes the oh, nice ones. Yeah. That, that, so that makes it right. Look how no, nice Ray was. Comes He's out nice. totally yeah. neutral. Can't Remember criticize when Ray. I don't, I don't care how wheel. nice a person is throughout their life. If they've murdered someone, all the nice no, no, things no, no, they no. do does, doesn't you know discount that. No, well, they're really nice though. What about she fixed the droid's know? wheel, dude? It was a like, squeaky wheel. Toilet paper always with the roll up front. They mm -hmm. always close mm -hmm. the door. When they walk into the room, they turn the lights off when they leave the house. Whenever whenever they're out whenever they're almost out of something, they put it on the grocery list. I mean, these are yeah, these are some nice folks. Twisty tie always goes back on the bread once you're done with it. There you go. That they, they do uh, stuff an evil person would never do. The force would agree with that. Uh, that that's balanced. <laughs> the so force has got a little checklist. The force, like, yep, the force would be, alright, you, you can murder someone now. That's a good balance. I've okay. earned enough karma points to have one murder and come out neutral. I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> Anakin was like, I've been good for like my whole life. Can I kill several children? The force is like, um... Uh, if they're orphans, sure. <laughs> How many orphans? Uh, two and a half. 
Uh, by the way, they did not fix Kylo's lack of a cape in the reflection in the puddles in the fight on the Death Star wreckage. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Did they not? Oh my god. Whoops. How you spent how much money on this and you didn't notice? Uh, watch Star Wars on Thursday. Went in inspecting shit. Still walked out disappointed. Yeah, it's going around. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. Um, finally got on the stream live with money. Get some beers in Rags and High Mauler. Did you have any beers tonight, Rags? I've had, I've only had one. I've right. only had one. But I've been, I've been really... Really clobbering this tea, though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to piss like a racehorse later today. Uh, they didn't have anything to draw from while also taking powers and places from the EU. Thanks for being the worst liar in Hollywood, Kathleen. Yeah. We, we all know what they're up to with that. It's like, oh, we're, we're, it's hard for us, guys. It's like, don't even go there. Do you not even go there. Uh, more evidence would be the Yuzang Vong not having any Force abilities or being affected by the Force because they come from a different galaxy where the Force isn't there, but Disney pissed away the EU, so who cares? Yep, that's, that's about right. Yeah, that's EU, interesting. Um, it's not even there. Like I said, Palpatine survived because his robe was made from Batwoman's cape, which is explosive proof. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Canon. <laughs> My review for uh, Rise, of the, Rise of the Skywalker? Wait, that's ROTS, that's Revenge of the Sith, right? Um, my review for Revenge of the Sith, but why? I don't know if they meant to say Skywalker or not, but okay. Palpatine's clothes, they fly now. Oh no. Send JJ Brandon Sanderson Magic System essay. He's oh, not gonna yes. care. They all, He's not they gonna need care. to read this stuff. I he won't agree. He'll be like, this is dumb, you're not supposed to do it this way. Yeah, what, consistent rules? No, boring. Nice. Hate it. Boo. Audience understanding magic? Pfft, no. no. That just what? ruins the mystery. Um, Admiral Holdo was a traitor. The Holdo maneuver has a one in a million chance of success, which means she tricked the crew into evacuating the ship, then attempted to flee in the, dire <laughs> in the distraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually, like, true, because... So if you're on, on the ship with her, right? Let's say you, you're going down with her, and she says, let's do the, the, the maneuver, and you're like, dude, that's one in a million. Let's just crash into them. Like, that'll like, actually... Like, what do you think the maneuver is? Wait, what? <laughs> Like, like, well, no, 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 no. Literally, if it's one... Okay, so do you think there's no difference between a one in a million shot and driving the ship into another ship? Well, no, I'm saying they said, let's drive our ship into the other ship, and I'm like, isn't that what the whole... Yeah, but if, if we're to believe it's a one in a million shot, then fuck that. Let's instead literally Just drive into them. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what happens the 999,999 other times. You miss fail. you fly what, what away. What happens? I guess. Oh, maybe that's why it worked for Holdo, because the supremacy is so big you could possibly miss it. I, I don't guess. Know. You bounce off the shields, maybe? The, 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 the shields are actually really strong at preventing meteor impacts and other just solid matter. The, the shields are only able to be blown apart with energy weapons, and so... Maybe, I'm but you'd think that the sheer mass back. of a ship would just oh yeah, of course. too much, hmm. especially going at that speed. Oh yeah, like if you like could the, the couldn't she have just pushed like, the ship in the way of all of the blasts from that were destroying the transports? And you know what? Can I just say as well that Hans comments that if you're in hyperspace, you might bounce off a supernova. Did he say or I fly so. through something? When he says bounce off, that seems to imply that you're not being destroyed by it that maybe your path in hyperspace just gets not really badly if you run through something physical that there's actually no proper physical interaction between being in hyperspace and being you know in real space and that's a much better interpretation it makes hyperspace more solid of course the holdo maneuver contradicts that interpretation but then you could say the holdo maneuver only works one in a million that the instant when you're jumping into hyperspace and you're accelerating, so much of the ship only is remaining in real space to have that interaction before it's in proper hyperspace, and it won't have that interaction, which is why it's so rare for it to work. Maybe? Well, even even if that was the case, I'd just be like, in, in that case, again, just slowly crash your ship into theirs instead, because at least that guarantees the hit. Well, exactly. One in a million is not good odds that I would generally. You know, Absolutely bet on. not. If I had, what is the point in a one in a million move? It would be like, <laughs> uh, no. 
Uh, most that means that when she actually hit it, she was probably like, "Oh, <laughs> I rolled really badly." It's like an enormous roulette wheel with like a million slots, and she could just see that one, and she was like, "Let's just avoid that, and I can escape." Uh, most of the Force powers in this movie were in Legends, but took a lifetime of specialized training and dedication to master, but pretty much made you weak in every other area. They fought them out. Yeah. I still think TLJ is worse. Expect Rise of Skywalker to suck, but I still left the film angrier than I did with TLJ. Why? Give Rags a scratch behind his big smelly ear. Oh. My ears do not smell. Oh. My ear... Well, no. But you, you get to give me a scratch, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I just feel like the word of the question is misleading. Why does the dagger line up with the wreckage? They crafted the dagger based on the wreckage. That's the only reasonable assumption I can make. It's just the wreckage didn't change. So Yeah, someone was like, uh, what do you want your dagger to look like? And they're like, it's a commission piece, right? <laughs> so they got this guy and like, okay, so this is going to sound crazy. Let me know if you've done this before. I actually feel kind of embarrassed to ask this. <laughs> I used to have a Death Star. <laughs> He's got like a little paper with a little. I mean, it's still thing. there, but. <laughs> You'd think the Rebellion would have wanted to search through it, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah you think that it would absolutely. be full of weapons, and gear, and armor, and electronic parts, and details on how the ship was put together. Who knows all this stuff? Do you think scavengers from all over the galaxy would be around that thing? There'd be enough for everyone plus. Not only that, just scrap metal. I mean, it's a lot easier to repurpose metal that's already been, you know, machined and stuff on something than mining it and having to smelt it into shape. It's like, it's a lot cheaper. It's, you know, just scrap right there. Free. Uh, there's a theory going around on Reddit right now that the Disney uh, paid off Rotten Tomatoes to freeze the audience score at 86%. It has legitimate evidence behind it, and I recommend you guys look into it. Um, I'm willing to believe anything right now with, with what's going on well, with that site. Like one report I've heard about it is that on most of these reviews that are giving it really high scores on the history have not, re have not put a rating on any other movie previously, that they're all new accounts. So, I can't substantiate that that was just something someone reported to me so who knows hmm. uh, why disney does... uh, disney's shifty why does force ghost anakin ever show up and try to talk some sense into kylo i know it's a good question i know mola when are you gonna have literature devil on i've uh, been in dms with he and uh, he said he's interested but the problem is that i've been in dms with a couple people still getting and we've got like i've been talking to rags about this we've got so many different episodes we need to get done that are planned with different people as well as getting new guests it's just a little big list mm -hmm, getting mm -hmm. there hi rags Muller, and pals i have a tinfoil hat theory about the new episode of mandalorian i don't think favreau actually wrote it it's so clunky discuss um say that one more time just so i get it the uh so soak it all up this person thinks that the newest episode of Mandalorian is so clunky that Favreau probably didn't write it. Um, I don't know who was in charge of that abortion. Well, Favreau, as far as I'm aware, had influence on all of it. Uh, uh, yeah. And, and that makes three sense Three was pretty to me. bad. Four was bad. Five was bad. Six was bad. Seven was bad. <laughs> so I don't... I don't know. I, I'm not exactly going to vouch for his talent when it comes to writing television shows. Started out okay. It started out with a good first episode, and the second one was all right. And then it was just like, I don't know. I don't think they're as bad as you know other things. They're certainly filler, especially well, after. They're not, they're not like worse than Auschwitz, but they're pretty. They're pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> That's an extreme comparison. I thought the one with Bill Burr was all right. There's still dumb in it. Don't get me wrong, but um. At least Mandalorian was doing some cool stuff once again, and he wasn't being shown up by or easily defeated and stuff. Um, we will we won't watch that last episode, but I've said to Shad as well, you can come on for this. But we'll do like a Mandalorian episode of EFAP. We'll talk through the eight episodes. I think seems like the yeah, the thing yeah, to do. That sounds fun. Talk yeah. pros and cons, and then have some kind of a conclusion about it, because um. You know, I think I think people want to hear a uh, more extended takes on it because we've just sort of been uh, jotting down bits and bobs here and there. 
Uh, so yeah, have that to look forward to. It's crazy how much better the two KOTOR games are. The world building, lore, and story are so strong they create their own world within the Star Wars universe. I believe it. Um, I think the people who made this trilogy only saw the prequels, not the OT, and they just took the worst aspects from them and amplified them. I'm almost certain they watched the OT. Like, they seem to very deliberately damage the OT, like, in specific ways. Just... Yeah. Um, I will say that when it comes to world building, something gets huge props from me if it's terrible, but it has really good world building. Apparently Jon Favreau didn't write episodes 5 and 6. 5 and oh, 6 are right. the Bounty Hunter one and the Bill Burr one. Yeah, the Bill Burr one. 4 was still awful. Yeah, I would actually say 4 is still the worst as far as four, I'm concerned. Yeah, I'd say 4 is the worst. Uh, so does Which this mean... one is that? Is it... That's the ATST one. Okay, yeah, there's a bit of problems in that one. So does this, this mean Disney might edit the OT movies to make them consistent with the sequels? Oh, fuck off with that. How dare you even... <laughs> how dare you type those words? Oh my god, can you imagine them actually That's, doing that? Don't even entertain the thought. It's a nightmare. Uh, I feel like everybody would riot. <laughs> Be like, how dare you? We know how much people love the edits George did. Oh, <laughs> Han shot first. Uh, no, because it could be intercepted. Wired is so they don't be detected. This actually makes sense. Oh, so they're transferring the message about Exegol so that it can't be detected via the, the line, but, but who it, would care? Oh, that clearly didn't work because the guy who got did killed. that ended up with his... Yeah, he's fucking dead. Also, why didn't he just toss him a USB? That's he could, wireless, uh, too. I was about to say, he and could tell are. him. He could go, hey, dude, Exegol's Yo, real. Up? It was encoded as well, and obviously it was sent to them somehow to give to R2-D2, so it seems like it was already sent wirelessly to somebody. This actually does not make sense, not whatsoever, and I love the fact that he got killed anyway. <laughs> it's like he takes all these precautions, <laughs> he just dies. Like, oh well. Um, Luke goes to Tochi Station, song, watch it, Muesli. Tochi Station, uh, yeah, sure, I'll have to check that out. I will make a note. Assuming it's a, uh, video. How can anyone possibly take the end celebration scene in Return of the Jedi seriously after watching The Rise of Skywalker, especially when people who think that TRS is a good film? Absolutely! It's, you watch it and you're like, wow, those poor fools. They have no idea. <laughs> and like, you, you know, you laugh at everything, but it's like, honestly though, that's the case. They have no idea how much they've not won. They just think they have. Little do they realize they're all going to be defeatist losers who die! That cut was perfect. Um... Clone J on Exegol, you'll have JJ on EFAP. Why would we want that? Cloning J? We have to kick multiple Js. We'll have to use the Isle of Man flag at that point. Um, I mean, who didn't clap when the Knights of Ren randomly showed up and one guy went, Whoa, the Knights of Ren. It was so epic when they did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Why is Disney ashamed of Luke's green lightsaber? No idea. Did, it did, it did, did show up, though. It? Yeah, it did, because he, he fought yeah. Leia with it, so... Yeah, yeah, he got his ass kicked by Leia with it, yeah. Maybe they do hate it. Um, Commander Mola, the time has come. Execute EFAP 66. Also, high rags. Hello! Uh, this is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Al Gore hasn't invented the internet yet. Oh, so you can't post it on a message board about Exegol. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Uh, the limbless dick alien is apparently a mechanic. How, though? <laughs> okay. He, Telekinesis? He bites. Yeah, it's either using force or he's using his mouth. Um I'm not on Twitter. How else can I send a video meme? Uh try Discord or the subreddit. Uh Molly, you've inspired me to start making YouTube videos. I'm working on my first video, which will be on the Rise of Skywalker. I hope to finish it by New Year's. Also high rags. Hello! Uh, this, this, this film is creating more new YouTubers. Yep. It's like, at least we're getting some good things as a result. Be inspired, I people. Allow this to continue. That was a really good Wolf video where he said, like, what bad writing can do in terms of, like, inspiring creative works. Because you're like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to do this better. <laughs> it's like, go for it. <laughs> 
Um, what's the best way to send memes to you? I've sent them on Twitter and Discord, but you never seem to see them. Uh, those are the best ways. I've, as you would have seen on the, the wolf one, I collected like 300 memes, um, as well as like all the videos, and I've still got to stockpile more of them. I don't catch them all, I really do try. It's just that, um, I haven't even looked at what's been sent this stream, because I've just been trying to sort of nail it in terms of getting to as many super chats as we can. But, uh, yeah, those are the best ways. Discord, Twitter, and subreddit. If I don't see them on, like, somehow miss them on all those different things, then, uh, you can always, like, give it another shot a few weeks later or something. Um, but if I just... Maybe it's a terrible meme? That could be it. Maybe it's just the... You that know, is... you gotta have good memes. That's, that's, uh... As you've seen, only the highest quality of memes make it onto EFAP. That is a really good question, Brian from chat. Why did it take so long for Leia to disappear? <laughs> I don't know. She wasn't at peace I don't yet. Know. Yeah, she could only be at peace when her son had been killed. Killed. <laughs> killed. <laughs> See, so you have to be at peace to disappear. So Obi Wan was immediately at peace when he got chopped down by. Vader. I guess so. Okay. Also, does that going. mean that if Rey had gotten to Leia's corpse, she could have like re, re like revived her? Yeah. Well, I think what they're trying to establish is that um, Rey was able to hear hear Kylo because he hasn't died yet, but Kylo died because Rey was already dead, and he basically just gave her his life force and died. Yeah, I follow that. I'm saying that like, would Rey have been able to resurrect Leia? At the sacrifice of herself, sure, sure. but she's I don't know, no, that. like we've seen her use healing at no cost at all to her abilities. Oh yeah, so she could probably bring back the dead at no cost too. Yeah. You're right. Yep. Completely yep. rejuvenate just... Leia. That's where we're at. <laughs> um Why didn't uh Luke just force heal Anakin at the end of Revenge of the Sith and healing and ghost ruin everything? I think they mean Return yep, of the Jedi, true. and yes. Healing and ghosts to ruin everything. Well, what they've done with them. Ruined... On the bright side, yeah. they used powers that have been in other Star Wars properties, but her adaptness at them is the problem. Yeah, adaptness. Yeah. Very slow, costly, time-consuming healing is one thing, with limited capabilities, and ghosts as they were understood in the OT are great, but what they've done with them is just... Yeah, and the way that Ray describes how she healed, I just transferred my life force. She's saying it's like it was really easy. I mean, the way you described it, any Jedi should be able to do it. Just yeah, transfer life force, you know, force do it. Uh, first live EFAP. Only recently found this channel, but been binging EFAP for a little more than a week. Have some Rhino milk. Why, oh thank you. yay! Glad you've been binging. Does Raj shove people off the rooftops, or does he RKO them into the pavement like an Egyptian Randy Orton? I mean, I suppose that's up to him. He probably does both. Depending on the the uh, the subject. Hi kids, I'm the JJ... I'm JJ the Abrams. Behold my 1000 Rhino Milk Power Engine and my 120 mm disregard for cannon. Pretty much. Um... Hiya, you beautiful massives. For an in-depth story on what happened to Palpatine after Return of the Jedi, check out the YouTube video Palpatine's Journey by Worth the Kids. Have an awesome Christmas and New Year. Karuchi e good. Um, I, I almost don't want to know, because anything trying to explain it is going to be ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that's the, the animation, Rags, the okay. Palpatine's Journey. It a, it's hilariously it a good. Joke? Yeah, oh, it's, it's a like, joke? Is it? okay, I think it's like a three-minute video, and it's watch. funny as hell. Uh, Palpatine's Force Drain was originally a power only Darth Nihilus from the Old Republic could use. Just further proof that JJ can't be original. I mean, people who without any of that knowledge, they must have been so confused as to what is even going on in that finale. And I'll just repeat what I said. <laughs> I'll repeat what I said. Stop it, okay? Keep the Force <laughs> to the basic powers. Don't step outside. Uh, while catching up to EFAP, the only episodes I couldn't tolerate were 43 through 45. Would rather listen to Major Lee than that massive pointless spider. Oh, are those... Massive pointless spider? Those are Spider-Man debates? 43 and 45? Might be. Um, Sounds about right, somewhere around there. Just got done watching a six minute video of the Ray in Galaxy's Edge greeting little kids. Whole thread was fawning over her, but not me. Two minutes passed. 
Your nudes get posted? Bam, vindication nation, baby. Never fail for Disney's lies. I don't know what Ra is going on about. Um, the lightsaber in the tunnel made me so nervous. Lightsaber in the tunnel? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, where, yeah it made me nervous too. It was so close to everyone. I was just picturing her oh, turn yeah, around right, 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 and right. chop someone in half. Like, just... uh, no, what are you doing? Whoops. That'll kill you. That'll hurt you. Not to it's mention, by the mean. way, couldn't she, like, poke it up at the sand and either melt it down or, like, create a hole? You know what I mean? I know that would yeah, be but dangerous, point, but... That she could have ripped plan. a hole in space and time and just walked out to the surface. Like. I mean, if she could, if she could lift all of those massive boulders, then why couldn't she lift the sand? Yeah. Maybe you guys are just like sexist. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Who would you cast in an EFAP remake of the ST? All hail Supreme Leader Tonald Snoke. Um. Why would you remake the sequel trilogy at all? Just kill it. Never. Like, why would you even want to do that story, if you know what I mean? I don't even think the casting is the problem. Unless the question is more so like... I don't really know. An EFAP remake of the ST. Yeah, I just, uh... I don't, I don't, it's not, the casting's not really what my concern is. Um, yeah, and at what point are you are you able to say it was the casting, not it was the writing and direction? Need Especially with this new shit. Need to catch up on Wolf's EFAPs, Free Hong Kong. Disney Star Wars needs to suffer the full and complete roof of Ra. Have fun, you massives. Will do. Absolutely. Fun, fun was had today. <laughs> are you optimistic about the future of Star Wars after seeing Rise of Skywalker? Love the channels in the stream. Keep up the good work, all of you. Uh, the, the answer to that question would be nope. Absolutely Hell not. <laughs> We're curious what they'll ruin next. Mm -hmm. uh, good, Shad, good. Kraya, probably. Uh, Thank you. I don't remember what I was saying when it was posted, <laughs> but... You said something it. that Kraya would approve of. <laughs> uh, Shad, Leia had a red lightsaber in the original EU. See? Oh, there you go. It's good to see someone else liking red. Red's not evil. Red's misunderstood. Yeah, it is red's misunderstood. the color of blood. And, um... Uh, uh, cherries. Cher cherries. Stereotypical apples. judgments. Yeah, apples. apples. There you go. Apples are Raspberries good. are red. The, and strawberries. It's the, color of, it's the color of love. It's the color okay. of red clothes. And color passion. of... Passion. Uh, yeah, passion. Love. Uh, blood. Yeah, love. and stop signs. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Warnings, I guess. Um, uh, Technically, it's the strongest color if you're looking at color wave frequencies of light. It is, by the way. Fair enough. I have no idea. I have not right. looked into yeah. color. I'm not a nerd. What's, what's the. What is the. Weakest? Oh, oh, yeah, Mirror Mola. Mirror? Mirror? the weakest color. Is no, Mula... seriously, when the sun is setting, why do you think the sky turns pink and the, in the shade of red and all that stuff? Is because all the other light gets reflected. And red is the strongest that, you know, is pushing through. Oh, so red is the color of stubbornness. Oh. <laughs> what is the hey, weakest stubborn. color, then? I think Opposite blue, of red, you know? obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know what that would be. Yeah, uh, it's, the two, it's the two extremes of the light spectrum. Ultraviolet opposite and... Opposite of red. In, infrared. Infrared, infrared is going green. up higher, and the lowest is ultraviolet, which is, you know, blue is the last color before it steps outside of the color spectrum, and red is the beginning of it. Uh, red and green are complementary colors, it's saying. It's on the opposite no. end of the color wheel, whatever that means. No, color, no, if you're looking at the color spectrum of light, it's red and blue. Opposite of red, color spectrum. It is... An analog photography in the negative red rendered green and by no um we'll, we'll just say blue because I was I was <laughs> curious but it's it's telling me about color wheels. Color I'm wheels. I'm not too concerned about color wheels. I know my colors. Uh, I was half oh, expecting. Yeah. I, I want to test you on your colors then. Oh my. All right, just what describe a color and I'll name it. No, no, no. What are the three colors that our eyes are only capable of perceiving? 
ours they are oh, actually uh, no can you, no actually i'll rephrase that because that can be wrong uh what are the three colors that are used to make all other colors in light spectrum um magenta right <laughs> and then there's uh you can just say red <laughs> it's okay. no no oh we mean like red yellow and blue it's or red yellow. red green it's and blue red, red green and blue there you red, go red green and blue I thought you meant like there's like the the like the anal answer is like magenta teal and like cyan oh. or something like that. That's what I heard. No, I don't like anal. You should. Know that. <laughs> oh. I, I don't. I I don't know that. You should know I love anal. Yeah. You, Shad's in con the inconsistent character now. I, I prefer. He prefers the annals of history. That's what his channels. Is. That's fair. Yeah. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I am. I think you are. Is it annals? No, no, annals. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure okay. it's annals of history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's a historian thing. You probably wouldn't get it. Yeah. The, the chat's gonna... already saying I'm wrong. I probably am. Um, don't well, don't quote me on anything. Matt Jarbo put out a tweet saying, made some plans to see Rise of Skywalker for the third time, but in IMAX, the more I talk about it with people, the more I want to see it again. It says the three basic primary colors are red, yellow, blue. No, no, that's in pigment. Only in pigment. And so if you're using in pigments to mix colors, like in paints or any other things, yeah, the primary colors are red, yellow, and this blue. This says red, green, Prim and blue for colors of light. For, for, for light, yeah, it's red, green, and blue for light. All right, so... So hold on, Monday Matt likes the movie? Yeah, we got Diabito and Matt Jabo have teamed up to become the villain of 2020. Okay. Diabito plus... What is going to be... Yeah, oh, we got to cover Matt Jarbo's video. Yeah, sugar and boulders. Like, we we haven't covered <laughs> Mundane Matt since he did the... He covered the survey on Game of Thrones. Oh, that was great. That was Such a great, great memories. When, when Sitch revealed to us that... Uh, wasn't it only 20% of the people identified as fans of Game of Thrones? So it was like the most worthless fucking survey ever. And so we're <laughs> yeah, it was talking about 80 people or something. <laughs> we're like, oh, shit. Uh, I was half expecting Ben to show up at the end with Luke and Leia as Force Ghosts at the end, but he had no shirt on. I believe there was a vision where Leia and Luke fight alongside them. That's what I remember reading somewhere. Yeah, the leak we read said that. Matt Jarbo tweeted, made some plans to see the rise wow, of Skywalker. he's just completely ignored hashtag. the fact that I've read that out already. <laughs> what? We were what? just read that out. Literally. That's why I asked when? Matt Jarbo. When? <laughs> when was that? Like, a minute ago. <laughs> really? Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> I was there, man. Are you, cer there. Are you certain? Rags, are you sure? rags, rags. Important question. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> well, let's see. Face. All right. F A C E arms speech. No, I'm I think I'm good. In fairness, know. we've been going for ten and a half hours, so <laughs> I don't maybe maybe while I was looking for it and finding it, you were saying it, but I was focusing on finding it, so he doubled up on it. <laughs> um, Let's say that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Uh Addie Galia was a Jedi that used a red lightsaber. I even have an action figure of her that I got in the nineties with a red lightsaber, meaning red isn't evil. Guys, stop quoting the EU. It's all decanonized. Disney has ruined it. Oh, yeah? Well, until Mother well, Teresa is decanonized, look, I am going to keep quoting Star Wars. So there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The EU is better than the Disney garbage. And then that just validates my standpoint that red is not evil. Let's, let's, let's restore uh, it. Luke it's used about a red it. lightsaber, Very... though. He had a red Shoto. See? There we go. A red Shoto? I, I, mm, <laughs> I, I guess a type of lightsaber? I don't know. Uh, Robot Chicken almost predicted Rey and Palpatine. Makes sense. Parody becomes reality, I suppose. Uh, there was definitely a theme of luck. I mean, the Force. Uh, biggest example for me was Finn pointing to the ship of which the signal jumped after the antenna went down, being asked how he knew, and he just said, I felt it, burst out laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of that. Yeah. Whenever yep. Uchi isn't on screen, other characters should say, where's Uchi? Agreed. And that's a Simpsons reference. Finn got cucked, laugh my ass off. Bleached.com. Remember, lads, height wins every time. Manlets eternally beat the fuck out. Fair enough. 
The only people shown to be enslaved by the First Order were black. Silent pause. Also, between First Order and Golden Company, which is more redundant? A Golden Company. The Golden Company. Yeah. I mean, the First Order blew up six planets. Yeah, they did some stuff. It's just the... Yeah. It's we're, like... They average two planet blowed ups per movie. It's like they were given extreme powers and they used a bit of it. <laughs> it was like, oh, you guys did some stuff, I yeah, think. You, yeah, you killed billions. The Golden Company probably didn't kill billions. So, yeah. Hooray. Um, oh, please, boo-hoo. My black people enslaved by First Order. What else would they have done? Shown a white person being a runaway ex slave Pretty sure that... It's just, it's not even just white and black people. As far as I can tell, it's just everyone. They mention it at one point, right? That they just steal young people. Yeah, they never, like that guy, we mentioned, we, we mentioned that tweet because it's stupid, not because it's true. Um, Shad's version would need Finn to be a character. I'd, I'd say he's a character. He's not a particularly, you know. Yeah, just a normal well-employed character and nowhere near reaching the potential of what he could have achieved. And he just doesn't match what we understand to be his history whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, Kylo Solo or Ben Wren? Which is worse? Probably Ben Wren. Kylo Solo or Ben Wren? Yeah, Ben Wren sounds worse. Because <laughs> ben, ben Wren is like one syllable each, so it's like boom, boom, and it's done. But Kylo Solo, at least it's at least it can spread that out over four syllables. Like we would call that awkward, but Ben Wren, like, ugh. and you can't even like call him Br because you don't save any syllables. Uh, Mola, what's the best way to send you memes? Discord, Reddit, Twitter. Although I have not checked any of them while doing the stream, um, I shall once it's over. But Mola, Palps called him a boy. Yeah, mm, well. I'm a boy. <laughs> I saw the training scene between Luke and Leia. Another hardly trained Jedi kicked Luke's butt in this film. Yay. Yep. Yeah. Luke is shit. Shad will lay waste to the notion that six, a number from his point of view, Six is a letter. By the way, why are we still talking about Star Wars? Cats is out. Well, Six is a letter. Go see the, cats. If, you, if you're referring to the symbol that represents the numeric value of six, you could call that symbol a letter. Weren't they already talking about like changing the visuals to cats? Yeah, someone mentioned that earlier, I think. Um, cats movie. Let me Google it and see what's up. Um, Universal notifies theaters cats is being updated with improved visual effects the move is unheard of for a finished film already in release it's so bad. <laughs> i'm looking forward to oh the my god movies for it have opened seen... to 2.6 million yeah have you seen the reviews it's like on 18 percent even on rotten oh, tomatoes yeah. i think or something like that it is bombing hard I guess it doesn't have Disney behind it to pay for reviews, so, you know. Uh, a friend told me it's fine that Rey is a Mary Sue because thanks to her, tons of little girls have gotten into Star Wars and that's all that really matters, isn't it? Um, oh, I think shit. girls could have gotten no. into it whether or not she was a Mary Sue. That's, this is true. Um, Oi, can you get the gun from Star Wars Theory, guy from Star Wars Theory on EFAP one day? He said he doesn't know you, Mola, but you probably know him. He made great fan-made Darth Vader film. Have a good one, guys. Uh, oh, that'd be super cool. Yeah, I'm not against it. Um, um, hang on, hang on. Star Wars Theory. I think I watched a review of his of this movie, and I think he liked it. Oh, no. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's I, I chat about that, to, too. I, I, I don't okay. want to incorrectly malign him, so I'm going to look this up quickly. Um, How dare you malign him, sir? I know. To to say someone who disliked this movie to that they liked it is uh, such a uh, insult to their character that um, well, gee, his latest video is "I'm a Disney shill now?" Question mark. Real talk. Oh. So I, I think that's his response to the negative reaction he had. Well, like you can see like with it. us, I think that our you know EFAP fan base as a whole, if they'd seen this film, they'd know we wouldn't have liked it because of the sheer amount of inconsistencies, and like we've been through them, we've explained it, and so I think it's just mm -hmm. a general question people have. It's just like, so you did like it, that's fine. Did you know about all of these inconsistencies? If not, does it change your mind? If it if you did know, 
it's interesting that they wouldn't affect your experience. That's probably where people are at, and then they can maybe jump to some conclusions like shill and stuff, but... You know, I don't want to throw that card at every single person who enjoys the film. I'll just be like, well... You know, some people just want to chill and watch a Star Wars movie, I guess. Uh, okay, so yeah, Star Wars Theory. I just found his review. He literally says, in his opinion, it's really amazing. He, well, I would. it's liked, definitely he amazing. Liked it. He liked it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my I goodness. agree. Uh, someone in chat said he claims he liked it. He doesn't claim it's well written. Oh, that's fine. Oh, really? Okay. That's fine then. Um, uh, his review has a million views. Wow. That's, he's got a big channel. Um, uh, Finn, Ray, no, stop. Get away from Kylo. Stop it, please. Stop touching your lightsabers. No. Well, yeah. Uh, even though it's pretty clear Finn wanted to date her, she was interested in the bad boy. Yeah, boy. Have you heard? The last 50 up. minutes of TROS is a warning from organizations because of photosensitivity. No other Star Wars movie ever had this. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Brain that start was horrible. Uh, check out Stephen Crozet's video on TLJ for one of the worst takes I've ever seen. The worst part, go to 4256. I shall consider it. I've uh, put it in my notes. Um, they could have fixed the ending if they let Anakin possess Kylo. The only reason he's even able to is due to blood lineage, and then fight Palpatine and beat him without fucking up the OT by keeping it that Anakin beat him. That would still be kind of tismy, but I can see where you're going with that, like, in terms of trying to sort of fix the mess. Lots of suggestions everyone has, I think, at this point, because anything but what we got would be nicer. Um, the comms array was turned off so the capital ship could send the signal could just be turned back on when the rebels leave, stopping nothing. Agreed. Yeah, you said that more. Yep, you pointed that out. Uh, her name was Steve? That's a super chat. I don't know what to do with it. Hey, her Steve. name was Steve. Uh, they could have done it where Kylo force grabs Anakin's lightsaber and fights Palpatine, and they could have hired the choreographer from uh, Revenge of the Sith, and had Adam Driver use the exact fighting style of Anakin. Oh, because he's Anakin possessed. Y yeah, you know, no reason not to give that a shot, I suppose. Hey, Lord Maul, if you want a palate cleanser after the ST, just play KOTOR 2 on PC. It's likely the best written Star Wars media ever made. That's what I hear, a lot. Uh, hi, Maul Daddy, I can't wait for the ROS porn parody. It'll surely be of better quality. Hashtag do it. The Rise of Skywalker. No alteration needed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Go how, to the docks. How close are we getting to 12 hours exactly? How much further can we go? One We're hour and 10 minutes. Hours. Oh, my yeah. God. Go to the dark side. Join me. Say the N-word. <laughs> if Palpatine didn't die from what happened to him in Return of the Jedi, why are we supposed to believe he's really dead this time? We're not. You know, that's a good question. That's a good Ray question. was the one who killed him. So there. <laughs> yeah, Ray did it this time. Like, Shame she's much more effective than in the, that crappy Vader dude. Yeah, he's a loser. No one cares. No one, he's, no one remembers him. He's like, a, he's like an idiot in a suit or whatever. She's like a full-on human. It's way better. He's a big dummy. Uh, Jenny Nicholson's primary gripe seems to be the movie isn't SJW enough. What a joke she is. Really? Uh, I'll check out her video. I just assumed. I was looking for a view. She must have only posted it like last night this morning for me. Tell you what, I'm super in anticipating the Red Letter Media one. I, I just. The memes, <laughs> the funnies. I can't wait for them to just laugh at this thing. Um, oh. I wish when someone farted in public, their rear released a bubble in which the fart would be stored and everyone could see that bubble coming out of their rears, and balls should still grow into babies. Oh, that's this guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> The scary man. Alternatively, okay. I wish the only way to make new people would be to remove a testy and plant it into the ground and have it grow into a baby tree. Oh no. That is some unique... Yeah, it's cr it's right yeah. universe, that doesn't I sound, guess. Okay, so that doesn't seem very tenable because if... That means every male, assuming every male had the maximum amount of children, would be two. No, well, he said plants a baby tree. What if it has multiple oh, babies on the tree? Oh, and a lot of... Oh. Yeah. This law goes deep, man. Just, you know. Uh, my favorite line, they win because they make us feel alone. What the fuck? 
Yeah, no, they win because of their galaxy destroying lasers. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure the guns that blow up planets are contributing more than their uh, morale deficiency. The limitless force power that somebody <laughs> he just said out. that to her, and she was like, "Yeah, no, I get it, but you know what I mean." <laughs> Shut up, though. I mean, like, yeah, that 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 can't help. I'm sure, but you know, um. Rags and Mauler say the Butter Anvil in epic voice. What are, you go first. All right. The Butter Anvil. The Butter Anvil. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. And I will say this. Get to that, it. Doesn't sound, that, that doesn't sound like a very efficient anvil if it's made out of butter. It has to be, it must be very cold. Yeah, hard butter. Yeah. Slamming down. It must be Sith butter. They win because they make us feel alone. Yes, Poe, I too love Trump. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Um, I'm, I'm, very, what means. I'm very disappointed that Palpatine didn't shout unlimited power while shooting lightning at the fleet. Yeah, that would have been awesome, honestly. But I almost felt like it would be more appropriate to Ray, for Rey to have said that when she crossed the lightsabers. Because she's the one who had it. I would hate if she took took his line. He gets to say it. Dude, here. that would piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I, I'm just saying it seems more appropriate though as to no. who had the unlimited power. Oh, there you power. go. She could just say that. X gun, give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JJ is doing his best to fight racism by tearing down the stereotype that Jews are smart. Oh, <laughs> that's very uh, noble of him. <laughs> Uh, about the Skype call, didn't Snoke make that possible? If so, how is it still happening? It could be Palpatine, good but why? Question. Yep, good questions. I guess it's Palpatine, but then it makes you wonder, it's like, can't Palpatine keep track of everything that happens in those conversations? And Kylo just seems to not care about that? I don't know. You'd think if he also set up those Skype calls, he would be able to do the force reaching and teleport grab stuff off the person as well. Yeah, even to literally them, just grab them. It, don't you think it's weird that, like, it, it's just so normal to Kylo, but it seems like it would be, like, a curse. Like, it, and, and it also seems that he controls it. Like, it, she never seems to initiate them, but he always does. <laughs> Outside of the yeah. first one, I guess, in TLJ, where she, like, sees him, and he's like, wait, what? And then she goes to shoot him, and he's like, whoa. But, yeah. Um... Where did the Geode meme come from? Also, hi, Jay. That came from his video on the Game of Thrones, like, browser game, I believe. The official Game of Thrones browser game. Yes. Yeah, he got... Download uh, today! <laughs> yeah, he got, like, some fake sock accounts coming in and praising the game, and for some reason, they kept saying Geode in their really broken English. Geode? <laughs> I normally yeah, just kind of nowhere. in my video game reviews. It's very important that you understand Geodes. Make so, sure you say the whole thing. It has to be the Game of Thrones official browser game. You can't short. Speaking of Jay, he's supposed to return. That massive. How um, dare he? Also, Blank Blank said, Hey, Mola, Critical Drinker wants to be on EFAB. I, I think he came and went. <laughs> he's, he's probably not going to be alive. Yeah, I mean, I awake, yeah. not alive. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Game uh, of think... Thrones, the official browser game. So that's Gotog. Mm hmm. Gotog. Um, Ray, oh no, Kylo, don't remotely tear off my clothes. No, don't do that. I totally don't like it when that happens. Finn crying in not, the distance. Not in public, not here in front of everybody. <laughs> poor, <laughs> he, poor Finn. That would be so embarrassing if that happened. When Kylo and Ray Skype fight in his quarters, Kajimi, it's the shattering of Vader's memorial that tells Kylo she's in his quarters, not the dagger in her hand since the beginning of the fight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. You are absolutely correct. Uh, See, the more you think about it, the more it falls apart. Well, we we did uh, highlight that one. It was uh, mm -hmm. frustrated as hell to to think about. Cause it's just stupid. Uh, my nose started running from rage in the theater. I literally checked to make sure it wasn't blood. By the time the film was over, I was shaking with rage, as my video rant Twitter clearly demonstrates. I've written twenty four pages of notes on this garbage movie. Guess what? My first essay is going to be, guys. Also, hey, another one. Yeah, if I want to get a video meme in for Wolf to see. What would be the deadline there? Should I have my new computer today? Finally. Like I said, man, I, I, I don't want to make exceptions for anybody. I'd rather just say that it was for that stream and that we're just going to close it off now because he's... Um, 
I don't think he's going to want to keep having to sort of address them. And besides, uh, honestly, I'm not even sure I can get it all done in one uh, recording. Because we've got uh, a shit ton of videos and uh, super chats to go through as well as uh, images. Hypothetical, you were put in charge of Star Wars back in 2014 with a secret goal of ruining Star Wars as a movie brand. Do you do anything different? No. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't think you could even try and get it as good as this. There is, there is <laughs> no need. If you're too obvious about it, you'd think the execs would be like, no, you can't do that. Like, you That's nuts, right. that'll this, never work. This all, all this got approved. It's amazing. They're like, I yeah. Don't, I don't, don't understand. Uh, what if the reason Force Ghosts can't confront the Sith is because Jedi and Sith can manipulate the Force and Force Ghosts are made out of the Force? Imagine Kylo Ren using Go Ghost Yoda's lightning against Rey or Luke. Um, so like, this, like if a Force Ghost shows up and the Sith can just manipulate them because they can manipulate the Force and then force them to use Force Lightning on their friends? I mean, at that point I think nobody would understand what the hell's happening. We're already there, though. Pretty much. I don't understand what's going on. Um, also, if I want to get a video meme... Oh, wait, that's the same one. Hey, guys. Uh, watched EFAP 64 and 5. So sad I couldn't watch it live. I'm going to miss Wolf, but I'm glad you guys are still here. I got work, so we'll see if the long man is still around when I get back. I'm sure we are. Check it out. <laughs> the concept of putting a secret on a knife that could get stuck in someone and escapes is just stupid. Make it a ceremonial one or something. Yeah, no, right? Just have a map and a knife. Why combine them? <laughs> uh, when did hyperspace jumping become instant, by the way? I seem to remember in the OT the journey to Alderaan taking a while. Such a while indeed that Obi-Wan had time to train Luke a bit in the Force. You are a smart man, sir. Very smart indeed. Hmm? Official canon. Quinlan Voss, a Kifa Jedi from prequels, was proficient with psychometry and acquire info about people and events by ch touching an object. Uh, there you go, I guess. Do it. Uh -huh. F to a well-kicked J. Oh, I guess this is w in the stream where J left. There we are, guys. That's how far in we are. Oh and then what, what was that? What, is, what was that, two hours? I'm not going to answer that question, because... <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? I was right, didn't I? <laughs> well, let's have a look. We should... Hang on, I can check. Oh, wait, can we check? Does it say when he left? Well, I've just got the uh, stream up on YouTube, and so I'm just going to scroll through on the timer. Until oh, there it is. 10.28 p.m., which means that was three and a half hours in. <laughs> I'm catching up, boys. And we are currently at 11 hours in, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> Looks like me and Rags will have to catch up on these. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. We can devote all of our attention and everything to all the, uh, all the dings. Mm -hmm. Just about to watch it. Back in a few hours. Enjoy. The Pasana Chase. Now this is pod racing. Uh, C-3PO had a Republic Sith language ban programmed in. His memory was wiped at the end of Episode 3. This is where the restrictions could have been put in. Uh, sure, theoretically, yeah. I just don't see why... The, the, all the stuff we went over with all of that, it's just so nonsensical. Yeah, we, we agree that it might have made sense to have him have a restriction that he couldn't even read the language, but he could read it. He was restricted in translating and telling anyone what he read, and that's the dumb thing. Yeah, it's that doesn't like, really make sense, does it? Like, why would... No. Why would you want that's to like not know what it's like a technicality a 12-year-old would think of. You're like... You, like I can read it, but I just can't tell you. Because if, if the logic is it's too dangerous to read Sith things, it's like, so why not make it so I can't read it? Instead of that I can't translate it. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, remember when Rags... Like, I know exactly sorry. what it says. Remember when Ray's lightning destroyed an entire ship and Palpatine's lightning only turns the ships off and messes with the controls? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, but hers was... She didn't even mean to do hers, though, so... Yeah, it makes sense. He was trying to destroy yeah. them while she was only accidentally uh, destroying it. Yeah. That makes it better. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, that dagger bad. alone, you can spend 30 minutes on the stupidity of that MacGuffin. It's mm -hmm. it's it's shocking the the dagger is ridiculous. Uh, just stand in the right place, hold the dagger out, pull the ruler out, and pray to God the Death Star ruins don't move to find the next item. Yep. And also pray that you're standing in the right spot. Like mm -hmm. there's no way she could have known that. Uh, Dio knows the way to heaven. Yes, he uh, he was in the Tenacious D movie. I always found that neat. Dio. 
Yeah. Uh, Robot? Not that, no. Uh, there was a ton of female stormtroopers in this. I noticed that too. Um, I noticed that there were some, some female voices coming from stormtroopers. So who won the bet on the most inconsistent character? That would be Wolf, Shad, Dust Bullshit, and a fourth person? Who did I say it was? Rags. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Uh, I would disagree with it being a crowd pleaser. My entire theater made audible groans during the kiss scene. Well, this is the thing. Um, I don't really know. It's kind of hard. I already mm. said that going off the Rotten Tomatoes as, as numbers being trustworthy. I don't even know if that's true. Yeah, um, X86 seems so fishy to me. If I was to choose which one I think would be more of a crowd pleaser, I honestly would go with Rise of Skywalker, but I don't think it's like, you know, double as exciting or something. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, in my cinema, when Ray said she was Ray Skywalker, there was an audible boo from one of the audience. I've seen these videos. <laughs> They're funny. Uh, you shouldn't be able to heal a fatal wound like a lightsaber through the chest. Well, by definition, you can't heal a fatal wound. What's the difference between a fatal wound and a mortal wound? Well, one can't... They None of them can kill Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed this, yeah. I think if you have a fatal wound, meaning you're with, it, no treatment is going to heal you, but you're still alive, the inherent nature of magical healing seems to imply you could still heal. That's if it doesn't have limitations, of course. Yeah, like, say, for example, it punctured your liver or something, and then force healing can just reform all of it. Um, but Shad, what if I just move all bonds to healing or find a bringer? <laughs> well, the healing in uh, uh, Chronicles Ever Fall can get pretty OP if they stack enough bonds on them. And for bringers, they, they have a level to their healing ability. They can't resurrect people or anything like that. And, uh, yes, but for a single person, they can generally heal most injuries on a single person, no matter how severe, as long as that person's still alive, but that would make them done for the day. Um, they wouldn't be able to heal anyone else for a full day until they rest and recover their channeling ability. To answer that. Uh, if you're a magical healing in my book, just, yeah, I, don't know. I, I, I'm sure it's just as well written as JJ's. I'm sure that you, you took inspiration. <laughs> don't, don't you dare say that. <laughs> don't you dare say that. Uh, if you're a huge fan of melee combat, what weapons or armor would you weld to help with that in the modern age? Help what would I, in the modern age? Um, I can't, I don't, as far as I'm aware, I don't think any, like, if, I don't know if I could craft anything that would be, like, bulletproof. I, mean, I I don't know the context of the question. Help with what? say the question one more if time. If you're a huge fan of melee combat, what weapons or armor would you weld to help with that in the modern age? I assume it means wield. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, what, like, what melee weapons would you use in, in the, the modern, modern age? age? In the modern age, um, uh, dagger. I don't want to see. Pro yeah, probably because it's got a lot of utility to it. Yeah. And my first directive would be to get a gun. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the dagger is the perfect backup weapon that you can use really well in close quarters and is yeah. viciously lethal. You could use it as a bayonet. At yeah, you can use it as a bayonet attachment and things like that. Um, so for the modern days, and the other thing, it's no, it's nowhere near as cumbersome. If you're already carrying around a rifle and stuff, having another big sword on you is, is a bit of overkill. Um, yeah, a sword is about what four pounds? At four pounds, if it's fairly heavy, right? Uh, I mean, I use metric, man. I don't know where you're stuck oh. in the Stone Age. I'm, I'm <laughs> stuck. I'm too busy, too busy ruling the world to even care about what you can say. Right? But I, I think that it's like for pounds, it's like three and a half, four ish pounds is like a long sword, and a gun is about twice that, uh, often sure. more. So if three and a half, four pounds is uh, one and a half kilos. Then you would be correct. But let me, know. let me take the. What is, let's see, kilos to pound? Average longsword is 1.2 to 1.5 kilos. They can get lighter and heavier than that, but that's the average. Yeah, so one kilo is 2.2 pounds. So. Oh. So that's an arming. Oh, like one, one kilo is a one handed sword. So an arming sword. But yeah, basically, dagger, you can conceal it. 
it, it it won't get in your way. It is good for utility. Um, but as for armor, man, I can't think of anything that would be bulletproof. Yeah, I mean, honestly. maybe there's some daily, maybe there's some special thing out there that's bulletproof. But if we're using old materials, you probably know more than I do. But I can't think of any that's bulletproof. Especially modern firearms, modern weapons at modern velocities. You're you're kind of like I know in the trenches they would use armor sometimes, but those would only defend against shots from hundreds of yards away. And you they basically were massive slabs of metal that just sat on your shoulders. It wasn't anything you could move around in. Mad Jack is my hero, just saying. At this point, I'd say ditch the armor and just stay mobile and try to hide because mm -hmm. ain't nothing yeah. metal you're wearing is going to stop that bullet yeah. that's not modern. Yeah. Any Anything that is strong enough to stop rifle rounds is ridiculously heavy and cumbersome, which is why most um, you know combat people and stuff, the modern-day soldiers only have like a chest plate. And they and they have a lot of them do have options to have additional plates, but they well, yeah, I got some. Test. I, um, yeah. I, I got some, and it's 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 like sixteen pounds. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's I mean, luckily it's, I mean, it, it'll save your life, but it's sixteen pounds, man, mm -hmm. and that's so, uh, that's heavy. Yeah. Um, in the EU, you could force heal only minor wounds. Not anymore. Uh, Barris Offy <laughs> could use Force Heal in canon. The Clone Wars animated series is canon. How long are you going to keep repeating this? Uh, we'll keep repeating it because it's valid? Keep yeah, repeating uh, what? Wait, what? My we, so, I think we made it very explicitly clear that we're not actually against Force Healing as a concept. Yeah, yeah, as we explained, if Force Healing has limits, right? If it has limits, and if it has stuff like it takes time to do, it requires concentration. It requires a high level of training. Then, sure, I'm okay with it. But if it's just like I will bring you back from the dead now, that's a that's going that's taking it pretty far, yeah. a little too uh, far, I, I think. Lethal mm -hmm. impalement? I, eh. <laughs> I, I would prefer all healing to be kept out of Star Wars as a whole because I think it uh, has too many strong, uh, I guess, implications, negative effects on the narrative and suspense that Star Wars is generally able to produce through good stories and stuff. And so if it's in uh, Clone Wars, I would lodge the same criticisms against it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not saying it's not employed better than they did in uh, Rise of Skywalker, because it probably is. Rise of Skywalker's employment of it is just stupid. Because, yeah, if you employ it, you want the same kind of limitations Rags was talking about. Um... I don't know if you guys wanted to clarify, just to make sure it wasn't misunderstood. Uh, blame the controller said that's not true at all about rifles and bullets. Modern armor is very good at stopping bullets, even at close range. You were um, you more referencing? I thought you were referencing like medieval style stuff, right? Or is it? Yeah, the World yeah, War that's II what I and one meant. armor. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I... May but, yeah. maybe if you're lucky, if it is a small bullet at a low velocity and it hits you at a really steep angle it'll stop it but that that is uh yeah the context that, wasn't like modern armor it was uh yeah, yeah. modern armor Their absolutely armor, yeah, wear it is is pretty good at resisting you know even rifle round stuff but it gets ridiculously heavy and there there is versions of modern armor that isn't nearly as strong as others as well there's you know, oh yeah there's different stuff. levels and grades and stuff like that and uh, and there are some um, that's only rated to stop handguns and things, so... Yeah, most will... Like, level 3 stuff is pretty much good up to, like, 30 caliber, for the most part. Uh, it depends on the kind, and obviously it's not always going to be the same. Sometimes it's soft body armor, that it's much more concealable. Uh, the best stuff generally comes in the form of big plates that you put in plate carriers. But remember, like, cars aren't bulletproof. Like, bullets are serious business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like those isn't, pesky isn't, humans designed uh, it for that. <laughs> exactly. Isn't uh, the Kevlar people use often take only like two bullets before that thing is near useless and un unusable? Or at least at that point? it'll it can. fuck you up getting yeah. hit by it after that. Oh yeah, the um, stopping power. It's like you're going to stop the bullet from penetrating, but the stopping power is still enough to bust your ribs. 
Um, but no, not <clears throat> not quite that serious. I mean, you'll definitely feel it. It's not going to break your ribs generally. Really, I, I think you'll I've feel heard it. People's ribs breaking from. Wait, just to uh, clarify, it might, He said but, after it's been shattered, right? So like after it's been damaged. Yeah, after it's been hit and shattered, depending on where it hits after that. Yeah, it might. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if it's damaged, it won't be as good at stomping bullets. And it also depends on what you get hit with. And um, still, but none of this would kill Palpatine. None of this would kill Palpatine. Pal Palpatine doesn't even need armor. Is the force the is dark armor. side has many powers. He has plot yeah. armor. He has plot armor except when it's against Ray. Uh, in my novel, the Savior Libra, Nina heals Lance's shoulder after it's torn by a wolf. He never has full use of it. Mismatched muscles, thick scars. Fair enough. Uh, Shad healing is not always that OP. It could just allow for quick healing of flesh wounds rather than full blown Wolverine regen. Yeah, I maybe. Yeah, it depends. I agree. On how you if, do it. if there's limitations on it and stuff, you can employ it in a story. But even in that regards with Star Wars, I think just look, keep it out of Star Wars. Yeah, the original the... Force powers were, were really good, well defined, had good restrictions, and uh, could be employed in inventive ways. That's all you needed, and it worked really well. Yeah, if it was only cer something that certain Jedi could do of a certain Jedi class, certain kinds of training, if it was like a non-combat thing, it was like after the fight you could apply almost like it's first aid to a degree. But mm -hmm. man, you got to be you just can't make it o ultra powerful. No cost, easy to do, just a get out of jail free card essentially for storytelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, Anakin heals his mother in episode two. Saga ends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the worm has Drogon levels of comprehension. Yep. Is uh, you can understand the themes. Uh, thanks for ripping into this film, guys. It's very cathartic, and I haven't even seen it yet. Lol. Oh well, <laughs> that's that's an interesting level of catharsis. Um. So is General Gay Pride better or worse than General Sucks? I'd say he's better. You guys reckon? General. Who's General Sucks? Gen <laughs> Who do you think General oh, Sucks is? General My Sucks? My brain. Hux. Um, um, and then who I do you think General Huxley Gay right Pride there. is referring to? General Sucks. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Purple hair lady. My no, brain is what? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so. General what? Sucks. General yeah, Sucks. sucks. I know. Yeah. Gen what rhymes with sucks here, Shad? General I said Bucks. it was Hux. Yeah, General, General Bucks. Ge hang on, General. I said it was Hux. General Gay okay. Pride. You said was Holdo. Wasn't she? General Gay no. Pride. 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 Oh. <laughs> I, I I understand hey, why gosh. Shad thought Holdo. I've though. been trying to review this dumpster of a movie for <laughs> like just let my brain. It's rest. okay. Not Please. unreasonable. It's okay. Not unreasonable that he confused Pride with Admiral Gender. I I <laughs> prefer Pride to Sucks. Um. Personally. The suck comes before the pride. Mm. Wait, what? Mm. Uh, oh yeah, Das saw the pick of your character. Your PFP is from, and he's a handsome one, and love that artist. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. 10k watching at 6pm EST. Also, hi, Mom. Aw. It is six. It's past 6am over, over in my neck of the woods. Uh, no worries, just pop a force res, bruh. In TPM, Obi-Wan makes a little motion over Qui-Gon after he's stabbed, and Qui-Gon says, too late. I thought that implied Obi-Wan was trying to heal him. I don't know. Why would it be maybe. too late? You can heal people after they've died. <laughs> you can, maybe, you can definitely oh, yeah, but Obi-Wan was no Rey. True, or true. Milo, or like, poor Obi-Wan, he'd only been training since he was like a kid. She'd been training for like a day. That's where he messed up. Mm -hmm. That's where he messed up. Force healing is a BS hormone type thing. I hate it. Okay. Hormone type thing? I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, in the EU, healing needed a self-induced trance. Alright. Yeah, it's def not yeah. something you could use in combat. It's more like we've won the fight, now we could perform some kind of aid on anyone who's been injured. Uh, Luke never Luke's uses there. any abilities that he hasn't already seen other Jedi use. Rey doesn't even need to know what the Force abilities are possible to use them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, does them she does the best ones by accident. <laughs> Force lightning, whoops. Force heal. 
Yeah. Uh, the exorbitant amount of crazy force users in the EU is a problem Timothy Zahn had mentioned before as being an issue. I would agree. Yeah. Um, could someone have force healed Padme? I don't know. She's uh, dying of sadness. Can you really heal sadness? Yeah. Puppies. Imagine true, what actually. Anakin would have done Wave like if, if he found out there was such thing as force healing and he could learn how to do it. The crap he went through just on the promise of immortality, and they're like, no, you could learn force healing. You know, then, yeah, like, man, it's not good. Went to would lose best it. door in chat said, Qui Gon be like, Obi, you've been bad at healing all the time. Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> it's like, do you want me to try? He's like, no. <laughs> like, okay. nah, bro. It's all good. <laughs> uh, this ended up being my favorite Star Wars for all the wrong reasons. Where would you guys rank it? It's like drawn uh, for worst. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a draw oh, either worst or second to worst. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty bad. Uh, beware the turd whims of Pooprakis. All right. I will. That sounds awful. Thank, mm. thank you for the warning. Just got out of the cinema. Words do not exist. Thank fuck you, masters are still on. I need EFAP now. Bloody hell. No sleep now. Only EFAP. Cleanse me. Oh. <laughs> Cleanse me, daddy. Ahsoka was my favorite. Rip. Ahsoka fought Vader. Ezra went back in time to save her. Seriously, she's alive at the end of Rebels and searching for Ezra, who disappeared with the hyperspace whales to defeat Thrawn. Yes, really. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't. I don't know what that I is. I believe you. Yep. I don't know. I. Mm -hmm. Luke and Leia both die due to overdosing on the Force. Yeah. <laughs> Just as yep. we remember them. Uh. The Rise of Skywalker Palpatine is a crappy knockoff of the Immortal Emperor in Swator. Uh, total garbage. Hail Valkorion. Kneel before the Dragon of Zakul. Force Ghost Luke should have fought Palpatine himself while Rey stayed behind. I mean, he can catch a lightsaber and lift an X-Wing out of the water. Yeah, but, you know. She can do it. Why would he want to do that? It's dangerous. Why would he want to take that away from Ray? Otherwise, the, the women won't watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like this one just says, this movie is shit. But... I agree. <laughs> Wise words. Hard to not. Oi, Wookie, you got a license for that knife? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what happened <laughs> that's with the captain. That's why they stopped him, yeah. There's plot armor and then there's being immortal. I mean, that's what plot armor is. Like, the strongest of plot armor makes you immortal, essentially. Um, yeah, Poe's got it good. Funny how the attempt to counter her op just reinforces how much of a broken Mary Sue she is. At this point, the archetype should be revised for her. Pretty much, yeah. Like, I think yeah, most people will be referring I... to her when they say Mary Sue in future. Or you could just... Ray Sue is the new title for that... that definition. Ray Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it should have been Dark Helmet instead of Palpatine. Agreed. Way better bad guy. Uh, you don't train to learn lightning. You train for telekinesis abilities. It's a projection of your emotions. All you need is anger slash passion to use it. Really? I don't know. Like, I've, I've heard uh, people saying that you need to be shot by force lightning to be able to use force lightning according to EU stuff somewhere. And so... And if that was the case, you'd think that would be going off all the time if that's all it took is just a strong emotion. You angry and attuned to the force in some way? Yeah, we'd have, we'd have issues everywhere. People are just blasting off. Wait a minute, did did Ray even get hit by Force Lightning at all? No, never. That's why, if that's true, I had to, haven't confirmed it. But Did she um, get uh, hit? Did Snoke never hit her with Force Lightning? Nah, just kind of gave her the, made her, made her wobble. He, he did like, yeah, he did like Force Torture on her. She just goes, ah, like there's no, there's no lightning. Yep, so that's out. Um, greetings. Cool. Ray beats up people and then becomes allies. That's some anime level stuff. Oh, hey, look. We, I, we I hated Jimmy. that. Um, I had hated that because she, she's like, I want to kill you so fucking bad right now. Gets whacked with a stick. Well, I guess I love him. Yeah, you guys are okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the leaks for this film made me break down and make my first car video. It was more of a rant than anything. Just thought I'd give it a shot. There you go. Another person. This this, this what's happening. JJ's bringing people to the creative you know, realm of YouTube. Uh, here's the amount I'd spend on a TROS ticket. Y'all deserve it way more than Disney. I've gotten far more entertainment and enlightenment from y'all than anything Disney put under Star Wars. Thanks. Thank you. And five times the length. 
Um, if R2 can back up his memory, then why didn't BB-8? I guess BB-8 can't. That's just not something BB-8 can I, do. I guess not. It's just Neither ball. him nor Dio could do it. Mm-hmm. Shad, any tips on marketing a book? Start a YouTube channel. It'd really help me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's basically it. I mean, marketing a self-published novel without having any reach is very tricky, very difficult. Um, so building a platform of any kind, even if it's a blog, Facebook page, or anything, is going to help out tremendously. Um, and if you're not going to be doing that, you need to get word of mouth a lot. And like, in all honesty, a different publishing strategy would probably serve better. Um, uh, and this was even advice Brandon Sanderson was saying to people, and even when I was talking to him about it, um, if you're going to be uh, self-publishing and you don't have a marketing platform, self-publishing several books fairly close together, even if they're shorter, is something that could get more attention, more notice in Amazon's algorithms and stuff, depending on what you're publishing through, um, to build kind of momentum that way. So it's a tricky thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's weird how many of the high star reviews on Rotten Tomatoes are by accounts that have generic names, no profile pictures, and no other movies reviewed in their history. Ah, you see, that's what I've no, they mu yeah. must have loved this movie that yeah, much. Yeah, they, they really liked it, guys. They just, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sure Bob loved it very much. They turned Palpatine into GLaDOS, Mouth of Sauron, Guardian of the Prison of Azkaban with his Dementor fingers. He also ear rapes and lightning spunks the sky. Quote credit to Creamy Sheaf. Well, yeah, that about sums it up. Uh, saw the movie. How can it be that horrible? Seriously, the leaks were true. JJ, how could you be so stupid? What the fuck, man? I'm pissed off. Ra, get your roof. This roof has a lot of, like, desires. I wonder if he rents it out or not. Uh, Better, they... if he wants to make money. True. The Disney trilogy is not about Jedi and Sith battling each other. It's about demigods fighting for dominance in the galaxy. Bland, bland demigods. Not going to disagree with that. Thank you all for the laughs this year, and Merry Christmas, you massive massives. Merry Crimbo to you Christmas. too, sir. Merry Crim, Crim Chris. Bounty Hunter ghosts have mullets and leather vests. That would be cool. Be the cool ghosts. To be fair, we don't know how big the Rebel fleet was in Return of the Jedi. In the EU, the Rebels lost thousands of ships at Yavin alone, but were not defeated. Well, we saw it, didn't we? Like, there's several, like, wide shots in Return of the Jedi of how big the Rebel fleet was. Unless they mean, like, in total across the universe. Because, yeah, there could be more or whatever. Uh, no, no, they came because Lando showed up with his capes. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, he would have been like, hey, check these out. <laughs> Don't you want to help out with uh, the cause? He wooed all their computer uh, AI. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm suspect. surprised he was uh, interested in that woman at the end. <laughs> uh, did you guys lol at the bass drop meme sound when Palpatine shot the lightning? I was dying. I actually was. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, Palpatine <laughs> believed in redundancy when it came to Death Stars, but not navigation towers. Nah. That's Who insane. needs them? I, most people know how to go up. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, they needed to watch the Pixar movie in order to understand the concept of up, because it turns out they didn't know exactly what it was. Yeah, if they had some balloons, they'd know <laughs> which way is up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, some Face reason, balloon. some reason, Lost Chat Super Chat didn't work. Someone yelled and clapped when Star Wars came up. Several people groaned in response, and I just felt bad because I knew it was about to happen. Yeah. Clap. <laughs> Honestly. When I was in the cinema and it said, the dead speak, I was like, oh my god, here we go. The dead speak. <laughs> this is it. The dead speak. Uh, dead speak. What is the point of all of this if we can't go up? Yeah, I know. I, oh wait, that's a reference, isn't it? What's the point of all of this if we can't go up? <laughs> that's what we'd say in TLG, I guess. Chips are having erectile dysfunction. Can't get up. Nope. Up? Are these to clone troopers with the minds of children? Children know how to go up. Yeah. Yeah, that's simple. What an insult to children. Oh, Every you. child knows up from down. When Palpatine did his ear rape base boosted lightning, I actually cried laughing so hard. Please tell me I'm not alone there. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. 
Uh, wait, if Palpy controls Snoke, then what the fuck was Snoke doing in TLJ with Rey? Explain, JJ, explain! <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't have to explain anything, he's leaving Star Wars forever. Clearly Hux's skin actually begins at the pants. Oh, in, uh, about, oh, about the wound, the, yeah. the knee wound, yeah. Wait. So, just could I also, random comment, right? Mm -hmm. Um, one of the problems with this movie, Rise of Skywalker was trying to find a proper antagonist because Snoke was dead. You know, trying to explain how Snoke survived and bringing him as the antagonist in the next movie would have been, is, takes less leaps in logic than bringing back Palpatine himself. Just like, you know, we've had people chopped in half survive and come back in Star Wars already. So they could have just brought Snoke back. It is alive and angry. It I wants mean, revenge. I'd sooner believe that than, I mean, and Disney's done it before. Disney brought back Darth Maul in the Solo movie. Exactly. That's so, what I mean. That's exactly yeah, what I mean. They did it. It's, yeah, and you, a could, you could literally have Snoke was like, that was a hologram, and I made it look like you killed me, lol. <laughs> and we, and we'd all be were... like, oh, okay, hologram, alright. Yeah, but I obviously picked Palpatine because he's so much more menacing and has so much more weight to him, but you yeah, could have well given known. Snoke weight. Yeah, just have Snoke start off and have him murder a couple of those main useless characters, you know, Rose, um, maybe, you know, it'd be sad to see Pogo, but he could have been on the chopping block to oh, have God. him... Uh, yeah, and then that would make you really take Snoke seriously if you did something like that at the beginning. Uh, wait, it's four hours in and you're just at Endor? <gasps> yes. <laughs> I joined four hours and 50 minutes late. Hello, future. <laughs> Hello. Hello! I think Hello. During, during the council meeting, one of the first, author, first order officers says something along the lines of, With all the Sith fleet, our numbers will increase 10,000-fold, which means the size of the fleet can be unbelievably massive. Well, it, uh, didn't we talk about this? We were like, they must have had one ship in the First Order at that time, then, for that statement to be accurate, because they didn't have... I think it would be generous to say they had more than 10,000 Star Destroyers on Exegol. I'd probably go as far as saying a thousand, maybe. A thousand. Uh, okay, uh, Mola, can you say the N word for chat's Christmas? If yeah. I was interested, it's Christmas. In... Yeah, it's Christmas. I already said it. The N word. Yeah, I feel like much like the Christmas spirit. This violates the spirit of the question. I have answered the question literally, and uh, that is my requirements as as EFAP. Not sure if. All right, but you might get a few angry emails. That Say the N word. Or happy emails thanking me for a good Christmas message of the N word. I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. I need to ask before the second half. On Exegol, they walked under the floating structure and descended. Where to? What was the role of the floating structure? To get them down to the super basement. To look imposing. I mean, yeah, I was going to no raise that as like a weird thing, but they said, you know, there are weird gravity well things happening on this planet everywhere. I was like, all right, fine. Some... I thought they were talking about the space surrounding it, not that planet specifically. Uh, no, I thought even on the surface there was weird things happening with gravity and electromagnetic forces and lightning and things, and so it's all right, it's floating. Because... Still, still weird. There's just this big floating yeah. block. Well, we know in this trilogy it's only a one-way uh, elevator. It goes down, not up. Mm -hmm. um, everyone I know who likes this abysmal movie either ignores previous movies or turns their brain off. Annoying idiots. Anyway, hi Rags. Hi Mola. Hello. Hi. Hello. So to get this out of the way, this is not a good film. I know it isn't. The sequels are still by far the weakest trilogy. However, I didn't hate it. In fact, I quite enjoyed myself. It felt prequels bad, not sequels bad. You can like it. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with liking it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with liking it. Freak. Google... <laughs> Google Goonies coin scene. Hey, though. Uh, the movie should have been titled Rise of Palpatine instead, though. Commit to something, Jar Jar Abrams. It would have described the main plot, The Emperor Rises, and foreshadowed the twist, Ray Palpatine. I don't think yeah. they would have wanted to have implied the last film of the saga was the rise of the villain. They probably wanted to avoid that. <laughs> um... Ray knew Chewie was alive because she sensed him on Kylo's Star Destroyer, right? Could she not? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, did yep. read that out at the time. 
Uh, why did they bring the horses anyway? Did they plan for the First Order to move the signal from the tower to the capital ship? Well, they were planning on using them on the ground of Exegol, I guess. I, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, this is a good age for cavalry. Sky. Yeah, shooting it from the sky was they just, not adequate enough. Wouldn't they just they land next to it? Why would they even need the horses at that point? I'm, it's so dumb. They don't. <laughs> they didn't need a ground assault at all. Just. Uh... But don't bring like speeders with guns or anything. Bring horses. This is the <laughs> age of cavalry. Uh, can no one in the universe think killing civilians is bad unless they're force sensitive? Um, oh, do you, is that in reference to? Oh, that was a reference of what broke his condition. It's not just that. I think it's the it's mental conditioning that as they've been going through ever since they were kidnapped. It's not just oh a bad thing. This is obviously bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, like there's like like in real life, right? People will do terrible, horrible things with the right motivation without brainwashing. But you add in years and years and years of brainwashing to that, and you're like, man, that's a pretty solid uh, way to indoctrinate people's minds. Um, I think I found Kylo Ren's origin. Kaibo Ren. Laugh my ass off. Kaibo Ren. Uh, did y'all like how there was about 10 seconds dedicated entirely to showing the effectiveness of the Y-Wings? Fuck anyone who still defends the shit bombers. <laughs> 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 Only took seconds for a single Y Wing to blow up a whole Star Destroyer. Uh, will this EFAP be the accidental 24 hour one? Uh, I think we're gonna, once we hit the cap, we will be uh, signing off. Um, How are we how looking? Far? We oh, have half oh, an hour we, left. Yeah, we have exactly 26 minutes, I think. Mm. Until we hit the cap, and if it wasn't capped, I would I would push to get it, all these done. But I'm afraid that uh, it's not going to be a thing when we start another stream for. Um, I'm not sure what I would name it, but we'll just we can just refocus anyway. And it's always better to have an energy refresh for when reading these. Um, yeah, I could use food. Same. 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 Uh, <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> This trilogy will go down in history as the worst. When people review this in 10 years, people will be asking, wait, what was the point of any of this? The original trilogy plus the prequels, despite flaws, had a solid purpose. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, I just left Cirque du Soleil. EFAP confirmed bigger audience. Well, you know, <laughs> it is EFAP. Right? Cirque du Soleil. The Star Wars edition. Oh, this will tell us where we are. Go away now. Oh, hi, Rags. So guess oh, who just hi. left? <laughs> Wait, I feel like we just jumped through time quite significantly because he didn't leave until yeah. way later, didn't he? Um, I think he left another two hours. We might be like five hours. All right. Well, all right. Yeah, not bad. Uh, wouldn't someone have gone to check out Salvage the Wreckage sometime in the last thirty years as well? Just a thought. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely seems oh, that yeah. way. That, a long that would be a super treasure. valuable to salvage what would be in there. All over the galaxy, people would go in there to get weapons and armor and equipment, electronics. Oh man, mm -hmm. that thing would be lootable for years. Wait, so the whole time Leia knew how to use a lightsaber in the Force, but sent her to fight Kylo and Snoke without teaching her the basics? Uh oh. Uh... Force, but sent. Who, did Le Leia didn't send Ray to fight Kylo? And no, Snake. Luke sent did her. You? Technically, no, he didn't even send her. He didn't want her to go. Yeah. She all all Leia might have done is send Ray to talk to Luke, which is still weird. Um, Mola, let's skip the fight scene. Shad, gonna stop you right there. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, that was fair. Uh, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Uh, Mola, this movie makes me want to die. Hurry up and finish talking about it so I can die emotionally. Starting Buffy Season 6, please. Oh my, good luck, sir. Uh, execute EFAP 66, Darth Uchi Jeb. I'm looking forward to watching this stream when I catch up. Still at EFAP 55. This movie looks so bad and I want to see how my sis reacts to it. Fair enough. Finally caught an EFAP live. Hi everyone, I'm actually going to see this movie tomorrow. Grant me strength, long man and dog. <laughs> sure. Give you strength. Uh, force lightning isn't working. This calls for more force lightning. Merry high, <laughs> Ragsmus, everybody. Ragsmus. <laughs> Ragsmus. Uh, that moment when we'll never see the Vong on the big screen. Maybe that's for the best. Whenever someone says, like, oh, I want to see the blah, 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 I'm like, yeah. Yeah, look what they did to the OT. Just saying. 
Uh, two timestamps from previous EFAP episodes. Play them in order and enjoy. Uh, you know what? I will hang on to that. And uh, just so I can try and get through a few more of these, but I will uh, put it in the notes for me and rags to possibly check out. I'm not sure what it is, but it could be funny. Remember that a supposed prequel Chiss vs. the Vong trilogy was announced? Guess those are shit can now. Probably. Look at these massives ranting about a movie about space wizards intended for children. Shake my head. Excuse me while I watch the smartiest <laughs> movies. Hit zogs. <laughs> yeah. That's a Weekend Warrior <laughs> referencing Patrick Willems. He got blocked by Patrick Willems, by the way. <laughs> I think he posted the, uh, the meme picture too much. <laughs> Patrick was like, stop it. I didn't say that. Stop using my words against me. It's cruel. <laughs> uh, That's harassment. They fly now, versus she kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. Yep, it's just epic lines from the history of media. Uh, ties don't have hyperdrives or wayfinders. Apparently they, they do. do have hyperdrive. They do have hyperdrives, yeah. The old ones didn't in the OT. They didn't have hyperdrives. They didn't even have life support, thus the uh, outfits Great that they wore on the inside. That's an interesting point, yeah. They, they didn't have shields either. Yeah, uh, actually. Every Star Destroyer has a Marvin the Martian gun inside. <laughs> uh, it does look silly sticking out of the yeah, bottom Yeah, a little like bit. That. Rags, your laugh is the most musical, joyful sounding thing I've ever heard in my life. Every time I hear it, oh. I find myself falling more and more in love with you. Good doggo. Yay. Oh, I'll make sure to laugh more. Merry Glad Christmas, I have that effect. Food. Oh, I'll be up to bro team energy. levels eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, remember to go low. The Destroyers can't hit us without hitting each other. Is that something That's they not... say? Here's Finn the thing, so I don't believe that. No, not Finn. Um, uh, Poe says that when they're going in, they like um, uh, when they're attacking the Star Destroyers. I mean, I think it's worth the risk. <laughs> like, if we might hit some of our own Star Destroyers, like, yeah, guys, they try to destroy our entire fleet, I'd probably risk it. Yeah, just yeah give it a... Yeah. Like, you know, at this point, it's kind of our own fault for not being able to go up, so, yeah. Uh, if they manage to minimize Death Star tech so it can, can be used by ships, why didn't they just divert all resources into making this tech instead of building both Death Stars and Starkiller? I don't know. The world may never know. I don't know. They make interesting decisions. Mm -hmm. um, the Yuzang Vong? That's probably a step above Darth Death Star Destroyers. You think, though? Like, a legion of Death Star Destroyers? Like, I don't know... Specifically, what the Yuzang Vong do, but like thousands this is of the thing. you know, yeah, they were so incredibly overpowered, and I think JJ knew this that they had to make such contrived bullcrap to set up situation where the good guys could still win. Because if any of those ships left that planet, it was game over for the entire galaxy. Like that, you you can't fight against that level of insanity, and so. They wrote themselves into a corner, and then they had to use arbitrary bullcrap to try and fix the problem. And so, it's not, no. Uh, 2415 in EU, Palpatine learned Force Storm, which created a lightning ball big enough to blow up a planet. It backfired, and he killed himself and his fleet. Wow. People oh. keep listing some really insane crap coming out of the um, expanded universe. Like, and it just something more and more, and I was like, okay. I mean, yeah, that doesn't, uh, you know. I, mm. Yeah. Uh, congrats on breaking 10,000 live viewers, boys. Why, thank you. It was very, very cool. It was um, glorious. Anyone on the panel got weed-related stories if you've tried it or regularly use it, or not at all, like a shit orphan? The Dawnwood Jake Skywalker. Jay. The I'm Dawnwood. not a... I, I, do not, uh, I do not eat of the lotus, so to speak. Never really been into it. I have partaketh, yeah. but I have no interesting storyeth. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't really care. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a Mormon. So they get turned up. Yeah, they take a lot of it regularly, is that what you're saying? I They're like Catholics at the bar. <laughs> no, I don't. E I don't even drink alcohol. Right? Damn. Or tea or, tea or coffee. Oh. What about soda? Yeah, I don't like on a key, like when I feel like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember there was 
almost no laughter at my screening. There was a small contingent of retards trying their best by clapping at shit, but it was mostly silent. The part where Kylo heals Rey and then dies was hilariously met with laughter and what and clapping. It's a weird one, for sure. Uh, remember what Carrie Fisher said about TLJ? It's about family. I guess Rise of Skywalker was about murdering your family. <laughs> no, it's about choosing your family. Kill them to make them better. Um, Leia, I'll stop training because it will lead to my son's death. Also, Leia, I'll distract my son so he gets stabbed with a lightsaber. Well, <laughs> was that her plan? I don't know. Maybe I don't, she. I don't know if she planned that, that but it kind of. The timing was pretty weird, like, though. Wow, Ray, you of all people? Shit. <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we were friends, but okay. You seem so pure. Um, this movie itches more than my poison oak legs. Oh. That's not good. Hmm. Ray used force car wash and dry. Isn't it obvious? Car wash and dry? I'm confused. Nope, nothing. Yeah, I don't right. know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. D O Y. I'm not sure. Is that referencing the fact that he like saves the entire plot? I don't know. Um, okay, I just got back from watching it a second time. I have fresh memories, so I can answer some plot-based questions. Fair enough. I mean, I think okay. we covered it <laughs> mostly. Uh, statistically speaking, the Holdo maneuver is a one to one, a one out of one. Seems like it. I mean, there's there's a yeah. chance you could miss, but first mostly... time it was tried, it worked. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true. true. <laughs> you see, guys, Holder's plan was to escape, but she got really unlucky. And technically, because we saw one other instance of it happening as well, with no other any attempts and failings, it seems to be two out of two. So it's far. pretty reliable, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh dear. They really did swallow the grenade. Is that referencing, like, in terms of writing? Or like a metaphor I heard for writing, that, but it Doesn't sounds mean. appropriate metaphorically. Uh, if it's really one in a million, why did Holdo give heat to Poe for betting the survival of the Resistance on bad odds? Her plan was just as reckless. Yep. Mm -hmm. I 100% agree. That sounds like the worst odds you could possibly throw. Like <laughs> <laughs> one in a million. I love the idea that Leia was probably like, eh, well, you know. I mean, she, she wasn't intending to do the Holdo maneuver, though, was she? It only a circumstantial thing to try and protect the... Uh, I don't know, man. I love the idea that she was trying to escape and she fucked it up. <laughs> uh, that line about the Holdo maneuver. Can you actually write something that's a bigger cop-out? Because I'm blanking. It's one of the top tier ones. I don't think there's many others that could compare to that. That's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, remember Hux lost his shit because of a one out of a million successful attack on in TLJ? Well, it, the yeah. thing people are referencing is that he was losing his mind at the, at the potential, but if someone was about to commit to a move that has a one in a million chance of hurting you, or killing you even, like, that's probably, like, you know, like, like a shooting range, like the idea that a bullet could ricochet and fucking hit someone in, like, between the eyes. But obviously there are safety precautions to prevent something like that. I just mean, like, something ridiculous, like Final Destination-style shit. Um, Merry Christmas to my fabulous massives. Would you consider having I Hate Everything on as a redemption arc for with his latest video? I don't know that he wanted... He, I don't think he wants to come on EFAP. Like, the impression I got with the conversation with him, I think he just wanted to make sure this was all cleared up and that bad blood can go away. But um, I don't think he wants to come on EFAP in general. Uh, Shad, are asking them to shoot a planet-destroying cannon pointed down at Exegol and blow up the Sith planet, killing everyone? That's a confusing way to write that. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking there. Going to uh, post it in the thing so you can see it. Let me just see. Shad, are asking them to shoot a planet-destroying cannon pointed down at Exegol and blow up the Sith planet, killing everyone? Is he asking if I'm asking that, or is he asking Maybe. if it would kill everyone? I I think I think he's. This is the nature of would that not kill everyone in the battle? I never Probably. said to shoot Exegol. Maybe I said point them up and shoot all the ships flying at them, and they would have obliterated the Galactic Alliance people that were coming to fight. They never shoot their big cannons once. Not once, and Three they've ways. got. 
a crap they have firepower ton. of unparalleled, you know, capacity, and they don't even use it. Uh, uh, also, this person followed up with saying, "Do we even know that they can tilt?" Um, it's a spaceship, mate. So it doesn't yeah. like it. It can do anything. It like so you know, like the Millennium Falcon, it can just float and turn left, right, up, down, however it wants, and then move in whatever way. It wants. Like this is the same for the Star Destroyers. Yeah, it just yeah. has to tilt its bow for uh, bow upwards so that the that's cannon all, could see exactly upwards. Exactly, that's all they needed to do. Yeah, and uh, we've seen Star Destroyer maneuverability. They can turn around, they can rotate, they can fly, and these are the same type of Star Destroyers in the original trilogy. There's nothing indicating they wouldn't be able to do that at all. Uh... And if you're saying it's the planet preventing them, we see other ships in that atmosphere rotating and flying around without any problems. They don't need extra navigation to fly around and fight and dogfight yeah, in the larger ships. Do they know what up is when they get to Exegol? Yeah, how it's, come the rebels know what up is? Like it. <laughs> <laughs> how come the rebels know what up is? Oh, That's so, an honest so question to ask about this movie. Eyes, huh? <sighs> so you can just look at their faces, I guess. Uh, why have horses? The amount of recours in upkeep would be retardedly unreasonable. Plus, they ship 20 pounds a day each on a spaceship, so, you know, that's probably fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, I would love to know where they're getting all their food from. That would be... I'll try spinning. That's a good move to get rid of horses. <laughs> yeah, you just, just <laughs> tilt it. You can just tilt it 30 degrees, and man, oh, hang on. Uh, Fringy, they can't tell what up is. Why do you assume they can read a map? Yeah, no, no, if Fringy thought they could read a map, he was obviously mistaken. Uh, It'd be like, north, that's up, right? They should have used spinning. That's a good trick. Absolutely. Doesn't the Star Destroyer have horse jammer right next to the decloaking skin? Horse jammer. <laughs> Jam their horses. <laughs> they only have so many buttons for so many vehicles. <laughs> Don't you man babies understand? Finn knew the broadcast tower was in that ship because he'd used to mop on it. Also, Hi Rex. Hey! Yeah. Well, Mola said that that would have been a better explanation when they said, How do you know? It's like, Well, I know the First Order schematics and stuff. That's the type of ship. Um, so, yeah, that would have made more sense if he said something like that. And if you want to write it poorly, he just goes, I used to mop that ship. Just add it to his list of giant spaceships yeah. he used to be a janitor on. I'd be like, Yeah, sure, whatever. I mopped all the ships. <laughs> But I mopped sir, the emperor. Which way is up? Shad's delivery was perfect. Did I hear a fucking 808 ba base drop when Palpatine lightning the sky? What a demise of the Skywalker. Yep. Uh, is there a reason after demonstrating his ability to use the Force to fling people around like dolls that he doesn't use that power in combat later? There is no reason. No, he just tries lightning. Not, it doesn't work and yeah. he dies. Simple as that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. It doesn't work, so there's, he keeps there's trying there's it Palpatine. even as Trying his face, he keeps on trying. Yeah. Uh, not Palpatine. my cannon, fuck. Oh, fuck KK, sorry. <laughs> um, what did I miss something? Uh, how did Ben get back to Exegol? Ray took his ship and left him on a ruined Death Star. She used water speeder to get to it. He, uh, the First Order knew they were there, so they must have had some ships there or something, or you could get the X-Wing, uh, a, a TIE fighter from the Death Star. That was our two explanations for that. You see, Mola, Ryan didn't edit out the weapon from the throne room scene. Ray just force Skyped it out of existence. Boom. Galaxy Braid Ratcon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've explained it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we have just under ten minutes now. <laughs> On another note... Sorry, that's one of the greatest ones yeah, I've yeah. so far. <laughs> On another note, have y'all seen the Tenet trailer? Um, I have. I have it's too. It's interesting. Looks neat. Yeah. I have not. Uh, glad to see you and I hate everything made up. Look at Rise of Skywalker bringing people together in unbridled hatred. Aww. This movie unironically gave me a migraine after I watched it. There were warnings for seizures and migraines from the light flashing in the movie. Please reference and talk of that. Thanks. Hi, Wags. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it was rough. We have talked about it, so that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, with Palpatine on an exploding Death Star 2 is what the fuck, but the blue wave thing after the explosion could be his power going to another body. Still think The Rise of Skywalker is really good. I'll explain about Anakin's sacrifice not being in vain. Really, though? 
the blue wave is Palpatine? <laughs> is that what he's saying? Yeah. It doesn't go into a new body. Like, his yeah. body is wrecked. If he went into a new yeah, body... Yeah, how would it be in Palpatine's body if his body was smithereens? Like, <laughs> No, one of his, maybe one of his other bodies. Maybe he's got spares, as how we established. That, he's got, like, a little shelf of Palpatine bodies, I guess. Yeah, know. they're hanging up in the closet. No, it, this yeah. is my Monday body, my Tuesday body. I always know what to wear. But specifically, they're corpse bodies. We need to remember that because uh, he didn't want to make, you know, he like healthy bodies that he would be able to walk around. Why would he? It doesn't work either way. It's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> he, he chose the one with fucked up fingers. I am genuinely interested to hear people's arguments to try and substantiate this as a good film. Like, oh, Jay's oh, arrived. Fuck. Jay, you've got like five minutes before we have to stop. <laughs> Uh, How dare he? Also, it says, I'll explain Anakin's sacrifice not being in vain. Anakin, the only thing that he accomplished that didn't get fucked was saving Luke. He did not stop the Empire, not even close, and he did not defeat Palpatine, and he did not bring balance to the Force. That's like three out of the four things he tried to achieve destroyed. I would say that's pretty significant. IMO. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, just wanted to point out how dumb Lightspeed Skip is. From what I could tell, Poe was making random jumps. Seriously, he could have crashed the Falcon into a black hole, a sun, or an asteroid while in hyperspace. Yeah, again, though, I still think that's the better option than, you know, getting fucked by the First Order. Like, and the risk is not as wow. significant as, uh, the, the movie makes it out to be. At least, that's yeah. my understanding. He should have been... Oh coming out in empty space but the big problem that we've found with it is that he shouldn't be able to jump between planetary star systems that quickly that's just ridiculous he didn't need to run anyway you saw when they were in that narrow ice cave and they were straight go, going straight into three tie fighters and no matter how narrow that pathway was and how big that ship was they still couldn't fight. um gonna go to sleep see you masses when i wake up good night a lot of this movie sounds like a ripoff of the story of the Old Republic. Probably because it might be. Who knows? You don't know when you get these ideas from know. entirely. I think if it, it probably would have been better if they were ripping off the Old Republic stuff. True. Uh, when everyone fell into the quicksand and there was a moment of silence, I knew they weren't dead. But the characters were annoying enough that I said, yay, in the theater. The movie should have ended. <laughs> yay, silence! <laughs> For two days, the RT score has been 86% now with any change from 600 reviews to 23k. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, it does seem really? odd, doesn't it? That wow. seems really weird. Wow. The only people that will be left defending this film are people who play video games on journalist mode because the film is game played on journalist mode. I mean, uh, you could have structured that a little better, a little punchier, but yes, I kind of agree with I you. Think, I think I get the theme yeah. of your super chat. Uh, Ron Tomato says verified audience score, so they decide who is verified. It can be six, 86 persons, and even when 30k more review it, only those 86 paid count. Theoretically. So they can un unverify um, uh, yep. bad reviews, can they? Um, this movie only has 18k ratings. TFA and TLJ had over 200k. Yeah, I guess we'll see if the rating changes. I'm Almost sure it won't, by the looks of things. Just as a sort of, you know, sample size Holding seems not to be. steady, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, Suspect, even. So where was the good side army at the end of TLJ? They just abandoned everyone. They didn't care. Yeah, they just, yeah. But now that the enemy has thousands of death cannon lasers, now they really want to help. Uh, don't forget Rotten you know. Tomatoes changed its voting system around Miss Marvel. Only people who bought tickets online through that one company ahead of time can review. And uh, even then, they probably rig it. Would swing the percentage. High 60s, maybe low 70s could be reasonable from normie audiences. Yeah, I would say high 60s I'd find reasonable. Um, yeah, high 60s. From, like, random audiences. Saw the movie for EFAP only. Not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would you guys be kind enough to read the last five messages I sent explaining Anakin being the chosen one and why his death wasn't in vain, please? I haven't... Not in five minutes. Time. Oh, if that was sent in in chat, I, there's no way I can find that. Nah, I think those are tweets. I think he sent... Tweets? tweets us, but... 
not enough time at the moment. And I can't, I can't do that because then everybody will start doing that, like sending super chats with like an essay attached to tweets. I can't. I'd have to make a rule on that one. Like, <laughs> otherwise, it'll, oh, <laughs> I've got like three minutes left. Uh, I'll probably read a couple more and then we'll sort of do as best an outro as I can. Um, Rogue One is the only decent Star Wars movie and everything else is trash tier nonsense. I'm glad buying Star Wars has been a net loss for Disney. I don't think they've had a net loss in money made. I think they said like even TFA alone had made their money back, right? Or no, 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 they bought Star Wars for uh, like how many billions? Like four billion? I'm pretty sure that nuts. I've I've heard several people say that they they've had their money back by now. Really? Solo lose money? Oh yeah. All but... right. So it looks like um, Lucas told Iger he was considering retirement. Blah blah blah. Disney announced the deal to acquire Lucasfilm for four point zero five billion, with approximately half in cash and half in shares of Disney stock. Uh, six years after buying Lucasfilm, Disney has recouped how much it cost to buy it. Apparently. Okay. Yeah, twenty eighteen, I guess, is when they they got their money back. Um. If this money makes less than Joker, someone should rub it in Movie Blob's face. <laughs> <Go for it. laughs> um, the only good Star Wars toys are Legos. Not cheap, though. I can imagine. Yeah, Legos are expensive. Uh, Got biggest, the Lego X-Wing. It's pretty cool. Biggest gripe with this movie, Ahsoka, a fan favorite from Clone Wars and Rebels, is in the Mary Sue Force Ghost cheer squad. Thing is, she was alive last we saw her, well, after the Jedi Purge. She's not even old enough to have died of old age. She'd be 71. 100 is the average for her race. 200 with the force. Thanks, JJ. It's like a Christmas card that says, hey, your grandma died. Fuck you. <laughs> Stop drinking the prequel Kool-Aids. They suck. Damn. Jeez, harsh. Yeah. Uh, did anyone else notice that Ben only died when Ray kissed Ben after he'd already revived her? Did Ray suck out Ben's life force at the end? Sucked out his man juices, right? Right there. Kiss of death. Mm -hmm. And with that, because we've only got a minute left, I'm going to say that is the end of the stream. Oh uh, my god. I will collect all of the remaining super chats. These will be sorted. I'm currently working on the Unbridled Rage for this movie, and this will be uploaded to Moolah. Um, every link you'll need for the people who guessed it today are all in the description. Thank you all very much for the kind donations and for obviously checking out this stream. It's a very crazy amount of viewers, honestly, and um, <laughs> what else should I say? Uh, thank you all for the guests, for spending so yeah. so long here. It's been, appreciate it, guys. Good stuff. Absolutely. Absolute Great pleasure. turnout. Is, Great turnout. Oh, this has been a Happy highlight time. for me. Excellent this stuff. And yeah, 20 seconds remaining, so we're gonna have to say goodbye. Uh, thanks again, everybody. We will catch you again in the future. Memes and, and reading out Super Chats, it'll all happen in future, 100%. Um, but that's it. Good night. Farewell. Good night. Bye-bye.